Bienvenue, gamers. So, I've been getting message after message when the next EX binge is going to be. I don't know if some of you know this, but YouTube no longer allows you to do more than 12-hour videos. And I do not have the streaming capacity or patience to try to stream this like, you know, lo-fi channels. So what I'm going to do is, because it's been a long time, I'm going to, for the next few uploads, just do all of the ones that I've been missing as EX Mega Binges. I don't know how many there's going to be, considering the last one was in 2020, and we're in 2024. So, um, clear your schedule for a while. Here we go. It is time to cleanse your mind. With you're really gonna hate the last one of this, trust me. It's not a Geno, but you're gonna hate it, trust me. But Tumblr. Google could eliminate all but its first two pages from the search results, and most people probably would never notice. If you have friends from Oklahoma, they are your Oklahomies. Skyscrapers have waterfalls of shit in them leading to the sewers. Wearing no socks at all feels better than wearing a sock with a hole in a big mood. Since winking is a thing, one of your eyeballs has seen more of your life than the other. Let the other eyeball see more life now, do it. Snoozing an alarm is disagreeing with your past self. Yep. Being a teenager is the shortest period of your life, 13 to 19, yet it feels like the longest with how many changes happen. Yeah. It takes 10,000 hours to become an expert at something, and we chew food for an average of 25 minutes per day. Using that logic, we will stop biting our cheeks by the age of 66. Having good manners and saying please and thank you are life's cheat codes, as they make living a lot easier. Who knew? Start being nice to people, you win. Turn the volume up and turn the volume down both make you sound old. Our ancestors' greatest mistake was not domesticating the burr. You will never be sure about which day you were born. You just have to trust everyone. We wonder why kids grow up too fast, but then expect them to have their whole career path figured out at 18. They have one more year of teenager to go. Let them make that life decision at like 25. And oh, finally, and buckle up boys and girls and nuns. Licking Enderman would hurt them. And this has been Lick the Tall Dark Spooky Boy to Win by Tumblr. A new theory. The world is flat, but it has two sides. You'd fall off. Only if you picked the wrong one. <gasps> Tails! Well, he's in no danger. He can fly. There was just so much to take in all at once. The music is just wiggling air. Don't do this. Don't do this to me today. And colors just wiggling light. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. Artists and musicians are just magicians of the wiggle. In our best quality, the wiggles. Today I learned due to their reclusive nature, scientists are unsure how long a pangolin lives in the wild. Well, maybe they should leave their laboratories and go find one in the wild then. Do you ever think about that? So we're just going to gloss over the fact that Jim Carrey Eggman looks like evil Spartacus. The resemblance is uncanny. And fuck these six fish in particular. I just saw this on Twitter. <laughs> Stop. I wish I had the ability to, to do what? Yeah. Yo, if she's your girl, why is she using my crafting table? Hmm? I'm not saying she's a slut, I'm just saying her spawn point isn't set to her own bed very often. I pity the future historians are gonna try to take a crack at this one. Go hang a salami backwards is I'm a lasagna hog, and that pleases me. How did either of these sentences occur naturally for you to discover this? Did you play this game as a kid? No. <laughs> I must be way older than you. Actually, I was just poor. Thank you for this. There is no reason to be scared of horses. I don't know why everyone makes big fuss about them. They're good animals, love sugar, muscular and strong, the perfect friend. A horse did not write this. I created this post with my human digits. And how did you attain these human digits? The normal way, biting.
So it turns out the guy who discovered Uranus originally wanted to name it George. Just imagine a planet called George. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and George. So when you see it in orbit, can you say, here comes a general? I realized what bothers me about the Skyrim horse's head tracking. Normal horses don't look at you head on because they see better to the side. Which implies that Skyrim horses are predators. Like I said, nothing to worry about. It's about time I contributed to the online discourse. <clears throat> Bricks are domesticated rocks. Stop. Let him speak! UK, we call it autumn, from the French word automna, and later the Latin autumnus. USA, we call fall because we fall down. As much as I love the trope of a character falling fast and hard for someone, I also love the subtle descent where they don't really think about it. Where that person is kind of just there until one day they realize the person is so ingrained in their lives and they cannot do without them. Where there is no conscious effort on either ends to become romantically involved, but somehow the thought of them being with someone else is disconcerting. Where I enjoy being with you unwittingly turns into... I want to be with you. Fucking this! So my mom just accidentally prematurely sent an email to an accounting firm. It was supposed to say, I'm afraid we'll have to postpone our meeting. But she hit send when all it said was, Hi, Jeffrey. I am afraid. The writer. Here, have some emotions. Reader. I don't want this. Yes, you do. Have some more. I will kill you. Basic threat overused like serious weight. Pee your pants. Up and coming, respectable, unexpected. I will pee your pants. Full of promise of grief and terror, absolutely devastating. <laughs> your pants can't wait for my pee. And here we have it, the most terrifying sentence in the universe, holy fuck why. Iowa is the only state that consists entirely of vowels. Every message in my inbox in the next 16 years, W is not a vowel! It is time to cleanse your mind. With dredged 3 a.m. thoughts. My Tumblr. Your nails are a window to the flesh in your finger. The word laptop implies that it is designed to be used on top of one's lap, yet doing that is highly discouraged. Tasting is wet smelling. 4x3 is more square than 16x9, but 16x9 is 4 3 squared. All the drive-in theaters are closed when they could be the most popular, safest entertainment option out there. Wet feels weird until you're surrounded by water. We're definitely in strange times when you walk into a bank and they ask you to put a mask on. Mobs are spawn points in real life. Getting a job is a harder job than having a job. If a pinata doesn't break, it's broken. Wait, if you have an older sibling, you have never formally introduced yourself to them, which is probably why they're always so rude to you. You didn't even give them your name. In a hundred years, TikTok will be a bizarre archive of dead people dancing. Dirk. Being in private school is a pay-to-win platform. Parts of Alaska are closer to Paris than to Miami. I mean, I guess. Pencils that aren't sharpened are pointless and pointless. A robot is asking us whether or not we are a robot. Rams are tactical assault sheep. There is no such thing as an adult. We are all faking it. Inside every cynical person is a disappointed idealist. I'm pretty sure that's a George Carlin quote. Everyone is brave until the cockroach flies. Come at me, bro, is the modern have at ye, foe. And finally, if Darth Maul had run over little Anakin with his motorbike during episode one, he would unintentionally have brought balance to the Force and saved the galaxy. And this has been what it made for a shorter series by Tumblr. And Blitzer YKZX, welcome. <laughs> no, I have stuff saved already that I haven't done for the YouTube show. Um, so we're going to do them live. I have like 
I think like normally I have like maybe 15 to 20 that I do for a video and that takes a while for me to do on my end. Today, we're doing like 35 and then I'll take requests and then I'll just read them in the chat. Oh my God, everybody's dropping in. Hey, hey, how's it going guys? How's it going? Good to see ya. Oh yeah, I love that Sienna gift so much. It's adorable. It's precious. It was so cute. Chaotic Eris made it. It's it's a gift. It's a gift to humanity. All right, let's say the the video for YouTube goes live, so people can get in here, so we can start this show. Oh, it's public. They see it. Oh, they see it. Oh no. All right, that's up. So, hi everybody. Hello. Welcome. I hope you're ready for this, because I'm sure not. I was like beta testing all this last night just to make sure it was working at least visually on Streamlabs. But now we're here and now I have to do this live and I've never performed late night Tumblr for an actual live crowd before. So this will be a uh, this will be fun. We'll start off with a fun, simple one just so everybody gets a general idea of how this is going to go. And then when I'm done with all mine, you're free to submit it. So we can try to kill some time, and then if I have time today, we'll just jump right back into oblivion. But for now, we're doing this. We're doing this live. We're doing it live! Okay, now you can see the screen. Behold. Right there, it's beautiful. My primitive setup of just plugging iPad into thing and having all my stuff saved. Alright. So, everybody gets the general idea? Let me, uh, let me just set the scene here. Bruh. Every moment is an epic gamer moment. When I'm with you. You guys get it? You guys get the general concept? All right. And uh, this will go live and uh, this will go live on YouTube after this. Uh, so I'll cut some dead air and everything. So it's not just the music and just silence. All right. Let's move on. So what are troops going to fight for now? The oil's worthless. The hand of the fairest maiden in the land. And her name is Lithium. Yay. So I added some official Sonic art to see what he'd look like with no shoes or glove. Hey, I can tell you're a great artist and this is well drawn, but uh, this is literally the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm <laughs> just gonna I'm just uh, zoom in so you all can see that for a second and suffer because it is really well designed, but <laughs> there's so much wrong. There's so much wrong here. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Check out my feet. All right, moving on, moving on before I scar everybody. <laughs> okay. In a haunted house, walls start bleeding and spell 666. Pulls out Sharpie and makes it 696969. The walls just bleed a little bit more before spelling it out. Nice. Hold on, let me, let me hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me try that again. Nice. Oh, wrong effect. Damn it. This is why I got beta test things more. Nice. Perfect. Moving on. I'm getting a haircut today. Well, which one? Strand number 1043 is getting longer than the rest. That's precision right there. Love it. I love the chat is just blowing up. This is great. I love it. Oh my God. You guys are all awesome. All right. I just started high school seven years ago. Jesus. Uh, are you done yet? I'm trapped in one of the lockers. Rip. Big Rip Brony. Alright. Some of you literally sound like anime villains when you respond to Anon hate. Anon, you're ugly. Die. Oh, dear Anon. You make me laugh. That's simply a matter of opinion. And I don't let the opinions of some lowly human bother me. Please, continue wishing death on me. It only makes me stronger in the end. Beautiful. Ah, oh, ah, oh, this is, yes. Yes, yes, ah. Oh. Paw readings, black cats welcome. Bring me the feeties. Let me read them beans. Okay, let's see, all right. Uh, that's a good baby. That's a good baby. That's definitely a good baby. But this baby. That's the best baby of them all right there. 
Beautiful. Also, her schnoz. That's some good schnoz game right there. Beautiful. Fun gender neutral things to call your partner when you see them. Hang on, hang on. Enemy spotted. Love it. Love it. I'm gonna start using it. All right. I fucking love Irish slang like it's the most creative craft ever. Today I heard a coffin being referred to as wooden onesie in a sentence. Hey, Jesus, me nanny looks better than you and she's in a bleeding wooden onesie. And it was honestly life changing. Beautiful. Okay, but I'm just saying. This picture of Mercury makes it look like the roundest potato in existence that someone tried to start to peel, but got distracted. My... Yeah, I can see that. That is, a uh, That... What? I want to know. The fuck's going on there? The fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Oh my god, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, okay. Alright, guys, 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 guys. Bear with me, bear with me here. If... Mercury is made out of potato, and our moon is made out of cheese. You know what we have to do. We must make the forbidden cheese for ice. We have to do it. It must be done. I know I hit the wrong effect, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We will get- we will do this. We will make the forbidden cheese for ice. Alright, moving on. Okay. So, like, what if you injected brownie mix into your bloodstream? Like, since your body temperature is, like, 98, the brownies would cook over a few days, and then you'll have clumps in your arms, and you just cut it open and eat the brownies. I should be a scientist. Bruh, what the fucking hell's wrong with you? Like, bruh. Bruh. Stop it. Get some help. All right. A villain who commits crimes because they want to impress the hero and get their attention, but they don't know how to flirt like a regular person. All right, guys, level with me, level with me here. I know it's not right. I know it's not right. But could one possibly consider that this is literally, literally the plot of Megamind? Tell me, tell me, yeah, th th thank you. Tomster got it right before I was about to say it. This literally Megamind. Yes, that's perfect. Oh my god. Just it's fucking what? Like this, this sitter literally. That, that, that's the plot. I, I I I know I don't ship, but honestly, I'd ship the fuck out of those two if this was legit. Alright. My thing with Waluigi is like, mm, mm, I'm just just saying. Just saying. This is a fusion. Alright. Okay. Alright, hold on. Hold on a second, hold on a second. All right, we gotta turn down, turn down the music here because it's gonna throw off the rhythm. Turn that down. All right. This is Waluigi, back together. And I'm never going down at the hands of the likes of Wah! Proud moment, very proud moment. I'm gonna have to do a full cover of that in the future. Like seriously. All right, it's beautiful. It's fantastic. All right, moving on. 2020 does not pass the fucking vibe check. What in the fuck is this? Little did you know, 2020 is the vibe check. It is a... Oh my god, that actually makes so much sense. Alright, people are asking for a full cover. I guess I got no choice in the matter now. I gotta... I gotta go ahead and do that. Alright. <laughs> I've never... I don't do covers anymore, but this one might be worth it. I like that at some point, a human looked at a sheep and went, Oh man, that looks warm. I wish I was that warm. And then stole off its hair. Wig snatched. Millennia of language interpretation have accumulated in this. Oh my god. Poor sheep. Big Rip Rooney. The YMCA... But instead of young man, they say comrade, and YMCA is USSR. Comrade, steel production is down, I said comrade. You must sleep on the ground. Beautiful. I think that's another one I have to do now. God damn it. Why do I do this to myself? All right. <laughs> I think I've done this one before, but I love it so much just because there's, there's literally a history here. Like, 
Okay, let's, let's just look, let's just, let's look, look, look at these men. Look at these men. They have never been so terrified in their life by a skeleton. And this is also the most condescending skeleton I've ever seen. Like, he has no mouth or eyes, but you can tell that there's something wrong here. There's something wrong here. It's just, hmm. And then, obviously, this man, who, uh, you know, took the calculations here. But, man, was he bad at math. All right. Okay, first, you're being a total dick right now. And just, yeah, you are being kind of a dick. Why would you do that? All right. Moving on. I forgot I put this one in. I forgot that I put this one in. I just gave myself whiplash looking at this. What have I done? Okay. Don't worry. We mean you no harm. What in the fuck is this? Yo, that's Shark Tales too. That is a... Uh, perfect. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Alrighty. Okay. Alright, everyone. Meet... Pickles. Look at him. Look at his big old baby. A.K.A. the Catasaurus Rex. He was rescued in Boston and is over three feet long. That is a big old baby. That is definitely a big old baby. But also, someone looked at this cat and decided to name it Pickles. The fuck? The fuck? I wanna... I wanna pet it. I wanna pet the chunky boy. I hope he's okay. That is a big cat. Like... Definitely a Maine Coon mixed with something, but uh, fucking what? It's Chungus Cat. All right. <laughs> Make my way downtown. <laughs> I, I want to find the artist. I'm sure it's, I don't, I don't think it's Glimshu. I don't think it's Weird Echeologies either, but this is how I was giving it. That is, um, I love this art. It's adorable and funny and just the slendery, the slendery hands is beautiful. Okay. Bew. Teenage girl saying, I can't even, is basically the same old lady saying, well, I never. And this is messing with my head. Especially when you realize it was once a teen girl saying, well, I never. And someday it will be the older lady saying, I can't even. <sighs> oh my God. I've had that realization for the longest time when my generation and the next generation behind me gets old. Our slang is gonna become the new old terms. So, like, enjoy the shit you say right now, like, and also, like, the things you do, like, dabbing or planking or saying that's Gucci. Enjoy while you can. Because when you're 90 years old, it's gonna look weird. All right. Okay. Adam, the adversary, destroyer of kings, angel of the bottomless pit, great beast that is called the dragon, prince of this world, father of lies, spawn of Satan, and lord of darkness. Hey, guys, you want to go depose aggressively at Mr. Tyler until he calls the police? That's literally... I'm pretty sure this is how we're playing Oblivion right now in Twitch. We have so many titles, but this is... The highlight was me doing the flame touch on Jimmy. Just, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Oh, okay. Alright, gas breath. Me the noise. I gotta put the, put the effect on. I gotta do this. We gotta do it hardcore. Hold in. You know where the nearest Taco Bell is? Hey, down the back to the left. Gosh. Hey, down the back to the left. This was posted July 11th, 2019 at 9.41am. Nine months ago. Ahead of their time. They, uh, there's a lot of these posts that I've seen that, that they fucking tell the future. It's, uh, it's, it's a gift. It's truly a gift. My gosh. All right. All right. Hey, FD Bud, thank you for the subscription. Welcome. And I also just looked at our viewer, Mark. We have 332 people watching. Give me one moment here. Give me one moment. Holy shit. Why? Okay. Moving on. Moving on. All right. 
Real question. Why do people find Hatsune Miku so appealing? I don't really understand why. Uh, it's clearly a Freudian desire to eat toothpaste. You know, I don't understand these words, but they make so much sense. Um, yeah, yeah, I can't, I, you know, I don't know much about Vocaloids either, so I got to take this at face value. Um, can I just say don't, don't eat the toothpaste? I don't really know what that has to do with the, the virtual idol, but okay. All right, <laughs> Leon. Biological information. Gender. Probably not. Okay, but... Mood? That's... Yes. There's a lot of good and gender-neutral terms lately. Probably not is definitely a top favorite. I like that one. Alright. I want to know what game this is first off. Because th this is just their inventory right here. I don't know what game this is, but this is all they have. Bees carrying nothing in her purse except a compact and a bowl of gumbo is what I inspire to be. I need some history here. What is this game? Chat. Chat. What is this? What is this game? Uh, I don't know why the stream is 30 seconds delayed. Maybe refresh and try again because everybody see everybody else seems to be on the ball. So maybe give yourself a refresh. All right. Oh my god, I just realized bees. Bees? Oh, because it says Bess. I fucked up. Well, guys, let me level with you. It wouldn't be one of my videos if I did not say something wrong. Think about it. Think about how many people hunted me down because I said Persephone wrong. By the way, I must just say it right now. I will die on this hill. Persephone rolls off way better. That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. Take a little hydration break and let you all just suffer for a second. All right. Moving on. Today I learned that hard disks are so sensitive to vibration that just screaming at them diminishes their performance. Okay, but I gotta level with you. Getting screamed at diminishes my performance too. You ain't special. Reblog, if getting screamed at diminishes your performance. Um, I would right now, but it's not working. I'm trying. I'm trying. It's not doing the thing. Okay. Lord of S'mores, welcome. Glad you could join us. I do need more coffee. But this is, yeah, guys, I agree. This is literally a whole ass mood. Okay. Move the god. All right. If there are trees, you aren't alone. I can't tell if this is supposed to be encouragement or an ominous warning. That's entirely up to the trees. You guys gotta be very careful. Because if you don't, Lorax will find you. <laughs> I already beep on set off saying Persephone again. Oh, this is great. This used to bother me, but now it's like a weapon. It is like a weapon word. It's beautiful. I have to do this. Oh my god. All right. You can take another man's trash to another man's treasure, but you can't make it drink. Fun fact, the blending of idioms or cliches is called a malaphore. My personal favorite is, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. Beautiful. It's art. It was art right there. Bam. Sorry, guys. I have the bubonic plague. I can't hang out tonight. No rates. <sighs> I love a good pun as much as the next guy, but that one hurt. That one hurt real, real bad. Ow. The music's not helping my pain. It sounds very painful. Like, this is like... This sounds like songs that Jess would use in AFMAO. Weird. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I wasn't even prepared. I wasn't even prepared. Let me turn it up so you guys can hear it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I used my third ass. Eyes. Fuck. <laughs> guys. 
<laughs> Guys, have you ever looted so hard you use the power of your third ass? It's good. It's good. Just... Oh, I'm Twitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. Hype train incoming. What? 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 There's hype train. What just happened? Oh, I have a limited time to learn exclusive emotes. Really look at that. All right. All right, guys, let's level with you. If you could have any video game ability, what it would be? Protect girls, kiss wife. You have awakened feeling. No, oh, you have awakened feeling rested. And press Y to honk. Beautiful. Honestly, I'd gladly take all four. This sounds great. Also, I think I know. Definitely know the bottom is Untitled Goose Game. Uh, Waken Feeling Rested is Skyrim. Kiss Wife I don't know, and Protect Girls is Final Fantasy IX. I think that's Zidane's uh, exclusive ability. I think. All right, let's do it. Blam! Oh, this is the last one, I think, and then we'll take requests. Okay, this is the last one, and then we'll start taking requests from the crowd for me to read. All right. I'm going to try and read Homestuck now. Try is the keyword. Why can't you just get the fucking mail? What? 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 Oh my god. It's beautiful. All right. That was like the. I can't believe. Wait, damn it. I went through all of them already in like 23 minutes. So, okay. Um. So, start taking some stuff from the crowd. Okay. Um. Let me see here. I'll just open it up on... I don't think you guys will be able to see it, but I will be able to read it. Because um, I tried to, like, set it up to read fake arm. That's a video. I can't do that one. Been tricked. All right. Well. Um. Well, damn. Okay. Um. Give me one second. Give me one second. I forgot. I have a Discord that's dedicated to submitting late night Tumblr posts. So let's just go in there and do that. So let me just hide this for a second. So that way I don't accidentally dox myself. All right. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Let's do this. Where's my discords? Where's my discords? All righty. Um, it came from Tumblr. Perfect. Okay. All righty. We'll just work our way up. We'll just work our way up. All right. Shazam. All right. If you guys want the Discord, uh, I believe my late, the the second latest YouTube video has a link to the Discord, so you can check it out. We have a few rules. Be sure to check them out so you don't get yourself banned instantly. All right. Let's we'll start with this one. Do mermaids have babies? Do you think the people who play Teletubbies feel horny on set sometimes? Why did Tarzan have a beard? How many things are there? And more importantly, why didn't Aladdin have nipples? Why didn't Aladdin have nipples? All right. Good. Okay. We got this working. All right. Cowboy advice. Be rooting, be tooting, and by God, be shooting. But most of all, be kind. This almost made me cry and I have no idea why. Tears are just your inner cowboy chasing no good cattle rustlers away from your brain pots. That's... Yeah. That's a good question. That's, that's a good analogy. Shit, I like that. Okay. 2005 Firewolf. Go get some sleep. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, I forgot. DC Gamers, right? My famous Discord, which caused someone to actually name their new pet goose Corn. Beautiful. All right. I love that mayhem is a legal term. Like, you can be charged with mayhem. It's like arresting someone for funny business. The jury finds the defendant guilty on all accounts of tomfoolery, japing, and certainly taking the piss, causing a ruckus. Alrighty, beautiful. I should have just done this from the start. Oh, it's been a while since we did a goad one. All right. Have you not been made aware of the clown code? It's the only thing preserving civilization as we know it, so yes. Wait, do people honestly not know about the clown code? The clown code? The ethical code for clowns? The code of the clowns? Clown code? Yeah, that code. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done a goat one. Uh, let's see. My god. Yay! DJ Gaber, thank you for the follow. Appreciated. Okay. <laughs> I just 
just read this one ahead of time. Okay. Guess what? I invented a new word. Plagiarism. Oh, what? I'm reblocking this because I just got the fucking joke. <laughs> it's great. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a big oof. It is a big oof right there. Oh, we moved down. Oh, I forgot Discord does that. Okay. Do you think soda cans are alive and each time you take one out of the pack and open it, you're really snapping its neck and drinking its blood in front of its family? Um, agreed. Agreed with that face. Big oof. Big rip brony for cans. Okay. Um, I forgot Discord every so often will shoot you straight down. Um, okay. Anyone want to get an argument with me? Okay. Cream cheese isn't that good. I was kidding, but you know what? Fuck you for real. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> God, these are great. I don't... You were okay, guys. I have to level with you. I was worried when Tumblr had its first like big shutdown scare because I've I, I thought we were gonna run out of things, but like there's literally there's an endless cavalry of absolute madness on this website, and I don't understand, but I love it all the same. Okay. Oh, it's the ominous positivity one. I can do this one live. Ominous positivity. You'll be okay. You have no choice. Everything will turn out fine. You cannot stop it. And you will succeed. It is inevitable. Art. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I guess I have to sing this to the song. You gotta cut loose. Foot loose. Put on your fucking foot loose. Feet. Foot feet. Dance on your fucking feet. Oh my god. That is art. Also this. I love this. I feel like this was supposed to move. And now don't. You gotta. Always get close, but it's too powerful to be shut down. Fucking agreed. Alright. Okay. Astronomers got tired after watching the moon go around the earth for 24 hours. So they decided to call it a day. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that face right there. Uh, PM, how'd you get your horse? I think her name is Jules. She's a rescue horse. Um, we actually had a few and she's our last one. Um, they're all just horses that retired. Um, and usually sometimes they just, if they don't end up getting used, that usually leads to them just getting abused unintentionally. So we rescue them and we brought them here. So Jules is my last horse, sadly, but it's okay. They've all lived good lives. Here's money, Mr. Seymour. I'm not feeling great for seeing your content. Aw, oh, thank you, Cobalt. This is beautiful. Okay. Do not Americans realize that the United States is literally a bunch of countries in a trench coat that agreed to be semi-nice to each other in order to sneak into the big boy club? <laughs> because let's be honest, that's just what the USA is. The rest of the world is. So, you're a big country? The states standing on each other's shoulders? Y yes? Oh my god. I love how everyone who reblogged this hasn't added anything or tagged anything on it. They're all just like, yeah, that's it. That's the entire United States summed up in one post. Beautiful. I can't. I can't. It's absolutely right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Alrighty. Me is sad. Some random shiny thing with no function or monetary value half buried in the dirt at the bus stop. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We're all just crows with rights and anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's true this is just straight up fact oh my god oh my heart hurts oh i love it okay time to bitch slap some inner demons i consider therapy a hands-on process I'm always waiting in attention with a broom to beat my intrusive thoughts back into their corner hole. All right. All right. Brace yourself. Be gone, thoughts. I love it. <laughs> oh my God. This is like the most posts I've done in one swoop. It's hurting me. It's like physically hurting me how much comedy there is. Oh my God. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of butter. 
their fucking Google eyes staring into your soul from every angle and you comment on the butter. To be fair, it is a lot of butter. That is... That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Also, the floating googly eyes in the co syrup is a nice touch. Also, fucking... I didn't even notice the cereal. There's so many eyes on the cereal, but look at that butter. Look at that butter. My God. All right. Okay, let's see here. Okay. I love cats. Like, we as a species just literally go out of our way to obtain fat little house goblins in the hopes that they will occasionally acknowledge us. Reblog if you love your fat little house goblin. Aw, uh, where's Piff? Where is Piff? She's usually hiding in my room when I'm recording. She'll just pop up out of nowhere. Winter Power 98, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Hmm, beautiful. All right. Oh, and that's the one that I picked up last time. Every moment in an epic gamer moment. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, let's do this. All right. It's nearly 3 a.m. And I just had the most world-shaking epiphany. Anakin Skywalker is only nine years older than Han Solo. This is important for several reasons. One of which, oh my god, Anakin is a baby when he has kids. But the most important is that obviously now there has to be an AU where Anakin was never Vader and instead he just pieced out of the Jedi Order and became like the bounty hunter or something. But with my money is on Smuggler because Pilot and also because where I'm heading with this is an AU where Han and Anakin are like familiar with each other before Han ever gets involved with Luke and Leia and the Rebellion. Like they were acquaintances, Frenemies, business associates, I don't know. We'll add more later. That sounds way better in my head than what actually happens. That's beautiful. Okay. All right. Okay, this is a motivational one. I actually like this one. Okay. <clears throat> Man, why am I so ugly? You're not ugly, dude. You're just not your type. Hmm. Shit. Wait. Wow. To be honest, this kind of turned my whole worldview upside down. That's a... Uh, hmm. Hmm. That is a... Uh, damn. Damn. Damn, it's a good one. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. This one is Furbies. Let's see what this one's about. Do you care if I take the skin off the Furby? I want to make him a god. Once he is free of his sinful flesh, he begins the path towards enlightenment. You will take care of us. And I also I want to soft half his circuits. I literally could not care less, but never say anything as frightening as that ever again. My boyfriend is out of his mind. I will bend Furby to my will and strip his soul bare so you can post the update. Jesus Christ, due to popular demand. Look what you all have caused. I had to come home to this. Naked, pure, flayed. Ready for the next life. Oh my god. That is cursed. He looks like the skeletons from Five Nights at Freddy's. But worse. But way worse. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did I do this to myself? Ah, oh, this is cute. This is cute. Okay. Plague Doctor with Plague Docklings. Oh, look at them. Look at the adorable little business at birdies. Don't talk to me nor my three PhD students ever again. This is adorable. Oh my god. I need a plague dockling in my life. That's fucking adorable. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, time to awaken all the Night Vale people in the crowd. Alright. Pretty sure I drove through Nate Va Night Vale on my way home tonight. We invited the children of same-sex couples to listen, said the radio announcer. We invite the children of different sex couples to listen. We do not invite the children of the corn to listen. Not that there's anything wrong with that, a different voice cut in. Some of our best friends are realizing what he was saying was ridiculous. Corn. Beautiful. Fantastic. Also, I really want to know what the history is to that one. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Take a quick hydration break here before we move on to this one. <sighs> Alrighty. <clears throat> the radio channel I listen to has a guy who does the traffic report every morning and he's got fed up of saying basically there's no traffic because everyone is at home. 
that he started getting listeners to message him with the traffic that's in their home. Like, well, in Steve House in Surrey today, there's a massive delay between the bedrooms and the dining room table that is where Steve is working because the dog is lying in the doorway. The current recommended version is via the kitchen for a cup of tea. It's adorable and very funny. And oh my God, we're all going insane. Beautiful. Oh, I'm glad to hear it, astronaut. Love your name, by the way. Hey, I remember this music. I used it for one of the Sienna videos. Hang on, let me turn it up so you guys can hear it. Groovy. Beautiful. Alrighty. <clears throat> I just heard my mom say, you are very naughty. And then a meow, and then a softer voice saying, okay, but next time there will be consequences. And then another meow, and then a, you're right, probably not. This is literally how I talk to my cat, and I hate it. I hate it so much. <sighs> Beautiful. Okay. Glass headstones. Imagine a graveyard full of these on a sunny day. It would be so beautiful. I would position mine so that every day when the sun was in the right position, it would set fire to the roof of someone I hated, thus achieving revenge from beyond the grave every single day. There are two kinds of people. I'm not going to lie. I'd probably do the same thing. Okay. Boy. All right. Hello. This is Call for Aid. I saw a post a long time ago and was talking about who was the real hero in LOTR and the last part was talking about how they were two halves of the same hero. I've saved it, but I cannot find it. I would ask that you answer my call for aid. Someone call for his aid. What is it? I kind of got duped into reading that one, but I thought they were going somewhere with that one. But okay. All right. Uh, we will try to go for 20 more minutes. Because I think an hour of late night Tumblr reading live is actually going to drive me insane. All right. She was poetry, but he couldn't read. His name was Jared. He's 19. When his parents built a very strange machine. Watch that scene dig in the Dancing Queen. <laughs> hey, Macarena. Horrible job, people. You know what? I'll give you a solid 5 out of 10 for effort. There's a, I don't even know where to begin uncovering this. I, there's so many. There's so many you can do here. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Why? Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. Bermuda Triangle ship reappears 90 years after going missing. Havana, the Cuban Coast Guard, announced this morning that they had intercepted an unmanned ship heading for the island which is presumed to be SS Cotopaxi, a tramp streamer which vanished in December 1925 and has since been connected to the legend of the Bermuda Triangle, the Cuban authorities. The Cuban authorities have spotted the ship for the first time on May 16th, a near near a restricted military zone west of Havana. They have made un, they have made many unsuccessful ex ugh, I can't fucking talk right now. They made many unsuccessful attempts to communicate with the crew and finally mobilized three patrol boats to intercept it. When they reached it, they were surprised to find the ship had actually a nearly 100-year-old streamer identified as the Cotopaxi, a name famously associated with the legend of the Bermuda Triangle. Not now, Bermuda Triangle. I felt like this was a long time ago. This was like 2015, I think, is when this one happened, but... Okay. All right. <laughs> I have to do this in the Sentai Hero voice. I'm going to defeat you with the power of friendship and this gun I found. Damn. I have many questions why a Sentai Hero needs a revolver, but... All right. Okay. I literally struggle to believe that some people haven't tried Tib Tabs, Vegemite, Fairy Bread, Whiz Fizz, Chico's, Minties, or Kent and Caramel Koalas. You're missing so much. Are those street names for drugs? You know what? With how good Tim Tams are in Australia, they are a drug. Just dropping that right now. Okay. Oh, I forgot this was a thing. 
Take the shortcut, I hope you can keep up with me. Ha! <laughs> Speed is my middle name! Actually, it's Maurice, but don't tell anyone, okay? Every day of my life, I laugh about Sonic Maurice Hedgehog. So that's what their people want. So that's what people say when they're about to say SMH. Oh my god. Oh my god. It makes so much sense now. Beautiful. Also, I, I just realized I did the Sonic voice again. I'm sorry. Oh, it gets even worse, Ty. It gets even worse. Sonic has another name. Sonic has a legit name. If you get a chance to look it up, it'll blow your goddamn mind. All right. I was at Target today, and this little girl wanted to buy Halo 4. But this lady came up to her and said, Video games are for boys. This lady had a box of tricks in her cart, and so the girl grabs the box and said, And tricks are for kids. And ran off with the cereal and the game. Small child one, lady zero. This child wins in life. Oh, right. Okay, well, let's see. We got 15 minutes. We got 15 minutes. Let's find some goodies. Let's find... All right, here. Pocket Joe. He's never let us down. He has never let us down. Okay. Anime cliche with a big old raindrop manifest behind their head, lol. <laughs> Anime cliche where the screen fades to black and for a split second I see my reflection in the monitor and it's that of a broken person. Uh, are you okay? Anime cliche with a sea hot anime girl on the nosebleed. <laughs> My life is in shambles. Yeah, give it a refresh. Yep, that's there it is. Ogliev Maurice Hedgehog. Definitely understand why he went with Sonic. Okay. I know, it's it's bad. It's bad. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? The fuck is this? The fuck is this? Okay. <laughs> there's bad. And then there's Kingdom Hearts 3 having a car world. <laughs> Does Sora even know what a car is? <laughs> okay, I haven't played Kingdom Hearts 3. Can someone fucking validate? Is this... Is this legit? Is there a Cars 3 world of Kingdom Hearts? Is there? Please tell me there isn't, because I won't play if it's true. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? It's Sora McQueen. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> okay. All right. There's no cars world. Oh, thank God. I'm fucking losing my mind here. I'm cursed now. I feel like I'm going to like die in my sleep tonight because of Sora <laughs> the car. It just, no, I can't. Okay. This morning, I kind of flung out my hand while reaching for the alarm clock, and my heavy opal and silver thumb ring flew off and directly into the ceiling fan, which launched it across the room with a noise like a gunshot, so I automatically rolled out of my loft to drop six feet and take cover on the ground, just in time for my 20-pound weighted blanket to slide out of the loft and fall on my head. But otherwise, today has been pretty boring. Damn. Damn. Rough. That's rough, buddy. All right. Interesting fact about me is that I have a great memory, but I also have a shit memory. What this means in practice is I can recite any number of Simpsons scenes verbatim, but I can't remember what I did last week. Uh. Um. Um. Big mood. I did it. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Okay. No longer going to pursue a career. I'd like to be a rock, thanks. Metaphoric or igneous? Neither. Dwayne the. I don't... I don't think... I don't think you can do that. I think that's like identity theft. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Oh my god, so many new followers. Well, guys, welcome. Jesus. Twitch is gonna fucking explode on me. Alright. Oh, and that's that one. Uh... Oh, shut us all the way back down. Oh, 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 oh. See, Discord, Discord. Living up to your name. Okay. Oh. Oh, she's warmer to Tootsies. Oh. <laughs> Me acting like I did nothing wrong ever. <laughs> I 
hang on, hang on. He baked the beans. He baked the beans. I love it. Oh, it's adorable. Oh my god. Um, category chill sports game. Oh, I put chill as the subject because I thought that was the thing. I thought that was the thing you did when you're just doing a casual live thing. I didn't realize chill was an actual game. What the fuck? Alrighty. There's good stuff at the bottom. Oh, there is! You're right! Oh my god, I would have missed that. Okay. <clears throat> Last year, I was eating in a fancy large restaurant when I began to hear a rumble and a distant sound of people chanting, Potassium! Potassium! And suddenly, hundreds of people dressed as bananas fled this restaurant chanting potassium over and over again, and we were trapped there for a very long time because the bananas not would not leave, and they were everywhere. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> no fuck is this shit? I'm going fucking insane. Why? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hello. Yes. 999. I just ate a very moldy blueberry by mistake, and I'd like my tongue removed. Hold on. Hold on. 999. You mean 911? I think if I ordered an ambulance from America, I'd be a little bit scuppered since I live in England. It's a awfully long drive. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh god, people are chanting potassium in the chat. I'm terrified. I'm scared. I am legit scared. Thank you for the calming music, epidemic sounds. I knew I could count on you. Just turn it up a little bit. Okay. Okay. In Lord of the Rings, the word man is only used for human men. So now I'm imagining like, are you a man or a woman? I'm a hobbit, but what's in your trousers? Eh, mostly snacks. It's perfect. Perfect. I love it. Love everything about it. Alrighty. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm going to skip that one. That sounds... There we go. There we go. The graceful chanting of the Bulbasaurs. Why are a bunch of cabbages singing? <gasps> they are not cabbages. They are Bulbasaurs, you uncultured little shit. How dare you insult the Bulbasaurs like that? And those are not cabbages. Those are like tulip bulbs, I think. Whatever Venusaurs becomes. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. So, hang on, I gotta put the effect on. I gotta put the effect on to do this right. Hold on. Super Mash Potatoes! And you know what? Don't feel bad that you thought this was hilarious when you're drunk, because it's fucking gold right now. It's beautiful. I love it. Oh, my God. All right. Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. Okay, then I gotta... I can sit down and relax. This burned more energy than playing Oblivion for three hours. Okay. All right. Reblog. If your URL represents who you really are, I am really Putin's girlfriend. Then we have a problem. Um, I can explain. Beautiful. Welper. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> I took LSD last night and apparently drew this. I gotta... I wanna know. I wanna know who these characters are. And why are they a gift to the world? Alright, Rat44. Thanks for stopping by. I love it. Is it... Oh, it is JoJo! It is JoJo! Oh, that makes more sense. I love it. <laughs> It took me a hot fucking second there. Is this the guy from Unfortunate Events? You know? Lemon Snickers. Lemon Snickers. <laughs> Many bad things. <laughs> Citrus eye fructose corn syrup sugar vesicle. An arrangement of deplorable affairs. Fruit candy. Uh oh. Sour bar. Fuck. <laughs> Yellow stick. Ah! 
Oh my god that is that is the best that uh guys i know there's been so many late night temper posts but this is legitimately one of the best ones oh this is so good oh my god okay it's one weird ass rabbit are you blind it's got a shell it's obviously a turtle i mean i don't know i don't, I don't know don't know. I don't know anymore. Oh god, okay, here we go. The fact that Daedra had to stop opening gates in Black Marsh because the Argonians kept reverse invading them is so funny to me. <laughs> Just like, we're invading. No, we're invading. The Daedra invades Argonians throwing hands. <laughs> Who's the Daedra now, ass wagon? <laughs> We've come from a realm of flame and death to conquer you. The Argonians. Psst. It's free real estate. Oh my god. That's beautiful. I def oh my god. <clears throat> Whew. Whew, I feel I feel life leaving from my body a little bit. I'm gonna ascend. I'm gonna ascend when this is over. Okay. Oh, where's that one again? Okay. Um no one likes to be around an Eeyore. Excuse me, Eeyore had tons of friends. Your statement is potentially untrue according to Winnie the Pooh canon. The whole point of Eeyore's characters was that despite his depression, he had tons of friends and always ex was included in their lives. This is very important. It is very important. Always hang out with your depressed friends when you can. When they want to. If they say no, just don't try to push it. Well, that's that one. Uh... Oh my god. Oh my god. <clears throat> Link's hair got longer in Breath of the Wild, and Zelda's hair is getting shorter in Breath of the Wild too. Therefore, I propose that Nintendo is making them look more similar to each other to foreshadow their eventual fusion into Hyrule's ultimate defender, Linda. This is cursed. I will destroy Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> The Legend of Linda, Linda's Awakening. <laughs> oh, astronaut, I love you. Don't bless your goddamn heart. I love it. <laughs> I don't. Solo Ninja, I don't know if I have a favorite voice. All of them are kind of a gift. They're beautiful. Maybe the nerdy voice, like like this one. This, I like doing this one. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god, this is about to be a mood. I think. In fourth grade, I was introduced to the concept of running sentences by my teacher, and I immediately raised my hand and pointed out that none of the sentences being used as an example were actually grammatically wrong at all, and they were just longer than most people can comfortably write and read, and she made me sit in the corner, and I felt like that shows a lot of my typing style on this hell side. <gasps> run on sentences are ADH cult ADHD culture. Oh, my God, they are. Beautiful. Big old mood. Okay. <laughs> Age verification. Are you over teen? Yes or no? I am. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm going to get the effect. I am the over teen. All bow before the over teen. You are the dancing queen. You're a sweet only over teen. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Linda, Winda, stop! <laughs> Blue Vortex, what have you done? I'm trying to focus here, god damn it! Okay. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> vampire dude to his vampire friend. Wow, looks like there's only one coffin. What will we do? Oh, the vampire dude who reads a lot of fan fiction. We could share it. And they were two mates. Oh my god, they were two mates. <laughs> This is basically, oh, it's art. That is a gift. <laughs> Did you drink your over tea today? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 
I think people often underestimate the potential educational value of senseless memes. For example, thanks to Spiders George, literally every teenager on Tumblr has a reasonable grasp of what a statistical outlier is and the sorts of problems that outliers can introduce into a naive analysis. There are grown adults who don't get it. I deal with them on a daily basis. Memes have educational value. Actually, statistical error. Average memes teaches zero facts. Spider George is an outlier. ADN should not be counted. Should not be counted so you guys can see that. Oh my god. I feel like I need some history there. Okay. Uh, we got three minutes. Three minutes. We gotta find a good one. Okay. Alright, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Can you please put your crying child on vibrate? I can't stop laughing. Cause I just imagine this kid screaming and, and the mom pulls a remote out of their mom bag. First off, love it. And presses A button on the child. Just starts to violently shake. And the look of terror in the kid's face. They try to make noise, but they just vibrate. Dear God. Oh, fucking beautiful. I love it. Okay. Let's see. Damn. Damn. Damn, that's a lot of phone charms. How much damage does this do if I hit someone with it? Fuck done! There's Kyogre right there, him alone will fuck him up! Good lordy. I don't know. Mom bag, what's a mom bag? I think they meant purse, but they didn't know the word for purse, so they were just like, mom bag. I love it. Okay, alright. Okay, we got time for probably two more. <clears throat> Writing prompt. The zombie outbreak started two years ago. Now you find yourself cornered by a decaying, zomb decaying zombie when you do the unthinkable and bite it first. When it falls to the floor and grows its skin back and sits up and asks, what is going on? Oh my god, this may be the best subverse idea for zombie apocalypse stories I think I've ever seen. It's time to bite back. I love it. I love it. Oh my god. I want that story so badly now. Isn't that warm bodies though? Sort of the similar concept. Zombies coming back to being humans. I think. I don't know. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Alright, this is the last one. This is the last one. The Flat Earth Society bought a $2,000 super accurate laser gyroscope to prove the Earth doesn't rotate 15 degrees per hour, and they kept getting results that prove that it does. So they keep altering the test to try and make it not drift 15 degrees, but it didn't work. So they just said, well, we still don't believe it, and we have other stuff that proves it, so whatsoever. So whatever. Remember that it's impossible to reason with people who are willfully ignorant. That is the truest statement in all of the world, and I love it. Alrighty. Well, this has been quite a goddamn adventure. That was like, I normally do 20 for a video. This was, I think, like 55 if somebody was keeping track. I'm just guessing at the top of my head, because this, this was a lot. This was a lot. Whew. Well, that's going to be fun to cut down, but um, I guess because this is one of my videos about late night Tumblr, I should probably, uh, hold on, let me just close, close that, close that. I suppose I should end it on an interrupting scream. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later, and uh, here comes the scream. It is time to cleanse your mind with getting wet on main thoughts. But Tumblr, when you wake up because something hits you, you technically got knocked conscious. Cracking your knuckles is an activated ability with a cooldown. Don't know what the ability is when you do it, but it's an ability. Being naked is our default setting. If you left five minutes earlier, you wouldn't have to drive like an asshole, Stan. According to Monsters, Inc., since monsters cannot touch something that has been touched by a child, hiding under the covers would protect you. Oh my god, it all makes sense now. Social media would have failed if the infinite scroll didn't exist. If you made $180,000 a day since the birth of Christ, Jeff Bezos would still have more money than you. If you clank teeth while kissing, 
Your skeletons are touching. <laughs> the earth is actually 100% land. That happens to be 71% covered by water. Damn. Then think about this. People named Will who respond will do in an email sound like they're caveman. <laughs> Fucking peanut brain who will do. The oldest picture of you is also the youngest picture of you. And vice versa. If you smell burning toast, it's too late. You're either having a stroke, or your bread is black and burned, and you're late for school. Love is eating the burnt pancakes so someone else can have the good ones. That is love right there. If someone in your dream tells you a joke you haven't heard before, you invented it. Garlic is to food what bass guitar is to music. Shit, I need to put more garlic in my music then. Just realize cowboys go yee-haw and ninjas go hee-haw. I want to go back to five seconds ago when I didn't have this thought. I hate it. You want to go to bed to end the damn day, but you don't want to go to bed to make tomorrow come faster. Brain bad. Puberty is the body's software update. Well, no wonder why we were all so miserable. And finally... The Kardashians are shaped like ants. And people. They're coming, and they're going to take over everything. Starting with all of our dirt mounds. And this has been Watch Out for the Ant People. By Tumblr. Hello, welcome to my channel, Brett Builds Bricks. Today, I build a Lego tree. Son, are you recording your Lego builds on the internet again? Yeah. Dude, that's rad! I wonder what that cool guy leaning on the lamppost is thinking about. Wonder if you could start a farm to farm people's toenails. Do people buy toenails? Maybe. So cool. Hey, yo, welcome to the Ben Dick Club. How does one join the Ben Dick Club? Why, it's simple. You take off your dick and you throw it, and if it comes back, you're already a member. You're not... You're, you're not supposed to take off your dick. Sir, the quarantine has weakened us. We have become fat. Fool boy! Have you lost all faith in yourself? You know what it takes to become fit again. You have the power within yourself to do it. We turn this fat into raw power. Oh boy, now the Greek goddess name for me to fuck up. Here we go. <clears throat> Atreus was the goddess of warmth and heroism. However, she was mute. A forgotten goddess, unable to answer prayers. Only one man left prayed to her. A hunter by the name Hermes. Oh, fuck. Although she could not answer his prayers, she did all she could do, which was listen to him. She longed to meet him in person. The only one left who remembered her. However, she was betrothed to Epitatus, the god of dabbing. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, breakfast time. Oh god, oh fuck, it's my favorite cereal. I sure do like when nothing bad happens. Hark, fair maiden, the crusaders are here to save you. Oh, finally, let me grab my zodiac calendar and essential oils and... Uh, oh. I'm sorry, I don't care if your wife was kidnapped. I only take stabbing cases. This man has been stabbed, but by whom? This man's dead. He smoked ten pounds of meth. Brave warrior, before you start your life in another world, I will grant you one wish for your next life. Oh, I smoke elf meth. Uh, uh, no. <clears throat> she? Sir, what filth is in this settlement? An ancient evil. One of the primordial false gods. Followers of Haruhi Suzumiya. Hello! Hello, Twitch chat. It is I, Skullman. Did you hydrate today? Did you hide? Hang on, I'm tilting my head in confusion. Did you hydrate? You better have. Uh, corrupted Wolf? I'm looking at you. Did you hydrate? Amanda? Zara? Did you, Did you do it? Pink Tiger, what about you? Did you hydrate? Hmm. I see a bunch of people who didn't hydrate. All right. Well then, farewell! And yeah, okay. We're good. Here's me doing late night Tumblr posts. Very, very tired and grumpy. But it's okay. Might be funny. Okay, which one of you clowns asked for an E.E.S. sequel? I'm not mad. I just want to talk. 
into Yasha. Oh, oh, you're first. Wait, 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 wait. Now it's too late. You're already sniped. How to make a baked potato. Butter, kitty, foil, no shoes. Behold, consume it if you dare. Today I learned a philosophy riddle from 1688 was recently solved. If a man bore blind could feel the differences between shapes such as spheres and cubes, could he, if given the ability, distinguish those objects by sight alone? In 2003, five people had their sight restored through surgery, and no, they could not. I love when apparently deep questions turn out to have clear empirical answers. <laughs> wow. Your favorite is problematic. Santa. What? Judgmental as hell. Uses reindeer slaves and doesn't even have a pilot's license. I don't know what made me want to Google does Santa Claus have a pilot's license, but I'm really glad I did because apparently he received one from the U.S. Assistant Secretary of Commerce with the directors of aeronautics as a witness in 1927. Holy shit, Santa's real. What the fuck? My dad has a doppelganger named Eric. For years, people have been coming up to him thinking he was Eric. Sometimes people get a whole conversation going while my dad stands there politely wondering why this stranger is talking to them before they stop wide-eyed and realize you're not Eric. None of us have ever seen Eric, but we know he's out there. Sometimes a couple years will go by without an Eric incident and we worry. But then my dad will come home like, good news guys, Eric's still alive. I've met his cousin today. They're putting all kinds of stuff in a sandwich recently. Check it out when you have the chance. If you're wondering why I said it like that, that's what I am. Life is an egg. Can you kindly explain, please? Has chickens in it sometimes. I mean, it's not wrong. It's not wrong. Why every male protagonist in a horror game called Ethan? They know what they did. Arguably the most ominous reply on any of my posts. Seriously, what did Ethan do? So I was writing a small paper in Microsoft Word, and the program suddenly crashed. I saved a couple minutes before, thank God. And then I get this message in the corner of my screen two seconds afterward. Microsoft Word is now playing Elder Scroll V Skyrim. What the fuck? It's a whole new level of procrastination where your paper itself is procrastinating. Also, the paper just got good taste in video games. I think we should... Hold on. Hang on. I gotta do that one more time. I think we should have glow stick juice injected in our bones when we're born. So if we break them, there's a fun little surprise. What? Oh, it's the surprise. Oh, you know. Blood poisoning. The Drive-In Church Worship Guide. <laughs> I'm sorry. The Drive-In Church Worship Guide. Parking lights on, I am ready to worship. Headlights on, I am singing along. Right turn signal, raising one hand in worship. Wipers on, lifting both hands in worship. Honking, preach it, amen, right on. Left turn signal, I want to ask for forgiveness of my sins. Hazard lights, I'm in need of prayer. And spraying washer fluid, I would like to be baptized. I'm just going to assume this is how church works in the Cars universe. <laughs> what the fuck? Furry found a Wikipedia article edited anonymously from the U.S. House of Representatives. Yo, someone in Congress is a furry and we'll never find out who. Cards Against Humanity founder threatens to publish web history of Congress members in privacy bill protest. Or will we? When someone from a different time zone is late night blogging and it's daytime where you are. This is what this gif, well, technically picture for me is destined to be. This is also probably what it feels like when I say late night Tumblr post and I upload it at 12 p.m. And somebody's just like, what the hell? It's like 5 a.m. where I am. Why are you doing this? It's not late. All right. Guys, time zones are a thing. Look them up. Look at a globe. Why is every author a number one best-selling author? Why is every toothpaste the number one recommended toothpaste? Why do my parents hate me? Why is every movie the number one movie in America? I love that mayhem is a legal term. Like, you can be charged with mayhem. It's like arresting someone for funny business. The jury finds the defendant guilty on all accounts of tomfoolery, japing, and generally taking the piss. 
causing a ruckus they are. American things that are surely fictional. Donald Trump, blue raspberry, wearing shoes indoors, and Texas? Actually, I can vouch for Texas. My brother lives there. I would like to add to the list, your brother. Every time I tell someone about my potato allergy, they go, Oh, that sucks. I can't imagine not eating fries and mashed potatoes. And I'm like, oh, rest assured. Neither God nor the devil himself can stop me from trebucting. <laughs> I don't even know how to say this word when I'm tired. Trebucting hot spoonfuls of starchy face swelling, throat itching good shit into my dumb as hell gaping potato receptacle. Kramer, I'm still not over the fact that you thought the potato sweats were a thing. I simply assumed we were all willing to suffer for our passions. I mean, we are, but Kramer, you're dying. <laughs> If you step on a person's foot, they open their mouths like trash cans. Why the fuck this shit? This is stupid. VRB, stabbing Caesar. Ouch. You had it coming, Caesar. He only had himself to blame. If you'd had been there, if you'd had seen it, I bet you would have done the same. Physically speaking, I'm alive and at home. Emotionally, I've been dead at the bottom of a ravine in Vermont for like 11 days, and they just discovered my body due to heavy snowfall burying me for the past week. Mood. <gasps> a skeleton. And there are two of you. Perfect. You'll be Skella 1, and I guess Skella 2 or whatever. No. no. Well, I can't think of anything else. Let me just check Microsoft Word. <gasps> Wait, oh my god. Shut the fuck up, Dad. It's not Alvin and the fucking Chipmunks. It's Nightcore. Please shut the fuck up. Uh, hello there. General Kenobi. Car, 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 car. The therapist. The Stalin car isn't really can't hurt you. <laughs> the Stalin car. Kachiga <laughs> camera. <laughs> Trebucheing. 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 Trebuche. The word you had a problem with is pronounced trebucheing. Ayo, treb. You shay. PM. Treb. You shy. Trebuche is pronounced like crocket. Trebucheing. Trebucheing is pronounced like trebucheing. Trebucheing. Parentheses. Trey. Parentheses. Parentheses. Boo. Parentheses. Parentheses. Shy. Parentheses. Parentheses. Ing. Parentheses. You're welcome. Um, it's Trebucheing. 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 Uh, I think it's pronounced Trebucheting. Trebucheing is how you pronounce that word. Trey. Boo. Shading. You shade. Trebucheing. Kind of like a catapult, but different. Uh, I can tell you now for certain. Persephone part two, Chibuggy Boogaloo. It's pronounced Treb Yi Shane. Yo, seriously, Treb you Shane. Treb you Shane? Shane? How to pronounce Trebuche? Tree Bia Shai. Did you seriously fail to pronounce Trebuche? Trebuche is pronounced Tree Bia. Nice video, PM. But it's pronounced Trey Bia. Apollo. Artemis. Zillies. Her at Hannah. Hey, fro. Daddy. Hems. Ours. D matter. Poseidon. Bacchus. Hephaestus. Yeah, D's. Hey, it's Lace. Poba. Errors. Um, that's he's T. G A O. Salad. Nice. Oh, hell, iOS. Saturn. Persephone. You were expecting correct pronunciation, but it was me, Dionys! Once I saw King of the Hill on someone's list of irredeemable problematic interests, and like, I'm not saying there's not bad stuff in King of the Hill, but the idea of someone getting called out for liking King of the Hill is going to kill me. Bobby, it ain't easy for me to say this, and you'll have to excuse my language, but... Gosh darn it, I got cancelled today. Hank, the only reason you got cancelled was because of the cabal of Soviet militiamen who have infiltrated our nation's McDonald's and other fine dining establishments. They know what you eat and when, and they know if you are quote-unquote woke or quote-unquote unwoke. And you have been deemed unwoke! 
It's only a matter of time before they cancel you like they canceled the real George Bush in 87. Oh, Hank, if we have to stop standing you and you have to get divorced, can I have Peggy? Hey, yo, man, talking about yo, man, dibs on Peg Dangle, that night's nice dangle real on woke stuff, man. Talking about dangle, the hashtag build those trees over party, man. Shoot. It is time to cleanse your mind with, oh my god, he did a serious intro for once. So close. By Tumblr. If everyone was to agree that tomorrow is a Friday, then it literally is. You win some, you lose some is almost exclusively said when you lose some. People with depression can find the simple things overwhelming, like responding to a text. So when they do feel like they are themselves enough to get back to you, do not give them shit for their late reply. It is an added weight that might kill future conversations. Please. There is a difference between saying, I'm sorry, and I apologize, which becomes extremely apparent when you're at a funeral. The most depressing job in the world must be the person who adds audience laughter to sitcoms. In movies, there are two kinds of events, human-sized events, and events that are big enough only for the smallest, least experienced member of the group. <laughs> Telling somebody what doesn't happen is still a spoiler. Oh yeah, I guess. It is common knowledge that pregnant women can be irritable due to hormonal changes. Yet, when a teenager behaves differently during puberty, they are usually considered rude. Huh. If our parents were good at receiving feedback as they are in giving feedback, the world would have been a better place. Sharon? You're beautiful on the inside sounds pitying, but you're beautiful on the outside sounds even worse. A vampire who falls in love with a human technically has a food fetish. Maybe Scar really meant out Mufasa, but being a cat, he couldn't stop himself from knocking something off of a high place. Damn. Blinking is the plural of winking. When you learn a language, you internally only think of it as a translation of your original language, instead of reading it in the new language. Damn. Justin Bieber is older than Post Malone. Wow. Given the world's population, saying you're one in a million is the same as saying there are thousands of others like you. And finally, it's possible genies existed until someone wished they didn't. And this has been Who the Fuck Do I Have to Throw Hands At? by Tumblr. Hey, welcome to our rat stand. You want to buy some rats? What's it made of? The, the rats. Oh, there's hair on this rat. Mm -hmm. Oh, great wishing hydro flask of Walla Walla. Grant me my request. I wish I just had, like, one to two really close friends that message me every day, would share memes with me and tag me in pictures because some days I am really lonely. Take this gold. That's not what I asked for. Take it back. Hey, it's me, the cat. I want to go to Costco and eat hot dogs. No, cat, I'm not taking you to Costco. <laughs> this is Beep. She cannot fit through doors. She will starve. Third annual Cowabunga Day is June 5th. You tell your friends how much you care about them in the most aggressive way possible. I love you. What if, like, this whole comic is just the imagination of a very sick child in a hospital, and all they have is their slipping sanity and socks are left to entertain themselves? Yeah, I don't know, man. Okay, time to go ghost hunting. Time for an equipment check. Shit a camera, probably a camera phone on a phone from, like, the early 2000s? Check. Obscure voice recorded from the 90s? Check. Uncontrollable shaking, so the picture never stays center. Check. <laughs> Look, an Oreo. Yes, I also like black and white sandwich cookie. Does the Mona Lisa smile, or is she emotionless? She has a beautiful smile. Get the fuck out of here, other timeliner. Nah, this timeline's ours now, native. Hey, can my grandpa play Halo with us? He said he used to play it in high school. Yeah, okay, I guess. What the fuck? Why is this old man so good? Ah, gamer, you're just bad. Get wrecked, bitch. My life goal is to become a ghost. But, like, the scariest ghost. Like, I want to be so badass that teenagers will dare each other to fuck with my grave, and I will make them shit themselves. Hey, man, that's cool, but, like, are you gonna order something or just stand there and greet me out? Yo, I'm about to close combat at level 100 blissing on Diamond and Pearl. Yo, that's a good way to pass time during quarantine. I found an old PC monitor, so I decorated it a little. What website is that? 
the only good one. Yeah, just some totally normal pictures of Waluigi and Wario. Okay, so literally no one has guessed all the things I changed this pic, surprisingly. So, their pink noses are now flesh-toned, their blue eye bags have been removed, and their pupils have been doubled to a more normal size. Wow, so all they need is more sleep in their vine. Name two more relatable characters. Why does well-rested Wario look like me? Beetles compromise 25% of all animal species. That means one in four animals is probably a beetle. Is it you? Is it your best friend? How could you be sure? You know, Ringo could be living in your backyard without you even knowing. I don't think anyone would be surprised if they found Ringo just hanging out in the garden. Both of you, to assume he wouldn't be hanging out in an octopus's garden. Uppercase and lowercase cats. Oh my god! My German Shepherd is crazy. Every once in a while I catch him doing this. What, what, what is he doing? He's becoming self-aware. Why must I be like that? Why must I chase the cat? Hashtag team, we have no idea where the fuck we are. They look like the choose your character menu in a video game or something. Except Dean's facing the wrong way? Well, that's because Dean hasn't been unlocked yet. All I want to do is see you turn into a giant bagel, a giant bagel. All I want to be is someone who gets to see a giant bagel. And now an important PSA about when your car is smoking. Like, literally smoking from the engine. Why don't you smell pancakes? It's the coolant. Panic and pull over, but you'll live. A slight blue tinge? It's the oil. Panic and pull over, but you'll live. Gray looks like fire smoke? Gasoline, the most combustible and dangerous. Pull over and leave the vehicle and pray. Sharing because I didn't know this when my car started smoking white yesterday and I was so afraid for my life. Reblogging because a dear friend of my mom with mechanic experience told me the same thing when I got my license. Save a life! Now, video games have made me violent, but they have made me feel like I'm supposed to pick this up. I really like stickers, but at the same time, I don't because you stick them somewhere and that's it. It's finished. I'm just uh, emotionally stable enough for that responsibility. I've been waiting for this post my whole life. I was trying to explain this to someone one day and they basically told me I was crazy. My pronoun of choice is they. By your one person. Nah, <laughs> look at this person who doesn't know that MB people are just a swarm of bees in disguise. Release the non bee diaries. And look, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Why do you think one of the terms is NB? I am a simple woman. I hear the Pirates of the Caribbean music. I become gripped with the urge to don pirate garb and fight cursed skeletons upon the open sea. Mood. Today, my girlfriend said, you know, when Donkey asked Shrek what his name is, Shrek pauses before he says Shrek, and I'm convinced he just came up with it on the spot. We weren't even talking about Shrek. I can't stop thinking about it, or how lucky I am to be with her. Also, that's a good point! I know what you are. You're impossibly fast and strong. Your skin is pale white and ice cold. Your eyes change color and you never eat or come out into the sun. Say it. Frosty the Snowman. This guy did the coolest but most probably illegal DIY project ever. The end result? Genius. He made LaCroix? Nah, that's too much flavor for LaCroix. Um, it's pronounced LaCroix? It's pronounced... <laughs> However you want to fucking say it, because the name's stupid. Hey, yo, that Blissey. She dead yet? <sighs> no. Today I learned that the Arctic Shrew is so territorial if that two are placed together, one will drop dead within a few days, even without physical injuries. My god. A five-day telepathic battle. When my parrot want pets off someone, he'll go up to them, say, Hello, and lower his head to expose his neck. Recently, however... He's been doing this to a pitch black crevice behind the couch. Even trying to call the darkness with kissy noises and getting sad when the void won't pet him. How do I explain that dark chasms are not his friend? There's a ghost in there. A damn rude one too! Pat the bird! A geel. A red A. Aristo Demos. Capsule. A toe. Cronus. You're a dice. But don't make me hesitate. Levios. <laughs> Ick. A ruse. Man, I can't even say this for real. Climb time in this chair. Narc is us. Mother. Peg asses. Fane toss. Psych. Flander. Your nose. <sighs> I got a chills. Francis. Kerbers. Jushon. Lickus. Yo. Her. A class. Panikore. Okay, I think it's time for me to draw my own OC. How should I do it? Faithfully, with big titties, 
And give her those mattress-sized thighs while you're at it. Daddy knows what he likes. And now here's some highlights from the Twitch things. Thank you, Discord. You haven't let me down. Okay. My dad may be peanut butter and jelly 2.0. When you close it, and you get nine different flavor combinations. Rose, jam, honey, marshmallow, and columns, crunchy, Nutella, and creamy. Sweet Jesus, take the wheel. I need that. In my life. That looks like it had taken forever to make. And I fucking want it. There we go. I feel like I was going way off rhythm on that one. But whatever. It's done. We got the joke. Okay. All right. Mood already. I'm going to draw today. 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 Mission failed. Big old. Hey, soldier, come me. Bam, bam, down. That's what I thought. You don't mess with. I I know how to do it now. I'm brave. I know how to shout. <laughs> shout dead. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. I can do this. Dead! There we go. I did it. I did it for all of you. God, I feel like, I feel like the chat is this, this feels like one of those Twitch play things. Wake up. Wake up, I've got, Wake up. I got shit for about. you. Let's see what we can do. All right, how many bottles of meat did I steal? 111! <laughs> how am I carrying all Jesus Christ! Here you go! Face, look at me. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I'm not running! Look at me go! Woo! Wee! Land. Guess what then? It's time for you to get a haircut! Come here, granddad. I'll touch you right in the tooth. Ow! That's right. That's right. <gasps> no! ARE YOU FUCKING SERIOUS?! Oh no! I hate it. Oh my god! How are you feeling today? Happy, confident, excited, I feel hollow, the void. It is time to cleanse thy mind. Oh, Saturated aquatic subconscious idea making. My Tumblr. The only difference between laziness and efficiency is whether the people judging you find what you're doing useful or not. Nemo's entire class saw him get kidnapped right in front of them before also seeing his father disappear into the ocean after him and not come back. The class and teacher probably thought they had just witnessed two deaths. That's got to be an unbelievably horrifying first day of school for them. Sometimes we mourn not just what we have lost, but what we'll never have. ASAP could also be as slow as possible. There needs to be a universally agreed upon adhesive strength for sticker labels. Seriously. TLDR is literally the TLDR for our too long didn't read. And also going back to the previous one, could also mean too long did read. Smoking a bong uses all four elements. Blaze it up, Avatar. If you shorten cigarette to cigar, you're talking about a different thing. But if you shorten cigar to cig, you're back to talking about cigarettes. What? You only spend part of your life with your pet. Your pet spends their whole life with you. If someone did a study that proved flat earthers have low IQ, they would probably start believing that the IQ test is a hoax. In a perfect world, we could have Lego libraries where you could borrow Lego sets to build. Fuck yes. Hard drugs are more common the closer you go to either side of the economic spectrum. Being in your early 20s is weird because kids talk to you like an adult, but adults talk to you like a kid. That's why we were miserable. Now I'm 30. 
So now I get to talk to you all condescendingly like, but I won't, but I could. It's strange that cops don't wear red and blue light up sketchers. Unicorns could have been poorly described or rhinos. Insurance companies would save so much more money if they didn't spend our money constantly replaying annoying commercials telling us how much money we'll save. The hero who sacrifices himself never gets to see the happy ending. A warning of a spoiler is a spoiler of the upcoming spoiler. So what this tells me is just don't talk about movies ever for the rest of your life. Just don't do it, I guess. Batman has a really ineffective mask during these unprecedented times. A piece of paper has six sides. Thanks, I hate it. Being scared of deep water is being scared of heights, but in the water, I hate it. Your pet may have also named you. They probably call it you sprinkles. And finally, if 5G towers really controlled minds, then they'd send out signals saying, do not destroy me. And this has been stop blowing up towers. I need them for work for the love of God. By Tumblr. Yeah, the worst part about liking classical music is when you forget the name of a piece and you can't Google the lyrics because there are none. No results found for there was a really good bit with the flute. Oh, man. Oh, horse. There are only two moods. I want to kiss. And I want to dead. Actually, there is one more. I want to eat this fresh baked bread, yo. If you say anything, Homophobic in June, this truck comes out of nowhere and crushes you like that bus crush Regina George. Hey look, it's Optimus Pride. Why do you guys keep making videos about exposing the dark side of Pokemon? Just stop doing that. I can't. Salamence fucked my wife. A new drinking game idea. If you see this post, you illegally have to drink some water. Self care time, bitch. Consider this a threat. My roommate claiming that our house is haunted because she saw a ghost! And me living in the same house for more than 200 years without seeing anything strange. I've been here longer than you, I've never seen a ghost here. I had to read that like four times before my brain actually got it. Same. Yo, these Netflix ads make it look like a fighting game. Smash Bros. Netflix Edition. If you don't main Pee Wee, then what the fuck are you doing? You guys ever think about how your skeleton's always wet? I wish I never had, but thanks for ruining my life. Don't worry, there'll come a time when it's not. Thanks! Even worse. Man, I hate when people ask me what I'll be doing this year. Come on, guys, I don't have any idea what's happening anymore. Turns out nobody had 2020 vision. I think monks and druids are the funniest possibility for evil characters. Like you've achieved inner peace and harmony with nature, but you're just a fucking bastard about it. If you want to achieve enlightenment, you're gonna have to go through me. A rare photo of SCP-173 on a Foundation supervised trip to Mexico. Aw, looks happy. I have three moods. Skips every song, lets the music play without interruption, and plays the same song on repeat for days. <sighs> Fucking cute vampire girl. Oh, help, I'm falling glamorously and can't get out. All the other mannequins just look like they're so sick of his shit. Like, oh, God damn it, Jerry's at it again. <laughs> so, like, I follow this sub, right, called r slash chairs underwater. And the whole sub is just chairs underwater. It's a great experience. Nothing more to say, really. Just some of our boys underwater. Yeah, just some lads. Today, a kid at work climbing up a tree felt the need to tell his friend, This tree is only for boys and girls. So obviously his friend was like, um, that means it's for everyone. To which I responded, you know, some people aren't boys or girls. And the boy climbing the branch added his hot take of, yeah, some people are pirates. Well, you heard it here. The new non-binary pride flag. Yarr. The following is the skull of the owl monkey. Um, actually... I think this is the skull of an anime girl, and here's my proof. Fucking hate it. When you fuck up something first thing in the morning. Wakey wakey, big mistake. It is time to cleanse your mind with dummy, thick humidity, headaches with pictures and ideas. By Tumblr. Did you die? A question never asked before video games. You are always one decision away from a radically different life. Someone is eating the biggest french fry without knowing it. That goes back to the whole, you know, one decision away from radically changing your life. 
Why did you eat the giant french fry, Stan? There are people who won't believe people landed on the moon, but will believe that Bill Gates has microchips to go in our bloodstream to track us with no power source. Yeah. If your pet makes a specific noise around you for attention, that's them naming you. Sleeping late is considered lazy, but waking up early and taking an afternoon nap is fine, Sharon. Spider-Man is proof that sewing is still an essential skill for men. Naughty is a word that changes its use the older one gets. All doors really have six sides, not two. Thanks, I hate this one too. If a bag of chips were 100% chips, it would just be a block of chips. Fair point. The space battles in Star Wars must be scarily quiet. Damn. Someone having an obsessive crush with someone else is the most versatile storyline ever. It could be anywhere from a romantic comedy to a horror movie with that base plotline. Or sometimes a really bad sitcom that lets the thing not end for like 20 seasons. Ross? The scariest fucking thing is hearing a crunch when eating something that doesn't crunch. Yeah. Two dudes rode a dragon into space on the back of a falcon. Yes, <laughs> base launch jokes. And finally, I'm terrified for 2020. The sequel is always worse than the original. And this has been I Agree, fam. I agree. My Tumblr. It's dangerous to scroll alone. Take this. Proceeds to bap all the posts I don't like with this. Yo, my worry cat OC Smokeweed is much cooler and more stronger than any of your other cats, so don't even try it. My warrior cat is named Mountain Dew and he's lime green and has a sick mohawk. Oh, please take everything I own. Behold, Neapolitan Cerberus. <gasps> Good quality content! 10 out of 10! Oh my god. Oh my god! You know, the opposite of formaldehyde is casual the Jekyll. I can't believe I read this post with my own fuck eyes. When you don't have enough money to pay for daycare and dog sitting. Oh my god, no! Out! No! <laughs> Why? Me stands up, my blood vessels. What the fuck did you do? A chunk of ice surrounded off by a river current. Step here to trigger the boss battle with the River Serpent God. Hello, Vendor. Give me one anxiety, please. A significant number of people breathe through only one nostril at a time. This is involuntary or conscious, by the way. Bodies are just fucked up that way. Hold your finger up to your nose to check which nostril you're using. And it switches every few hours. <laughs> so you fuckers did not enjoy this post, huh? Me when I see a cute outfit, a cool drawing, a Tumblr post that sticks with me, or have a really weird dream I remember in vivid detail. You could make an OC out of this! People are starting to put out hummingbird feeders. You all know what that means. <gasps> the plague doctors are returning. Nature is healing. It is the orb of dominance! This is probably the funniest joke in Minecraft Dungeons. Kind of obsessed with the idea of the rest of the gang leaving Toph and Zuko to watch over some cooking food, and when they come back, it's burnt, and Katara starts fuming. But Toph and Zuko are like, We never stepped inside a kitchen in our lives, and we only have one eye between us. If anything, it's your fault. I mean, it's not wrong. If you don't think JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is the most batshit insane story of all time, then you're wrong. I'm at a point where the half-Velociraptor reincarnation of a hundred-year-old psychic British vampire is investigating a 14-year-old girl who's trying to rip Jesus' heart out of the President of the United States' body by seducing his lesbian wife! For the record, everything about this sentence is pretty much true. Yeah, steel ball run in a nutshell, am I right? Passed out at a London bus stop. Woke up to this. Go with him. He wants to show you something. Probably one of his fake-ass paintings that he tells you is real. Bedtime was half an hour ago. My six-year-old just walked out bleary-eyed and asked his father if a duck is a predator. Some things are too important to go to bed without knowing. My love language is the same as a crow. If you're nice to me, I'll bring you useless little trinkets from my travels that made me think of you. And if you're an internet friend, it comes in the form of memes at 2 a.m. Yeah, big mood. 
He said he was already thinking about moving anyway because of all the night clowns. The what? I think he was talking about you playing at 3 a.m., King. <gasps> ah! Okay, bye. Can we just take a moment and think about the time my dad accidentally made a fried egg that looks exactly like Africa? I'm actually the most impressed by the fact the egg also has a Madagascar. Madagascar. Trying to deny that you might actually like a certain character. It's total fabrication. Pure fiction. Not a chance. Wrong. No. No way. It never happened. It totally did. Whoa. Leg day, bro. You're an embarrassment to this whole gym. It looks like a potato of four toothpicks. Slicing my ham. Death is on its way, human. Okay. Can I cuddle death and give death chin scritches and kisses? Scritches cannot postpone the inescapable fate ordained to you, human. However, they may hurt you, person love rubs. Someone reading my writing. Wow, that's a great story. Me sticking my hands in the plot holes. Thanks. It has pockets. Yo, you emo bitches okay? I'm fine, thank you for asking. Though recently, there has been a darkness growing within me. I just learned that a Japanese term for seahorse is Tatsuno Otoshigo, and it literally means dragon's illegitimate child. Look at him. He's a bastard. Whoa, who do we fight? Anyone not wearing a primary color? This is my favorite line in the show. Oh my god, my tears. The three stages of a cat yawn. The tiny little all mouth. The sticky the tongue out real far. And stage five, blame. Love writing stories and making a half slice of life plot, half important plot stuff thing. One minute it's like, ah, oh, the main character's crush on a girl and doesn't know how to tell her. Then the next is like, hey bro, you know what would be pretty cool? If we killed God. Ah oh, yes, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. I think you mean, oh yes, the four human emotions, secondhand embarrassment, frustration, gay, and sadness. I identify with all four. I guess that means I am a homestuck. How many ass do you get in a day, Puckachow? Depends on how active I am, but usually 40 to 50, Smelly. I'm not Smelly! You are. You've always been. You always will be. And that's okay. It's a nice smell. Goodbye. Aliens being confused by how humans deal with scent. Human. Oh, I'm gonna have to wash this blanket to get rid of that new smell. Okay, wash blanket, get rid of weird smell. <sighs> Gotta love that new car smell. Okay, then shh, cars, it's a different story, I guess. Crap that one out. Ah, uh, old book smells so good. I don't know what I'm supposed to write here. Mmm, I love that new book smell. Why are you like this? Are there any book series that an author has finished and then continued again down the line, done a spinoff that have actually been good? Trying to think of any where the new additions to the series weren't absolute garbage. So, Percy Jackson. And to more Pierce are the most suggested examples here. And uh, shout out to the person who suggested the New Testament. Good job. Classy. Parents picking their child's name. Eh, I like the way it sounds, sure. Writers picking their character's name. What genre is it? How old are they? Active or passive blood type? Country of origin? Is it a family name? What does the name mean? Is it pretentious? Is it not pretentious enough? Can it be used as a metaphor? What position was the planet to the stars at the exact moment of their birth? Is the name gay enough? Alternatively, Writer looks around room, spots a can of Lysol on their table. Ah, the great King Lysen, ruler of the nation of Tabloria. I'm not religious, and I got bored with the default, oh my god, and, and Jesus Christ expletives. So now when I examine, I just use the names of my favorite historical figures. For example, Suffering Sappho. My parents are religious, so I'm not allowed to say those. And I'm also not allowed to curse. So my three replacement words and phrases are shiz nuggets, curses, and by the knees of Barry B. Benson. By the knees of Barry B. Benson is technically in violation of the Eighth Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. But... How, though? Forbids cruel and unusual punishment. And the winner of the bake-off is... Nine dismembered bodies. This is like... Cards Against Humanity. How the fuck did this happen? You've heard of press F to pay respects. Now get ready for... Please press O to spend time with the boys. You know, I've never seen a prompt in a video game that asks so politely. You know what? I think I will press O to spend time with the boys. Thank you very much, video game. Where would we be as a society 
without gay podcasts. Nowhere, that's where- If you were in charge of Brazil, what would be your policies? Everybody has to come to Brazil. And what if I don't? <laughs> SpongeBob! It's too late. He's Brazilian now. Not that I don't love the cursed biofacts, but do you have any blessed biofacts? Yes, I do. Hyenas can loaf like house cats. <gasps> oh, babies! Okay, goat, I got a job for you. Make me anxious about furries. I mean, not to offend furries, mostly all are nice. Okay, so imagine Five Nights at Freddy's. One of the animatronics is just a person dropping in from a furry convention. Oh! So, uh, <laughs> this is how I found out the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics contained the corpses of murdered children. <laughs> huh. You just, uh, you're all really just out there playing a game that's, uh, where, where that's the canon lore. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Duh. You all finally broke me. Holy shit! FNAF, how the fuck did you break gold? If you read something in P.M. Seymour's voice, it becomes, like, ten times funnier. I've been doing this all day. My mom gave me a banana. Did you see that cow? Yeah, I don't like scarecrows. You know, the worst part is, is I hear it, and I know which voices to use. And I did. You're fighting over the ponytail Zuko discourse, but let me introduce you to the cursed concept of Pigtail Zuko. Oh, hate, hate this! Today, I learned that Van Halen have that rider in their contract about a bowl of M&Ms with all the brown ones removed, in order to know at a glance if the promoter read the entire contract. And the reason they do that is because they once had a stage collapse because a promoter hadn't read the proper way to set up all the specific technical stuff. So if the band goes in the dressing room or catering and sees brown M&Ms, they know they have to double check the stage setup for safety. Yo, now that's rock and roll right there. Okay, someone who has never watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, explain this. I love you, Sally. No, oh, that's so cute. Also, I kind of turned into a demonic rock star halt when people hug me, but that's okay because- Wait, what? I love you too! I mean, it's not that far off from what might actually be the truth. Your belly button is just your old mouth. I was having a good day. We were all having a good day. 99% of the time I see a cat, I just have to like drop whatever the hell I'm doing and acknowledge that there's a cat and say hi to the cat and walk up to the cat and try to pet the cat. Yo, I don't know how to tell you this, but uh, that's some big Seb energy you got right there. Don't ever. Call me OP. You will address me by my full name. Now, oh, yes, Obert Pobert. When your straight friend about to do something stupid. Hetero don't! Hetero don't! Hetero don't! 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 I had a dream last night that Mothman was getting sued by the state of West Virginia for accidentally breaking light posts, and he hired me as his lawyer. And in court, I was like, now, my client is a giant moth, so you can't blame him for loving lights. And halfway through my speech, I turned to address Mothman and saw he was bumping into courtroom lights and they broke and caused a power outage. Happy Pride Month to my favorite piece of official Sonic the Hedgehog art. If you're homophobic, you don't understand what Sonic is all about. It's about friendship and justice and being free to be yourself. Open your heart. Live and learn. That's what Sonic the Hedgehog is about. Today's headline. Sorry I didn't respond to your text. I get overwhelmed by simple tasks. It's okay. Me. Constantly. My college doesn't allow us to carry pepper spray for self-defense because they claim it's a weapon. And it is. But I'm at a culinary school. Every single student is carrying several hundred dollars worth of knives around with them, and they teach classes on how to break down whole animals easily with said knives. But no pepper spray, because no, 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 no way, that's too dangerous. Also, I can attest to this fact as a former culinary student, those knives are so sharp, you don't actually feel when they cut you, because pain is felt on rough edges and not extremely sharp edges. So, 
yeah, fucking pepper spray is bad, right? I'll have you know, I am hot. Hard to love, obnoxious, and terrible. When I was in preschool, there was this really weird system of timeout where they'd put you in this giant plastic bucket, sort of like this one. And the rule was, you couldn't leave the bucket for 10 minutes. Weird. In case you didn't know, I was what the teachers referred to as a difficult child, which is code for walking entity of sass. So I was in this timeout bucket quite a bit. Once they put me in the bucket for 30 minutes, and I thought that was incredibly unfair. So I grabbed the handles and shifted my body repeatedly until the bucket and I were out of the classroom, in the hallway, and through the front door. They found me in the parking lot scooting to freedom in the timeout bucket. My teachers were furious, and I said, hey, I never left the bucket. So they called my mom and told her what I did, and she just said, well, he never left the bucket. Me brewing some loose leaf tea. The part of my brain that is point zero zero one second away from going completely feral. Eat the leaves. Eat the wet leaves, dumbass, do it! Some edgy loner character in a TV show. Do you know? Do you know what it's like to be afraid of yourself? Me, thinking about that time I ate an entire family-sized bag of Doritos in one evening. God, dude, I sure do. Year one of mental illness versus year 10. And I'm gonna tell you guys, at year 20, y'all basically just start making fun of your mental illness. Like, anxiety would be like, man, I don't want to get out of bed today. And you'll just loom over like, I don't want to get out of bed today. Get the fuck out of bed, bitch. We got shit to do. The year is 2023. Marie Kondo holds Jeff Bezos by the skin on the back of his neck in front of a public gathering. Does this spark joy? She shouts at the restless audience. They boo in response. She snaps his spine like a 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil lead and throws his lifeless corpse into the crowd. They cheer in response. Please tell me this is our timeline, please. Please, please give this to me. I introduce you to the concept of Schrodinger's teenager. A person between the ages of 13 and 18 is simultaneously just a child and also a grown adult, depending on how mad an adult is at them. Why is this true? All right, so out of curiosity, how do we activate Yellowstone? By Yellowstone, do you mean the super volcano located under Yellowstone National Park that has the theoretical ability to super erupt and destroy the majority of animal and plant life as we know it? Yes, how do we activate it? Okay, first, you need a paperclip. Today's headline, nearly a dozen earthquakes shake near Yellowstone National Park in 24 hours. Congratulations, Goad, you did it. What, what? <laughs> I posted this 30 minutes ago as a shit post. What the fuck just happened? Shall I compare thee to a summer day? Cause thou hast no class. <sighs> the worst part about parallel parking is the witnesses. You know, there's no witnesses if you're bad enough at parallel parking. If you catch my drift. Wink wink. Saying it from my jail cell. Please. Fire me. A lady came in screaming and ranting how he wrote an obscene insult on her sandwich. Turns out she ordered a BLT with cheese, and we wrote BLT plus CH on it. It took me and the manager 15 minutes just to calm her down enough to even listen to us. You know, sounds like she was a real BLT with cheese. Using that. My favorite thing about fan writers is they see unfulfilled potential and decide, okay, guess I'll do it myself. Case in point. The once were fandom. Must you people siphon away every little pleasure I have left? In France, they say MDR instead of LOL, and that roughly translates to death by laughter. So basically, instead of laughing really loudly like we do, the French laugh so hard that they die. French slang is freaking metal. Ah, death by <laughs> Those moments when straight people assume you're one of them and you feel like a gay secret agent. Lesbianage. Bye, spy. It's an ace case. Secret gay agent man. How do you politely tell someone you want to hit them with a brick? One wishes to acquaint your facial features with a fundamental item used in building walls. Repeatedly. That was the most beautiful thing I've ever read. 
What I'm saying is, is that bisexuals, pansexuals, and asexuals should all join together so we could be in the fictitious trifecta. Enough people will say that we're not real and we'll all converge together in a massive, fierce mass only spoken of in myth. Don't come near us or you too will cease to exist. So what you're saying is the queer Triforce. Can we include aromantics? Now it has become the Triforce of Fabulousness! Bucky, are you okay? Mentally, physically, monetarily, no. Yet I thrive anyways. I am just angry. You sound like my Polish friend, Milk. They name people condiments over there? Milk is not a condiment? Oh? Then what do you put on your milk burger then? Guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but holy shit, that's a real thing. What the fuck is that? Oh, Pucky. You have made cursed commentary for so long that now it has become reality. Suffer. My next million dollar idea. Reluctant exercise videos with people who aren't perky. Just five more, I don't know. I kinda wanna die right now too, so let's just power through it. Okay, New York Pose. It's gonna egg like a bastard until your hamstrings release. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie. Stretch a little deeper. It's okay to yell fuck at this point. I won't tell anyone. Um, yes. Yes. Give me. I have done it. I have 3D printed out candy. X. Excuse me? It has begun. Soon, we'll be able to illegally download food. Or fucking one of you actually just becomes the next Willy Wonka with the fucking weird shapes and everything. Somebody make everlasting gobstoppers right now. Like how they're shaped in the movie. Do it! Do it now! Please, please, I need money need. I have a concept. A fairy tale where the wicked step-parent, who is of course also some sort of warlock, transforms the princess into a swan, as one does, kind of in the rules, but rather than running off to mope around in a lake and be beautifully tragic, the princess decides to stick around the palace and cause problems on purpose. So I see. Being transformed into a swan, the most vicious creature in the lake, allowed her to access her inner diva in a way that was completely foreign to her as a sweet nature child. And from that day forward, everyone in a three country radius was fucking terrified of anything with wings. It is a lovely day in the palace. And you are a horrible swan. 13 and 16 year olds nowadays don't have a gray point. They'll say something like, Racial issues prevail because the heads of the capitalist system are benefited by it. And then three seconds later, tweet something like, Bob the Builder owns my uwus, colon three, without batting an eye. This is the true Gen Z experience. Once in my sixth hour, we were talking about 9-11 and I announced very loudly, more people died in Hurricane Maria than in 9-11, but nobody really cares because you can't use hurricanes to justify imperialism. And then not even five seconds later, I said, yeehaw, my beats. The world's in good hands, I think, in my opinion. All right, we've talked about it before. Kobe is for accuracy and precision. And Yeet is for power and distance. So now we must complete the trait system. I give you. 2020 D&D. Kobe, dexterity. Yeet, strength. Oof, constitution. T, intelligence. YOLO, wisdom. And wig, charisma. Today I learned a lightning strike can strip the bark off a tree completely. When the lightning hits, it superheats the water under the bark, creating nearly instantaneous steam pressure, which blows all the bark off. Yo, that tree's now dead. <clears throat> I can't believe God circumcised this tree. I can't believe you made me read that with my own two eyes. What the fuck do you mean this is a cake for somebody's 50th birthday? Oh, oh, they're five, never mind. Actually, it's for someone's 850th birthday. Actually, it's Lightning and Spider-Man's 50th wedding anniversary. Um, actually, it's Lightning and Spidey's 850th wedding anniversary, thank you. Yo, we vibing today. How much walking does she have to do to get them tree trunk thighs? Oh, Joya's daily stroll of walking on her enemies' skulls and graves. Prepare for stepping. So here's a story. A couple years ago, one night, I was about to propose to my girlfriend when my roommate Joseph barged into the room out of nowhere, tripped and fell over 
breaking a glass table with his face. Totally ruined the mood. Now, I didn't know Joseph that well. Don't even remember where he was from. But let's say I put my plans on hold to help him through his injuries. Joseph had gotten big glass shard in his eye, making him completely blind in that eye. He was walking around with one of them cotton pads on his eye for a couple months. Then suddenly, he disappeared, along with my girlfriend. Apparently, they bonded during the time after his injuries, and eloped together, leaving me behind without as much as a note. I tried to track him down, but I never could. In conclusion, if it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd have been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? How dare you make me read that with my own two eyes? Welcome to Late Night Tumblr Posts. Come, sit down. You know, his eyes say bedroom, but his hands say hospital. Are you ready for my favorite fact? If you leave a hamster wheel out in the forest, wild mice will come and run on it. That is my favorite fact. I have one as well. Bobcats and lynx will sit in cardboard boxes abandoned in the middle of the forest. I asked a lynx researcher who told me this why, and he said, Cats, man, and shrugged. Love it. Medusa, trying to turn you to stone, but you accidentally call her Melissa when you first walked in, and now you're too embarrassed to look at her. It's all right, she keeps saying. I get it all the time, but you still won't look. You don't even remember the stone thing until later. Yeah, <laughs> mythos joke. I am mad about the idea of money being exchanged for goods and services. First of all, explain to me what makes them goods instead of bads. Okay, first off, I'm screaming because I don't know if OP knows this, but this is a real thing in economics that we talk about and draw models of. A bad is a commodity that the consumer doesn't like. Money can be exchanged for bads and disservices. My dad yelled, Hennessy, come do a line of coke with me. So I went to the kitchen and he set this up. Oh my fucking God. This makes it sound like you were totally up for doing a line of actual coke with your father. Hello, I will be your surgeon today. Internal bleeding, you say? Oh, let's make our first little incision. Doctor, we're losing him. Quick, hand me the defibrillator. Please, please, I beg you. Just turn off my fucking life support. Why divide people by unrational things when you could divide them by whether their word for cotton candy is valid or not? American English, cotton candy, good. British English, fairy floss, not valid. Spanish and German, sugar cotton, very good. And the French, daddy's beard, absolutely not valid. I'm sorry, the French call it what? Hey, I'm Mulbo. Hi, Mulbo, can you, can you leave? You've heard of Slenderman. Now get ready for Slenderman's sassy gay brother, Trenderman. Trenderman will just sit here silently judging your fashion sense. <laughs> Those Crocs? Not on my watch, bitch. George Washington died in 1799, 25 years before the first dinosaur was classified. So therefore, George Washington never knew about dinosaurs. Why does this make me so sad? Hey, does anyone have that one pick from Final Fantasy VII where Claude's name is Gay420 Gay and Eris was Cool Ranch? <sighs> cool Ranch. There it is. All lesbians are fucking beautiful, unless they prefer handsome. In that case, they're fucking handsome. Yay. Yeah. Sonic. Snoik. Soin. Sin. The hog. He sings. I give to you a Soviet soldier training his backflip tomahawk throw. Ah, sorry. He <laughs> what? Hey, Bert, have you seen my waste paper basket? Ask me that again and look into my eyes. Sometimes I'm Ernie, and sometimes I'm Bert. Oh, God, no, 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 no. I don't want Jangles the Moon Monkey as a follower. Oh, God. This is no exaggeration. This is the scariest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. He has no commands, cannot be dismissed. It's just got a hundred times worse. He has no commands. He can't be dismissed. This stuffed monkey is fucking pissed. Is this, is this nature's way of joking around? Golden yellow crypto crystalline fluoride serum by quartz crystal points. <gasps> Gem egg. Ladies, gents, and nons, he won. I'm so happy for him. Um. He got sixth place, actually. He won! I have this writing style I like to call uncertain. It's where the narrator isn't really sure what they're talking about either. That is so powerful, and I want to write a short story in this style now. Thank you. 
The park had been there for as long as I lived there, I think. I couldn't be sure. I was never one to go to the park anyway. Nobody has any clue what's going on. Ah, self-aware, unreliable narrator. Love it. Warning, too many feelings today. Please pick your top five emotions. Any more and we get confused. Me nearly every single day. The Egyptian Mao is probably the oldest breed of cat. In fact, the breed is so ancient that its name is the Egyptian word for cat. Did they name it Mao because that's the sound a cat makes? Okay, now I'm just imagining a very early Egyptian encountering a wild cat for the first time. What the fuck are you? Meow. Oh, okay then. Didn't realize Egyptians were Pokemon professors. A concept teen horse girl movie where the horse dies an hour in, and the second half is the girl learning occult science to reanimate it so she can win the big derby. Coming to theaters, Necroprancer. You can't beat this dead horse. The word Doritos, with the diminutive suffix Edo, implies the existence of a larger chip. I intend to find this mythicer chip, this Doro. Ah, a noble quest. It's a shame, though, for it has been found. I'm just saying, if you add two pounds of sugar to literally one ton of concrete, it will ruin the concrete and make it unable to set properly, which is good to know if you want to resist something being built. French anarchists used this to resist prison construction in the 80s. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, reblog this for purely educational purposes. <laughs> My friend read an article about octopus intelligence. It was feeding time, and the handler dumped some shrimp into an octopus's tank. Then he went into another room and sat at his desk. A while later, a shrimp was tossed onto his desk. The octopus, upon finding one bad shrimp in the lot, had grabbed it, escaped its tank, crossed the hall, and threw the expired shrimp at its caretaker. Not only does this showcase their problem-solving capabilities, but also that it could have escaped at any time, it just broke out this time to chuck an off shrimp in indignation at its handler. That's not just intelligence, that's a human-like reaction. Kinda makes you wonder exactly how smart these guys can be. Oh. My God. Got one of the smartest octopuses in the world and turned out to be a Sharon. Okay, I went to the aquarium once and we had a tour. And we walked past the octopus tank and it was duct taped shut. So I asked why and the guy was like, well, we had a problem before because these fish were disappearing randomly at night. We had no idea why. Turns out the octopus had memorized the night guard's rounds and would creep out of its tank, crawl across the floor to the fish tank, have a little snack, and be back in its own tank with the lid shut before the guard came back. They are super smart. I love octopi so, so much. I am both delighted and fucking terrified. One more story. Once I went to the aquarium where they had a baby Pacific red octopus in a tank. I had gone there to work on a few real life sketches. Obviously, I wanted to do one in an octopus. So I kind of just kneeled in front of the tank and started sketching. The octopus didn't mind, he just sat happily. Then five minutes later, he started moving in front of the tank where I was. This tiny octopus faces me directly and starts posing. I don't know how other to explain it, but he started curling his tentacles in this really graceful way, then wouldn't move for a few minutes. Then again, a new pose. That tiny cute motherfucker knew I was drawing him. God damn it. Why are octopi such big brain? I love him now. You say chunk of ice, I say vegan pizza. So I heard the TV in the background of a drawing and a movie came on, and it started with Walt Disney saying something like, I'm Walt Disney. And I immediately said, you're watching the Disney Channel. I've got some kind of allergic reaction going on, and my face is just breaking out in a bad rash. And my mom's freaking out and wants to take me to the ER. And my dad was like, hey, let's not make any rash decisions. And we high-fived, and now my mom is yelling at us. Good dad. Probably should take you to the hospital, though. I eat a lot of bread because it's soft and I deserve it. Also, I'm gorgeous. Hmm. By my calculations, I diagnose you with pigeon. What if all your Tumblr followers actually followed you in real life as a hallucinations or something? You know, nothing out of the ordinary. I don't know who this is about, you or me, but it concerns me either way. Like I said, nothing out of the ordinary. Your DNA contains millions of years worth of software updates. 
Nah, man. Your DNA contains millions of years of totally random bugs, some of which don't really change anything, and some of which are really bad and annoying, and some of which miraculously make the software work better. So, I'm a Bethesda game. When you become famous, you're called a legend because your leg ends. What? Your leg. It ends. I'm not a linguist, but I think that's wrong. Are you saying your leg doesn't end? I mean, at some point, it does, yes. Then what's the problem? You know what this reminds me of? <clears throat> the leg! You gotta be dunking my donuts. You gotta be hurting my pizza. You gotta be macking my Donald's, man. You're really in in my outs here, buddy. You're five in my guys. You're white in my castle. You're dairy in my queen. You're steak in my shake. Yo, but are you, are you belling my taco? Literally any true crime doc will just straight up tell you that almost every unsolved case in history is due to police incompetence or outright intentional negligence. Yep, 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 yep. Jane and Ryan on true crime. Yep, yep, <laughs> Rooney, you got the Rooney's. To prove that ants counted their steps, scientists took a few out of line and attached tiny stilts to their legs. Since they took bigger steps, the ants totally walked right by the food and got confused when they walked the correct number of steps, but there was no food. Here's a picture. Conclusion? Scientists are creative and weird. Just straight up science. I can't tell what my favorite part is, but it's either scientists wasting budget and time to see if ants count their steps, the idea to put ants on stilts, there had to be a guy who made ant stilts and put them on the ants, or confused ants. Okay, who wants to hear my new conspiracy theory about lawyers? One, can't legally lie, but trade in half-truths and misleading language. Two, obsessed with contracts. Three, required to follow the letter, but not the spirit of the law. Four, really good at exploiting loopholes. And five, range from semi-helpful to openly malevolent. Conclusion? Fairies. <laughs> well, I mean... The places where we do our main business are often called courts, so it's not like we're trying that hard to hide it. I knew it. The lawyers are the freaking fae! Me. Puts a lot of thought into a post, hoping it'll get attention. People. Hmm. Me. Makes a random post about Tumblr follower hallucination things that got spooky. People. Yes! This is the one that will get on the YouTubes! Well, the only surefire way to get you back on YouTube is to get PMC more into sender sides. You know, he actually hinted that he liked the show, I think. Your wish is my command. I'm gonna screenshot this now. <laughs> Wait a second, I'm PMC Moore. This is my YouTube. Wait, they want to know if I like Sanders or not. Shh, shh, shh. Uh, uh, well, okay. I guess I have to say it. <clears throat> Thomas Sanders is a precious freaking bean and I will protect him with my life! Why is it cancelled in the UK, but cancelled in America? Because we gave you that L in 1776. And because we gave you that L in 1776. Oh, I actually know the answer to this one. American newspaper ads charged by the letter. So a lot of people would eliminate unnecessary letters like the second L in canceled or the U in color. Some of these spelling changes were used so often that they stuck and now Americans just spell some words differently. In summary, Americans spell things weird because capitalism. Shit, I didn't want that to be the right answer. Does anyone feel like school subjects have their own specific color? Math is blue, right? No, math is red! Math is in fact red! Math is blue, y'all! English is red! Oh, fucking excuse you. English is green. Okay, Pat, can you rate your OCs on how warm your hugs are? Finally, a rating system up my alley. Alright, black a lot, biscuit, here we go! Nerva, a six. Four arms are nice for hugging, but he's cold-blooded. Would be more ideal on a hot summer day. Kevin, my boy, my man. Nine, he's a big man. Hugs are high-risk gamble, for he may crush your ribcage, but in a nice way. The slimes, yeah, straight up five. Stick your filmy hugs, but all lovely fruit scents. Owie, an eight. Hugs with tail, it's absolutely precious. Azuri, a six. Same with Kevin, but also cold. Chie, nine. Maximum floof hug. Would absolutely recommend. The babies. Ten. Small beads that make happy noises when being hugged. And finally, Sienna. Do it. Like hugging a marshmallow that provides hair stroking and reassurance that everything will be okay. Highly recommended on Yelp. Honestly surprised no one has tried to make the ocean tiny. 
Um, Pucky, it's a lake. You think you're so fucking smart, but the snail sat an ocean. What about a puddle? <laughs> Don't make me bring ants into this. The perfect employee doesn't exist. My local hardware store has a dog that follows you around and takes your items to the counter for you. <gasps> employee of the month every month! More like employee of the universe! Don't feel bad if you're sensitive to negative feedback, because apparently after one particular bad review, Hans Christian Andersen was found just sobbing while laying face down in the dirt. <laughs> you left out the best part, though. He was crying face down in the dirt of Charles Dickinson's yard. Where he had been staying for weeks, long overstaying his welcome, and was annoying the fuck out of Dickens. Why is that beautiful? My gay brother walks into the room without a shirt on. Hey, topless. Him. Well, you don't have to rub it in that I'm single. Uh, um... Oh god, it took me a minute. I don't get it. I get it. Guys, this is my favorite picture on the internet. There is no reason to keep up with the internet. I have found the best of the best. Oh my god, Angel Doge. Dude, my hand smells like sulfur. Holy shit, it's like poison death. It's like what mammoths died in. I'm so fucking strong. Yeah, but have you seen the PS5 stream? I could rid your body of all moisture and nutrients with one wave of my stench hand. I want to sit in a lap and I want to hold a hand. Do they have to be attached? I love your need to make everything cute sound creepy. I love that. Well, it's funny how you can make everything sound creepy and wrong, but the things that you like make this creepy. Skittles are very good. Well, it depends where you put them. Dude, you challenged a god and failed. One thing boomers don't appreciate is how much easier it is to learn new vocab words when reading digital materials. If I'm reading for fun and I come across a new word, I'm probably not going to look it up if I don't have a digital device nearby. When reading ebooks, it's as easy as right clicking. What are you talking about? Boomers don't appreciate anything. This, my own post, came flying back to break my neck like a boomerang. Today I learned that because of a mistranslation, Jimmy Carter told the Polish people in 1977 that he desired them kindly and that he had left the United States to never return. I mean, has anyone seen Jimmy Carter recently? I think he's there. Oh, kitten goes, Mark! Cats can have a little salami. As a punishment. How many vampires do you think have been hit by a car backing up in a parking lot because the driver couldn't see their reflection? You know, I've never considered it, but you're really shining light on what's possibly a very serious issue. Okay, I'm just saying. I would really hope they'd notice a car coming towards them, or else they are truly the worst apex predator ever. This is also an extremely fucking valid point. Fuck it up, buttercup. Go for the kittle daffle deal. Fight my power, sunflower. Riot, bitch! Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. I'm gonna let you on a secret. I'm lit as fuck right now, man. Shit, look at my hand. Behold. Foot. Ah. The beans are growing nicely this year. What if you woke up one day and you were hot? I don't know, I'd probably open the window or something. Oh my god, I can't breathe. I don't know, you should probably open up a window or something. Someone. You know, Coca-Cola can remove rust from metal. Imagine what it's doing to your body. Me. Pfft, getting rid of the rust, idiot. That's not how it works! That sounds like somebody who needs the rust removed from their body. Okay, Pete. May I request a drawing of a circle? Okay, here you go. Um... OP, that's a sphere. They said to draw a circle, so that's the Earth. I woke up at 5 a.m. and like a normal human being, started making bread. Who the heck have I become? A medieval peasant? What does this say? I be illiterate. Oh, you look so tired, little man. He looks like warm buttered toast. Oh, crap, he does. But my toast has some hair on it, so hard pass. Let it rest. Historians are dangerous, gossips who tease the dead, certain that the Trojan War really happened, and are detectives. All of these make it sound way more exciting than it actually is. I give you an entire brick wall smoothed out by the ocean. Ah, the domesticated rock returns to the wild. That's actually kind of creepy looking. Honestly, I didn't expect Avatar The Last Airbender to have such a perfect score, but you know what? It earned that 100%. 
But that missing 1% from the audience score is just because someone was mad because the show only has 61 episodes, and that's just tragic. The first ever champion of a pie-eating contest was an unnamed six-year-old boy in 1990... <laughs> 1996. 1916. He managed to scoff a 10-inch pie in 15 seconds. What a legend. Why didn't his parents name him? He ate his name. Excellent reasons to give pets boring human names. One, to see how long it takes co-workers to realize you're talking about a pet and not a significant other. You know, Dave and I were watching a movie in bed the other night. 1B, or about a kid. Maria's not allowed to eat raisins, she's allergic. 2. You can use them as an excuse. Uh, Taylor hates it when I get home late. And 3. Eventually, you get to say things like, Jennifer got stuck between the wall and the refrigerator again. Pretty sure I did this one, but it's got a follow-up, so fuck it. Pronouncing the E at the end of testosterone makes it sound like a pasta. Mmm, testosterone, can get all your transgettes. You are one in a million. And that means there are like 320 of you in the United States. Find yourself. Start an army. Overthrow the government of a small weed western town and run that shit. What's the most grown up and mature way of saying I was unable to make this phone call because I was worried I was going to cry? I was unable to take a call due to a medical issue. The medical issue being chemical imbalances in your brain causing you to be emotionally unstable even though there's nothing wrong with crying. Oh, well, fuck. You know, I might make up some adjectives like Billy Shakespeare did. I feel that would be rather pertrancious of me. Absolutely cortanal post, OP. Hmm, splanatious addition to the already omnipenential post. Sir? Sir, you do not belong there. Uh, he has a permit. Leave him alone. He does, in fact, not have a permit to be in the cat food pantry. I know this because I issue those permits. I've issued no such permit to this particular gentleman. If he might be so called. I promise you, he filed the paperwork with my office. And he's just waiting for it in the mail. How did you get authority to give my cats cat crime permits? Oh, uh, this woman issued me that I'm authorized. Ah, my friend. This is a very common scam. This woman is well known to the authorities for cat crimes. Especially fraud. That's what I thought, ma'am, but her lawyer assured me she was legitimate. Mm-hmm. So trustworthy in appearance, yet so duplicitous. You are a victim of a world-class bamboozle. Please consult your insurance policy. You should have some financial coverage, but I'm afraid your reputation may never recover. What a ride that was. Why does every cartoon character wear these underwear? Well, why don't you? Because if I wore those underwear, the universe would conspire to constantly put me in situations where my pants could get pulled down or destroyed, and it's so hard to find good pants. SCP less than three. Item, hard print boxers that, through some deep and subtle magic, causes the universe to conspire to constantly put the wearer in situations where their pants would get pulled down or destroyed. In massive lockdown. Yo, welcome to McDonald's. You want a fucking beast charger? Please, I, I just want to see my wife again. Ah, no, you getting that chicken nugget. Folks, I'm gonna say it. I don't think it rains for long enough periods of time. It rains hard. It sounds good. Uncomfortable inside. But within five minutes, the jig is up. The dream is over. I think it should rain for longer periods of time than it presently does. I don't know how to tell you all this, but a frog made this post. Only a true king could remove the sword from the stone. No one else could. They didn't have authorization. That pun is bad and you should feel bad. No, no. That pun is good and you should feel good that you did it. Proud of you. Okay, this happened to my music when it got stuck when I was trying to copy it. It's terrifying. Extreme Dishonor! I just realized that the lack of acceptance for asexuals is literally the dumbest thing. Like you can't handle the thought of two dudes kissing? Okay, you're dumb and terrible, whatever. But you can't handle the idea of someone not kissing anyone? What are you worried about? You're gonna eat too much mac and cheese? Draw too many dinosaurs? Just tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Also, hand over your mac and cheese, but go, go ahead and just tell me, tell me, tell me. Ancient cat boys, or Neanderthals, if you will. I most certainly will not. Warning, graphic sex, swearing, and French. Oh God, not French. Anything but the French! Bonjour. Hey, guess what? I have... Please don't make me do things. Thinking about Skyrim Demastered Argonian. Look at him. 
handsome. You know, his horns say delight, but his eyes say, please help me. You know, once I got very drunk in a bar, my mom had to pick me up, so I was trying to act normal by keeping the conversation, so <laughs> I asked her if she's a virgin, and she looked me with pain in her eyes and said, I wish I was. Some parents will really be like, I'm going to make a joke that directly references my child's insecurities. And worse, I'm going to do it in public to other people, therefore exposing those insecurities to others. And then turn around and be like, Hayden doesn't really talk to me anymore. They're so angry all the time and I don't know why. I'm perfect. This is because of social media. Concept, necromancer that doesn't know they're necromancer and thinks they're just a really good EMT. That is the Funniest thing I've ever heard. I need a story on that. ADHD time processing. Okay, today is Monday, but tomorrow is Tuesday, and I have class. And after that is Wednesday, and I'm having a lunch with my mom. And then on Thursday, I have a night class, which means it's basically already Friday, and this week is already over. Another one. Right now, it's 2.30, which means it's almost 3, which means it's only an hour away from 4, which is basically 6. How have I stayed up all night? Other people don't think like this? Yeah, apparently they perceive time as a linear series of seconds, minutes, and hours, which they can reliably partition off for planned and orderly activities. You know, that sounds fake. No one can do that. It's impossible. No. Mm -mm. No. There's no crime in being a thief. What a thief does is take someone's property without their permission, which is a crime. Not when I do it. I'll steal your heart and you wouldn't mind. That was very smooth. I'm gonna steal both your organs and money. Actually, this is Ted Cruz emulating Napoleon, foreshadowing that, if elected, he will become a vicious, war-hungry imperialist dictator. Napoleon is also pulling out a gun. <gasps> Napoleon is the Zodiac Killer. Cooking spinach be like. This is the meme content I like to see. Okay, let me tell you something. Chefs love memes about how a kitchen works. And this one caused my entire kitchen to riot, and my head chef sent it to all the area chefs in the company. Earthquakes are like the weirdest things. Like we're floating in space and our planet just decides to spontaneously do the chimichanga. So, do you have a crush on someone? Me. Fools some evil don't have time for romance. What kind of question is that? So, I have both a brother and a sister, and recently I came out as genderqueer, and my mom's reaction was basically, Oh yes, I collected the whole set. The only correct reaction. Mwah, love it. I'm sorry, but the Norwegian butter crisis of 2011 just confuses my goddamn brain because how the actual fuck does an entire country run out of butter? Did Norway just come home downstairs like, oh god, I'm gonna fuck this up, who cares? You know, I was gonna explain how the butter crisis happened, but then I noticed your fucking hilarious attempt at writing, we've run out of butter. I'm not sure if you know, but you basically just wrote, we drove out of the lubrication. Kinky. 222 golden retrievers gather in Scotland. Their purpose is unknown and likely sinister. I'm putting my cat on a vegan diet. How could you do that? That's animal abuse. No, 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 it's not. A vegan only diet is actually very healthy for them. Cats are carnivores, they need to eat meat. I know, I know. That's why it's a vegan only diet. I feed them only the finest vegans I could find. You know, I got really angry for a minute and then I died of laughter. Okay. I know people like to cosplay good omens, but driving a burning vintage Bentley is just going a little far. Found a nice guy? Don't friend zone him, end zone him. Throw him on the ground like an effing football! Touchdown! Yeah, <laughs> nice guy finally scores. You're not as funny as you think you are. Listen, fucker, I'm here to amuse myself and make people vaguely uncomfortable. I'm not here to entertain you, your reactions are here to entertain me. I am dumb as shit, and that will come at great cost to the world. For the record, you are absolutely hilarious, and I both fear and admire your ability to make the most cursed things into a coherent thought. How oh. dare you imply I've never posted anything coherent even once! I'm hungry. Yes, good. This is a satisfactory conclusion to this post. End it. I've never eaten a sushi before. Um, it's eaten. You're smart, you're clever, and everyone here loves you. You know, the reason Ang and Katara are great friends is because they started with a good icebreaker. The opening line to Sokka's best man speech at their wedding. Dudes who order boneless wings close the fridge with their hips. Oh, dudes who order boneless wings close the fridge with their hips. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I'm one of it. My hands are full and my ass is fat. You fucking wish you were me. Whenever an American pronounces herb as herb, it shocks me. Do you say elf as well instead of help? Or like air instead of hair? Or like umer instead of humor? What the fuck? The H is there for a reason. 
Because the word is French and the H is silent, at least we can pronounce our stolen words properly, bitch. So, uh, <laughs> you want me to make you uncomfortable? Sure! I'll also rate your work on how impressive it is in my opinion. Resurgence of the Onesler fandom. Rating, 7 out of 10. Notes, how dare you make me read those words. Now imagine! Members of the Onesler fandom... <laughs> oh god no! Okay, bye. One time I got a sample from the tea store at the mall, and as I walked away, the guy said, See you later! And then his co-worker smacked him. Was... Was he wearing a blue polo shirt and glasses by any chance? And was the co-worker that smacked him wearing a tie and glasses? <gasps> oh, this is fun. I had a dream last night that they made a new Bond movie, but they didn't say who was playing Bond. Throughout the movie, you had no idea which character is really Bond because he's undercover, duh. And every single character, no matter how minor, was played by somebody famous. So they could all conceivably be Bond. And at the end, it turns out Bond was Leslie Jones. <sighs> 10 out of 10 greatest spy movie of all the time. Take my money! If people are really going to assume that guys with long hair are gay and girls with short hair are lesbians, then I'm going to assume that all bald men are actually eagles. I knew it. Something about my dad just wasn't adding up. Sokka was the only kid in that show with social skills and a brain, and he effortlessly charmed every single person he met especially royalty, no matter the age or nation. This is why the writers had to nerf him and make him a non-bender. Cause if he could have been anything, the show would have been called Sokka and his good pal the Avatar, and its main conflicts would all have been resolved by the third episode, Tops. I would actually love to watch that show. Would you like a tall glass of juice that makes you stop procrastinating? Yeah, just leave it on the table for me, I'll get some in a minute. Why are mad scientists always associated with chemistry? Like a dude hysterically laughing because his test tube turned purple? What about psychologists? Or anonymists? Or just plain doctors in the good old 19th century? If you know anything about their history, you know they're the mad ones. If anyone has the capacity to turn mad, it's mathematicians. Just nobody notices because it's pretty hard to turn that into super villainy. Okay, but evil math nerd who uses math for evil is something I want to see. DIY culture. I made it myself for free. Free equals three hours, profanity in four languages, one smash thumb, and three milliliters of blood. And fifty dollars, or euros, or pounds, you're pretending cost you nothing because you got them so long ago you moved house with them four times. Wow, and here I thought call-out culture was dead. There is no lie here. Still cheaper than therapy! When you die and you become a ghost, are you forced to wear what you were wearing when you died for eternity, or can you go to, like, Ghost Gap and buy some new ghost clothes? If there's ghost capitalism, I swear to fuck, I'll be so mad. Overthrow the bourgeoisie. Behold, Harry Potter, the Chamber of Seacrest. I, I hate it so much. How does Mike was 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 Wazowski keep stuff out of his eye? He doesn't even have eyelashes. Your Ancestry.Science results are in. 1% Blessed Sasquatch Bloodline, 2% Cryo Etruscan, 5% Florida, 6% Forsaken Sasquatch Bloodline, 7% Scientologist, 10% Wizard's Apprentice, 19% French, and 50% White. Our serious condolences. I don't know, man. That 10% Wizard's Apprentice sounds pretty fucking good right now. What is She-Ra? I'm sorry if this is a stupid question or something. I'm just super confused and we don't have Netflix. Soldier discovers magic sword and fights with the power of gay! I love it. Foolish. Indeed foolish. You have fallen victim to the old razzle-dazzle. Fuck algebra, I don't need it. Just give me a dead body and I'll figure it out from there. <clears throat> I feel I should clarify I am a mortuary science major. Oh. Okay. One time my dad gave me a glass of milk and I meant to ask him, whose milk is this? Because I wasn't sure if it was for me or if I was supposed to give it to my brother. But instead I just stared down at the milk and said, who's this? Then my dad turned to me without missing a beat and said, well that's your new friend, Mr. Milk. And we just stared at each other. And then he asked me if I was high. To this day, I still have not lived it down. Adult politicians, you know teenagers shouldn't vote because the part of their brain that deals with prioritizing long-term goals over immediate satisfaction isn't fully developed. Teenagers, can you please stop destroying the planet? Adult politicians, but the planet won't be unlivable for decades and I want oil money now! Writing prompt, you realized you misheard your daughter. There's actually a mobster under your bed. Hey, bada bing bada boom, I'm sleeping here! Turns on nightlight. Hey, pal, what's the big idea? 
<laughs> a parent looking around the room, voice from under bed. Forget about it, I'm fucking sleeping here. What are you gonna do? You gonna kick me out of this bed? I don't fucking think so, I will throw hands! You know, PM, in your last video, with the demastered Argonian, you had the chance to say, the horns say delight, but the eyes say delete. And you missed it. F Crystals for banishing someone. Any of them if you throw them hard enough. Here's where I hear. Here's, here's my banishing rack. Probably bad RPG ideas. D&D, but the DM has a soundboard that contains the laugh, cheers, and boos of a sitcom's live studio audience. OP? Change your URL. Oh my god. Shiny Reshiram should have been black and Shiny Zekrom should have been white. Oh, now this is what I'm talking about. Look at that, that's so much better. Look at our ass biscuits. Oh, so the buns. Oh my god! Today, I learned the temperature in Fahrenheit can be approximated by counting the number of times a cricket chirps in 14 seconds and adding 40. This fact alone makes Fahrenheit better than Celsius. Does it though? Full Metal Alchemist alternative universe where everything's the same except Ed makes up stupid stories as to why he lost his arm and leg and they're different stories every time someone asks. Examples. I got attacked by a shark. And I stubbed my toe and decided I didn't want any more. I went through a steampunk face. Sheep are vicious when they're hungry. Squirrels. You have an auto male arm and leg. You... You've committed the old- Did you know horses are omnivorous? You'd think that they just eat grass and weeds, but that's what they want you to think. Team Rocket? The ultimate symbol of solidarity between a gay man and a lesbian. What? In God's name is Meowth wearing. It's called fashion, you moron! Ah, uh, time sure flies when you're... When you... You just... This is how having executive dysfunction feels. Goad, what motivates you to do anything you do? An overwhelming compulsion to poke a life with a metaphoric stick just to see what the fuck will happen. That's a- that's a mode. That's a mode. Your path. Seems to mirror your father's. Link has a dad? Who is he? Lonk. The legend of Lonk. Dad's adventure. Okay, but seriously, uh, Link has a dad? Is he also a Link? Is he one of the Links? Uh, I need these answers! Today I learned that in 1847, a doctor performed an amputation in 25 seconds, operating so quickly that he accidentally amputated his assistant's fingers as well. Both later died of sepsis, and a spectator reportedly died of shock, resulting in the only known procedure with a 300% mortality rate. Nice job, idiot. Surgery Saga 1847. Malpractice ending speed run. 25 seconds. Stop scrolling! Bet you've never seen a baby toucan. The blessed toucan. Half a can. One can. Okay, but seriously, that's babies. Hands down, this is my favorite picture ever. <gasps> the ancient cry has been answered. Can has. This made me fucking angry. I have to inflict it on all of you. Wait, what's the punchline here? Wait. <laughs> Regarding last post, that uh, that's not that one, a different one, one that didn't come with this submission. But anyway, regarding the last post that's not here, the article mentions the same places use clams to test the toxicity of the water. It's like that in Warsaw. We get our water from the river, and the main water pump has eight clams that have triggers attached to their shells. If the water gets too toxic, they close, and the trigger shuts off the city water supply automatically. The clams are just better at measuring water quality than any man-made sensors. God bless our troops. They hot glued a spring to a clam and gave it full control over the water supply. You know, Warsaw things. Okay, so I noticed this last night and it's the most adorable thing. First picture is what you see in game. You never really see the underbelly of your Pokemon. But Aaron's tiny smile is the cutest thing! Look at that! Babes! Ah oh, yes, the five love languages. Touch starved, my parents never told me they're proud of me. I love stuff. I'm so fucking tired, please God, just let me rest for five minutes. And hey, pay attention to me. All of these are cat. We could shorten big mood to bemood, but you all aren't ready. Booed. Oh fuck, it was I who was not ready. Today I learned plants make caffeine to defend themselves against pests. Caffeine is toxic to birds, dogs, cats, and it has a pronounced adverse effect on mollusks, various insects, and spiders. Coffee plant evolves caffeine. Ah, <sighs> safe at last. Humans. <laughs> Peppers. Now that I have capsaicin, no mammal will eat me. Only birds. The birds will spread my seeds. Humans. Oh my, this burns so good. What? Why are we like this? 
The fact that we can't drink seawater, even though it's the most common type of water, just because it's 3% salt, yet we can safely consume multiple forms of literal poison and even benefit from doing so just blows my fucking mind. Tobacco. Finally, I can grow in peace. No more insects munching on my leaves. Humans holding matches. My, my. What do we have here? Poppies. At last! I have evolved my sap to the point where anything that eats me will sleep forever. Humans who are about to invent painkillers. Hey, guess what? Mint! Stay off me, bugs, or I'll poison you! Humans. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this poison in my dessert and mix it with chocolate. God, no wonder why aliens don't want to hang out with us. PM, I'm begging you to make an OC with the dad bod. I am begging you, please! I need to see the dad bod OC! Oh, you fool. The dad bot OC! Oh my Gotham always wants to know who Batman is, but they never know how he is. He's a grown man dressed as a bat. They know. I swear these were ghosts written by Bruce and Alfred in that order. Today in school, I was walking down the hallway to go to the bathroom, and some dude walked out of a classroom and tripped me by accident. And I was thinking about Thor too, so I just blurted out, How dare you attack the son of Odin! And he just looked at me, and looked down at his shirt, and it was an Avengers shirt. I think I just made a friend, guys. I ship it! Today I learned human babies are 80% water at birth. A slightly higher water content than bananas, and slightly less than fresh potatoes. Oh, once again shown up by the power and dignity of the root vegetable. Loud noises when you have sensory processing issues is like Russian roulette. Maybe nothing will happen. Maybe you'll spend the next hour sitting in the corner. It's a toss-up! Explain, you elders blob. Sometimes a loud noise breaks the goat. Sometimes a loud noise breaks any body systems for the next 30 minutes or so. Door bangs. Nothing. Loud beep. Spends the next 30 minutes sobbing uncontrollably. <sighs> Moots. I just found out moose can dive as deep as 20 feet. Or six meters for you people outside of the U.S. For aquatic vegetation. Can you imagine, like, being a diver? And you're 20 feet or 6 meters underwater, it's murky, and you run into a moose. A moose! This is, by the way, one of the reasons that a regular predator of the moose is the orca whale. I'm sorry. Hang on. Are you there over time? This is, by the way, one of the reasons that a regular predator of the moose is the orca whale. What? Today I learned, despite its association with the supernatural, a full moon rarely occurs on Halloween. The next time this will happen is Halloween, night of 2020. Guys, 2020 might get good! It's gonna be spookier times! Time to gaze into the abyss. The abyss is what I call my inbox. Wait, oh no! Jesus, how many today I learned? Today I learned in 2002, a researcher found that the average 8-year-old British child could identify 80% of Pokemon, but only 50% of common wildlife species. Well, common wildlife species don't normally yell their names at you. Wouldn't that be great, though? You're just going outside, going on a nice walk, and suddenly you hear, Squirrel, 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 squirrel! Writing prompt. You, a time traveler, accidentally introduced 21st century slang to Shakespeare. For never was a story of more woe. Oh, Bard Alexa, playeth us despacito. Animal Crossing villagers be like, You're my bestest friend in the whole world. Thank you for being so awesome. Here's a present for you. Then the present is an 8,750 watt gas powered generator. Animal Crossing things. Human, human, do something. For God's sakes, help. These are not mine. Chicken nuggets are wrapped, meat wrapped in bread. <sighs> You know, I was having a good day. I think we were all having a great day until this. Standing next to sunflowers always makes me feel weak. Like, look at this fucking flower. This flower is taller than me. This flower is winning and I'm losing. Wow, you are not ready to hear about trees. Open up here. Hey, can I get some seven large Cokes and a barbecue sauce? Is Pepsi okay? I guess, I said sulking, my amber-hued orbs peering down because of gravity. Okay, I hand you seven large Cokes and a Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the shit that gets me every time, I love it. Childish Gambito concert was canceled, there goes my weekend plans. You know, Pucky, you could barf. You know fucking what? I could.
WTF is an acronym. This post pisses me off. I still can't decide if this is a statement or a question. Time to call Otto's moist boys. No, please do not call them that. Well, he is a very moist boy. He even looks offended at you calling him a moist boy. I have a concept. Thigh high crocs. Concept, no. Too late. I have made them. I feel like if you put those on, they're just part of you forever because of the suction. Turns out Marco didn't really die. He actually skipped town in the heat of battle and achieved the secret dream of opening up a pizzeria two minutes away from my house. So, um, <laughs> are the pizzas half off? I was once again having a great day until this. Why on earth has anyone invented a less terrifying way to open biscuits and cinnamon rolls? Because squishing that much biscuit into that little space teeters on the edge of hubris. The pop is to keep us humble. To remind us that death comes for all. Yeah, man, I just wanted some biscuits. Oh, fucking existential crisis, Jesus. And finally, writing prompt. Write. No! Persona games usually consist of the Chad, the idiot, the dumb one with common sense, the intelligent one, the loud one, the quiet one, and the mascot. Usually, most of them fall into these categories and proceed to give hijinks, such as in Persona 4, when Yosuke stated his need to pee in the most eloquent way possible. All of this to say Persona 5 is real good and the characters are ripe for hijinks and also Persona 5 added a new party member, the adult, aka the only responsible party member. Concept, Sirius convinces the Marauders to do a family portrait in their animagus forms. Except for Ramus, obviously. So Ramus is the one human who has to go into the photographer and ask for the picture. Ramus is a mixture of embarrassed, exasperated, and amused. Hello, yes, I'd like to take a picture with my, uh, pets. And this photographer is just astounded that Ramus has these very manageable and obedient pets. And in all fairness, it's a very good picture. I just want Harry Potter to resurface again to give me this photo. I'm sure there's drawings, but I want an actual photo of the actor of Ramus and a bunch of animals just doing this. Day 77. No one suspects a thing. You know, I was so focused on the dog sitting patiently in the back that I didn't even realize. Wait, what are you talking about? I don't, I don't see anything. Marvel, where's my 10 minute video of Thor teaching Earth etiquette to the Asgardians? This is a dog. <gasps> no, you cannot ride it, it is too small. Oh man. Aperture Laboratories, Dihydrogen Monoxide Containment Unit may cause diaphoresis, micturition, and acute tissue hydration. May cause sweating, peeing, and adequate hydration. It's a water bottle! I want! Imagine a rat using an AirPod as a cane. Imagine that. Well, now I'm thinking about it. I drew it. I took a photo! The number 87 kind of looks like a plague doctor. <gasps> you just changed the fucking game! Mm-hmm. You ever have to shake your leg because there's a rock in it? Uh, that's your bones. Wow. Every day I learn some more. A young artist exhibits his work for the first time, and a well-known art critic is in the attendance. The critic says to the young artist, Would you like my opinion of your work? Yes, says the artist. It's worthless, says the critic. The artist replies, I know, but tell me anyway. Oh! Oh! Get dunked on! Me falling asleep to an audiobook on the science of the gut. Book. Saliva is actually filtered blood. I'm sorry? Saliva also contains a painkiller that is stronger than morphine, but we don't produce it a lot, otherwise we'd be constantly high. I'm sorry, what? Ah, uh, yes. Orpiorphin is six times stronger than morphine. It actually contains an antidepressant compound, which is why some doctors believed it's linked to comfort eating. Okay. Everyone spit on me so I won't be depressed. Mm. No. An 80s sitcom with a laugh track, but the laugh track comes from behind you. Thanks, how do I uninstall it? It uninstalls you. Postcards of the Hanging is now deactivated. I warned you. The laugh track plays, but now one voice louder. Can we make a creepypasta on this, please? What would be your effect as a mud potion be? With sticks and cool rocks and leaves, of course. And any good mud potion has. Venom symbiote, but no actual powers. I just cling to your back and whisper shit posts into your ear. And when you try to concentrate on a test, I keep screaming wrong answers. It's 41! Ah, uh, five minutes ago, they were chasing the laser. <gasps> I can't believe you 
killed your cats with a laser. You fucking monster! Jasper is making the weirdest fucking noise. He sounds like an angry garbage disposal. Um, excuse me. Rebecca Sugar herself said all the gems use female pronouns. Just a note. Just a fun fact. <clears throat> Jasper is my cat. Aesthetic. The three-headed rat queen from the Russian Nutcracker movie and her three-headed rat son. Oh, don't ever talk to me or me or me or my son or my son or my son again. Fresh out of the water, newborn sea lion pups roll in sand to protect themselves from the blazing sun and San Cristobal, Galapagos Islands. Ah, oh, look at the little sea sugar cookies. A lot of hug them. Do Japanese people prefer dubbed American cartoons? Ego wa jozo desu. wa kibun karawari. We've come full circle. Fun fact, apparently there is a serious debate in Japan as to whether the King of the Hills sub or dub is better. You know, this is something I never knew I was waiting my whole life to read. You know what? Screw death. I know, it's so sexy. Oh, spank me harder, Grim Reaper Daddy. This is so cursed, I bet even P.M. Seymour won't even touch it. Oh, P.M. Seymour. Someone sent him an ask or something, I don't know. Hey, if God wishes it. So shall it be. Your boy! On a scale of one to Nature Valley granola bar, how much is your life falling apart? I can't stop laughing at this. Nobody came to his birthday party. Shut up, okay? This made me really freaking sad. Look how sweet and cute he looks, the poor baby. I don't even know this snake, and I feel guilty for not being there. Save, this is stuff out of my worst fears. You've heard of bread bowl. Now get ready for bread plate. Tortilla. Blocked! There is a vast amount of vampire lore globally. Exploit the fact no one is going to look it all up to make the Vampire Masquerade LARPers look stupid. Yeah, if you're a VAMPIRE, you have to scream every fifth word and slap yourself in the FACE every time you see YELLOW. It's from medieval German lore, I think. Today I learn in one 13th century version of the King Arthur myth, Merlin is the spawn of a demon and a mortal woman and was intended by Satan to be the Antichrist but was baptized by a priest shortly after birth, which nullified Satan's plan, and now uses his demonic powers of magic and prophecy for good. Satan, losing since 33 AD. Ah, the Hellboy prototype. I like it when cats settle down and it looks like they don't have any limbs. No, oh, they're slugs. And if you ever wondered what they look like from underneath when doing that, <gasps> this is important. I'm not much a romantic, but I do find it pretty great when couples share charges so much that they lose track of whose was originally whose. That's adorable, but if anyone so much touches my six foot long charger with intentions other than pass it to me, they will be dead. So romantic. When you are president, what will you do to better our country? Two words. More coal mines. Are those four? Oh my bad, you're right. Me at 3 a.m. I should probably get some sleep, my brain. There are games to be played! Food to be eaten! Go, go, go! How five and chew to feel burgers, guys, fries. How five and chew to feel burgers, guys, fries. It, it's relatable. Weird thing about Kirby is that Nintendo could make a game about anything with Kirby in it, and I still wouldn't be mad. Kirby is just good. Like, if there was a game about Kirby doing his taxes, I would play it. And even if it's bad, because how could you be mad at Kirby? Look at him. Kirby doing his taxes, rate 80 for everyone. Dodge those taxes. But don't. This seems obvious, but there's a lot of blogs that are just one uber not safe for work pictures of hot men alongside two cute dog pics. I don't know what to call this niche. Somebody, somebody come up with a pun. Hmm. Da! Ah! Cocker Spaniel. There it is! A moment of silence for the Cocker Spaniel blogs. You'll be missed. Okay, if Ring Around the Rosie is a nursery rhyme about the bubonic plague, then I say we get to work on a COVID-19 nursery rhyme for kids to creepily sing for generations to come. We will call it Six Feet from Grandma's House. On the surface, it's about visiting Grandma, but, <laughs> you know. Daddy's at the food store, Mommy's out of town. She's working at the hospital since Rona came to town. Hide away, hide away, Miss Rona's come to town. Hide away, hide away, she'll come to take us down. Miss Rona's at the doorstep, I'll keep six feet away. But Grandma needs the paper, I'll take her some today. Hide away, hide away, Miss Rona's come to stay. Hide away, hide away, I'll keep six feet away. But Grandma needs the paper, I'll take her some today. And here's a note from Rona, she wanted me to say. 
Hide away, hide away, keep six feet away. Hide away, hide away. She's brought us down today. Who else is feeling morbid today? I am. They're called restaurants because they restore you to full health. Boo! Five out of ten pun! But they write, look, early 19th century from French, provide food for, literally restore to former state. Oh shit, I fucked up. Intentional misspellings and unusual handling of words is one of my favorite minor memes. To be honest, I love it so much. Here are some of my all-time favorites. Replacing CK with CC. In example, suck and Replacing T with D and vice versa. In example, goddamn, shit, blockhead. Just every kind of weird variation you could do with the word fuck. In example, the fuckening or fucky. Weird jumbling of curse words that somewhat resemble something coherent. In example, motherfuck of shit and shut the hell your mouth. Replacing a vowel in a word with another. In example, boig. What? Why have you analyzed this? I don't really remember the exact mindset I was in when I wrote this, but it was probably something like, mm, <laughs> English language, cool. Thanks to Duolingo, I can ask people if they're a horse, but I can't tell people what my name is in French. Ask me I'm a fucking horse, I dare you. Tu es un cheval? Nay. Oh, you motherfucker! Here's a short list of how Ben and Jerry are actually the same person. Easily flustered slash startled, married to hot blonde, their wives are amazing and too good for them, have three children, actual human disasters, and bisexual. I did not realize this was about the men from Parks and Rec. I thought you were talking about the ice cream men. Hey! Why a bull? It's a good reliable car, but it curls into a ball when startled, so watch out. This baby can- Long overdue request, but... It's Gore XD time! Anxiety about dandelions, please, Code? Imagine blowing on a dandelion, but something flies up your nose last minute, and you end up inhaling the whole thing! Thanks, I hate it! I think I just washed and rinsed my face with mouthwash. I am sorry, you think? I'm going by scent here, but it's either that or the weird stuff you spray a sore throat with. Please explain yourself! It was purple and vaguely minty, my face is numb. I'm consistently impressed that despite all the fire hazards present in the average household, I have never once accidentally caused fire. That's the kind of life skill that goes on the CV right next to PowerPoint skills. So, it has recently come to my attention that I did, on single occasion, just one time, Set the stovetop on fire when I was 11, and try to caramelize sugar for the profiteroles my mom didn't know I was making. For the record, one accidental fire is still pretty good track record. Can you please say something soft, warm, and comfortable? Mayhaps the shadows mean you no harm. Then drape around you like a well-worn cloak. They act as a blanket and swaddle even when- They act as a blanket and swallow even when light fails you. Do not fear the quiet shadows that shift from corner to corner. Seeking only a soft place to settle. Let them creep into your room at night and sit mildly by your bedside, whispering you to sleep. That was... huh. If I die and scatter my ashes in the ocean, I want to haunt the fish. Uh, if? Yeah, just in case. God, reading your post feels like eating a banana. It's kind of tingly and itchy. It makes me very uncomfortable, but I also like it too much to stop. You are allergic to bananas. Are you uninformed loons really unaware that bananas aren't supposed to cause tingling and swelling sensations? Also, potatoes are not supposed to give you potato sweats, and pineapples aren't supposed to be spicy. I have very conflicted feelings about ice makers. I like that they make cold crunch water, but I hate the cunt's jump scares. Same. How do you deal with your actions having consequences? I can't imagine it. To be honest, I spend the vast majority of my time dealing with the consequences of other people's actions. Hope I get around to mine someday. But the other actions piles just keep racking up! What if Bodes had emotions? Mine are always hungry. Today is spring cleaning and I have called the coat hanger a whore. Well, was it being a whore? Well, it got tangled in a pile and nearly snapped my finger, so at the very least it was being a bitch. Update! I call the kitchen cabinet the C-word. <gasps> what are, like, other ways of referring to non-binary siblings? Other than just sibling? Ah, uh, Nuisance. Perfect. Feelings about ducks? They deserve to be rewarded for not being geese. Yeah, seriously. Question. Are you flammable? I'm asking for a friend. Anyone is if you're determined enough. Can you imagine how furious I was at the James Bond franchise when I found out scorpions and piranhas are not lethal? They're what? They're almost always non-lethal, I'm so mad! This ruined my day. 
You know what are the most fatally venomous creatures in the world? These little, little bitty fuckers. The blue ring octopus and cone snail. In conclusion, Bond villains are dramatic fools who value flair over efficiency. You want a dead secret agent? Tiny octopus is how you get a dead secret agent. Tumblr, thank you for informing me that one Bond villain has done this and her name was Octopussy because the James Bond franchise really will just do whatever. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I forgot that was a name. Hey Code, I'm leaving secondary school soon. Can you give me a yearbook quote, please? Wherever you go in life, it is always expedient to be the most frightening thing in the room. Know what I respect? Little kids making strange noises for no discernible reasons. Don't enjoy being at close range necessarily, but I do respect the heck out of it. You mean like when those Girl Scouts were growling at each other? That's what Girl Scouts do. You get two more in the vicinity and they'll be growling. It's a territorial thing. And also ways members of the same pack identify each other. Girl Scout things. We all have that one haunted stuffed animal whose memory is best left buried in the dredges of repressed childhood memories. <sighs> Bradley. Goat, have you ever, like, seen someone take physical damage from something you've said? Oh, in boarding school, I taught myself to read the Korean alphabet without telling any of my international student friends. Later, we were hanging out in someone's dorm, and I picked up a Korean newspaper and started reading it out loud. Sho Chung fell off her bunk bed. Korean alphabet is really easy. It's like the best in the world. You should try it. I bet you can't give me anxiety from Silly String. You know, one time I could smell the scent of Silly String emanating from the walls. And I just assumed that meant the clowns were coming for me. It turned out my AC had gas leak, which I'll take any day over the approach of the withering clown horde. <laughs> oh God! I've noticed a trend in life. The larger a thing is, the more likely it is to be evil. This applies to companies, YouTubers, people, and mountains. In case of dogs, the direct opposite is true. A notable outlier. <gasps> a powerful forest spirit visited my yard. Come closer, mortal. Tell me what you most desire. I most desire to give you a little kiss on your head. I just noticed something! Astrum, star, nada, sailor. Astronaut literally means star sailor. How cute is that? Neil Armstrong is Sailor Moon, confirmed. I had a dream that McDonald's had a big ad campaign that just said, We have it! in black cryptic writing. So I went to the drive-thru and said, I saw the sign, can I have it? And the speaker was silent for a solid ten seconds before saying, do you think you're ready? In my voice, I screamed and drove away. An inchworm that makes an accordion noise when it moves. OP, change your URL. Dark TV shows. Happy tree friends. <laughs> I, I think Netflix is broken. How is this a dark TV show? I don't understand. It's not! It's not! It's not! Netflix is not broken! Son. No, mother. I must dance. Did humans invent math or did we discover it? Like, does math even exist? I already regret making this post because smart people keep messaging me trying to explain math and it's making me nauseous. The universe did some weird shit. Then humans were like, I got you now, motherfucker. We got numbers and shit to figure it all out. And as punishment for this hubris, God fucked up physics so hard we still don't know what's going on. Some fucker decided they could just start counting things and it all went downhill from there. Today I got into an argument with my aunt because she was upset that her daughter was dating a girl. So I said, do you really think you should fall in love with so much genitals over their soul? Because that's shallow and sad. And my 75 year old grandmother who was sitting in her rocking chair, who hasn't said a word for the past hour screamed, "Ow, oh, burn! And hit my aunt with a fly swatter. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the fly swatter, fuck, goddammit. Why did the movies come out four, five, six, one, two, three? I'm in charge of scheduling. I was. That's it! That's the best Star Wars joke ever! I swear- Wait a minute, is that really why it's that? Is that- Was that some joke? George Lucas, was that some joke? You think you're funny? He's flat whining, Dr. Uwu. Sees light at the end of the tunnel. Nanikore. Yeah, I want to be a 1930s radio host. Can you imagine? Gray three-piece suit, gray hat, cool old microphone, getting to say all those silly horse names all day. Mr. Mulaney, is that you? My mom just told me to cremate her and put her ashes in an hourglass so even after she's dead and gone, she can continue telling me how much time I'm wasting on this site. Dang. <laughs> well, so you both get burned in the end. You did not. You just... How dare you speak of my mother in that tone of pun! Man, nature's beautiful. Isn't that a croissant? Nature is beautiful. Kids work together to create ETERNAL RECESS. Hashtag community. Cat, you can't have your paws in the water dish and drink off your paw. You can just use your face in the first place. I will not be told what to do. 
Use a photo already on your phone to describe the gay agenda. Quick, while God's not looking! You know, every time I see your blog, I just get dad vibes. Let me make that worse. Did you win the game, son? Did you craft that Overwatch in the Fortnite? Social media has been a boon for me. An egotist in need of perpetual validation with a crippling distaste for in real life interaction. Okay, boomer. Listen, you just ground me into dust. No Ruth, no mercy. My time on Earth was short. Feed my ashes to the sea. Tumblr, stop threatening to eat my ashes! Professor Jiggly is loose in the cat room. Professor Jiggly! No Practically one out of ten comments on the GOAT video asked me to do this, so... It's pucky time! If you were to vacuum up Jello through a metal tube, well, I think that'd be a neat noise. I beg to differ. Then beg. Wait a minute. I like to laugh. He likes to laugh. I'm... Joker? Tell me a joke, please! Wanna know how I got scars? No. Ugh, first you want me to say a joke, then you don't. Make up your mind! Wait, you're not the same person. Am I smelly? Yes, but don't feel sad. You can be a bog witch. Those are pretty neat. Were you in Smash? I don't know where I've been. Shout out to people who don't hurt my feelings. Okay, worm. You are my greatest enemy. I will add a single grain of sand to your room every day until you succumb to the desert. I love you, Pucky. Thank you for making me laugh and smile. I don't know how often you hear this, but thank you. You're my best friend. I will add a single grain of sand to your room every day until you succumb to the desert. Pucky, you make music? What's your music setup look like? Bam! God damn, Pucky, tag your poem. Hey, today's a brand new day. Oh, crap, it's 6 p.m., never mind. It's 12 a.m. somewhere. If time and space didn't revolve around me, maybe. Lately, I've been feeling like a lot of what I read makes no sense, but for some reason, you make a lot of sense for some reason. You know, people are trying to be right no matter how wrong they are. I'm here accepting my primal desires. Damn, that is a quote of the century. Babies are really like... <laughs> Father? Why does this have 2,500 notes? Why do you have approximately 3 trillion cells in your body when they could have been mine? That's a fair point. Feeling highly ambiguous tonight. Like in a sexy way? Like in a... So yes. Your blog is... Funny and funny is good, thank you. You sound like a robot learning emotions for the first time. And he's doing a good job. I'm so fucking proud of my robot son. Hot Dog Time Machine, one of the best movies this summer. Good post, OP. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are everything I aspire to be. Aspire to be slightly better so you can overcome me and kill me. You know what? No more football. The fuck is football? Ha! Success. No, but what, what's football? I feel like I've heard that, but what? Pocky, what did you do? I feel like Jesus would be boring to talk to, to be honest. I'd be like, you like Nintendo? And he'd go, I love bread with nothing on it. You know, you say that, but he literally made wine for a party once. Sounds pretty entertaining to me. Yeah, box wine. Can I get a cursed fact about space? If you go there, you die. My ex-girlfriend fucking stole my tax evasion hoodie. Shit, she stole that like we steal from the government. Damn, cash evasion. Can't have shit in Detroit. Priest at my funeral. He was cringy, but also top doge. You mean dog. I don't speak for priests. I'm going to shit your pants! Just try it, bud. I'll counterspell you and make the whole world shit their pants. What's your most controversial opinion on pastries? <sighs> Too much cream makes me scream. That's what she said. She died six years ago, Brayden. You need to let go. Please. Brayden, the crash wasn't your fault. On the count of three, we all beat the shit out of Brayden. Three. Two? You're safe this time, Brayden. You know what you're not safe from, though, Pucky? This creamy pastry, ooh ooh. Oh, God! If the devil has a pitchfork and the Grim Reaper has a scythe, is agriculture a major industry in the underworld? Thanks to Persephone, it is. You can't spell pleasant without ant. Thank you for this information. You're welcome. Do you want to know something else? Um, yes, I think so. Ants are small. Th thanks. Oh my freaking god, the brown one has angry eyebrows! Yes, this is my dear friend. Dear friend is pretty like snow. You hurt dear friend? I will hurt you. If I pay for an endless buffet, I expect fish sticks. Where are they? Why? Why fish sticks? Why would Neil deGrasse Tyson, one of the most visible scientific figures of the 21st century, want something that cannot be considered actual food? Tell me, Mr. Tyson. Where on the fish is the stick? 
You have no idea how many planets there are. Last night I had a dream that Ben 10 and Danny Phantom were introduced into the MCU via the PG-13 Deadpool Christmas special. Oh yeah, and also that the PG-13 Deadpool Christmas movie was secretly a way to officially introduce Deadpool into the MCU. I mean, why wasn't it? Describing the actual plot of Dracula to someone sounds like lying about the plot of Dracula. Dracula gets stabbed to death by a cowboy. Girls will say they know a spot, then take you to the sacrificial altar. Girls will tell you, there's this really great place, it's a bit of a walk, but it's worth it. Then lead you to the middle of the forest and leave you there. Did, did something happen? <sighs> Can I get back to you on that one? I'm kind of being hunted for sport right now. You know, girls. Take your smileys from normal to unsettling in one easy step by putting a little too much effort into the eyes. I mean like this? Calor. I'm sorry, that's not spelled right. Proof that the British are not real. Americans. Ah, oh, that's not spelled right either. Well, duh, you typed it wrong. Americans! That's better. Yeah, they're such capitalists. Did you just... Being a human is so confusing because you're basically an animal with a soul. So sometimes you're like, am I experiencing a profound spiritual desolation or have I not eaten too much for breakfast? It's impossible to tell. One time I legit cried because I felt like none of my friends liked me. And then I ate sushi and it was fine. Humans, we still animals. The older you get, the more you appreciate just chilling at home doing nothing. It's called being exhausted. When you get cornered by the school bully, so you send one last text to your Minecraft girlfriend. But, his phone vibrates. This is a thousand times better than any Hollywood movie's twist ending. Bored? Study eyes from random characters. What anime is that last one from? Gravity Falls. Me, starting a new game. I'm going to be evil this time. Me, five minutes into said game. Being mean is not nice. Me, when my mom asks to go buy groceries. An evil wizard does a quest. And when your sibling comes with you, Rise of the Chaos Wizards. I have seen cat girls in real life. Where? <laughs> yeah, okay. Here's all the cat girl locations I know. And here's Bigfoot cell number two to top it off. Pfft, get lost, buddy. I'll never reveal where the cat girls are. Yeah. This pick is about to make me lose my life. Eight-year-old me coming to tell my mom I threw up at 3 a.m. Why? Why is that exactly what that looks like? Zeus, ugh, I gotta go home, terrible bitch, if I don't. Aphrodite, I'm gonna go to Ares. I don't wanna go home to my ape of a husband. Poseidon, yeah, I'm gonna see if Demeter's home. Hades, I'm going home to my wife because I love her. That's why I married her. Yo, what do centaurs do with their arms while they run? Don't fuck me up like this. Oh god, they made it worse. Deploy the boy! Boy deployed. Why is there a crab on a tree? It's a coconut crab and they love to climb trees. Throw a Pokeball at that shit. Hey, rate my alternative history map where Chile becomes a world power. Quebec was just completely deleted. Quebec isn't real. What happened to Greenland? God, I love maps designed to piss off literally everyone. A witch is a magic user with more focus on medicine and the body. And a wizard is a magic user with more focus on, like, physics and academia. I don't know what dingus made up one day that they were just the two magic genders. That sounds stupid. All right, let's take it further. Witches are magic doctors. Wizards are magic researchers. Artificers, magic engineers. Alchemists, magic chemists. And sorcerers, magic YouTubers. What about warlocks? <sighs> Magic sugar babies. Some girl in my class was talking about the McDonald's shamrock shakes, and this yeehaw dude in cowboy boots said they suck. And then he looked me in the eyes and said, What you gotta do is go to Arby's and get yourself a mint chocolate chip shake. And he said it with such authority and certainty that I did as soon as I got into my car. I see your concern, y'all, but this wasn't a man telling me what to do. This is a man who had important knowledge and shared it with me. He was aiding me on a quest I didn't even know I was on. You fool, that was Arby himself. I fucking hate game night with the engineering graduates. Don't get me started on poker night with the math students. Yo, Monopoly with business majors is the fucking worst. Scrabble with English majors is a nightmare. But no matter who you're with, 
cards against humanity is always great. Until the psychology majors get a hold of you after playing. Oh god! Okay, bye. The goblin trick for improving your mood. Get some small rocks in your hands. At least three, but maybe more if you have big hands. Close your hands together around all the small rocks. And shake. Rocks will bounce on your hands and on other rocks. There will be noises. There will be good noises. Profit. Okay, but why does that actually sound super relaxing? So I'm currently working at a law firm, and the other day one of the attorneys was talking to me, and he mentioned that he's not very confrontational. And I'm like, you are a lawyer? And he said, yeah, but in court there are rules. I can argue with some schmuck in a suit in front of a judge, no problem. But when I leave the courthouse and go home, I'm not going to argue with my wife about dinner. There are no rules in our kitchen. I would die. Warning, this post contains strong language. <clears throat> Flexing muscles, sit-ups, abs, lifting weights, push-ups, physical activity, running, football, biceps! Dang, that was strong. Damascus was a bad man at the vet and was very bitey, so he got put in the lizard straitjacket for his x-rays. Imprisoned for his crimes. <laughs> Look at that sad little dragon. Today I learned that Vikings exchanged swords as part of their wedding vows, and I, for one, think we should bring that back. The bride and groom then exchange rings to further consecrate their vows, offering rings to one another on the hilts of their new swords. Is this not one of the most romantic things you've ever heard? I want it. I was trying to make my friend a birthday cake, but the dye on the deck of icing started leaking and dripping everywhere, so it accidentally became the most ominous and violent looking baked good I ever seen. So I slapped some sprinkles to try to make it less threatening looking. It worked. A little bit. <laughs> Just to clear up some rumors, I do have blood, and I do have all my bones, and I didn't take them from anyone. I grew them myself, so stop asking. To me, this is really out of context. What the heck happened? You know, for some reason that I will never understand, scrolling through your blog during a mental breakdown cures it immediately, and I don't know what kind of sorcery this is, but I ain't mad at it. Two messages I regularly receive. Your blog almost gave me an anxiety attack, and your blog cured my anxiety attack. I don't understand it any better than you. July? Did you mean Pride Month 2 Electric Boogaloo? Hell yeah, let's do it. Can they, like, release new vegetables? I work at a Whole Foods and I'm here to tell you that they do. Some lady the other day put this on my conveyor belt. And I'm like, ma'am, what is this? And she has the audacity to say, I don't know. My wife just got this tapestry in the mail for the wall of her yoga room. She opened it up and laid it out to look at it, and then Toki, of course, laid down right in the middle. So now he's on a low-budget adventure flying through the woods. Enjoy. Majestic. I'm watching a documentary on Netflix about animals getting prosthetics, and this vet just hand-sculpted a prosthetic beak for an injured swan, and the very first thing it did was use its new beak to bite someone. You fool. You've made Untitled Goose Game re vengeance Pants are an illusion and so is death. Avatar, The Last Airbender. Bringing you entirely underappreciated words of wisdom since 2005. The Emoji Movie got a confirmed animated series and I left a dislike on the trailer video and later that night, Gene, the character of the movie, broke the wall while T-posing with the default facial expression and shot me in my bedroom. Yeah, it's funny how people in notes are saying, gotta remember that goddamn blog name. But this reads like an actual Tumblr.com shitpost. I wouldn't bat an eye if I saw this on my dash, even if I didn't see the name. Donald. No matter our race or gender or creed or way of life or species or breed, no matter our height or girth and scent, we all hate Donald because Donald is a fucking dick. This old Bo Burden poem is oddly appropriate in 2016. It's like he predicted it. I misread that last word and I was like, what are you all going against Donald Duck? Is it because he doesn't wear pants? Oh no, my Wi-Fi's down. I'm now in the Gradient Zone. Gradient Zone aesthetic, y'all. Hey, look. Shitty internet pride flag. I like it. Am I doing crystal healing right? Yes, absolutely. I feel so much better after seeing this picture, so yes, you must be. Hey, Pucky, you got any magic powers or something like that? Yeah, but what's up? Up is this really sad movie about an elderly man and a chubby kid. Actually, it's a happy movie because it has balloons and a golden retriever, so fuck you. Behold! A giraffe! Hey, that's not a giraffe. Ah, uh, lionesses are known for the cunning hunting. I love the idea of an oddly specific curse that isn't even harmful. I got one. 
curse where on Tuesdays you can't say the word Tuesday. Hey, what day is it today? The second Monday. Cool, thanks. Whoever invented chess wasn't fucking around when they made knights. Everything moves in straight lines different ways, simple enough. Now there's a horse that jumps over people in an L shape. Now that is a thrill ride for the 16th century gamer. How can your body replicate the feeling of falling from high altitudes in a nightmare if you've never fallen like that before? I don't know, but I don't like this post. Why is there a fucking tomato in the train? Because the subway. Fuck you. Y'all, I'm watching Avatar The Last Airbender for the first time, and Sokka's girlfriend actually turns into the moon? I thought that was a metaphor or something. It's rough, buddy. Fuck it. Public school lunch. Yo, y'all got true moo? We got that off-brand shit. Falsehood moo. What do you mean I don't have a social life? I just went grocery shopping with my mom. Post that hit differently in May 2020. And still hit in July 2020. Hey girl, you single? No. Would you like to be? Aggressive divorce attorney advertising campaign. You can do better, babe. Let's make this happen. Okay. But imagine. Persephone making a flower crown for Hades, and it's his favorite thing ever, and he wears it all the time, and nobody would ever say anything bad about it because A, are you really gonna insult the god of the underworld? And B, everyone in the underworld loves Perse. She's like the dead mother of hell. When you see it, what am I looking for? I'm so fucking angry. I've seen this post like three times and every time I look for five minutes trying to figure out this fucking post and I never understand. I have no idea what's the point of this post is. I don't understand, fuck you guys. Look at his stomach. The world is a beautiful place. And I am no longer afraid to die. Who wrote Harry Potter? Someone who doesn't exist anymore. Their personality, their connection to our world disappeared the day they gained one billion dollars. All that's left is a little demon that gets angry at those who are different than them. <laughs> Fuck, it's true. And finally I present to you... Toolgator! Shapeshifting is the best superpower because you can have any haircut anytime you want. You can turn into a hotter version of yourself. You can turn into a dragon. You can turn into a robot. You can turn into a shambling mound of abstract shapes and sulk outside your strange father's house at night while chanting ominously about his sins. This took a weird turn, but I'm still on board. June? What's next, July? Heaven forbid, August? When does the nonsense end? I have received some atrocious news! I'm wondering if Bucket Show is the Joker in disguise who is really Deadpool but has the mind of a five-year-old. I really hated everything you just said in more ways you'll ever know. This is worse than the death threats I've received. Blocked! The seven deadly sins, the big hungry, the big horny, the big angry, big overconfident, big jealous, that... What are the other ones? Big lazy and capitalism. Ah, oh, right, thanks! Burger King is offering one cent whoppers through their mobile app if you unlock the coupon wall at a McDonald's. Why does Burger King app have quests? What the king asks, the king gets. Every time I think, I take 10 damage. And every time we kiss, I swear I can fly. This one time when I was seven, I thought I could talk to trees because I had no friends. And I used to sit by them and say things, and one day I was talking to my tree friend called Kevin, and this girl went up to me and said, Are you talking to that tree? You freak! And I started crying and hugged on the tree, and while she was laughing, one of the branches fell on the girl's head. Thanks, Kevin. Josh Freud, grandson of Sigmund Freud, collaborated with King Princess great-great-granddaughter of the owner of Macy's on a line of silk and cashmere sweaters embroidered with anime characters. Any stupid thing in the world can happen through the magic of generational wealth. I just heard my roommate yell, YOU USED ME! from the living room, and I'm sitting there like, what? Two seconds later, my rat comes running into the room holding a french fry in his little baby mouth. I haven't been to a subway in two years because the woman that went, what bread do you want? And I went, yeah. When my dad was in college, he had a friend who told a girl he'd take her on a date unlike any other she'd ever been on. And so, he took her to the supermarket to watch the lobsters fight in the lobster tank. They're married now. Character flaws are fucking important! Me when someone tells me to stop reading mayo packets like they're cocoa tubes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You what? Who wants to see a fat otter? A real round boy? A huge man? A chunky guy? Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Can someone please tell me what kind of musical notation this is? That's a shark. <laughs> Why 
did Zootopia have an underwater zone full of, like, the fish prey and shark predators underwater? Worlds are so fun and beautiful, and it would have been so cool and creative, and I want it. <clears throat> shark tail. I take it back. I don't want it. What's gender? A ghost-type Pokemon. He's purple and fat. See, this is where the post should have ended. This was an amazing reply. But theater kids just had to get in the reblogs and be annoying. No, that's garlic. No, that's Gemini. I'm writing down all of your URLs and I'm going to pummel each of you in a special way. Give me a superhero whose powers are water-based and everywhere they go, they wear a raincoat because clouds have a habit of sporadically pouring down on them, indoors and out. It is later revealed that they are in complete control of these clouds and simply enjoy having an excuse to wear a raincoat. They like the aesthetic. And also it discourages people from inviting them anywhere. I need it. Every update to this godforsaken website is just an attempt to make us leave. But too bad. I'm trapped to die here by now. And if it has to be in this ugly coffin of a platform, so be it. Hotel California, but every few weeks they redecorate and move all the furniture and eventually you're sleeping in a bathtub under a printed gradient in a cheap frame. I hate it! I mean, I'm staying, but I hate it. So God, what do you think about baby stingrays? <gasps> Is baby! Come see my cat! Don't go in! But I want to see the cat. All I'm saying is there's 7.6 billions of us and only one god. We could take him out if we want to. Ah, yeah, but it's too bad he's so high up we couldn't possibly reach him. <gasps> Wait! I just had an idea. It's gonna take a lot of construction work though. But we could do it. Periods are worthless. Ah, uh, but the growth and preservation of the human race during the day of it. I don't care, not worth it. Go to they are a guideline to basic grammar. They are essential. Full stop. Without them, no sentence would ever end. And then where would the parole officers be? Seriously though, the hate for grammar is not needed. And despite how essential it is to communication, I don't see what grammar had to do with the human race's growth and preservation. Uh... The energy radiating off this pose is intense, holy shit. Call that exhausted AFAB energy. You see, what the god was referring to was the- <coughs> Special delivery. Bring me Schrodinger's head! Cheat mode. Close your eyes and you can play any game in your mind. Even Paper Mario. Paper Mario's trash. Close your eyes and imagine yourself being a more likable person. Then open them and weep. Made a birthday cake for my boyfriend, but I forgot how old he was turning. You know, you could save this cake by adding well, smiley face. Well, you've aged. All right, so one time, my cousin and some of our friends are playing D&D. We're at the final boss battle, and I'm a bard, and my cousin is the DM. You are at the final boss. The bard is not allowed to seduce the boss. Oh, I'm not going to seduce anyone. Good. He's going to seduce me. <sighs> Roll. Nat 20. <gasps> <laughs> the Demon King finds you very attractive! And that is why my cousin refuses to play with me now. You know, even if you don't like Halloween, you have to appreciate its position as the sole thing keeping Christmas from advancing even further into the year, like a cancerous growth. The goth kids hold the line. I want to go on a shopping trip where I'm the only one in the shopping mall and everything I want is free. That's called night robbery. So be it. So in my Spanish class, the teacher sometimes put up a sign that says no ingles, and that means we can't use any English that day in class. And we had, like, the smartest kid who was class president, and the teacher asked him something, and he was about to talk in English before the professor pointed at the sign. So the guy busted out in German, and the whole class was stunned silence, and the teacher just gave a heavy sigh and left the room. Not wrong. All letters in my name are actually silent. It's pronounced like... Are we talking a poetic autumn breeze or a fart here? Well, it depends on your accent. Pat shell gently and receive slime. Eleven out of ten product design! I've been watching this show for the past seven years, and now I just realized they're wearing young and old versions of the same outfit! I was just thinking about this. Like, what if Madame Foster wished she was young again so she could do errands that aren't easy for her in her old age? So she imagined Frankie. Don't! Stop right there! Not a single step closer! A rivalry, but only one of them is taking it seriously. Don't you see? We're destined to be rivals. Fate has tied us together. Our meeting was written in the stars. It's our destiny to fight! Okay, cool, man. You wanna play like Mario Kart? 
Yeah, sure, okay. Hey, do you have any not fun facts? The total mass of existent ants is significantly higher than the total mass of existent humans. Stop calling ants thick! Remember that episode of Johnny Bravo where he meets a girl on the internet and she turns out to be an antelope? Johnny got catfished before it was cool. I love that he was just chill about it, too. We all laugh at Guy Fieri, Smash Mouth, and the Shrek movie series, but we all also collectively agree that their existence makes the world a better place. The king laughs at the jester, but values his wit and honesty. Black Panther makes some Jewish bread for a party thrown by a Norse god. T'Challa's holla for the Valhalla Gala. Hey, it's been 30 minutes googling words that rhyme with T'Challa for this to get 60 notes! I got your back, Boat. Do you ever get so annoyed at everything that you start getting pissed off even at little things like a spoon clinking against a bowl to the sounds of people talking? I think it's called sensory overload. It's really common in people with anxiety. It can also be a result of sleep deprivation, stress, or even dehydration. Thanks, I thought I was just a bitch. I mean, let's not rule it out. I ate Chef Boyardee and began to cry. Bruh, that shit was so bad. Hey, noodles, I could have eaten those. Somewhere, a can of Chef Boyardee just dropped off a store shelf and is now rolling to your house to kill you. How dare you disrespect the chef! Goad, I watch a lot of PMC more, and now that I have a Tumblr, I'm following you for myself, because you're funny as fuck! Please, place a grain of sand in my room every day until I succumb to the desert. Okay, but you don't get to choose where specifically in your room. But hint, check your belly button. Had a dream that Driffin Mal- Driffin? Fucking what's wrong with me? Had a dream Griffin McElroy was giving tours at the aquarium as like a special guest kind of thing. And every time he'd stop in front of an animal, he'd be like, All right, gang, gather around. I have no idea what the fuck this is. And then we move on. If that sewer clown makes himself an image of your worst fear before he eats you, I could kick his ass. What's he gonna do? Turn into a physical manifestation of being abandoned by your closest friends? Gonna turn into that ooky spooky visual representation of catastrophic failure and loss? <laughs> Joke's on you, dumbass. The only thing I'm afraid of is myself. Mm, time to kick my own ass. Yeah. Bitch had it coming for too long. Let's do this shit. Minutes and minute shouldn't be spelled the same. I'm not content with this content. I object to that object. I need to read what I read again. Excuse me, but there's no excuse for this. Someone should wind this post up and throw it in the wind. For the love of God, stop! You ever get a bus driver who drives like they're running from God? You're really complaining about the discount roller coaster? Today I learned when people are electrocuted and thrown far distances, it is a result of a sudden and violent muscle contraction, and not the result of the shock. This has raised questions as to the actual strength and capabilities of the muscles in the human body. Are you telling me we're capable of eating ourselves when under extreme stress? Cowboys never die. They just ride off into the sunset. Is that what your parents told you when you came back from school one day and your cowboy was missing? <laughs> he just yeehawed to another ranch, y'all. I begin typing on an old typewriter. A werewolf is steering a submarine, but then stop. I crunch up the paper and throw it in the fire. The world isn't ready yet for Captain Harry McHowes, the submarine pilot who is secretly a werewolf hiding from the moon. Yes, it is. The world would be so much better if people would just unironically write stuff like this. I'm tired of books that take themselves seriously. Caterpillar of the Saturday Day Moth. Extremely don't eat me. Caterpillar. Be there. Ha! That square is five B's by six B's. I'll have you know that is a B rectangle. You have failed. Um, excuse me, Avatar. I see more than four elements. Yes, hello. I am the last Berean Bender. The fact is, we need a uniquely American solution to approaching this pandemic. Like a nationwide competition where if your state has the least percent infected per capita, everyone gets free Taco Bell or something. Strangers would not hesitate to shame your non-mask wearing ass if a fucking free Baja Chalupa was on the line. I... I kinda think that would work. It's so stupid it might just work and I hate it. Ah yes, the pizza party model. Effective every time. PM, what is your opinion on Siren Head, but it makes anime noises instead of creepy radio noises? <sighs> the idea of walking into the forest and seeing a 20-foot siren face demon saying, I need time, is scarier than anything I can comprehend. I actually really liked the concept of Siren Head until 15 seconds ago when I read this ask. I know. Elephant Rock, Iceland. This is an old god, sleeping. Nah, he's not asleep, he's just taking a long sip. 
Do you ever get, like, water hungry? Did you mean thirsty? No. Water hungry. That is what we're calling it now. Yo, who's gonna DM at my wedding? We're all for wedding vows. It's a nat one. Be husband. I say nervously as I accidentally knock out the marriage officiant and somehow eat the ring. The ancient Greek god Zeus used to disguise himself as animals in order to seduce women. So technically, he is the first ever furry. The idea of Zeus looking at a woman and going, it's raw XD time, is gonna haunt me forever. The Food Network show I want. Four chefs compete in a contest to determine who is the best. But they are not given certain ingredients they must use. Oh, they can use whatever they want. They are given the name of the dish. The judge says, make me purple Nirvana. And we get to watch one chef make au gratin blue potatoes, another make a blueberry shortcake, and etc. The worst dish is eliminated until one chef wins. Oh my god, I watched the hell out of this. Call it the name of the game. Food Network! I call me! Let's do this! I was baking a strawberry shortcake for my mom and I realized that I forgot the baking powder. I began to panic so I pulled the cakes out of the oven and they were already completely baked, but they rose just fine without the baking powder? I was staring at them in confusion, trying to remember if I accidentally put yeast in the powder. When I felt a shadow loom over me, I looked over my shoulder only to find Luigi. Luigi tenderly took my hands and told me, You don't need to worry, for I will accompany you in any and all of your baking endeavors. I have never felt more loved in my life. I cried. I thought this was the mother of all shippos. The casting director. We need the voice of Pikachu to be a recognized name, but it's going to be tough to find a respectable actor who... Ryan Reynolds. Me! I'll do it! Pika Pika, motherfucker! Why does the King George song from Hamilton have BDSM undertones? That's so unnecessary. Well, absolute monarchs always radiate BDSM energy. I'm angry because you're not wrong! I feel like everyone worships avocados, and I'm struggling because it just tastes like compressed wet grass lump, but nobody will listen, and I'm all alone in this world. Don't mock my squishy hawk nuts. This is the worst thing that could have happened to this post. A few days ago, I was walking past a basketball court, and a ball flew at me, and I didn't flinch, caught the ball, threw it back at the guy, responded to his thanks bro with a nod. It was like the ghost of some guy named Chad took over me, so I didn't, like, embarrass myself. God bless you, Ghost Chad. A tomato and its grandpa. How do you even melt a tomato? I just realized that is in fact a pile of ketchup. Every time I think of the black market, I actually imagine a market with little stalls selling illegal things like nuclear weapons and organs. I thought it was a load! Wait, so that's not what it is? I hate how reward systems never work for me. Like, I can't just say, if I finish this assignment, I can have a cookie. Because my brain is like, or, you could just have one right now. And I can't argue with that logic. Yeah, self-imposed deadlines don't work either, because I know the guy who set them and he's full of shit. Exactly. We need more art of Remy in something besides the leather jacket. Yo, what's going on in the Ratatouille fandom? Why would a rat wear a jacket? Kitchen's chilly. I got it. All right, two things. One, labels exist to help people understand things about themselves and others. And two, you are not obligated to use labels you don't find comfortable or helpful, even if others try to press them on you. Not a shit post. Serious post. Very serious. Okay, Scooby said rut row, Shaggy said zoinks, Velma said jinkies, and Daphne said jeepers. What did Fred say? Fred says... <laughs> the lady at the sandwich shop today was like, that'd be 420, love, would you like it toasted? And I nodded and said, blaze it and the guy working the sandwich toaster lost it. You're not fake simply because you act differently depending on the person you're with. Different personalities bring out different aspects of your personality. You're complex and multidimensional. It's beautiful. In anthropology, this is called code switching, and it is a completely natural thing that pretty much everyone does. AKA, it's this is called being an adult and learning how to interact with different groups of people. I. I've been cooking for myself for a decade, and I today, just now, for the very first time, found out the difference between virgin and regular olive. And that difference is important. Virgin has more flavor, better in salads, you know. And regular has a high burning point and is better used for cooking. I have burned so many dishes because I use virgin oil to cook when I used to have been using regular. God, you gotta stop sacrificing the virgins just for cooking. Well, excuse me for being on board the flavor train!
Until I was 12, I was vegan because my parents were too. And one time in like my fifth grade science class, we had to draw pictures of carnivores, omnivores, herbivores, you get the idea. And like five kids drew a picture of me for herbivore. And that was the moment I realized I hated public school. King Arthur was supposed to arise when the world's need was greatest, so wakey wakey, someone knock on his tomb or something. Inside the flower company supplying America's sudden baking obsession. How King Arthur Flower found itself in the unlikely crosshairs of a pandemic. I hate fables. The only objective way to measure the quality of any character creation in games is, Can I make Waluigi in this? Wah. Wah never changes. Do you ever memorize a person's voice? Like you can construct a sentence in your mind that that person's never said, and yet you hear them say it. Is that a thing people can do? Yeah. There are people that can't do that? We are the chosen few. We have a great power. Beer. One of my favorite threats is you're not invited to my birthday party anymore. From ages 4 to 11, it's one of the most heinous things you could say. Then 12 through 17, it's just embarrassing, because teens think that is the most childish thing to say. But from 18 onward, it only gets more and more effective. If only because it confuses the person you're speaking to. It's like a verbal smoke bomb. It catches them off guard and disorients them to the point that they might not even know how to react. Street smarts! You know the thing where Red Pandas just laid down on a branch and let their legs hang out and they're just like vibing? They're just vibing, you know? Man, I want to be a Red Panda. I said to my little sister, gods don't die, and my brother ran up to me and whispered in my ear, some do, like he knew for sure. He's six. I'm so fucking frightened for my life. Update, I put him to bed and said goodnight, and he replied, it won't last. And I'm fully convinced he's far more powerful than any other human being. Hey, here's a fun fact for all my followers who follow me. Butter, ice cream, milk, and cheese all come from the same animal. I can't remember which animal it is right now, but I know for sure it's the same one. I'll give you a hint. It moose. Ah, thanks. Yeah, it was the moose. Kanye West, I'm running for president. All of us who have already gotten used to 2020's fuckery. You know those days when you're like, this might as well happen? A very intimidating middle-class family is staring me down at Panera Bread because I put mac and cheese on my baguette. Update! I told them that staring is rude and I would eat anything on this baguette, including their small child. I'm sorry, what? It's a cupcake. It's a cupcake. God damn it. There were no cases of autism before 1930. Yeah, Mount Everest wasn't discovered till 1856, but I'm sure the fucking mountain still existed. Replace every vowel in your URL with oob. Or even just your name. My roommate's name is Joanne, so her name is now Jaboobdanoob. And she's on the floor. Today I learned of the most famous person ever to have literally been in a pickle is Horatio Nelson. He died at sea. So the surgeon on board pickled his body in brandy to preserve it for the long trip to England. Two weeks into the journey, gaseous pressure bursts the cask lid, making Nelson rise from the dead. <laughs> Funniest shit I've ever seen. There is only one gender, and it's mine. Y'all can't have it. Hey, Mom says it's my turn on the gender. Yo, lads now available, my dudes. Uh-oh, Julius, looks like you've skipped your Latin class. Hmm, you know what that means. I'm at a work meeting. And this absolute bastard of a man is eating an apple, bottom down core and all. Just fucking crunching away like that's how humans eat apples. This fucker. And how I describe my mood. <clears throat> ah! Welcome to organic chemistry, where questions like, where do you keep your chloroform? Are no longer suspicious. Never trust an organic chemist. You ever look at macaroni and cheese and realize you are lucky because no one has tried to eat you? Up here, you okay? Oh, you know, the usual. I'm actually pretty happy. People make fun of creepy pasta titles being too descriptive, like, I went hiking with my class and it didn't end well. Or something's living in my grandma's basement. Or, I'm never taking a job on Craigslist again. But for someone with zero attention span, descriptive titles like that are a hell of a lot more eye-catching and attention-grabbing than some poetic one or two word title that doesn't even hint at what the story is about. For example, a creepy pasta title, Red Curtains, what does that even mean? I'm so bored. Meh. Next title. Every house on my block had a new antenna last night. Me. Immediately riveted needs to know what happened or else I will die. Oh my 
God, who put them there? What are they doing there? What did they come from? What? And a new title. The Real Reason Silly Putty isn't available for Prime 2 Day shipping. Does this not strike instant curiosity into your heart? I was recently told to Google the official bird over Nando Beach. This has improved my quality of life immensely. It is the Goodyear Blimp, adopted in 1983. Beautiful. Don't judge a book by its cover should be updated to don't judge a book by its movie. Meanwhile, the Percy Jackson fandom. <laughs> I overheard these two guys in the hallway of my school. One of them was like, you always look hot, dude. No homo, though. And then five seconds later, he yelled, psych, and then slapped the other dude's ass. Aw, imagine your OTP. Today is going to happen. Are you? Is this a threat? Definitely a threat. Today, I learned a new color. Eigengrau is a shade of gray that we all can see, but never knew what it was called. The color is visible when you open your eyes in a pitch black room. All you need to do is find the darkest room in your house, walk in, close your eyes for a minute, open them, and you will see it. Oh, 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 you won't trick me, demon! Oh yes, I have a new color in my wine cellar. Come down and take a look. Ah, oh, that's a golden tag right there. Ben and Jerry's is a dangerous ice cream. Capitalizes on the evolutionary human instinct to dig for chunks. And before you know it, Half the pint is gone. Wait, people sleep with their doors closed? Yo, if growing up in really old New England houses has taught me anything, it's that you have to sleep with the doors closed so that the ghosts that roam the rest of your house won't disturb you. I had it up to here with you, Elizabeth. You know the phrase, no amount of skill will protect you from the sheer luck of a chronic dumbass popped into my head. And if that ain't a big mood trademark, I don't know what is. Dungeons and Dragons, a summary. Okay, for real, kids who grew up with these room plus bathroom combinations don't know how good they had it. I had an entire floor to myself. And then there's this asshole! Today I learned Pepsi was originally called Brad's Drink. Still is. Now I'm going to change my name to get some Pepsi. Now it's my drink. God, two words. Stingray skeletons. Oh, my stars and garters. How have we been sleeping on ocean skeletons? We need to awake the ocean skeleton fandom. I mean, what unholy? This is a pufferfish skeleton. This is a butterfly fish skeleton. This is a morefish cytoskeleton. skeleton, aka the sexy fish from Finding Nemo. Yo, check out a mola mola skeleton. This makes me inexpressibly angry. I'm gonna throw a damn chair. Are we ignoring the fact that Goat called Gil sexy? Judge all you want. But the fact remains, you knew exactly which fish I was talking about. You may not like it, but I said sexy fish, and that's where your brain went. We both have to live with our sins. I hate it when you're right. Do you honestly think I enjoy it? I hate it! I used to eat McDonald's every day until I found out what they really used to make their cheeseburgers and chicken nuggets. I can't believe I put all that poison in my body! Okay, but did you die? You think being gay is hard? Try telling people you're only attracted to clowns. You know, narcissism ain't cute, sis. There's literally no possible response I can make to this where I come out a winner. I've never been owned this hard before. I think I legally owe you money now. Why do people ever buy the hard cookies when there are also the soft cookies is my question. I am getting one-word responses to this such as crunch and weapon. Hi, nice meeting you. Well, you know what? On second thought, Hey, remember in 2016 when clown attack panic was a thing? And then two years later, I managed to leave no lasting indent in the American psyche? How does that work? The clowns won. This reply terrifies me more than religion or mortality ever could. Hades, babe, what's wrong? Persephone, drunk, scratching two of Cerberus' heads and weeping. I don't have enough heads! You have successfully collected zero potatoes! Top 10 sentences that make you burst into tears. Ah, lads, not again. I've always thought my life was a tragedy, but now I realize it's a cringe compilation. Did you mean Hamlet? How dare you make my post funnier? Yo, you either get in the voice call and talk about Avatar The Last Airbender, or we cannot vibe, bro. I just failed a student for their midterm grade, and they just sent me an email that just says, bruh, like, deadass, 
Bruh, respectfully. Can we appreciate the respectfully, though? Sorry, bro, but according to my calculations, you now have to kiss me on the lips. Bro, it's in the math right here. I checked it with the calculator and everything. Kiss me. Stop by the lab. We have hand saunas, Piper Boys, Piper Boy hats, the vibe check, extreme merry-go-round, and evil jello. Do not listen to this post! They will not let you eat the jello! Remember when I was temporarily blind and my mom took me shopping, but I got lost in the parking lot and ended up confused and in a hole and she just took pictures instead of helping me? This was wild from start to finish. Today I learned abandoned footwear has its own Wikipedia article for some reason. Which is not nearly as cool as the phenomenon of abandoned staircases being discovered in national forests all around the world, but also not nearly as creepy as all the detached human feet regularly discovered off the coast of Canada. I can't believe Yoshikage Kiro was on Family Feud. <laughs> Fuck. Everyone at the farmer's market wishes to know me carnally. Posts on here are like, everyone at the farmer's market wishes to know me carnally. 25,000 notes. <laughs> I can't tell if this was written out of spite or if this actually just lined up. Target acquired. Dumbass mode engaged. Goad, I feel like you need to know this, even though you don't know me. But I have a pet earthworm named Sasuke. And their favorite food is cilantro. <laughs> Honestly, you both have the same kind of chaotic energy. Reading this was both punishment and absolution. Muggleborn's accidentally calling Dumbledore Gandalf. Muggleborn's purposely calling Dumbledore Gandalf, and then Dumbledore looks him dead in the eyes and says, Call me that one more time and you shall not pass. This is why I love my fandom, like seriously! Words I use in every sentence. No, stop, dude, literally. Like, seriously, fuck! That's a sentence right there. Forwards and backwards. You can rearrange them in any order and it'll be a sentence. Ladies and gentlemen, the extensive vocabulary of Tumblr! My wife's so cute because we both love animals so much, but her way is very pure and genuine, whereas my family is me holding up my cat. Stinky. No, don't be mean. Stinky bastard man. No. And my mother not looking up from chopping veggies. Naughty boy, brat cat. No. I have the B-movie script memorized. My friends are telling me I should recite a couple of minutes for the talent show. Even better is that I'm a speed talker at around 420. Hey, words per minute. So I can get even more of the script done. Hi, what's your talent? Reciting the B-movie script. Uh, excuse me, what? I said reciting the B-movie script. Just, just give them the trophy they want, please have mercy. Some Tumblr jokes are utterly embarrassing to say in public, but today I said to someone, both of you to assume I have dignity. And I won't lie, it was the most powerful I've felt in years. I was in the car with my family and my mom was talking about how much time she thinks our generation wastes on the internet or whatever. And I was explaining how I use the internet to read and curate most interests and hobbies and expand my social horizons, etc. And she was like, well fine, if that's how you want to live, you can just waste all your time on the internet if that's what you want, but I beg to differ. And without thinking, I just said, then beg. And the car went silent until we got home. It was the biggest power move I have ever made to date. Tutorial. Brush him. <laughs> Thank you. I learned a lot. You know where the dinners talk about this? We are down the block to the left. July 11th, 2019. I have their time. Does anyone else ever take an earphone out to tell a joke that they just came up with, but then realize that everyone in the room is straight, so won't get it? I may have a problem. I'm stuck in a house with my straight family, and they're moderately supportive, but they don't get the memes. You dig? I was just waiting for my snack crap, but everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. This looks like something out of a freaking Sims game. Watch out, Superhero Lock! There's a new trinity in town. The Shriax movie. No, thank you. Today I learned that once your GPS unit realizes it's traveling faster than 1,200 miles per hour at an altitude higher than 60,000 feet, it will automatically shut itself down in fear that it's being used in an international ballistic missile-like application. Me trying to find the Aldi's at 2 a.m. in my 747 commercial airliner. <sighs> this again? The LP should be worded differently, because this makes me feel like the GPS has an AI and can feel fear. Shh, it's all right, the villain said. You're doing beautifully, and I'm so proud of you. But that's enough now. It was cruel of them to make you fight me. You could have never won. It's not your fault. The ancient and powerful villain may have had a calm and gentle face as he spoke, but he was furious. Not at the hero, but the gods for continually sending kids and teenagers to fight their battles. Ayo, hey, what's a fucking cheeseburger? We got small, medium, large. What flavor you want? Few gender-neutral things to call your partner. Significant annoyance. I love capitalizing words that do not need to be capitalized at all. 
so that you read them in that important voice. You know what's absolutely gorgeous? Brown eyes with a dark ring around the iris. We should romanticize that more. I have blue eyes with a dark ring around the iris. Make your own pose. This one's for brown eyes. Oh, no, it's not romantic. It's the last thing people see. Jesus Christ, that got dark fast. Fact of the day. Zebra stripes are not always black and white. Sometimes they are black and orange. This is a giraffe. Beds are overrated. Just sleep on the couch. Wait, you can cuddle better on beds. Couches are overrated. Just sit on the bed. Dude, but like romantically. Babe, but like platonically. Sweetheart, but like rivalry. Bastard, but like partner. And darling, but I can't stand you. Soft rocks. Can you imagine, though? You send your enemies a rather large amount of these in various sizes. You have no return address or explanation. They open all the boxes to discover these wondrous pillows. They are reluctant to keep them, but eventually they give in and integrate them into their home like the above pictures. After a few weeks or even months, they've gotten accustomed to having them in their home and routinely relax in large pile of the odd pillows. Until one night, you just take every single one back and replace them with actual rocks of the same dimensions so that when it's time for them to relax and unwind from their day to day, fall into a pile of hard, unmoving boulders. They break their spine and are paralyzed. You have won. What the fuck is wrong with you? This sounds like a Doctor Who episode. Your package has been delivered. Well, we would never drive in your fucking house on like FedEx official. When you need fast delivery, we come through. I am 20 years old, and I still have no idea how girls make hats out of towels after they shower. This is the most innocent yak I've ever seen. This lifted my spirits a little. One time my brother tried to yank away my towel hat and was promptly horrified when I yelled in pain. I didn't know your hair was in there, he cried. <sighs> Boys. Wait, your hair's in the twisty part? Roses are red. His name is Peppy. He runs so fast because he make a big steppy. An orangutan traveling at non-Euclidean speeds erupts from the aether to clothesline you into another dimension. Okay. What's the point of that? Ways to look more angelic. Carry flowers everywhere. Pink or gold eye shadow. Wear long ankle dresses. Soft humming. And have a pink glowy blush. You could also wield a flaming sword. Or be covered in eyes. Three pairs of wings. A wheel. Or announce your arrival by screaming, Fear not! Wherever you go. I recently heard the phrase, the human version of tangled earphones, and I've honestly felt that describes most people in my social group. That's how I describe my best friend and my least favorite person. Today I went to a coffee shop, fully masked and legal, I'm from the UK, and I witnessed this. Barista, do you want your coffee hot or iced? Dude, well, I'm not gay, so hot. Okay, sir, that's 350. Turns to me, what about you? I'll have an iced latte. And that look on that dude's face. I don't know why or how it made him feel that way, but I've never felt more powerful in my life. FYI, the name Dennis is derived from Dionysus. That is all. This, this means Denny's. Denny's is absolutely the domain of a god of chaos and revelry. Everything suddenly makes so much sense! Okay, didn't 4chan create some shitty anime girl, or was that some sort of horrifying fever dream? Oh, do you mean the shitty anime girl that was supposed to be everything that could be seen as Moe put together into a collective beast known as Moetron? Jesus Christ, you could see the suffering in its eyes. Oh, looks like someone's not practicing social distancing, Uwu. Guess you'll be infected by the coronavirus. Stay the fuck home, Uwu. This Lord Officer! Shoot him! Yo, this is the old age we deserve. Riding a train with a spear, eye patch, and live crow. Today is today. He's just on a quest. That's just Odin. Just another ordinary day on the public transportation. Probably a Wednesday. I get it. Today I learned the Beatles approached Stanley Kubrick to direct a Lord of the Rings movie starring themselves. Tolkien killed the project as a result of his hate for the Beatles. A hate developed after moving three doors down from the Beatles in 1964, who irked him with the indescribable noise from their practice sessions. Who, A man who spent hundreds of pages describing trees and meals and worked out the linguistics of multiple fictional languages an entire cosmology of his fictional world called the Beatles' rehearsal sounds indescribable.
Today at work, I let someone into a dressing room and they said thanks, and half of me tried to say you're welcome, and the other half tried to say no problem, and I ended up saying your problem. Mood. Somebody's playing a piano, it's midnight here, why? Update, I figured out they're playing, my heart will go on. Update, I just opened my door and yelled, Jack! The music stopped, and I could hear somebody running down the hall above me shouting, Rose! Oh my god! Can I ship it? No, it'll sink. You. When the sun hits the pelican's beak at the right angle, you can see inside of it. He's just trying to find his son. Maybe I should do the Boo Radley challenge where I stay in my house for 25 years and never leave. Ah, this is the greatest literary reference I've ever read. Look at these super awesome opal cubes! Oh, I want to put these in my mouth real bad, but I know they're rocks, so I'm getting pissed off. Judge, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Me. No. What, what do I do? Power move of the century. I looked this up because I wanted to know if you could, and you can technically, but you're instantly guilty of contempt of court and go directly to jail. Ah! Trial speedrun. Proceeds to break a glass bottle. Okay, who wants to fight? Accidentally cuts someone. Oh my god, are you okay? This post is so Canadian. Yeah, but I live in Texas. You're definitely Canadian. I'm not fucking Canadian! One of us. One of us. What's going on? One of us! One of us! One of us! One of us! My understanding of D&D is that the GM has the power to make the quest a heist. But players control whether the background music for this heist will be the Pink Panther theme, the Mission Impossible theme, or the Benny Hill theme. Okay. Alternate universe where I literally just go to school forever, but for free. So I can just learn about art and literature and history and languages for a hundred years. No job skills, no credit requirements, no student loans. Just learning. That sounds cool and terrifying all at once. Treat spiders the way you want to be treated! Ah, so killed without hesitation. A person I just met said, yeah, I grew up loving the Percy Jackson books, and I accidentally responded, so you're gay. And he was, in fact, gay. But nobody's ever said it that bluntly before, but yeah. Today I was getting my hair cut, and I pulled up the picture to show the very nice lady cutting my hair, and she looked at it and said, um... Are you sure you're showing me the right picture? And I looked down at my phone and I was showing her this. Whoops. In my doctor's office there is a giraffe with the Pringles guy's head. What? Is that a cup wearing pants? Yes. Is that? Is that Majora's Mask in the mirror? Oh my god, it keeps getting worse! I want emo versions of idioms. Like instead of, you're barking up the wrong tree, it's, you're panicking at the wrong disco. You can lead a horse to evanescence, but you can't bring him to life. Well, this isn't my first Black Parade. You know what's dumb? The concept of treating adolescents like children throughout the entirety of their teenage years, and then at around age 17, pull a complete 180, and expect them to decide within the next couple of years what they want to do with the rest of their lives. You put it into words. Mango? Mangoing? Mangoing? Mango. Speaking of which, I hope all my mutuals know that you can just go on down to the hardware store and just BUY a big old bag of dried blood. Mmm, forbidden a squirk. Refuse to differentiate between important and unimportant information in your scene descriptions. Looking around the road streets, you see a few burned out houses, various bits of rubble, 4,000 demons pointing swords at you, a pile of knocked over street signs, and a stray cat. All your players, immediately. I pet the cat! <sighs> the 4,000 demons immediately lower their blades, as you have successfully shown proper tribute to she who walks the shadows, the bitter talon, the queen of the dark pit, Mrs. Flufferbutt. Today I learned professional clowns who want to patent their look can paint their likeness on an egg and have them stored in the clown gallery in East London. The egg registry acts as informal copyright that protects a clown from having their look stolen by a copycat. A tiny glimpse into the topsy-turvy world of clown society. Covertly adds this to my ever-growing list of things I thought Terry Pratchett made up for his fantasy world are actually real things. The bourgeoisie is a turquoise bourgeois. If not, then the world is lost on me. What the fuck is a bourgeois? This. Wow. Delicious. Today's aesthetic. Keeping the same tab open in your browser for three solid weeks because you're definitely going to get around to reading and or acting on whatever's in that any minute now. Don't call me out like this! Okay, some of you motherfuckers have been submitting my post to PMC Moore's Discord. Oh shit. 
I'm going to take this awesome opportunity to make his life a living hell. <clears throat> lead rhymes with read, and lead rhymes with red. But read most definitely doesn't rhyme with lead, and lead doesn't rhyme with red. My god, why? Crabs are so gentle. They can be so kind. Their claws, precise little things. So careful in the sand, so careful with food. They do what they must to live and wave their claws to express their joy to the world for giving so much to them, for giving such kindness to these creatures known as crabs. Please, be gentle to crabs. I was on a new sleep medication last night. But you were right. Roy Mustang, after emotionally manipulating an 11-year-old child into joining the military. <laughs> I'm so smart, he'll join for sure. Edward, arriving at his office a year later with the intention to break as many laws as possible. I'm here to make your life hell, little man. It's a beautiful day, Animestris. And you are a horrible state alchemist. Pearl remembering her father Ganondorf, the previous Pearl. Uh, I... I can't unsay it, and I hate it. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a Roman senator. Caesar, are you okay? Are you okay, Caesar? Guys, what if the new Disney movie turns me into a furry? I'm scared. Yo, it's already turned me into one. You see that swole-ass tiger on the train? He looks like he'd treat me right and my family would love him. Oh, my God. Bye, all Jesus can't even save me now. Is this why everyone was after Tony the Tiger? I don't know. But, but God damn. God damn. God damn. Britain is a strange place. We have to boost the power at a certain time to cope with everyone putting the kettle on for a cup of tea. You're joking, right? Wow! No, I'm not. It even has a wiki page. Oh my god. I just realized something. Gurr never washes his fursuit. Please don't call Gurr's costume a fursuit. I will cry. That's what it is, though. Whenever I'm spooked, I play the worst, most meme music. Because I hold the firm belief, nothing can kill you if the vibes are strong. If you have fresh prints going on as loud as possible, whatever's haunting you is gonna be like, Oh man, I can't kill this, the mood's all wrong now. The ghost crawling out of my television. <laughs> Me, turning caramel dancing up to 180 decibels. Vibe check! <laughs> There's people who make a character who's obviously supposed to be optimal waifu and lose their shit when people like them so much. You know who I mean. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, it's complete, complete fucking mystery to me. I, that's, that, I, I, what? No. You know what? Fuck therapy. I'm becoming a knight. Pearl Ghost wrote this. Mr. Krabs' daughter? No, The Rock. Dwayne? Hello, boys and girls, or whatever. Jack Sparrow, accepting you for whatever gender you decide to be since 2003. You know, there should be a captain in that tag somewhere. Ah, my apologies. <clears throat> Jack Sparrow, captaining you for whatever captain you captain to captain since captain. Ah, so close. You want motivation? All right, all right. My parrot is up at 6.30 every morning, cursing and denying God. What are you doing in those precious morning hours? Sleeping? Psh, pathetic. Me screenshots things my girlfriend said to me so I can read it later. Me. Yeah, I'm not gay. Dude, no offense. I don't want to go around like a social justice warrior or anything. But if you have, you have a girlfriend, you're straight. That's, that's, just, that's just how it works. <clears throat> I'm a girl. What the fuck? I don't know who needs to hear this, but... <clears throat> Shut the fuck up, you skin tone, chicken bone, Google Chrome, no home, flip phone, disc zone, ice cream cone, garden gnome, extra chromosome, metronome, dimodome, genome, full blown, monochrome, student loan, Indiana Jones, Flintstone, hormone, friend zone, Sylvester Stallone, Sierra Leone, auto zone, professionally seen, silver patron, head, ass, the fuck up! The sun is so big and I am so small. You know, contrary to popular belief, it is the reverse. <gasps> Finally, good news the sun versus Pocketo! I just want to say, these two have the same voice actor. 
Judy, me boy, you've been invited by the king of bugs, see, say, to visit Lake Glaugai. <laughs> Double depression can be defined as fairly depressed mood that lasts for at least two years and is punctuated by periods of major depression. Tired of your boring old regular depression? Try double depression. Thanks. I hate it. I opened this ugly app to do something, but I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was to find love. No, actually, it was so I could find this specific image. Where's Garfield's arms? Writing prompt. You can bring dead people to live again, but for every person you bring back, you have to sacrifice one body part. Oh, <laughs> I got this. Me plucks out another hair. The sadistic genie. Okay. I know that technically counts, but I really feel like you're not getting into the spirit of- I ceremonially sacrifice my hair very seriously. Okay, like one time. Just- once! Couldn't it be like a toe or a finger or something? Oh, like how you so graciously go by what people mean, not exactly how they phrase things. Okay, sometimes I- Just resurrect them already! My parrot has a vague understanding of the word no. He knows how to stop doing what he's doing when he hears it. And he knows how to say it. He knows that it's a word that is used when he's doing something he shouldn't be doing, However, being told no doesn't make him stop doing it in the future. If he's ever out of my sight, or if I'm not paying attention, I know exactly when he's doing something bad. Because he says no to himself as he does it. Behold, Victorian female medical students. Wow, looks like one of them had a really tough semester. Blood is thicker than water, but maple syrup is thicker than blood, so technically, pancakes are more important than family. Are you Canadian? Seriously, you haven't figured it out? Uh, Freddy Krueger's love child with Abby from Dance Moms? Deadpool's left butt cheek from an alternate universe given human form? Chad from The Bachelor after taking one too many shots? Every before image for proactive merged into a walking acne culture? God, I thought Spider-Man didn't murder people! <laughs> Holy fucking shit! When you find that special someone, an egg engagement ring. Delete your blog. No! Proceed. Today I learned all the clowns do actually get in the car. There's no allusion to it. They just gut the car so it's an empty shell with a motor and controls, beefed up the spring so it doesn't ride too low, and then send in the clowns. I fucking love the way this was worded. Had a dream just now that Macklemore was named Time Magazine's most muckable musician, and he showed up at an interview to accept the award, and they mugged him. What's the point of mugging someone who only has $20 in their pocket? Well, $20 can get you many peanuts. Explain how? Well, you see, money can be exchanged for goods and services. An object in a horror film. Every single character for some fucking reason. I would like to touch it. Oh my god, what if we named animals after the sound they make like in Pokemon? Honey, can you take the bark for a walk? Could you feed the meows? Hey, look at all those moos. Wow, that's one big <laughs> Probably bad RPG idea. Home rule that whenever a PC isn't in a scene, their player must do an idle animation until they are in a scene again. LP, I'm gonna need you to change your URL. I'm a little high, but what if people proposed with beautiful, intricate knives? Ladies would gather around the table and be like, guess what finally happened? And pull this beautiful, intricate dagger out of her purse, and all the other ladies would gasp and congratulate her. Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Girl, Zelda is hot. Guy. Pff, actually, his name's Link. Um, no, I'm gay. That dude went and, like, time to humiliate another fake gamer girl and got chemically castrated instead. Love it. Bro, stop chanting in dead languages. You're scaring the hose. I'm summoning the hose, fool. Swallowing glass, but to stay pure. You know, if you put my name and your name together, you get mayonnaise. Also, please, don't swallow glass. Hey, King, take this chucky milk. Hey, uh, where's the... Where's the glass? She needs to relax her shoulders. Her dad died. Okay, um, the tension she's carrying isn't gonna bring her back, so... lol. I had a dream that mentions of magic were banned, so Harry Potter had to be reprinted with wizard replaced by cool guy, and any mention of magic spell replaced with sweet trick. Hmm. The Ministry of Sweet Tricks. You're a cool guy, Harry. One question. Who will stop him? Nobody. Let the boy dance. Wisdom teeth are weird, because my body is like, Hey, I know you're done growing, but would you like some 
more teeth? And I'm like, hell no, there's no room. But then the body's still like, more teeth, more teeth, more teeth, more teeth. Oh, there's no room? Well, that's fine. We'll just grow them in fucking sideways. Do you think kids during the Industrial Revolution had the same weird millennial Gen Z experience of having technology change so much while they're growing up? A middle-aged man in the 1890s. Condescendingly explaining what a candle is. Okay, governor. The Great Gatsby's copyright expires January 1st, 2021. And I, for one, am quite looking forward to the inevitable publication of Nick Gatsby fanfiction. Look me in the eye and tell me there's not at least ten people sitting down on a completed manuscript right now. I dare you. Oh, dear. Time to write the greater Gatsby. 2021 is looking pretty bright right now. Me walks into a hospital. i like to return myself, nurse, but you can't- I have the receipt. Hands them my birth certificate. Oh, no problem. Come right this way. Wait a second. If I'm asexual and you're asexual- then who's giving a fuck? Lion paw compared to a human hand. Very big toe beans. Hi, I am deficient in so many minerals and I'm about to do something I'll regret. Thanks, vitamin D deficiency. Now excuse me as I proceed to do the thing I'll regret. It's the final brain cell! <laughs> wow, the Jonas Brothers on the radio, people watching Fruits Basket. It's really 2009 again, huh? Now, for the swine flu! Hey guys, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to- My favorite bit of black dog folklore is that in some folklore, there is a belief that the first person buried in a cemetery stays there and doesn't cross over, and helps other spirits move on and protects them from evil spirits. Now naturally, people want to avoid this fate for their loved ones and themselves, so they would sometimes bury a dog first, and it would return in the shape of a big black dog, and protect the newly dead from evil spirits, and occasionally the living as well. This kind of spirit is called a church grim. Uh, you mean it's called a good doggy? Auntie Mom. You know, it's okay if you don't finish your plate because you're only human and the vast majority of food waste comes from corporations and government organizations throwing it away, and not households. Auntie Dad, as long as you live under my roof, we will communicate and negotiate the terms and rules together to make it the most pleasant living experience for the both of us. This... This is the Adams family. That's because the Adams are a healthy family. I'm not like other girls. I don't die when I'm killed. People die if they're killed. That's the way it should be. Yeah, but I, me, I'm not like the other girls. I should have known better than to be mentally ill in high school. Me reading your tarot cards. Okay, I have drawn the Empress, the Queen of Discs, the uh, Jack of Diamonds, Blue Eyes White Dragon, a couple of Swamplands, and Pikachu. I place the Knave of Swords face down in defense mode and end my turn. Imagine getting jumped by a bunch of ants and you hear them say, TAKE HIS ASS TO THE MICROWAVE! Your partner needs to TP, please help him! Okay, so I was listening to music and I got this message. At first, I assumed that my boyfriend sent the wrong person a message asking for toilet paper. But when I got up to bring him some, I saw his phone on his bed and realized, Please someone message my partner on Tumblr, I'm trapped with no TP and they have their headphones on! Help! He left his phone in the room and only took a switch with him. So all I could do was desperately tweet in SOS. I had to adapt to fucking survive. The ultimate power move in a vampire fairy rivalry would be the fairy inviting the vampire over for tea. The vampire has natural dominion over anyone who invites them into their home. And the fairy has natural dominion over anyone who violates the laws of hospitality. And neither can refuse the appointment without shown weakness. So it'd just be a constant head game of the vampire trying to maneuver the fairy into position where the obligations of hospitality allow the vampire to eat them. And the fairy trying to trick the vampire into doing something that they would allow the fairy to declare them a poor guest. You know, eventually they're going to get hit with the magical equivalent of being snowed in together, right? Is... is that not the point? Enemies to lovers! You know, things could be worse. Your parents could be turned into pigs, you could be forced into slavery at a bathhouse, and your boyfriend could be a river. I got it. I'm sad I wasn't born in the era of- Bitch, do it! If you like love letters, write them. If you like poodle skirts, wear them. Society is imploding as we watch an abject horror. Do whatever you want. Well then, time to buy a guillotine. An older human calls you son. Mm. Dwarf calls you laddie. 
<laughs> Elven woman calls you love. <laughs> Orc chief calls you cub. <laughs> and goblin calls you friend. <laughs> I can't believe I've been friend zoned by a skeleton. I need more context on this. <clears throat> I can't believe I've been friend zoned by a skeleton! Yeah. Today I learned that in 2019, a saxophonist was hired to compose a song for the critically endangered New Zealand bird, the Kakapo, in order to put them in a romantic mood for mating. It seems to have worked, as 249 eggs were laid and 76 hatched during the breeding season. Now that is barred. The year is 2022. You and your gang shoot down Amazon delivery drones and sell their contents for a living. Is this a prompt or a prophecy? It's an instruction. Lin-Manuel Miranda is the new John Green. Lin-Manuel Miranda is John Green if John Green had written and produced Italia. I wish I didn't understand this post. Are you an our pirate or are you ho ho pirates? I'm an I'm not paying $600 for Photoshop pirate. Rawr! The toughest one of them all. Tea's just leaf water. Yeah, well, coffee's just bean water. Wow! It's like everything is made of things. This door is a wood rectangle. This poster is just ink paper. This lemonade is just lemon water. Wow! It's like you could combine ingredients to make things that are more enjoyable than the initial parts of the equation. Sure is a magical world we live in. The sarcasm in this post is fatal. Firstborn children are the dumbest currency ever. <laughs> Like, what if I never planned on having child, huh? Oh, hi, you old witch from the forest. I want abs and four billion dollars, and you can have all of my children to return, to be honest. You know, I, a firstborn, was high-key confused by the first seven or so words. Shut up, you dumb currency! The perfect couple. One person has cold hands. The other has warm hands. Together, they maintain the ideal temperature for hand holding. Relationship goals. Thermodynamic equilibrium. So, which of you is the source and which is the sink? Outdated memes should be called memories. Thanks to the memories. Even if they weren't so dank, they taste like you. Only memer. Piece of media. Here's a female assassin. Nice. She kills her mocks by seducing them and... I mean, she kills her mocks by seducing their wives and convincing them to murder their husbands. Go on. I swear my cats have developed a division of labor when it comes to pestering me for stuff. One of them only bugs me about empty food bowls, and the other only bugs me about empty water bowls. Never vice versa! I have literally watched the cat who only asked for water run and fetch the other cat so she could give me hell about the food situation. Cats are incredibly intelligent, but so, so weird. You know, you don't have to ship things. Just a reminder. Yeah, you could deliver them and still- <laughs> uh, poor thing. Walked right into an electrical fence while speaking. Norse mythology. Right, so the universe is all centered around this giant fucking interdimensional space tree. And Earth is at one of its roots. And it grows up through all these other realms with like giants and shit in them. And the gods live in the two at the top. Greek mythology. Fuck, our gods uh, live on that hill right over there, lol. It's nice that we get to die someday. Imagine being immortal and suddenly you remember all the embarrassing things you did in the last 2,000 years. Horrible. Oh, God, jeez. What's wrong? I just remember that time in 1654 when the tavern maid said, Enjoy with thy meal, and I replied with, These, well, what the fuck is with English teachers and being like, Write a story about a deep and personal memory that impacted your life. Ma'am, if I do that, you're going to send me to the counselor's office. You don't want that, do you? Today I learned that according to legend, the corgi was a gift from woodland fairies, and their markings were caused by saddles and stirrups placed on their backs. How can you spend hundreds of years breeding a dog into a little sausage shape and then just forget about it and say fairies did it? Hey, uh, are you the real Denny's? Why? What have you heard? Who have you been talking to? I love driving with my windows down, but at what cost? I'll tell you what's the cost. The other drivers around me can hear me go hard to Natasha Benningfield's iconic bop Pocket full of sunshine, while well, yelling at them for being morons who don't know how to use a turn signal. Ye. The story of cats is that in the 1930s, the famous poet T.S. Eliot wrote a book of cutesy little cat-themed poems for his godchildren. And then 40 years later, Andrew Lloyd Webber found a lost cat poem that T.S. Eliot had cut from the cat book for being too sad for children. And Andrew Lloyd Webber was like, whoa, a 
Okay, that's that's sad. This is you, man. I want to make a musical out of this. So the producer assigned to the project was like, okay, I guess you could maybe read these cat poems as a satire to 1930s British society. We could probably do some sort of interesting thing with that. I'm thinking like a cast about five. And Andrew Lord Weber was like, no, forget the satire. Also, I want to cast a dozens in the most advanced magical effects technology ever seen on stage. I've taken out a second mortgage on my house to fund this. And the producer's like, what? 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 Do you even have a plot? And Andrew Lord Webber got a bunch of actors and writers and artists together and they holed up and did cocaine, workshopped for about five weeks, and at the end of it, they emerged and said, the plot is that a bunch of cats are having a dance contest for the right to take a UFO to cat heaven. And then it made $2 billion. I'm sorry, the plot of cats is what? Please remember not to be harsh on yourselves. Don't tell me what to do. I don't even listen to me. If you're feeling mysterious, take a mildly threatening sounding post and use a random name when referring to the person reading and give a few people with that name a heart attack. Dave, never go into the cellar. It has begun, Olivia. So much in Silent Hill knows my cat was too. Here he is digging it. And here he is not digging it anymore. If the horror movie doesn't have synth in the soundtrack, is it really sexy? I think you mean scary. I absolutely don't. Today I learned that daddy long legs have been around for at least 400 million years, barely changing, and predate the dinosaurs. Longevity kings. More like long leggedy kings. Yes, I am and always have been cringy. Yes, I know it's supposed to be terminal by now. Either kill me yourself or stop complaining. Either kill me yourself or stop complaining is my new catchphrase. And it's a powerful one. Hold on. Goad told us they sound more like salad fingers, so... Yes, I am and have always been cringy. Yes, I know it's supposed to be terminal by now. Either kill me yourself or stop complaining. Either kill me yourself or stop complaining is my new catchphrase. And it's a powerful one. The only two ways I can categorize height is if I see something tall, I go, Whoa, big boy, man. And if I see something short, I go, Heh, baby, man. And I don't know what to blame for this. Anyway, want to hear about the time that ghost touched my ass? Sometimes I shine so beautifully that I can't even stare at myself without sunglasses. Other times I look and feel like wet New York garbage. Hold up, wait, wait. I just realized this is wrong. I'm perfection incarnate. I may be the center of the universe now that I'm thinking about it. Nah, yeah, never mind. My favorite form of redemption arc is I hate that I have morals now. Like, I realized I was in the wrong and now I work hard to atone as good and all. But how dare you infect me with morals? Will always be so much more entertaining. The moment when the former baddie starts to walk away in some bad situation, almost gets out and then just stops, curses, and turns around to go help. Mwah! Delicious! This one gets it! How the fuck has this site become so bearable? This place was a shit show a few years ago, but now it's actually good? And not full of instant discourse the way Facebook and Twitter are? Everyone is just tired. This site hasn't improved. The rest of the world just crashed and burned so hard that this place looks like a haven in comparison. If anyone had told me Tumblr would be the most tolerable social media site in 2020, I would have called them crazy. Yet, here we are. Go, Ouija! I do not intend to die anytime soon, but just in case, here's my will. All my money goes to the dude at my funeral who tells the best story about me, as voted by the other funeral attendees. Any genre is acceptable, but paranormal erotica is highly encouraged. And the runner-up gets my corpse. Oh, man, is it so hard to deliberately win second place! Which will you press? Create ducks? Or remove ducks? I'm pressing as hard as I can and it's not fucking working, OP! <laughs> oh fuck! My university has these toilets and they're honestly ridiculous. What is your gender? Obviously, top hats. Walks up to these toilets in a bowler hat and red lipstick. <laughs> Both of these toilets are for Liza Minnelli and no one else. What if oxygen is poisonous and it just takes 75 to 100 years to kill us? My science teacher said he thinks that's true, actually. Yeah, this is pretty much exactly what is going on. It's why antioxidants are such a big fucking deal. Bonus fact, oxygen oxidizes stuff in your cells, or in other words, it's not toxic. It's just setting you on fire. Very, very slowly. Man, so it was great, because I know the plot of at least 15 different TV series without ever having seen an episode. I don't know any plot lines, I just know which characters are gay. My sister has this toy cat and one of its phrases is, If I had a crown, I'd be a queen. Baby, you already a queen. You don't need a crown. So far, the efforts to make an actual Tesseract is going terribly. Agent Todd lost an arm and may lose a leg. And Agent Jefferson stared at it too long and is now blind. 
I myself feel extremely energized even though my sleep schedule is horrid. Don't do this at home, kids. I'm gonna try this out. Do not make the forbidden ice cube! Oh, my F-king god. I borrowed my friend's laptop and here's the desktop. Which is a little creepy, but okay. But did you know that you could set your desktop to change every now and then? Because I did it and I minimized my browser! Most of the Mars scenes in The Martian 2015 were actually filmed on Earth. Oh! The utter betrayal! Pokemon has tried to slowly convince us Pikachu is always fluffy and I for what accept this future. Did, did you think the mouse was just smooth and had yellow skin like a little Simpsons demon? Weird, it's like they forgot how cartoons work. If only classical music wasn't 15 minutes long for each piece and it didn't have titles like Piano Concerto No. 2 and E Minor OP 27 Agila Olio Peperuccino Waluigi. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! I thought about this post every day for the past five years. Today I learned you are a thief and a murderer. You have killed a baboon and stolen his face. It was a common insult in the 18th century. Listen, when lifespans were lower, you had so much less time to release all the hatred in your heart, so you had to make each expression of loathing count. New urban fantasy theory. Walmart hires vampires. This explains why it's open 24 hours a day, why working there is often described as soul-sucking, and why there's almost always no windows. Most damningly, Walmart is one of the few stores that is specifically hire a greeter, with no other job than to welcome every person into the store. Because vampires have to be invited in. WAKE UP AMERICA! I have a deep respect for Scotland, because I was at an Ireland versus Scotland football match, and their chant was, WE HATE ENGLAND MORE THAN YOU! One time at a Germany versus Scotland game, some German fans started the STAND UP IF YOU HATE ENGLAND chant, and the whole stadium stood up. What did we do? What didn't we do? Does this mean that England is the US of Europe? Where did he think the U.S. got it from? Me creating Sienna. You know, what if I made someone always on the positive side? You know, the world's pretty shit, so it's nice to have, like, someone or something to look to to make you feel better. And a lot of optimal qualities and quirks that make people feel good, too. Also me. What if leg was big and blue? And also hair that is just literally vaporwave. There's always that one weak bitch in the group that isn't down with murder. For some reason, I thought both of these were the same post, and I sat for a while trying to figure out which ice cream face was the weak bitch. Oh, it's clearly Iron Man. Really is wild that sign language exists and is perfectly accessible, and yet it's not a taught second language in school. Yeah, you can use it underwater and in situations where you need to be silent, and that's cool and everything, but you can also use it to talk to deaf people, which is more than enough reason already. Just let sign language be an option in schools. Apparently, at some point when my now girlfriend and I were flirting with each other, but not quite in a relationship, she asked me how I felt about pet names, to which I replied, well, you have to call them something. The fact that I managed to end up in a relationship is really testament to my girlfriend's patience. Your girlfriend is a moron sexual OP. Please don't call my girlfriend a moron! Wait, ha! <laughs> Classic himbo. Why do people say don't be a pussy when talking about weakness? More like don't be a man's ego because you know there is nothing more fragile than that. Um, <clears throat> because pussy is the shortened form of a word pusillanimous, which means timid and cowardly. And not slang word for the female genital region. Literally no one else knows this. Nobody. What? Sensational. Remarkable. Hold up. I gotta look this up. Pusillanimous. Don't even know if I said it right, but it's a real word. You, pussy. Me, an intellectual. Pusillanimous! Forgot English. I was watching a YouTuber's video and I texted my friend to ask her if she's seen a video by... And my mind blanked on the words. So I said, the dude who looks real Irish and his name's real Irish and he makes voices sound like Overwatch characters and shit. Person whose name I blanked on was... Patrick M. Seymour, the voice director. I was fucking... F watching his moments when Tumblr users forgot their words. <laughs> I hate taking off my glasses because my eyes go from 1080 HD to buffering at 240p and I just can't handle that. I don't wear glasses, but this post puts things in perspective more than anything else ever has. I feel like Walmart just so walls. You know, you just drive up to the place to see someone with some other friends in the car dragging away. Oh, 
on the walls of Walmart. I have no idea what I'm saying at this point. I just, I just want to buy a wall of Walmart. Therapy. Expensive. Performing elaborate musical numbers to portray your tragic backstory to your arch nemesis, who happens to be a platypus! Free. What does the VA at the end of your URL stand for, Patrick? Um, voice actor. Nah, eh, that! I prefer PMC more vibe amphibian. Oh yeah, I forgot. People wanted me to do this in Irish, so, uh... <clears throat> no, let's do it. We detected signs of Luigi in this galaxy. What are the signs of Luigi? Signs of Luigi. Biscuit crumbs everywhere, distant sobbing sounds, and the sound of someone falling over in another room. <laughs> I love contrasting designs. Demons wearing white clothes, angels wearing black clothes. A demon so beautiful they're mistaken for an angel. An angel so monstrous they're mistaken for a demon. And, and then, then they, they kiss! They kiss. Why did the word fandom come to be the common use? It sounds dumb and the word fanbase already existed. Was it seriously just that nerds on the internet thought fanbase wasn't quite enough for something? When did we even start using the word fandom? Fandom, origin and meaning of fandom by online etymology. Fandom meaning the realm of avid enthusiasts, 1903. 1903! I would bet actual money that this is Arthur Conan Doyle's fault somehow. Last night I was driving home in the middle of a tornado warning with thunder and lightning all around me. My car literally shaking in the wind, bohemian raspity blasting out one of my working speakers while wearing one shoe. I realized that if this is how I die, it's how I want to go. Thunderbolts of lightning, very, very frightening be! Paper has six sides, yet we can only use two of them effectively. And the other four are for bloodshed. Today I learned the tap water in New York City has microscopic crustaceans in it. Because of it, it is considered not kosher. Non-vegan water, baby! Finally, non-vegan water. This water is vegan? Pfft. Bring me some meat water, you punk clown! How you treat Furby will shape Furby's personality. There is something you should know about Furby. Never treat your Furby the wrong way. Furbies can be unpredictable. Are you ready to handle a Furby? Why is there a fucking death symbol? Do you think this is a game? You can bet your bottom dollar on that. I didn't know you guys had your own currency. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. You know what absolutely boggles my mind? That healthy people exist. Genuinely healthy people. No mental illness, no physical illness, no chronic illness, just healthy. What a life that must be. This fucks with my head, though. They're like people who get up and feel awake, and they just go and just do their adult responsibilities without feeling anxious or upset. They just return phone calls, answer calls from unknown numbers, don't procrastinate doing important things until it's a huge problem that makes her cry? That sounds fake as fuck, man. Has anyone ever told you you're beautiful? Oh no, sir. Today is my first day out of doors, and Papa forbade mirrors in the house lest we all fall victim to vanity. <laughs> I've been laughing at this on and off for two days straight. You ever feel like you're not even the main character in your own life? It's just filler episodes for character backstory. Don't worry, it's still your show. This is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. What if all vowels were A's? Hala yes, mana mana, I can maka. Hala yes, mana ma. Es maka. How the fuck do you even do this one? Hala yes, mana ma, es maka na. I'm watching Sapanacha, what about ya? It's like a whole new language, and I think I'm onto something here. That's not a new language, that's a Boston accent. Hey, fuck, no, it's not, you get that shit out of here. Fuck. We tried to convince the history teacher that Taylor Swift ended the Cold War, and he got so frustrated, he just stared into the hallway for ten minutes. I saw him in the hallway later, and his eyes were, like, glazed over. He was so tired, and I felt really bad. Don't! You might be right. Give your players a disintegration gun. What it actually does is shoot people into the future. And in the final session, all the people they shot with it blink into existence around them at once. OP, please change your URL. That sounds like an awesome final battle. Give me. So with traffic lights, go, yield, stop. But on bananas, it's the opposite. Hold on, go ahead, wait. I will never get sick of this. What is it about what? <laughs> Good night, homo. I mean, homie. Yeah, same thing. Friendship at its finest. I think one of my favorite shark facts is this thing that some species of sharks do where they sort of peek their heads out of the water to see what's above the surface. It's called spy hopping. And great white sharks do it all the time. Look at this stupid little triangle nose. Do something with your life. Start yoga. Truly live in the moment. Meet your special someone. Have five kids at age 20. Find out your partner's cheating on you with your boss. Have a breakdown. Finally lose your grip on reality. Then one day after brunch, drive off into the forest, never to be seen again. 
Sound advice, Karen. Yeah, if water is so smart, how did it end up getting trapped in the bottle? <laughs> Stupid idiot liquid getting owned. Yo, anyone here want to pay $30,000 for Evan's shitty couches? Evan's be out there like, Chaotic neutral sofa and bench set. How the, how the fuck do you rest in those? This is it. This is what true temptation looks like. For one low price, you too can be banned from Walmarts. Team of people, and there's one girl, is literally the worst trope, and I'm tired of it. Team of people, and there's one girl, and when there's another girl, the first girl hates her for no reason. Is the second worst trope, and I'm tired of it. <gasps> Who is she? I die every time I see this post, because everyone thinks it's a cat. But it's a fursuit. I've... I've been bamboozled! You thought I could learn to trust after BNA, but no! Never again! Writing prompt. Sloths aren't lazy. They're just saving their energy. And today, that energy is released. This is single-handedly the scariest fucking post on this hell site. What the fuck? The fact that Dante created the most popular image of the afterlife with absolutely no theological basis for it will still be the funniest fucking thing to me. Church. Heaven is eternal connection with God, while hell is total separation from him. Anything else is only speculation. <laughs> Actually, hell has like layers like an onion, and the devil's big and mean and also frozen. People are fighting, and there's a mountain to get to heaven, and a nice place for babies. Also, I know this because I went there with my friend. You know, just saying. The timestamp says 2017, but every fiber of my being is saying 2003. I agree. Borb. Bird orb. Yo. Bird orb. Hey, is the Builder Bear employee supposed to force us to jump up and down, or are we getting hazed? <laughs> As a Builder Bear employee, it is my honor to happily inform you that we get to make everyone do whatever the fuck we want during a heart ceremony. Jump to get that heart beating. Rub that heart to your knee so the furry friend always needs you. Rub it to your toes so it's totally awesome. Shake it up so it's got enough energy to hang out with you all day. Close your eyes, make a wish, and give it a kiss, you helpless motherfucker! Look, reanimation is a process, okay? Reanimation is a process is a sentence that just makes me want to play a necromancer as a very deadpan Build-A-Bear employee. Country gnomes take my bones to a place they don't belong! See, shit like this is the reason that it's so hard to turn my back on this website. Where else, pray tell, are you going to find this kind of quality nonsense? West Virginia! <laughs> Dude, 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 dude! Ye? Make me into a plushie. What? Turn me into a tiny, big-eyed, squishy bean plushie, you bitch. Hey. Heck yeah! Remember when Rebecca Sugar was a character in Sailor Moon who worked as an animator? She herself is an anime reference. Writing prompt. You pick up a small device. On a small screen, it simply says, one skill point remaining, and a list of eight attributes. You click on strength and instantly feel your muscles stiffen a little. The screen now says, level up to gain more skill points. Jump cut to me in a shady alley armed with a tennis racket swinging at rats with wild abandon. Behold the vegan swimming pool! I love that this implies water isn't vegan. Well, from what we heard last episode, it's time to not. Y'all about to eat these friend flies with a side of cat syrup, mmm, bone altitude, call me Chef Balti. These memes have reached a state of esotericism that will render them indecipherable to anyone in a few years. I won't let anyone forget that Chris Hemsworth was in a show about tween girls riding horses and learning the true meaning of friendship. You can never leave the saddle club, Chris. Never. When I get married, I want to get or make a sign that says, Welcome to the Bone Zone! With skeletons on it and all that jazz. So every time the Spoos and I... The Spoos... So every time the Spoos and I are in a funky mood, I can say, To the Bone Zone! And cackle as I do a stupid dance to our room. You, whoever you marry is going to be a lucky son of a gun. Y'all, Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us, was only eight months ago! It's no time at all! I really thought it was like two years ago. Like if a child was conceived on the day they stormed Area 51, it probably wouldn't even be born yet. These past five years have been the longest century of my life. If that is not the epitome of hyperbole, I don't know what is. Free kitten, a bit fat, but otherwise lovely and very talented. 
Bel Air. I was looking for free furniture, but maybe that's not what I was meant to find. Yeah, I'm willing to get stabbed on Craigslist for this fat baby. Oh, I'm jail of Harry. His British accent is so cute. Wait, that red thing is called Harry? Oi, mate, that red thing is a member of the royal family. You're all beautiful in your own special way. Yes, we are. Except for you. Yes, you're right. I'm beautiful for normal reasons. I want more overgrown ruins to explore, and if I have to make them myself, then so be it. This makes me picture someone aggressively planting vines around a family dollar that closed down two weeks ago. <gasps> They're doing the Lord's work. Sure, Cats 2019 is an abomination unto the Lord and should have never existed. But I don't think any of you were prepared for the absolute hell that would have been unleashed on us all if it had been good. There would have been cat sonas. There would have been so much not safe for work cats fan art. A dangerous rift in the veil between furries and non-furries would have been created with no way to seal it again. There would have been new and terrible kinds of discourse we've never seen before, and now mercifully never will. This was for the best. Oh yeah, and apparently I am sound like salad fingers to some baby 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 people, so uh... We're gonna do this properly, I guess, with this goat pose before I go do any further, cause God, me. You ever meet someone who's just asking to be struck down by the gods? Stop citing crock it's 2020, that's so fucking lazy. Obsessed with the ideal of angels seeing the first human death. <laughs> What's wrong with this one? It's just so fucking funny. <laughs> Angels see a human die for the first time and be like, that's wild, yo. what you do after this? You joke, but I 100% headcanon angels poking a human corpse with a stick like, Revive, damn it! I want to see what happens next! Get up, you little shit, you've got a character arc to finish! Hey, Mom said it's my turn to hand out the ominous and vague warnings. That wasn't Mom. I have a tiny mouth, and I'm a scream. <gasps> ah! This video is brought to you by this baby. Go get one. Dirt. Mmm, tasty. Uh, the D in dirt stands for do not eat this, please. But the IRT stands for it's really tasty. Hey, babe, proceeds to let out wasps. Pucky, are you okay? Can I be okay and also give my babe a spontaneous or romantic gift? Society peeked at the iPod Nano. Why is this right? Seven million people in the Earth, zero messages in my inbox. Seven million? In the Earth? Free them. Writing prompt. You're suddenly able to see numbers above people's heads which are counting down and you have no idea why. One person you meet reaches zero and... And you're ravioli from their back pocket! The numbers! It's a ravioli countdown! You are the ravioli receiver! But do I really want pocket ravioli? Yes, you do! You know what strength is? Forgiving a person who wasn't even sorry. Not to be dramatic, but I would literally rather die. Strength is when you help your mom lift a heavy couch and she buys you McDonald's after. Yeah! A comparison of a male Pac-Man frog left, and a female right. Or perhaps a bowl of spaghetti hoops with guacamole. Madam Spaghetti. We drink boba tea to satisfy our ancient and innate urge to slurp up tadpoles from a puddle through a reed. No, we absolutely do not! If your hands are cold, it's just your ghost boyfriend holding your hand. My, f my feet are cold. Milky Way, supermassive black hole, seems to be getting hungrier and scientific. Let him eat! This actually worries me a little. Why? Are you the black hole? That's neither here or there. When you feel your clothes fresh out of the oven. Okay, I just realized they used oven instead of dishwasher, but I kind of forgot what it was called and used the next best guess I could think of. Called the washing machine. I think it's a dryer, like who would be feeling wet ass clothes? God, this post is a fucking train wreck. This woman, Wanda Vatum, was an actress who appeared in three classic Who episodes. She also happens to be the mother of Benedict Cumberbatch. All hail the mother batch! Creator of our Cumberlord! Don't ever call him Cumberlord again. See, if you're charming and intriguing and have good negotiation skills, you can, in fact, keep your soul while bargaining with some sort of centuries-old entity, demonic or otherwise. What even prompted this, you ask? I went to a car dealership. This randomly landed on our porch last night after a storm. This is an omen. Oh god, 4chan rises. Bro, is the PlayStation 5 coming out soon or something? Give him time. He would have to come out to a lot of people. Maybe not everyone who would accept him for who he is. Wait, what kind of come out? Let cashiers have chairs! Cashiers don't have chairs where you live? What the fuck? In America, if you're not standing, you're not working. In Europe, you're working while you're working. Chairs help you. What the fuck is up with America? Hold up! People in other countries get to see while working! America needs help. 
I love cultural realizations like this. It surprised me so much why I went to Europe and cashiers were sitting. If you turn to your left, you see the emos. Is that my chemical romance? Oh my god, not every group of emos is my chemical romance. Shut the fuck up, Tumblr. Okay, but it actually is my chemical romance. This is the funniest fucking thing I've ever seen. Guys, I have a great idea. Behold, a platypus bear? Nah, bury the platypus bear! I still think one of the funniest things about Mario Sunshine is when Bowser Jr. calls Peach's mom, and she doesn't go full denial. It's like, oh shit, maybe, sort of look. Like, Peach, my girl, wouldn't you remember giving birth to a giant dragon egg? Old West Saloon owner, make it so the floorboard don't creak when regular patrons walk in, but do creak when a mysterious stranger walks in. What? What if you intentionally put in one squeaky floorboard and tell your regulars that if they squeak it, their first drink costs 10% extra? Then only new people who don't know the rule will step on it and familiars will avoid it. Did, did you just write an algorithm for human behavior? Because that is exactly what I would expect from a robot appreciation tumbler. Very important reminder, don't forget! The contents of this reminder have been erased. That's just ADHD in a nutshell. I forgot I made this post, so I'm pretty sure this was the mood. Why do I toilet paper the wrong way? Behold. Well, that's valid. Okay, I'll accept that. But you're on thin ice. What I love about Spy Kids is they're not spying on anyone, and absolutely no one cares. Spy is basically a D&D class in the Spy Kids cinematic universe. There's zero espionage. The word spy just refers to a collection of proficiency modifiers. Is that right? Concept! All normal checkouts are replaced with self-checkouts. But instead of losing their jobs, the cashiers now get to sit on top of lifeguard chairs and periodically throw wine glasses at me like Dracula while I buy my goods. What is a customer? A miserable little pile of coupons. But enough talk, Karen! Have at you! Benson, coach. How are your legs feeling after that workout? <sighs> Sore. Good. Make your thighs big as Mother Russia. You know what they say about women with big thighs, yes? Can crush head between legs like watermelon? You and I, we have very different practices. Speaking of which, bam! Wait, she's looking thick? Always has been. Ah, oh, wishing I was on a balcony in Italy, wearing a long floral dress, eating fresh fruit, and staring at the sunset and landscape below me. Wish I was the Hulk. I wish I was the Hulk on balcony in Italy. Wearing a long floral dress, eating fresh fruit, and staring at the sunset and landscape below me. Why do people always get so weird about wheelchair users? I'm literally just a person sitting down. You're sitting down and moving at the same time, like some kind of witch! Plankton built his computer wife, so he's also the one who programmed her personality. Plankton made a wife who would belittle and mock him. Plankton has a humiliation fetish. Sometimes we have thoughts, but we don't have to share them with everyone and put them out into the world. Just a suggestion. But they write. If you're reading this, it's too late. I already sent the good vibes your way. They're coming. There's nothing you can do to stop them. This is the most threatening way I've ever been cheered up. A possum broke into an Australian bakery and ate so many pastries it couldn't move. This is how they found him. I live for this post. Ugh, do what you must. Cry, I've already won. Today I learned there are three types of fun. Type one fun is enjoyable while it's happening. Type 2 fun is miserable while it's happening, but fun in retrospect. Type 3 fun is not fun at all, not even in retrospect. How the fuck is activity that's no fun during or after considered a type of fun? Okay, you know how a lot of people play a game called League of Legends? Mort Evil Incarnate, Madagascar, Mort's Incredibly Disturbing Secrets Exposed, Part 1 Theory. There are three other parts of this, and it adds up to almost two hours of dissecting whatever these cartoon rat sins are. Never mind, this rat is genuinely fucked up. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. There's a horde of trevenant, a beard, and this pseudo just blended itself in and with it. It's literally hiding with other trees. Hello, fellow plantites. Yes, my goodness, what a nice day to photosynthesize these. How about them chloroplasts? I do love me some chlorophyll. Mm, what a great time to have cell wall, yes. Because of reasons is always a legitimate reason. Because fuck you, that's why, is also acceptable. For science is a good excuse. Don't forget, the stars are not in position as a perfect reason to not do something. Not since the accident can be the answer to any question. And you guys are leaving out think of the children as a way to persuade anybody to do something for you. 
Peter Dinklage and Jason Momoa to star in a vampire con movie, The Good, Bad, and Undead. Dinklage will play a famed vampire hunter, Van Helsing, while Momoa plays a vampire who's promised never to kill again. And the two run a scam where Van Helsing makes money by pretending to defeat Momoa's character. Is... is this just not the plot of Shark Tale? It is! And I'm living for it! All of my characters are idiots. I cannot change this. They say write what you know, and I know nothing. Redemption arc this and redemption arc that. Where's an arc where the hero gets morally corrupted by a villain and switches sides and becomes an even bigger threat as a result? Where is my bastardization arc? Oh my god. Negative character development, Whoa! Oh, well that was a fun day of doing videos. I guess now I can... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. How did you get in here? Gonna get a cold one. Gonna get a cold one. Gonna get a cold one. Oh god! Plague doctors, but instead of having a wooden stick to examine patients and defend themselves, they use one of these bad boys. Oh, sticky with your time, yes. We strive to be an actual Tumblr that shows up in PMZ Moore's videos in r slash Tumblr, but the fact that we're always on Discord doesn't help. I'm guilty because I get these from the Discord server. Inflatable toast mattress. Does it come with butter pillows? Okay, is anyone reading the description? Allow me. Breakfast in bed? No, breakfast is the bed. Sleeping on this giant six by seven inflatable toast mattress is likely to make you dream that you are a pad of butter and you are floating down a river of freshly brewed coffee. In reality, you should not use the inflatable toast mattress as a flotation device, nor should you expose it to excessive heat. This piece of toast is made of plastic, not bread. So if you wake up and smell burning toast, you are probably just having a stroke. 169.95. Add one to the cart now. Do it. Some creepy pasta from 2011. And the cartoon man had hyper-realistic eyes, and everything was red. Me at age 12. <gasps> Walks into the toy hall. Hey, Barbara. Barbie. I told you not to call me that. Michael Minerva, how have you been? Mickey and Minnie Mouse. We've talked about this. Well, I was today years old when I realized Minnie was a nickname for Minerva. Notice! Due to the lack of cicadas so far this summer, I will climb the trees and scream in their absence. You really think you could replace them? You really think you would sound half as good? How dare you stand where he once stood! Imagine your OC. Just imagine. So is it a thing in American English to use Texas as a word for, like, something that's out of control or chaotic or, like, is crazy? Like, that party last weekend was totally Texas! Because that is a thing people say in Norwegian, and I think it's important for Americans to know that. This is the best thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry, what? This is the Texiest shit I've ever heard. Exports you as a JPEG and turns the quality way down. Help, help, I'm being compressed! No matter how much you plan and plot and research and prepare, you will never actually feel ready. You might as well just jump right in and do the thing! Upon reading this, I feel like I should specify I was talking about writing and not murder. Me, anytime a sex scene takes place in a show or movie, ugh, this is literally the most unnecessary thing, can we not? Fuck this, I want swords, this is boring shit! Oh, baby, just wait till I start wreaking havoc in this Trader Joe's. Gonna wreak so much havoc, cause some drama on the pasta aisle. I don't know, punch a cantaloupe, maybe, for being a bitch. Every culture has their ethnic donut, and every culture has their ethnic dumpling. Humans be frying dough. Every culture also makes a sword. If they got metal, they make a sword. If they don't have metal, they take obsidian or shark teeth or whatever it is that they got, and they make that into a sword. Coincidence! I think not! Ah, the two constants in all civilizations. Tasty fried food and danger murder sticks. I'm not a hippie! I'm a vegetarian human rights activist taking step towards being 100% environmentally friendly. Oh. This is like that one post where someone said they weren't entitled and then described themselves as entitled. Except the opposite. Imagine if trees gave off Wi-Fi signals. We would be planting so many trees, and we would probably save the planet, too. Too bad they only produce the oxygen we breathe. My dearest beloved fuckos, is a fun, gender-neutral way to begin a speech. See also, esteemed bastards, gentlefolk, ferals, 
domesticated cryptids. And, my fellow yees and haws, wife is purging in an ant. Do any day, suddenly the contractions start. Can't, won't, I'm, haven't, don't, is it? She says. Doc, it appears the contractions are worsening. The nurse says. In between breaths, the wife gasps and screeches, Y'all did Leonardo da Vinci. Don't call him that. Leonardo da Vinci. In this world, it's milk or be milked. It's really not. Don't. Flanos? Flanos. Oh, Flanos. I hate it. Had to label the old trash barrel so the collectors would know how to take him. And so the trash barrels became trash themselves. Take us away, boys! This should be the last post on Tumblr before it's shut down. Take us away, boy! Okay, I just need my coffee and we'll get to see if you started it. There's nothing sacred to you anymore! Yes, I am a grill. And yes, I play games. Wow, another one of those gamer grills. They're just doing it for the attention. The Nintendo isn't even turned on! We're going back to the normal good voice. I can't do the the salad one anymore. Do you ever get so excited you just want to crush a human skull in your hands? You just described breathing? I'm fairly certain I did not. This reminds me of how I just put the noodles in the pot immediately rather than wait for the water to boil. Masso, why does your wording make it sound like you're trying to start discourse on the validity of your cooking methods? I seek knowledge and the best findings are made out of desperation to escape the brimstone, not from the comfort in a loving community you seek to uphold. Yo, Socrates, it's soup. Ugh, moldy webbing. They've been lying to us. Shane, it's too early for this. It's never too early to expose dangerous business practices. Booty shorts that say Chick-fil-A wants to be dead. Wouldn't it be shorter to say gay? It's not about efficiency, it's about sending a message. Yeet. Yeah. Hungry man, hungry woman, hungry waffle? Ah, oh, yes, the three genders. They said it couldn't be done. Venn, Pyogram. This is the most important visual pun to have ever been posted on the internet. What is happening? Pytosis is happening. It's really August, huh? Like, eight whole months have passed. Disgusting. This post was written in 2018, but it hits a lot harder now. I hate being high. Why do I keep hearing footsteps? Are you walking? Oh, shit. Anyone want to get in an argument with me? Okay, cream cheese isn't that good. I was kidding, but you know what? Fuck you for real. You'll understand when you're older. I am older, and I understand absolutely nothing. In fact, I actually understand less. Is there anything better than kissing a cat's soft belly? Kissing a sleeping cat's soft little forehead and hearing them go, Brrr. Oh my god, you're so right! I wish I had an even more vague void than the internet to scream into. An abandoned Kmart parking lot just before dawn? Jesus, I didn't say a whole different dimension. Pros of wearing a lab coat. Look like cool science person or maybe smart doctor. Pockets. Long allows for cool whoosh when walking with unbuttoned. And feel like important. Cons of wearing a lab coat. Getting harassed by a platypus. Hmm, the minute you see anything described as or includes misadventures in the title, you know that shit's gonna be annoying, unfunny, or stupid as shit. Oh, 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 Flapjack! I'm so fucking sorry! Listen, I'm not the biggest fan of kids. But if a kid looks at me, then you bet I'm gonna smile back at them. Kids deserve to experience the world as a kind and safe place to explore, okay? But the world is not kind or safe. Then fucking do your part to make it that way! Yeah, yeah. Every time I see myself in the mirror, I get distracted. I'll be walking down the street and see myself in the reflection of a department store window, and then I'm gone. Narcissus wrote this. Today I learned that if Johnny Depp's filming schedule didn't allow him to be in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Dwayne The Rock Johnson would have played Willy Wonka. Who wants some fucking chocolate? Yes, oh my god, yeah! Raccoon dogs are incredibly cute creatures in general, but I think one of their best traits is how different they look with their winter coats versus their summer coats. They go from, yeah, that looks like a candid, all right, to not when I shift into maximum fluff. Can somebody, can somebody draw this as Mewtwo from BNA, please? I have a money need for wholesome content right now. I really enjoy just existing in hotels. The long identical hallways, the soulless abstract art, the weird noises the air conditioner makes, strange city lights in the window, 
Six stories off the ground, strangers chatting in the hall, nothing in the dresser, no past, but an infinite present. Finally, someone understands. There's a new guy at work starting called Wayne Bruce, and I said, Ah, my old nemesis, Man Bats! And nobody got it. Honestly, I'm wasted here. Not all capes wear heroes. Also, there's such a thing as a human yolk sack. You are the reason asks are off. Ugh. Someone in the notes just commented, omelet. Some girl just walked into my local bookstore with her boyfriend and said, Buying books is a waste of money! She starts complaining and whining about how she wants to leave. He then looks at her for a long time and says, I want to break up. This is beautiful. Get yourself a partner who likes books! Me. Okay, time to go and look at my college stuff that I have to do because it's college. College. Words. Me. I can't read! Monkey steals camera from photographer to snap himself a selfie. Gets uploaded to Wikipedia. Photographer sues Wikipedia to remove it. Wikipedia refuses to delete photo as Monkey owns it. There's no part of this I don't love. What I want to know is, did he upload it to Wikipedia himself? I want to know. I does this have to know. A random Viking fact I found out. When a Viking mistreats his lady, she may cut off his junk and hang it in her home. Also, women were in charge of household's money because they were believed to be magic and have the ability to see into the future. If a woman divorced her Viking husband, he would be shamed for being divorced. And men weren't even allowed to touch a woman's hand if she had not agreed to it, or he would be punished by law. Vikings! Okay, let's stop romanticizing Victorian Europe and start romanticizing Vikings! Mighty need! The trope where someone is about to be killed and says, Please, I have a family! But then the family show up and beat the shit out of their captors. Are you Donkey from Shrek? Oh my- Hey, y'all ever see the inside of a manga pit? Is a manga pit another word for a neckbeard nest? <laughs> First of all, I very obviously meant mango pit, but no cat clicked violently to post the picture. Fuck you. Finding my mother's sugar daddy tumbler with a handful of furry drawings on it was easily the worst thing I've done in my life. Never say those words in that order ever again. Oh. My gosh. I have two hands and three foots. Oh, poor little dude. I've never seen an animal look more distressed. I am not lost, just visiting. Thank you for visiting, little friend. I love you. I have an update on this little dude. Apparently he has now been permanently banned from leaving his house because he walked his ass down to the train station, got on a train, and spent the day hanging out at a cafe a few suburbs over. That cat was a human in a past life. Stephanie Meyer. Vampires are all sexy, heterosexual, white, British, rich kids who are geniuses in Taika. Shut the fuck up! Every vampire is bisexual and a moron! That's how you do it. It never occurred to me that all the bosses in Link's Awakening are a fear that can lead to nightmares. Snakes, Moldrum, clowns, genie. Always feel like you're being watched. Giant eye and facade. The deep ocean, anglerfish and giant eel. Fire, flamehead, killer insects, hard hit beetle, and living shadows. Deathful himself. And worst of all, birds. How could someone be scared of birds? Sounds like something a bird would say. Sounds suspiciously like a bird pretending to be a human accusing a different human of being a bird. What? Ha! Ah, found the dirty old bird! Give him hell, boy! My ass, Minotaur, the first cowboy. I said this to my girlfriend and she just started listing synonyms for bad at me. Who would win in a fight between Aang and Korra isn't even a question. Because Aang would be like, I'll oh, never fight one of my future lives. And Korra would not hesitate before sucker punching a 12 year old. Me, my outline, making everything up as I write. Has this been done before? Tumblr, if you keep calling me out like this, we're going to have to talk. Shawty got them problematic jeans, boots with the erm. She got the whole club canceling her. Who am I supposed to invite to my wedding when I have like three friends and dislike most of my family? Okay, hear me out. Dogs and cats in fancy clothes. <gasps> my God, you're right. Jesus comes from a shortening of the Hebrew version of the name Joshua, while Christ simply means the anointed one. To make this clear to modern Christians, I propose a new Bible translation where Jesus is referred to as Oily Josh. There's something really unsavory about Oily Josh and his two teenage friends. Ah, oily Josh and the greasy boys. How do you giggle in French? <laughs> we wee back in. Reblog to let him know that you love him. Of course I love him. Look at the chunky boy. Look at his face. In 1930, Helen Adelaide Shelby patented an apparatus for obtaining criminal confessions. The police put the suspect into a darkened chamber where they're confronted by a human skeleton with 
glowing red eyes that questioned them with the voice transmitted from the interrogator behind it through a megaphone in its, in its mouth. The camera concealed in the skull was to record the confessions. I'm sorry, what? Confess your sins to the crime skeleton, yeah! Peter Parker, also known as the popular superhero Spider-Man, is roughly 16 to 17 years old, meaning he was born in either 2001 or 2002. I mean, with this iteration of what we're going with, sure, why not? Contrary to popular belief, this places him firmly in the Gen Z category, rather than the millennial category that many place him in. By extrapolating this information, we can conclude that Peter Parker not only knows what a furry is, but constantly has to grapple with the fact that his spider-centric identity is in fact his persona. In this essay, I will- Orange juice is the superior beverage because it makes your chunk feel like you ate a bunch of ants, which reminds me of my childhood when I put ants in my mouth and eat them, except this time it tastes good too. Hey! OP, I think you're probably allergic to citrus. Is this not what OG is supposed to make your tongue feel like? No, it's not. Hey, can I get a curse back about space? If you go there, you die. Well, if you go to Earth, you also die. One of my least favorite mental illness things is hungry but don't feel like eating. And its companions, hungry but all the food in the house is illegal, hungry but can't make anything, and hungry want to eat but why bother? Also, the ADHD friend, hungry but unaware of hunger because current activity is too captivating. Or hungry, but I'll get to it later. Definite not hungry, nope, but upon forcing oneself to eat something, discovering that the food vanished in 30 seconds, and the pervasive feeling of ickiness all vanished, what the fuck? Or my least favorite, hungry but moving is against the law. Okay, but seriously, the most valuable thing I learned doing a master's degree with depression, anxiety, and ADHD was to change my things I'm bad at list to things I can't do on my own. Stop thinking of them as things I could do if I tried hard enough, and accept that I can't accomplish them by effort and willpower alone. They're genuine neurocognitive deficits. And if I need to do the thing, then just like a blind person reading or a mobility impaired person going up a story in a building, I need to find a different method. I'm bad at working on long-term projects without an imminent deadline or someone breathing down my neck. Okay, let's change that. I can't work on long-term projects without an imminent deadline or someone breathing down my neck. So let's create an imminent deadline and recruit neck breathers. Find a sympathetic professor who will agree that three weeks before the due date, they expect me to show them my preliminary notes and bibliography. Get a friend I trust to block off an hour to sit with me and keep asking, are you working on your project? Write a blog post about my progress and arrange to trade papers and proofread them with another student. Accept your limitations and learn to leverage them. Instead of buying the neurological fairy tale that they'll go away if you just try hard enough. Okay, back to the stupid. Does anyone else have that one tree that they walk past that has one branch that hangs across the path and consistently whacks you in the face? Yeah, oh, damn it, not again. Oh yes, I love the Star War. Pew Pew, Lightsaber, Darth Vader, and Luke Skyscraper, and Obi-Wan Cannoli, and R2-B2, and 3PCO, and Tobaka. I love Star Trek. This physically hurts to read, and I'm not even a Star Wars fan. For whatever reason, you suddenly gain godlike powers of control over the universe. What's the first thing you do? I straight up get rid of carbon. Carbon, the chemical element upon which all life forms are based? That's the bit! The beast has been defeated! But now, there may be another. God help me. I just realized that never is a contraction of not ever. And blush is a contraction of blood rush. And studying is a contraction of student dying. Just saw the words catboy, catgirl, and nyan binary, and it took several years off my life expectancy. Same. Today I learned only 64 to 77% of people experience a headache at some point in their lives. If you are one of the lucky 23 to 36%, turn on your location so I can bonk you over the head with a table lamp and teach you what it feels like to be mortal like the rest of us. Now this is how we should redefine the term the elite. It really, really should. I didn't think I could actually hate 23% of the population right now, and yet, here I am. Fun things to say when someone tells you they're going to the bathroom. Stay safe, congratulations, that's what they all say. Different strokes for different folks. I hope you have the time of your life, but you have so much to live for, and please explain. Or sometimes my friend used to say this to me, don't die. Found out my sisters work with someone named Karen. <laughs> She's the manager. Karen has to deal with Karens. Talk about doing it yourself. Karen has to speak to the manager and you can get what you wanted. So she became the manager. The Karens are learning. 
I can't be trusted with a large stick. You simply aren't strong enough to handle the power of the stick. The power of the stick corrupts my mind with the thoughts of bonk! Today I learned that during the American Civil War, some soldiers' wounds glowed blue! Soldiers whose wounds glowed had a better chance of surviving, and so the glow was called Angel's Glow. Now it is known that the luminescence is due to bacteria that produce antibiotics and live in the nematodes. I love how fantasy world and mythological this sounds. Anytime someone says your writing is unrealistic and full of major plot points you just pulled out of your ass, just remember that in the middle of one of the messiest and most agonizing wars in human history, at one point, all the wounded soldiers just started glowing blue and failed to die. I can't stop thinking about what happens to salmons when they get horny. <sighs> all right, I'll bite. What happens when they get horny? They literally transform into a new, unbelievably fucked up creature. From this, to this. Show me your feet, you coward. Leak proof. Using seamless hot press technology, this bag is 100% leak proof. Yo, watch me roll up into the picnic with my bag full of wet fruit. I think this is how they make LaCroix. Today I learned that if wasps decide they don't like you, they drop pheromones on you so that other wasps don't like you either. Call that post. Potion of fuck this guy. Chainsaw on a chain. Well, now I'm just thinking of some huge-ass chainsaw, but the chain is actually made of regular-sized chainsaws just flailing around and decimating everything inside. Now put that in a large enough chainsaw cannon, and then power the cannon with an even bigger chainsaw! So, a huge chainsaw that uses chainsaws for the chain being used as ammo for an even larger chainsaw cannon powered by an even larger chainsaw saw. And if that doesn't work, more. Movie called Down, sequel to Up. It's three seconds long and it's the balloons breaking and the house falling into the abyss. I yelled no when I saw this. I love when I elicit such strong emotions from people with my posts. Bad post, OP! I recently received one of the most obscure insults. I was at work and one of my residents turned to me and said, You'll never make it in the trucking business. Out of nowhere. It didn't make sense. But he said it with such hatred and pure abhorrence that I was convinced my non-existent dreams of being a trucker had been crushed. Well, those are some unusual rainbows. Oh God, the gays are growing stronger by the minute. <laughs> Unlimited power. ADHD be like, don't expect anything from me because it stresses the hell out of me, but also expects things from me because it's the only way I get anything done. Yeah, you didn't have to call me out like this. Just don't expect the things you're expecting from me. Better yet, remove expectation from your vocabulary. No longer look to the future with hopes however bleak they may be. Ride the tides of time like a paralyzed sea creature in open ocean, going wherever chance may take it, and simply making do. Damn, that's deep. I am a writer looking for an incredibly specific word that I can't remember. <gasps> anyway, it's called throw a pillow! Are you working toward your dreams? Oh, MJ, no, I'm not, but thank you for asking. You try to stab a shapeshifter, but he shifts into a donut, and your sword goes straight through the donut! Huh! I like rainbows, but I'm not gay, so I wear a rainbow on my shirt, but then under it, I gotta put not gay, but I'm not against gay people, so under that, I gotta put but supportive. I just think it's weird that one group took refracted light. It's pretty greedy, gays. The straights are at it again. Reblog if you're a greedy gay hoarding refracted light off of your greedy gay self. I totally am, but also, I have a story. The time, 1995. The place, a small liberal arts college. We decided to participate in Denim Day, which was a widespread event wherein on National Coming Out Day, you would wear denim to indicate support for the LGBT community. Our support group made posters that were very, very clear on this. Wearing denim did not mean you were coming out. It meant you supported anyone around you who might. I have never seen so many suits and khakis in my life. People who accidentally wore jeans went home and changed. The community took it as a rebuke. We drew in closer to each other and felt unwelcome everywhere we thought we had friends before. And I had people later tell me, you know, I support you, just I didn't want anyone to think I was. First off, I don't know you support me. Not if you refuse to, for one day, change nothing about your life to show it. Second off, why is that such a terrifying thought too? So I know this is a joke and a stolen one at that, but you've done this to yourselves. 
if someone is so terrified of being perceived as queer that they will instantly abandon something they like, if it has queer germs on it now or something, then they don't deserve refracted light. Maybe help us change the world into a place where being mistaken for queer would be just a thing to chuckle about and you can have refracted light back. The LGBTQ plus community didn't steal the rainbow. The straights abandoned it. You know, I hate when people... Imagine being the woman in this commercial who had to pretend she was dancing with the cast of Shrek 2 in Walmart. Where is she now? I mean, where do you go once you've reached the top? A cute girl told me she had a lot of plants in her house and I told her for some fucking reason, Damn, the oxygen at your place must be mad crisp. And somehow still got her number, so... Chase your dreams. Nothing is impossible, apparently. Would you kids like a cursed fact? The sequel? Yeah, give us the cursed fact! Babies are born without kneecaps. Here's something to add to that. I'm sure you've heard that babies are born with more bones than adults. But actually, when babies are born, they don't even have bones. All their bones, so to say, are made of cartilage. You know, the stuff your nose is made of. That cartilage hardens into bones as you age and doesn't fully complete until you're about 20. Some of this information might be wrong, so feel free to correct anything I got wrong. How dare you make my post more cursed? <clears throat> me, 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 me. Metal straws are utensils for beverages. I mean, just because the words are in your head doesn't mean you should say them, Noxon. Can I ask you something? My immediate reply says, go for it, but my mind has already gone through the seven stages of grief. My whole body ceased reading the first five words. Ricky Williams blames Pot for his failed drug test. I got high and I forgot I wasn't supposed to get high. This quote will go down in history. Hot dog water is the exact opposite of holy water, in that you can add a single drop of it to any amount of pure water and it'll make the entire thing unpure. Now this is the kind of philosophical liturgy I've come to Tumblr for. Finally, I can defeat the Pope. And if I said liturgy wrong, it's because I drink the hot dog water. No, he's fat because he's full of love and he's running to give everybody a hug. In reality, frogs that are full of love are actually full of poison. Love arrives in many forms. U.S. elections be like kettle-cooked capitalism versus wavy capitalism. Ooh. Scam artist caught. Police arrested scam artist John Young, who tricked people into buying some sort of substance, which he himself named it the Elixir of Immortality. Upon questioning, the police discover that John has a criminal record, being arrested for the same felony in 2004, 1965, 1923, and 1866. Um, sir, I think you've, uh, I, I think you've made a false arrest. The global internet is being attacked by sharks, Google confirms. No headline will ever bring me as much joy as this. Why well, if it goes out, those fucking sharks again, I swear! Fucking SJWs! Sharks that jam Wi-Fi? I'm scared to have kids. Like, what if I accidentally kill one? But what if it grows up and hates your fandom? Then it might not be an accident. Oh my god, what the fuck was wrong with me in 2013? What the fuck? What the fuck? Seven years of brain development changes a person. Today, my diet has consisted of five guys and Popeye, so I'm probably gonna live forever. You eat five whole people? Six, counting Popeye. I love it when people tell me about me, because I have no idea who I am. I love when people say, I really like that thing you do. You know when you insert thing, and you had no idea that it's something you do. I also love it when people know more about you than you do. I get really excited. Imagine this. Tooth fairies made out of stolen human teeth. Sometimes still bloody from being pulled out of a corpse's mouth. Nobody knows why the teeth disappear of the corpses and how they were killed. Except the people with no teeth left. The people who survive the wicked tooth fairies. That sounds amazing as a writer's prompt. It doesn't have to be. Mario and Sonic at the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympic Games is such a great game. It lets me live out my wildest fantasy. Born to make history. In fifth grade, we were making little clay statues and mine came out shitty, so I left a big air pocket in it so it would explode when the teacher put it in the kiln and it exploded so hard, it destroyed ten other kids' statues and they were all on the verge of tears. I thought it was really funny, and I still do. So you basically planted a bomb. Well, I'ma head out. <laughs> so, 
I was walking around my neighborhood and saw a bunch of police surrounding a small house for a drug bust. As I got closer, I heard the policemen barking aggressively, so naturally I was like, what the frank? And one of them caught my eye and said, oh, we're trying to scare them out of there. And minutes later, a bunch of furries came out of the house whimpering in shoes. OP, please sign your post with your URL. I refuse to be continuously terrified of humanity by them. Whenever a young kid joins our staff at work, I'm like, huh? Yes, I'm a father now. These kids will be like, hey, can you drive me home? I don't have, like, gas money, but... And I'm already pulling out my keys, and I'm like, sweetheart, you're a child. I am not charging a child gas money. The Marquis de Lafayette informs General George Washington and Colonel Alexander Hamilton that the French will support America in the Revolutionary War. Aw, small Hamilton is small. My dog, using my other dog, is a pillow. Tyler, this is the kind of relationship I wanted. Wanted? You don't want it anymore? No, for that was a different time. Now I seek for mere mutual likeness, a sense that is so rare now. Also, it was a typo, but this is a better response. Medical experts think leaders should shut down the entire U.S. and start over. I mean, same? Have you tried turning it off and back on again? To be honest, life really is like The Sims. Wake up, make sanwich, pee, was the zanupito. I'm scream, you scream, we all scream for dirt leaf! The dude map. How Americans refer to their bros. Bro, fella, buddy, pal, dude. What the map goes to show is that people from Seattle don't have friends. These are the two most valid usernames on this site. Jewish and Kawosha. Like, are they friends? Are they mutuals? I think of my paycheck like man on a video game. Once you run out, you gotta chill for a bit and give it time to recharge. Um, <laughs> paycheck with a CK? Oh, sorry. I live in Canada where we spell things correctly. I understand the confusion, though. Wow, what a polite way to say fuck you. Fun fact. The reason that the plural of goose is geese, but the plural of moose is not meese, is because goose derives from an ancient Germanic word undergoing strong declension in the pattern of foot slash feet and tooth slash teeth, wherein double O is mutated to double E. However, moose is a Native American word added to the English lexicon only 400 years ago and lacks the etymological reason to be pluralized in that way. Oh, baby, keep talking dirty to me. I just got a wrong number text from a stranger that said, Hey, can we use your pool? Those are moose and ours. Hashtag. Welcome to Canada! I've never seen such a funny text in my life. I can't breathe. Update! I told him yes if you send a pic. And they sent me this. I was a baby moose. He's just having fun. Yes, but how do I know that you're dating me from my heart and not from my international criminal empire? Because your international criminal empire is what you do. And not who you are. <sighs> That is so sweet, I might just stab someone! Hey, where's that post where someone erased all the extra lines and crosshatch stating from a JoJo character's face? Here you go. Oh my god, it's a cursed image. Oh my god. It's an actual 17-year-old. He's been hiding under there the whole time! My dad whistles a specific melody when it comes to refill the bird feeders. The birds have started singing it when they're empty. This bitch empty! Tweet! Okay, but have any of you heard of the Harvard-MIT pigeon prank? An MIT student, dressed in a black and white striped shirt, went to the Harvard football stadium every day of one summer, blowing a whistle while scattering breadcrumbs or birdseed to coax neighborhood pigeons down into the field. At Harvard's opening game of the season, upon the referee's first whistle, it's said that hundreds of pigeons descended onto the field, causing a half-hour delay. Ah, yes. Classical conditioning put to good use. There is something very funny about people on here who try to cultivate these edgy, aloof personas. As if they haven't taken up residence in the virtual equivalent of a McDonald's play place. I mean, shit, they right. Cop, can you describe the woman who stabbed you? A male author. Lith. Spirited. Ongoing. And not afraid to speak her mind. She was a raw, sexual force, and she knew it. She was a dandelion fluff on a summer day. Gone in an instant leaving you with nothing but the memory of her touch and the faint taste of strawberries on your lips. Okay, great. We have a motive, but we still need a description. Y'all hate Ratatouille, but who do you think's making your food at Olive Garden? Huh? Fuck them rats. Respect them. Guess who's ugly? Well, not me, and certainly not you. Love yourself. There are nice Americans, and there are rude Americans. There are nice Brits, and there are rude Brits. There are nice Canadians, and there's Justin Bieber. 
every year on Canadian Thanksgiving, we perform a ritual to purge ourselves of our rudeness, and Bieber absorbs it all. He was never meant to escape. Or sorry, he was never meant to escape. Hey, we doing great. The emoji mashup bot. Sun plus extremely angry. I have no idea what emotion this is conveying, but I feel it in my soul. That's called the customer service smile. You will burn as I have burned. Have a nice day. Roommate's making fun of me because I tried to pick up my cat. She went slack, so I couldn't, and I scolded. You turned back into a solid right this instant. If you date me, my sleep paralysis demon becomes our sleep paralysis demon. If we break up, who gets the sleep paralysis demon? Well, we battle for custody, obviously. <laughs> she took the sleep paralysis demon in the divorce. Anyway, let's be real here. Humans weren't meant for long-term space travel. They need food and heat and oxygen, and they die in only like a hundred years or so. Which isn't long enough to travel between stars even at light speed. The future of interstellar exploration is going to rest on the shoulders of ghosts, vampires, and skeletons. Are you ready for the intergalactic skeleton war? Oh, time to get spoopy in space! I had the sudden and shocking realization this morning that some people have never heard the Oh, where's my hairbrush song? And don't automatically sing it in their heads when they're looking for something. Why? Why is there a cucumber in the shower? Because he took a shower and now needs to find his hairbrush. Obviously. God, pleb. Anti-piracy ads in the 2000s. You wouldn't steal a car. You wouldn't steal shit. You're a rule-following little bitch. And if you don't pay to watch this movie, your whole family will die and you'll go to jail for life. You would never break a law. Me, age eight and a half, watching this shit on a big old TV on wheels that only gets wheeled out twice a year as a treat in class. Yeah, I fucking would, bitch. My distant memories now whenever I pirate a movie online. You wouldn't steal a- Me already clicking the download button. Guess you were wrong, bitch! Oh, if only they had made a Lord of the Rings movie without the blatant racism. Would have been a much, much shorter movie. This fucking picture. Kowalski, analysis! Yo, your credit fucking sucks, dude. Since all kinds of vintage older things have been making comebacks, can tech companies bring back colorful clear plastic that shows the inside? Oh, that would be so sexy. Mmm, sexy. Fuck rose gold, I want to see the guts. 60% of my humor is zooming in really close on a picture of someone's face. But why would, why would anybody want to do that as comedy? Concept. A cartoon series where all the foreshadowing of the various characters' tragic secrets is concealed as plausibly deniable animation and writing errors. The protagonist's eye color changes from episode to episode. The sidekick casually mentions three slightly different names for the town they grew up in over the course of the first season, and there's a recurring guest character who's a cyborg. But in some episodes, the robot arm is on the left, and in others, it's on the right. All these eventually turn out to be critical plot details. Oh. Oh, I love it. Behold, flying cloud snob. Yes, snob has gained the power of flight, but more importantly, snob is now fluffy. Pet me, pet me, you fool. Oh my God, the Duke of Normandy is marching troops toward Hastings since you've been gone. How, how long have I been out? Reverse werewolf, turn into a moon when you see a wolf. What did you mean? Oh, oh you, I don't like you. I dare you to give me more anxiety about pigs than I already have. They got crossbred with sheep. Excuse me, what? Yeah, farmers wanted to get pork and wolf from run animals, so they crossbred them. Terrifying. I hate it. When you think about it, Macho was just the original horse girl. <laughs> God damn it. I may have like 20 posts, but at least you can scroll through 250 like posts. I shouldn't be allowed to browse. Um, uh... I have no words to defend myself. Sorry. Hey, fellas. Last night I took a medication which is more or less the anxiety equivalent of a horse tranquilizer and essentially entered the fifth dimension of sleepwalking in which I awoke but entered a disassociative fit so strong I was really confused why my loving girlfriend was not my good friend and fellow Viking Bjorn, who I had bring some foes to. Also, I might have cried about this. I don't remember. Was informed I left out the best part of this 3M experience, which was a bit where I in tears, gestured to our dog and shouted, I don't know what this is. Bro, you were astral playing so hard you fell back into a past life. What if magic was real, but it was treated the way music is now in different genres and like, oh, you're still into conjuring? That's, that's cool, I guess. Recently, I've been getting into some third wave post necromancy. It's some pretty heavy stuff. What do you mean you never learned fireball? It's a classic. I don't know. I'm not really into evocations. How can you not be into any evocations? Well, 
Kind of dad magic, isn't it? Shit, I don't like this. I'm taking an offensive driving course so I can learn techniques to make other drivers on the road hate me, and I want to T-bone my car into smithereens. <gasps> Does a little gay drive that pisses you off? Don't sext. Hext. Send curses via text. Put your magic in your messages and cast spells through your cell. Hexting. The new craze in how to tell if your son or daughter is putting a curse on their hated rival via their mobile phone. I suddenly just got cursed for not including non-binary. Shit. <sighs> My mom was trying to say big dick energy, but she couldn't remember it and goes, Is that fat dick spirit? Okay, but fat dick spirit is the new big dick energy. That big chochi. Them chunky chub chakras. I hope everyone is having a fucking day. Easily one of the days I've had all week. What do teens like? Is it memes? Memes about skeletons? Piss? Communism? This post is 20 times funnier if you imagine a CEO shouting at it as board of directors. Damn it, I want answers! There is no difference between exercise and black magic. Both of them hurt your body at first and drain you of energy. But the more you dabble into it, the more powerful you become. This is the most inspiring thing I've ever read. Good morning. It's already baby hours. <clears throat> he spills his milk. Then sips it. Please let me out. Sorry, I have a boyfriend. I'm trapped in your attic. Listen, I'm not interested, okay? If you ever bite into a piece of cheese on bread and immediately find yourself as a true and honest shepherd boy in the 1300s who sometimes steals apples but is overall hale and true-hearted? Weird. I've been into bread and cheese and find myself a mischievous knave from the 1500s, as ready to drink an ale in good company as to cut the purse of a lord, but as an overall wastrel. Permit the Frog and Alexander the Great, I think? What would they even say to each other? Hey, I just realized. We got the same middle name. Our eggs are fresher than your neighbor's kids. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of more concerned about our eggs are fresher than your neighbor's kids. What's that even mean? Cry. I can't. Try harder. You want me to turn it off and on again? Yeah, see if that works. I checked the process and it takes about seven hours of restarting. I'd much rather not update because crying isn't in this version's coding. It's a mandatory update. Aww. I went through an entire character arc during quarantine. I became more evil if you're curious. If you have skin, you aren't welcome here. Skeletons only. Is that so? Consider Victorian England, 1837 to 1901. American Old West, 1803 to 1912. The Meiji Restoration, 1868 to 1912. French privateering in the Gulf of Mexico, and it's circa 1830. Conclusion! An adventuring party consisting of a Victorian gentleman thief, an Old West gunslinger, a disgraced former samurai, and an elderly French pirate is actually 100% historically plausible. Where is my movie? Everyone shut the fuck up! Wurple Sippy Soup. At last, the painting is complete! Colon three. Hey, the Victorians get to sleep without ASMR videos, am I right, fellas? Okay, I know they had cocaine, you could stop telling me. I don't think you guys know what coke does. Y'all like, I wanna die. Like a broken record. But a bunch of clowns come over wanting to kill you, and you're all shit in your pants. Mmm. Hypocrites, y'all. The day I let fucking Bozo stab me to death is the day I die, pal. Oh well, yeah, that's how being stabbed to death works. Don't make fun of me, dude. What for girl sees this? The Jewish, Japanese sex and cookbook and how to raise wolves by Jack Douglas. It's a lot covered in one book. Where have you been, Jack Douglas? What kind of things have you seen? Twinkle, twinkle, fucking why can't I draw the other eye? What the fuck's up with your nose? Fuck those folds and all your clothes. Twinkle, twinkle, fucking shit. Fuck this art, I'm done, I quit. Reminder to straighten your back. Go pee, goddammit, stop holding it. Go take your meds if you need to. Drink some water. Go get a snack if you haven't eaten in a while. Maybe wander around the house and stretch a little if you've been at a computer for a while. In order to especially stretch those wrists. Reply to that text message from earlier you've forgotten about. And maybe send a nice little message to someone who's having a bad day. Like me. Do it. The electrical socket has so many bees inside it, it started to leak honey. As opposed to the normal amount of bees in any given electrical socket. Where else do you think the electricity comes from? Mmm, free soup. You are going to be so, so cursed. Yeah. But free soup. <clears throat> Egg.
I can't fucking believe you. This is so fucking unfair. You get 78 fucking notes for posting the word egg on your blog? Well, I'm an artist who works so fucking hard, and I hardly get that. This is sexism, and you're a fucking bitch, and I want to shoot you. Dear Diary, I got a death threat by posting the word egg. And a D&D party made up entirely of orc bards. An orchestra. No! Yo, just swapped a bunch of coins on Uniswap. Oh, cool. So how much money do you get from cryptocurrency? <laughs> Earning money on cryptocurrency. <laughs> Listen, partner, remember, don't get under the bull. Excuse me, son. I know what I'm doing. This is not my first rodeo. It's my second. <laughs> Filthy pagan rock licker! Go sit on your sky dad's lap! Yeah, go back to your cave, trash! <laughs> How dare you say that to my friend? <laughs> oh, this bone garden's awesome! <laughs> We've been dating for a while, but I think it's time to go to the next step. Will you marry me? You became a tier 3 sub! What? Squad! 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 squad, squad, squad. squad. What the fuck is going on? Child, I am here to bless you. Take this golden egg I have laid and sell it to get your family out of poverty. <sighs> mm-hmm. Origin story, yes. Oh shit, here comes Chad Hands McMike. Hey man, put it here, pal. Dude, dude, if I think I touch you, I'll get pregnant. The sword? Never saw one. That's some fairy tale myth weapon. I only make guns here, pal. Heard a sword doesn't even need ammo. Fucking weird, I'll tell you what. Hey, can you hear me that can opener behind you? Mm. Wow, this store has everything. Bagels, chips, yogurts, d dad Get out! Only weird people in grooms wear white suits. If you see a man in a white suit and he doesn't have a girl also in a white dress with him, then make sure you're careful- Oh, kitty you. Kitty you, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean it, I'm so sorry! I used to carry on those little bottles of maple syrup in my purse when I lived in Texas. I'd have people send them to me so I can use them in a place dry of good syrup. Alex, are you sure you don't actually live in Canada? Looks at my thousands of dollars of medical debt. Positive. d and spells named for the wizard who developed them nearly always take the form of developer's name, adjective, noun. In example, Otto's irresistible dance. Therefore, Mike's hard lemonade is a wizard spell. In this essay, I will- You know, the funny thing about Tumblr is that the people who write the First of all, this is extremely insulting and dangerous because profanity laid and otherwise flawless essay save for being factually completely wrong. And it turns out to be a self-righteous 14-year-old girl who heard half a fact and ran with it. And then there's someone posting, Sometimes the toads must go to toad prison for their horrid goblin crimes. And it's a 34-year-old with a PhD in amphibian behavior studies. They are a doctor, so clearly they do have to go to toad jail. Oh my god, you guys. Link is a highly versatile adventurer who wears light armor and consistently plays an instrument and usually has access to magic items and occasionally some spells. Link is a bard. This makes him only one of the handful of bards with the ability to shut the fuck up. Holy shit. You know, people often say they hope their deceased pet dog is chasing squirrels in doggy heaven. What did all those squirrels do to deserve an afterlife of torment? Well, dog heaven is also squirrel hell. It's a very efficient system. I can't stop fucking laughing at the thought of squirrels sitting so much in the mortal plane that they have to be sent to squirrel hell to atone. I'm sorry I let a fictional character become important to me. I didn't do it on purpose. My friend just sent me this, and I felt that. Hey, moron self-shipper, we all feel this. Since coffee is a drug, Starbucks is a pharmacy that also sells snacks. Now I just want to see all my baristas in Blake Doctor masks. Starbucks, can you make this happen for Halloween, please? Today I learned if you got shrunk down to the size of an ant, not only would everything look bigger to you, but the world would also appear almost a million times darker. Light would no longer appear straight, meaning that the world around you would be covered in a haze of blurriness and shadow. Wow. Hope that doesn't happen. I'm upset. Why is there maple milk and waffle cones but not maple ice cream? Seriously, I need to talk to the CEOs of Flavors. There's hot dog ice cream but not maple ice cream? Wait, what? Oh, there is definitely maple ice cream. Well, I have to go to New Hampshire now, don't I? Come on over, man. We got maple shit everywhere. It's great. It's like Canada, but Patriot. Canada, but... Could you imagine a pie getting thrown in your face? Funniest shit I ever visualized. I know. Ah, 1920s humor. There are no rules in the world. 
Just expectations that have punishments for not meeting them. Okay, I swear the fuck, you guys. Stop murdering everyone. We've been over this. Okay, well, Minecraft villages have two different types of churches now, so... I'm assuming the villagers had a Protestant reformation? Testificate Martha Luther put the 95 hmms on an oak door in the form of a lot of signs. Like a lot of signs. Many signs. Got signs coming out the wazoo over here. Today's gender of the day is... Sea Captain. Listed on all me legal documents. I wish I had crab legs. Wait, correction, I wish I had crab legs to eat, not, not, not to replace my legs with, Tumblr. Seriously. Can't believe we have to do this now. We make eye contact, and I connect to the Wi-Fi in your brain, and I delete half of your memories and make you left-handed. But I am left-handed, and I already have a poor memory, so good luck finding anything worth deleting. Wait a minute! I just accidentally invented a new idiom, maybe? Licking a tree and hoping for maple syrup. A.K.A. A attempt at resolving or achieving something with less effort than is required for success. And a high probability of proving it merely futile and faintly unpleasant. I can support this as a turn of phrase. A girl in one of my classes sent out an email saying, You'll be having a furry classmate this semester. And my heart stopped. But she was talking about her service dog. Me. I like... Got this platoon stuck on my ceiling and I'm not able to get it down. So you're not gonna believe what object dislodged itself from the ceiling and began its descent to the floor, creating a meaty slap sound upon impact, waking me up in the tender hours of night. I can hear this, and I don't like it. Vegans, just make peace with honey. No, just shut up. Do it. Vegans will pretend not to hear when natives tell them their agave products are unsustainable because they have whimsical feelings about, and I cannot stress this enough, the freedom of hive insects. I mean, honey's literally murder, but go off. Okay, prove it. They literally puke their guts out to make your honey. Oh, I'm sorry, fucking, what did you just say? I have not seen any evidence they are harmed or die in the process of production. They do regurgitate the nectar as part of the process to concentrate it into honey. It's an interesting process. But they do not suffer any injury during this process. If they did, the cost to produce honey, which is done naturally as a measure to survive over winter and through times of lower availability, would outweigh the benefits. If you kill several bees to produce enough honey to make one more bee, it makes no sense! Any animal that did that would die, even with human intervention. Do you have any sources that suggest otherwise? I'd be interested to hear of this relatively publicly available. Information was false or misunderstood. Well, okay. Bee farmers used what's called a honey maker. It's a crude device. It's similar to a meat grinder. They force the bees in and grind them up. What comes out is a paste. That paste is later filtered into what we know as honey. I'm so Oh my fucking god. What did this person just say out loud? This is- this is truly- this is the funniest thing I've ever read! Please show us pictures of your bee grinder! Okay, they might be falsely thinking about a honey extractor machine, but all these do is you place the beehive frames inside and a motor rotates it at a speed that removes the honey, which is then tapped through a tap at the bottom! Do you- do you think they put bees in that and spin them around until they vomit? Oh shit, it's bee carnival. Bad and naughty bees get put into the bee centrifuge to extract their honey. Okay, but seriously, vegans are coming after beekeepers is one of my major teeth grinding annoyances. For many reasons. Because there's so many lies. And to go one step further because it's such a waste. You see, the strongest vegan argument is that they don't want to exploit animals or take from them without their consent. But bees consent! No, I'm not kidding! How? Beehives aren't kept on leashes. They're outside. The bees can travel miles every day. They follow their queen, who is also outside, not on a leash, and can travel miles every day. If she doesn't like the high for any reason, for example, it got too hot, too cold, too messy, too filled with sugary stuff, and they need more space. Then the queen leaves, and with her the hive. The queen stays in the hive because the hive is the best place to live 
Period. Done. End of. If the hive is staying with the beekeeper, it's because the keeper is doing their job correctly and keeping them happy because the bees can and do leave bad beekeepers. Of all the animals we've domesticated as livestock, bees are the ones you can most easily argue are consenting participants in their keeping. Okay, but we are gonna just ignore the fact that this absolute personification of the term bra moment believes, or at least tried to convince people, that honey is the result of putting bees in a blender! Okay, back to dumb posts. Like, Tola sucks. Today, someone at the rock gym came up to me and asked if I was the girl who fell off the bouldering wall face first into the mat and muttered, Oh fuck, I can't believe I've done this for a minute. This was not supposed to be my legacy. So I run frantically into Kroger to get ketchup before my McNuggets get cold. And as I stand at the self-checkout with only a jumbo bottle of Heinz tomato ketchup, everyone starts fucking laughing at me. Like, what the hell? Then I remember I'm wearing this shirt. I'm so fucking pissed off right now! You know, in hindsight, you should have checked what you were wearing. People who don't cook this cereal don't realize what they're missing out on. The heat of the flames really brings out the sweetness of the marshmallows. Okay, OP, I'm coming to your home to beat you in the face and ass. Where are the Neko curls? I need to pat their heads. We're still working on that. Then work faster, goddammit! Oh, and when that finally does happen, could I bring my cat girl girlfriend into this not pet friendly apartment? I think the real question is, should you? I think outdoor cat girls are better. Oh my god, how many times do we have to have this discussion? There's no such thing as an outdoor cat girl! Outdoor cat girls are a danger to both themselves and the environment. They have significantly shorter lifespans and disturb the ecosystem. If your cat girl wants to go outside, you accompany her. Hold your hand, or better yet, let her ride piggyback. But do not let her go outside alone. My friend let her cat girl go outside on a company once, and she disturbed a magical girl battle, throwing off the balance of the universe. Please do not let your cat girl outside. Um... Excuse me. Magical girls are an invasive species, and only free hunting by cat girls controls their population at all. Alright, listen. Introducing an apex species like cat girls into an environment to take care of an invasive species never works, because it always results in them ignoring what we intend for them to hunt, in favor of easier, more accessible endemic species, like a self-insert harem anime protagonist. Like God! We saw that enough when they tried introducing rival antagonists to take care of the invasive shoujo protagonist population in Australia, and they just wound up going after a completely different species entirely! The side ponytail moms! An environment with no natural predators. Y'all really gotta do some research into the history of introducing invasive anime species into your environments, and keep your cat girls indoors, where they're safer and unable to cause environmental harm. What the fuck did I just read? All right. Am I stroking? Okay, stay out of PM Seymour's videos or draw 25. <sighs> Sully pulls the entire deck of Uno cards into my chest. You're gonna need more cards. Oh man. Oh golly. Oh lord. Oh jeez. Oh man, I sure fucked up my Skyrim so badly. Oh god. Oh god. Luigi, this isn't we! I'm back from vacation. Let's do this. Show my friends how I eat bananas sometimes, and it was a unilateral thanks. I hate it. They hate it. And yet is the most brilliant way I've ever seen a banana eaten in my life. Today I learn horses actually has up to 15 horsepowers. These powers include horse levitation, horse pyrokinesis, and the scourge. Nobody is immune to the neck kiss. Well, that's how vampires get you. Yeah? And? Coward. White people baby naming culture peaked when Bella really named her kid Renemanemone. This is false information. Her name is Renegade. No, it's Remulod. Like, like, like the sauce. Spelling the admin. Next up, your word is Fergalicious. D -d -d definition Make them boys go loco. Do you reproduce by splitting? No. I cough up eggs like a Namekian. <laughs> My son! The term Arrow Ace is especially lovely because it also sounds like Arrow Ace. Are you an aromantic and asexual, or are you an incredibly skilled and deadly archer? Surprise! You're both! Literally nothing is funnier than living your life with a cat in a sweater vest. Constantly feels like he's about to offer to do my taxes. I was trying to finish this post while he sat in a bar stool next to mine beeping at me for attention. And when the attention didn't come quickly enough, he put his paws on my shoulder and slapped me in the face. Which is, again, infinitely funnier when your cat is wearing a sweater vest. It's like I'm being bullied by the world's smallest accountant.
My grasp on my gender identity is currently equivalent to my grasp on what day of the week it is. Nebulous. Constantly shifting. Not quite completely discernible, but somehow overwhelmingly... Tuesday. Today I learn, even though newborn kittens are born blind, deaf, and helpless, they still hiss at potential threats. The bastard instinct. Why that well-dressed fellow in the corner? We call him the Gentleman Thief. Why, just last year, he single-handedly stole more than 40 gentlemen. Not to be confused with the Gentleman Thief, who was very kind while stealing your man. D- Jolene? You sigh and all your teeth click around like wind chimes. This is an act of malice! Ah, uh, I love the smell of bisexuality in the morning. Mom, I need to tell you something. I mix very sorbet. <gasps> when someone compliments me. Ah yes, when someone compliments me, I too make a loud jarring noise. Hey, I like your shirt. Being a creative on Tumblr culture is going through all the 24 reblogs on your post with 357 notes just to get enough serotonin to get through your day by reading what the five gods sent people who left tags wrote. I mean, yeah. They have learned rather quickly that I provide breakfast on a regular schedule. Was five minutes late and got told for it. Yo, tell your slippers they need to calm down. You know how, like, some artists and stuff will draw tears as, like, really big droplets and stuff? I want that. I'm tired of crying these tiny, stupid tears. I want large tears that are, like, the size of my fingernails. That's the good stuff. Big teary golf girlfriend. Friendly reminder that Ed ate an entire slide because there was a pebble in his shoe. Well, what else are you supposed to do? From here on out, to avoid confusion, I'm going to end any joking statement I write on Tumblr.com with a large high-res photograph of a clown to indicate that it's written in jest. You, you're joking, right? Do you see a clown? Okay, current John Mulaney is great, but seeing pictures from his childhood is just so adorable. POV, your Princess Diana. For a split second, I thought this was the once there. Don't you ever compare John Mulaney to the once there again. I know some naughty words that really knock your socks off. But I'm not wearing socks. Well, then I know some caring words that'll put socks on you. <gasps> Tradition is just peer pressure from dead people. I want this on a bumper sticker! Pregnancy is a hoax. The baby sprouts out of the ground. I've seen it happen. People pretend to be pregnant for clout. It started with one woman named DVD, and people have been chasing the same high since. I'm sorry, I meant Eve. I got tiny little hands, but they're beautiful. Adrian Shine, the leader of the Loch Ness Project, looks exactly like how I imagined the leader of the Loch Ness Project looked like. What a masterpiece of a photo. He looks like he knows everything. Sitting here having to rub feet on a calf to get a nervous mom to lick it and bond with it, the human equivalent would be rubbing some good food on a baby so a mom loves it. The doctor hands me a newborn son and I decide I don't like him, actually. So he just hits him with a pie like clowns do. My favorite thing about the contrast between early Christianity and ancient Greek and Roman religion is that the difference in the ways they think and talk about their gods is really similar to the difference between how dog and cat owners talk about their pets. Early Christians are like, This is our god, he's omnipotent and omniscient, and he's better than all of the other gods. The Greeks are like, This is our party god Dionysus, he got into an argument with a bunch of frogs once and we love him. Fuck! Silverfish! If those are the little bug things that look like centipedes, then yeah, fuck them, oh my fucking god. I hate them so much! Oh! In Minecraft, I thought you were talking about, like, real ones. Wait. What do you mean, real ones? Where do you think the name came from? Oh, I don't know, Tumblr user Plump9000! I sort of thought they weren't real, like Endermen or Creepers! Implying Endermen aren't real. Really not liking when you're blind, but- People who hide their phone from you while using it probably don't have anything bad. They probably just don't want to be judged. I mean, I just want to look at my food, okay? I bet people don't understand that I'm joking 800% of the time. Honestly, I can't tell if you're joking. 800% isn't a thing. You know that, right? If I had five dollars, every time my anxiety brain acted up over nothing, I'd have a consistent income. Yeah. I have this weird theory that some people are drawn towards each other because their atoms were near each other when the universe was created. And over time, the same atoms keep coming back together. Did you just scientifically explain soulmates? 
Took a nap and had a dream that I got a hyper-realistic tattoo of a band-aid, just so that I could cover it with a real band-aid. When people would ask what happened, I'd say, I I it's kind of weird. Are you sure you want to see? And then I dramatically ripped the band-aid off to reveal my tattoo of a band-aid. Classic astral plane me. Oh. Oh, don't tempt me like this. Finding out Bo Burnham is 6 foot 5 and not 5'11 has absolutely killed me today. The concept of some Goliath twink pacing around the stage yelling absurdities and throwing glitter is tricking my fight or flight response. I'm sorry, he's what now? Me, sitting at the table with a six-foot lobster, a massive eel, a tree possessed by a dead child, a cactus that murders people, a ninja acorn, and a ghost with two floating arms. Ah, yes, good old family dinner. I see you talking about Pokemon over there. Kids these days are such wimps. Back in my day, the sky was red and I was scared. Oh shit, it's red! You know who's gay. Paul, the real estate novelist who never had time for a wife, and Davy, who's still in the Navy and probably will be for life. <gasps> New headcanon. Everyone in that song is gay except the piano man who has no idea he's playing at a gay bar and the staff and regulars are having a betting pool on how long it'll take for him to finally figure it out. So far, John is ahead. Okay, but that makes the man what are you doing here line way funnier. The hot new character trend in gaming, an amorphous capsule with legs who may or may not be planning to screw over their companions. I don't go to either, but... I love him. Gentle reminder that the human eye is naturally drawn by noise and movement. So next time you walk into a crowd or a bit late into a lecture or something like that, they're not staring at you or judging. It's just an instinctive reaction that has nothing to do with you doing anything wrong. This really helps my anxiety, thank you. It's time to stop mourning the death of Tumblr. For I have made Tumblr 2! Ow! Shit, it's Tumblr 2, baby! Tumblr 2 is a direct violation of copyright on Tumblr 1. Sincerely by David Carp. <laughs> David Carp has the signature of a seven-year-old writing their own name with a computer mouse and MS Paint that has the sensitivity too high up. How the fuck do people still fall for pyramid schemes? Just don't open the fucking sarcophagus and the mummy can't hypnotize you. Seriously, how hard is that to fuck up? Gen X told me you have to pick your battles. Gen Z, well I'm full of rage and I'm picking all of them! Adopt me. Clears negative energy in the rooms. Oh. My god. It's a quartz goodbye! Why did Healy's die? Why were we so afraid of progress? They got banned literally everywhere. Healy's didn't die. They were killed by the government. Make no mistake, not only am I party rocking, but I'm also in the house tonight. Are you shuffling? Every day. Clown names, and clown names that are evil. Ah, my mutuals versus my block list. How dare you be funnier than my post! Some fools be like, I play games to escape my responsibilities, then pick a tank or healer. In my greatest fantasies, I am able to help people. Oh. There is only one mountain. Whatever is the tallest part of this Earth planet. Everything else is just the base of the mountain. I disagree. Okay, but think about agreeing with me next time, worm. <laughs> Guys, Pucky's onto something here. A cunning vampire door-to-door -door salesperson who stands in the people's doorway and talks until they find a convenient moment to drop their pen. And the person picks it up and the vampire says, Oh, thank you. And the person says, You're welcome. And the vampire smiles a big fancy grin and steps inside. And that's this vampire's modus operandi for decades. And then the language starts to change. And suddenly millennials have homes and the vampire thanks them and they say, Oh, no problem. And the vampire's like... <laughs> That was not the plan. Honestly, the most unbelievable part of this is millennials have hopes. The second most unbelievable thing is that the millennials just don't offer themselves up to die. One of our players accidentally mispronounced another character's name as Shakira. DM without missing a beat. Your hips have permanent disadvantage on all deception checks. Get it. Guys, guys, guys. Important announcement. Look at them. Look at them babies. Why do these people say chicken as a term for coward? Have you ever met a chicken? Because those things will fuck you up, man. I love it when my friends send me memes of fandoms I'm not in. Like, great meme, love them, very funny. But what the fuck are they talking about, though? Google Translate post says, I am glad my lord sent me a letter which I did not follow. Love them as a good letter. So funny, but what? This is better than my post. Norwegian cat chasing a fox. Look at those majestic idiots. I love that you can clearly tell from the expression who is chasing who. As a German kid, I used to wonder why our radio stations like to play the American National Anthem so much. Until a friend explained to me that Country Roads Take Me Home is not, in fact, your guys' national anthem. Whoops. 
Tony Hawk is like fucking Perry the Platypus. Because if I saw him without a skateboard, I'd be like, oh man. Then the second he picks up a skateboard, I'd be like, Tony Hawk! My toddler almost never addresses me as mom or mommy. He only does when he's annoyed or angry. I know he can. He just doesn't. So this morning, he was following me around calling me a Dexpa. Over and over and over. Holding my face, mouth in front of my eyes, absolutely addressing me. Finally, he said, a Dexpa. Play Baby Shack. And I realized what was going on. My mom got a Fire TV Cube for Christmas, calling me Alexa and demanding I play Baby Shark. So this is his first complete verbal request for something, and he called me Alexa. Why the f- This is a short horror story. Actually, it makes a lot of sense, and to be honest, it isn't that weird. It's a behavior that needs correcting, to be sure, but it isn't that strange that he learned to do that. The toddler has probably repeatedly witnessed the adult say Alexa thing and noticed that request almost always gets honored. In his mind, he's connecting the phrase with a desired task being completed, so he's trying to imitate the adults around him in order to complete his desired task. He doesn't know any better because he's a toddler and doesn't recognize Alexa as being a name. He just assumes that's what you say when you want something because that's what the adults around him have taught him. He's mimicking, and it's perfectly normal and an expected and healthy behavior. If you don't like it, then you should probably blame the startling amount of people that use things like Alexa. Like, literally, this is happening because of the adults and has nothing to do with the toddlers. What they're doing is completely normal child behavior. In his toddler mind, Alexa is a super effective version of please. My experience with digital art. Merge the layer, crunk! Wrong layer! Why do we even have that layer? You're gay, they shouted. Dude, you're gay! I ignored them. It wasn't until I got home that I realized my gay had escaped! Those kind men were trying to tell me he was running away! Ha <laughs> ha! Grammar jokes. Juliet gazed across her balcony and said, It's over, Romeo. I have the high ground. Welcome to Applebee's. Would you like apples or bees? Bees? Hey, pick the bees! I love how the devil went down to Georgia, which either implies that the devil is a northerner or that Georgia is lower than hell. As a southerner, yes. Terrible character ideas. A monk based on a European Christian archetype. They have sworn a sacred oath to defeat the giant snail plaguing the countryside. A dragonborn desperately trying to convince the party that they're actually a cockra with a skin condition that made their feathers fall out. You're a standard horny bard, but they play a washboard. A sentient hat piloting a mannequin. A dark elf who's afraid of the dark and terrified of spiders. A peasant farmer who joined the adventure because they're going through a midlife crisis and want to find themselves. A druid who got involved because they're the party's weed dealer. And a werewolf who doesn't believe in the moon. LP, change the titles to great. When will the clown settings happen again? That was fun. Look in the mirror and they can start the day. Shit, I wasn't ready for a murder in this. What's the most cursed but cute fun fact you know, Pucky? Cats, the furry little critter everyone loves, actually poops. How, how's that cursed? What, you like poop? You little poop lover? Gross. If you die because I poisoned you, how is that my fault? Like, I'm sorry you aren't immune to my poisons. I think that's genuinely something you need to work on. Fix yourself before blaming others. Do you get it? Writing prompt. On everyone's 18th birthday, they receive a letter from their future selves. Some receive long messages about their future lovers or messages about changes they would have made. Yours contains nothing but a small list of locations and the words... Never visit. Well, you'd think I know myself better than this. You say, typing the first set of coordinates into your GPS? It's only an unpaid internship if you don't steal enough office supplies. Stealing is wrong, goat! You mean unpaid internships? I agree. Go for the burner toner. It's worth more than gold. <gasps> Fantastic advice. Elephants react to humans the same way that humans react to puppies. They think we're cute. My life has no greater joy than knowing elephants think I'm cute! Hey, psst. Hey, kids. You wanna buy some drugs? That's basically the first interaction between humans and a snake ever. Yo, check out this knowledge fruit. It'll totally be the best thing ever. Wants to lead you down to a path of righteousness? I'm gonna lead you down to the path that rocks. Ah, yes. Irish, England, and Australian. The holy grave slash trinity of... Wait, what are they saying? I'm sorry, do you have a fucking problem with the way we speak? 
Well, heads up. If you try to make a candle with food coloring, the food coloring is going to sink to the bottom of the glass. And when the flame eventually reaches the bottom, all the food coloring will catch fire and become one giant tall flame that you cannot possibly blow out and the glass will start to crack. And then you throw your tea on it in a panic. Then the extremely hot food coloring will boil and sizzle horribly. Then the glass will shatter. Please take my words on this. Wait, what did you do, OP? I missed it! Scuba. This is the English word I want to get tattooed on my wrist. It means to keep breathing even though the water rises all around you. English is such a mystical, exotic language. They can fit so much meaning into so small a word. Well... He's not wrong. You know, I can handcuff newborns to show how the law works at an early age so they don't commit crimes! So I got fired today. It's funny how straight men are often intimidated by butches when really femmes are the scariest lesbians. Butches will maybe throw a punch at you after telling you to back off a few times, while femmes will downright stick a heel in your eye. It's a common misconception that butches protect their femmes from other people. In reality, they are protecting other people from the femmes. How dare you hide this in the tags? Concept. Cowboy hat with cat ears. So, you're just gonna scroll past without saying meowdy. Studio Ghibli once threatened a localization team by mailing them a katana because of how heavily edited Valley of the Wind was in the US. Dissatisfied with Warriors of the Wind, Miyazaki adopted a strict no-edits clause for further foreign releases of Studio Ghibli films. On hearing Miramax co-chairman Horrible Person Weinstein would attempt to edit Princess Mononoke to make it more marketable, Toshio Suzuki sent an authentic katana with a simple message. No. Cuts. I aspire to be this ride or die for my works. Suddenly you're 21, and you're screaming along in your car to all the songs you used to listen to when you were sad in middle school. And everything is different, but everything is good. Man, this post keeps me going. Writing prompt. Your phone suddenly receives an emergency alert that tells you to seek shelter immediately. Your pet slowly walks up to you, looks you dead in the eye, and says, The time has come. Follow me. Man, I have like a fish. Where the fuck are you going to take me? The back corner of your tank? The Shape of Water, 2017. I hate this whole backlash. Like, you say touch star, but you actually mean horny. No! I mean, when I was getting my hair cut, there was a moment where the hairdresser tilted my head to the side, and the top of my head brushed his chest, and my brain short-circuited with endorphins because it thought I was being held. That kind of touch starved. Hey, Seymour! Did you know that Michaela Laws did a stream of playing Yandere Simulator with the voice of Budo? It's really hilarious. Highly suggest. <sighs> Who's gonna tell them? I have no idea what I'm missing here, but I have a feeling it's hilarious. Well, what username where? The person Michaela Laws was streaming with that day was me. I am the voice of Budo. And they didn't know. Throwback to 2016 when I told my sister they're making another planet Earth and she was just like raising an eyebrow and said in this absolutely deadpan condescending tone, well, where are they getting the dirt for it? And I had to specify I meant planet Earth, the nature documentary, not the celestial body. Yeah, well, I think dragons suck. I will kick your ass so hard, your vertebrae will pop out of your mouth one by one like a Pez dispenser. Day one of me asking how Doofenshmirtz found out Perry's name when Perry doesn't speak. He was sent an email by OWCA when Perry was first assigned. Guys, I found a porn lore on TikTok of all places! OWCA deadass said, yo hides, we're sending a platypus to kick your ass. His name is Perry XOXO later. That's probably the most Phineas and Ferb joke ever. To all the content creators out there, how do you overcome the feeling that what you are creating is cringy? Start doing it on purpose and it slowly becomes unironic. This comment is too powerful. And how dare you figure out my secrets? Shame on you. Petition to change, thanks I hate it too, I appreciate this. Imagine biting into a steak and there being a hot pop tart in there. How do you, how do you even come up with this stuff? Personal experience. Just imagining, just sitting late at night eating a steak and you have to shout the words, HOLY SHIT A POP TART! Tumblr is so awful. You have all these people making up obviously fake stories for attention, and no one pays any mind to the real heroes like me who beat up a volcano. Why is nobody talking about this? I'm crying because my friend just pointed out that this werewolf has a daughter with the red hood. Fire emblem, you cheeky little scoundrels, you! Someone, do you mind if I say something off topic? Me and ADHD gremlin. I've never been on topic in my life. Please, continue. Take your anxiety meds with Red Bull to create... The 
the hot new emotion teens are raving about. So fast. It feels incredibly bad. But wouldn't they just cancel each other out? <laughs> no. They are both working so very much, and I cannot stop it. Any outfit is unisex if it's bizarre enough. Leave people too confused to question your gender. You can't just leave this in the tags, Goad. Yoink is the opposite of yeet. But it's just as fast. The Lord heateth. And the Lord yoinketh away. Well, there's my eulogy sorted. Went out for a Chinese meal with my family last night. At the end of the night, I was looking through the bill and found this. It's worth mentioning at this point, I told the staff I have a severe seafood allergy. No. <laughs> no fucking shrimp or you die. Now this is what I call responsible restaurant service. Well done. Dropped a small potato and started crying. How's everyone else doing tonight? Am on floor. Putting Hamilton on shovel is risky. Because a soft song like Dear Theodosia will end... And suddenly there's deafening gunshot, and you'll jump and be all lead to your yield! Much like the phoenix, a new dad shall rise from the sawdust her bone. Writing prompt. You have the ability to freeze time and explore the world while it's frozen. As far as you know, no one else has this power. One day, while you're wandering through your frozen school, you notice that someone is following you. Yeah, it's called a shadow. You think you're clever, huh? Fuck you! God, you made writing prompt cry. My brain is sad because I miss my girlfriend. But I don't have a girlfriend. I never dated anyone, and I'm almost crying. Hello? It's called yearning. Uh oh. Call my son Balsamic Vinegar Jr. Watch him turn into a supervillain. This in implies this implies this implies that your name is Balsamic Vinegar. The law allows me to be whoever I damn please. Why do you both sound like Dragon Ball Z villains then? After a freak accident at the Bible warehouse, the only surviving record of Christianity is Neon Genesis Evangelion. God damn it, Jesus! Get in the fucking robot! I like to dip my cookies in Mountain Dew because it gives them an ever-so-tasty, tangy flavor if left in there for the right amount of time. Well, this has become a candidate for my least favorite post! I have an idea. Tinder. But you find yourself an arch nemesis. Ooh. I love it when pets fall asleep on me because I can't ask anyone to do anything for me. I'm sorry, I can't get up. I have been chosen! Okay, just a heads up. If theoretically, your therapist tells you that they're going to try and get you tested for yet another mental disorder, saying, wow, am I going to get a full bingo card, is not an appropriate response. And also, theoretically, neither is, this just seems like so many. Am, am I allowed to have all of these? <sighs> you did that, didn't you? C2 for anxiety, B2 for depression, A2 for ADHD. Hey, look at that, I won! Not so fast! I have A2, B2, C2, and I also have B1 fit depersonalization disorder and B3 for critical imposter syndrome. And not to mention that earlier, I had A1 anorexia blotted, but that ink had faded now. <gasps> Beat that! They can't, can you? Please don't romanticize mental illnesses. This is a joke, but I'd rather not have any of these. Thank you. Remember when Dexter ate a giant burrito and thought he was going to die, but it turned out he just had to fart? I mean, haven't we all been there? I certainly have. <laughs> Either people with ADHD need to stop being so relatable, or I need to go see a doctor. And I don't want to go see a doctor. Now, I'm not jumping to any conclusions, but... Oh my god. Hearing the John Mulaney, do my friends hate me or do I just need to go to sleep bit is like the best thing to have happen for my mental health. Because every time I'm afraid my friends hate me, it's around the time I should be going the fuck to sleep. I read somewhere, if you feel like everyone hates you, you need to sleep. And if you feel like you hate everyone else, you need to eat. And it was honestly world shattering. And I wish I heard it years ago. Same. Given the common threads between things people on this website are inexplicably attracted to, pinstripe bow ties, really thin literal skeletons, I present to you the husband for everyone. This person is busy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but do you fucking mind? D&D handbook. Half-orcs? Evil. Every half-orc PC. He has huge muscles so he can hug his friends real tight. The D&D handbook. Tieflings. More evil. Every tiefling PC. Gay party animal and a crop top and heels. The D&D handbook. Drow. Extremely evil. Every drow PC. Drama thirsty fashion forward goth. D&D pathfinder handbook. Goblins. Un- Repentantly evil. Every goblin PC. Chaotic, good, hungry, child. Facts. We need a more realistic D&D handbook. Panera. 
you had no right to take your broccoli cheddar soup, mix it into your mac and cheese, and tell me I can't order 20 bowls of them! One time I used my retail voice on a coworker, and she was like, Don't use your customer voice on me. I know you're dead inside like the rest of us. It's just frightening and weird. The other day I asked for a table for two in my customer voice, and the waitress squinted at me, and I cleared my throat and said, <clears throat> Sorry, was still in service mode. And she dropped hers. And we swapped stories about our day, and my boyfriend was like, You two just became two entirely different people in .5 seconds. I can be bitching up a blue streak about a customer from hell while the store is empty. And when the phone rings, swap over to my retail voice practically in mid-sentence. I even have managers and salespeople from other stores and chains fooled into thinking I'm infinitely friendly and helpful. And my manager's husband thinks I'm one of the most professional people in the store. One assistant manager's daughter dubbed me Perky Pants because she's dealt with me over the phone and was shocked to the core when I dropped an F-bomb at her graduation picnic. The acting required in the service industry is beyond the pale. My cousin freaked when she came to see me at work because I was smiling and nice while helping someone who was asking insane questions and who basically forced me to walk them to the product and put it in their fucking hand, but I was nice as pie until I turned around to walk away and my demeanor changed back to normal and I muttered, what a fucking moron, under my breath as I got back to my cousin. She just looked at me, shocked, and said, No wonder you're so exhausted when you get home. This is actually referred to as emotional labor in criminology, and is considered one of the hardest forms of labor. The art of bullshit is strong in the service industry. It certainly is. And I never want to go back. I usually wear these headphones that have wires connected to them, but they're still Bluetooth, and it's nice. But then I got these that are Bluetooth without any wires, and they're amazing. They kind of look like hearing aids if you don't know anything, and I think it's cool. They're really nice and slick and sound so well. So I flipped my hair and didn't realize the headphone clasp was tangled in my hair, and it came out and fell into the toilet. Rip. Someone would fire emblem. Only the goddess knows. Saw this, her mouthful of Doritos. Fuck you, Ariel, shit! Final Fantasy in a Nutshell. Final Fantasy 1. Four heroes break a time loop. Final Fantasy 2. Star Wars where the Emperor dies and then comes back as the devil and then dies again then comes back as a god and then gets killed by Obi-Wan. Final Fantasy 3. Four orphans fight a man who threw a hissy fit over his inheritance. Final Fantasy 4. Star Wars but the Emperor is a space ghost on the moon. Final Fantasy 5. Evil Giving Tree and his gay lover fight a confused harem protagonist and his princesses. Final Fantasy VI, Star Wars, but the Emperor is killed and replaced by the Joker halfway through. Also, racism is bad. Final Fantasy VII, eco-terrorist recruit man with padded resume, discover corporate greed has caused a giant meteor to be elected, and they hold a recount. Final Fantasy VIII, a group of cadets find out they all lived at the same orphanage, and these are to blame, and the lead may be dead. Final Fantasy IX, Star Wars, but the main characters are either clones or princesses. Also, Vivi is best boy. Final Fantasy X, Daddy Issues, the real sports story, with special guest Christian Guilt Complex. Final Fantasy XI, Giraffe and Friends stop the writers from erasing the game. Final Fantasy XII, Star Wars, but half the bad guys aren't actually that bad. Except Judge Bergen, that guy's a dick. Final Fantasy XIII, Being the Chosen One will kill your dating life. Final Fantasy XIV, Heroes save the world from bad gameplay and bugs. And Final Fantasy XV. A bachelor party goes very, very badly. Well, I see versus what the cat sees before I put it. They associate the stance with love. Fear it. New cryptid. Exhausted woman at Starbucks. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get you today? How much is it to fill a venti with espresso? Uh, I'm sorry? A venti cup. How much to fill it with espresso? Oh, uh, well, it'd be, I suppose, to, I... I, I only have a button for a quad. I don't have special pricing for, like, 20 ounces of espresso in a single drink. Press is the furthest thing from my mind right now. How many ad shots is that? It, it, it'd be a quad with <clears throat> uh, 16 additional shots. Help me. The rules to learning English. There are no rules. I see what you did there. My eyes are burning. No, 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 no. It's I see what you did there, not what. Do it right. Well, I do it right, but I do not want to. I hate everything about this. Oh my god, he's turning the tiles brown. He needs to be contained. <gasps> it's an SCP. Fools. This was a white goat. You can see the white markings on him. He's been soaking up the brown and he's only got one square left. Let him finish his work. 
He's stealing the brown. Rich people are like so easily convinced about ghosts. I remember growing up, it was near like this vacant lot. And whenever I broke a toy, instead of like going to face the wrath of my mother, I would just fucking bury it in that lot. And then sure enough, some dude tried to melt the land and found a ton of buried rotten dolls and shit. It told everyone it was haunted. It's been over a decade and that lot is still vacant. You single-handedly tank the value of someone's prime real estate, and that makes me happy. As soon as I read this, I immediately started thinking of ways to do this on purpose to get cheap land, and I was five posts down my dash before I realized I was becoming a Scooby-Doo villain. Shit. You know, the kids these days will never know who the struggle. And this is not an exaggeration. Your download speed would slow down to the point where Windows would make this kind of absurd estimate. And you just sigh and, like, leave the room for a while. Because you couldn't use your computer while I was doing this for fear it would crash and lose all your progress. And then you come back in, like, 40 minutes and maybe it would say, like, 52 years. Or maybe it would say three minutes. So new. Not fucking Windows. I am going to just say Sans is like Perry the Platypus at this point. A skeleton? One pupil glows blue. Sans the skeleton! Hey guys, check it out. Spinning on vinyl records so fast that it shatters. Wow, that was record breaking speed. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, no, this is the rock dystopia future. We were about to be gay outlaws in a nuclear desert. Give it a few weeks. Has anyone remember that time when, like, all the Univision leaders gathered to take down Team Plasma with their Pokemon? Bryson opted for hand-to-hand -hand combat instead? I mean, I would too if my Pokemon was Cryogonal. Guys, guys. I want a live-action B-movie, but instead of adapting the animated movie, I want it to be 90 minutes of Jerry Seinfeld harassing random people in a dollar store B costume. <laughs> I would watch that movie in a heartbeat. Oh, you have ADHD? Name one... Name one... Uh, what was it? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Wait, right, 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 right. It was, uh, name one time you handled criticism without crying. Okay, you listen here, you little shit. How dare you? Yo, nothing shows the face of pain like that one picture of Elmo crammed in a jar full of pickle juice. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Pickle me, Elmo. The period in like the mid 20th century where the middle class suddenly had access to unprecedented food variety, but like no idea what to do with it. And they ended up inventing hundreds of doomed dishes like lime cheese, jello salad, or ham and banana hollandaise is thematically akin to the Cambrian explosion. The end of this post punched me in the face, but god damn it, you're not wrong. Oh, not elegant enough to be a vampire, but not jock enough to be a werewolf. It is. <laughs> and now Big the Cat, but he's a sophisticated gentleman. Enjoy. I seem to have a minor wound inflicted upon myself. It's quite uncharitable to oppress my comrades. Something is nipping on the line! I am certain it was a misfortunate action upon their part. I have come down with a case of the color we associate as sad. I mayhaps have a proposal. A assembled embrace, perhaps? My dearest friend Frogbert, where have you gone? I am contractually obligated to go hastily. Every single odd number has an E in it. Oh dear god, what have you done? Listen. Um, not all of them. 30 and 50 aren't spelled with the letter E in it. Oh, Father God. If you can split a number in half evenly, it's even. Uh, 30 and 50 are odd. <laughs> 15 plus 15 equals 30, and 25 plus 25 equals 30. 25 plus 25 equals 30? You sure about that? Lord have mercy. Okay, bye! 30 days in 2018, shaking my goddamn head. <laughs> Are you serious? One, three, five, nine. And since everything else after that is a variant of these numbers, then all odds have the letter E. Um, you forgot seven! It just keeps getting worse. <laughs> what, what is going on? <laughs> I just can't even... You whole ass forgot about eight, a number with an E, and it's pretty fucking even! Why would eight be brought up if it's even in a post about odds? The post said every single odd number has an E in it, not... Every single number with an E is odd. What the fuck? 
Three days until 2019, we're still here. Happy New Year's Eve. I forgot to bring this flaming dumpster into 2019 so future generations can see what a mistake Tumblr was. Er, uh, guys, two is odd and doesn't have an E. I'm just saying. D Did you just deadass try to tell me two is odd? <laughs> Fucking crying! Just throw throw the whole goddamn website away! Reblogging for the last one. The one thing I notice is that no matter how much you want to throw away this site, you just can't do it. <laughs> okay, fucking scream! Wait, what about zero? That's not a number, no. Uh, okay, but hear me out. Fifty and thirty make up for the fact they have no e. By the way, they're pronounced thirty and fifty. Bro, why do thirty and fifty matter? They're fucking even! What the actual fuck is happening? One is an even number. I'm gonna smack you. Negative 30 and negative 50 have e in them. Zero isn't a number. It can't be divided by two though, can it? Um, it can. Zero divided by two <laughs> equals zero. I just don't... No, no, no. Odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, nine. OD numbers, huh? Anything that ends with a zero, two, four, six, eight is even and the rest is odd. One, three, seven, nine. Stop freaking out, y'all. You forgot five! Dude, what about four? What about it? Does, that doesn't have an E in it. That's because it's even. Are you guys okay? I... Fucking sobbing right now, fucking god. I'm honestly so confused right now. What is going on? This is the height of our stupidity. It has to be, or future generations cannot exist. And that is why not only understanding math is important, but understanding English comprehension is important. I made this a whole episode, Jesus Christ. I have a hot wedding idea. The worst man. It's his duty to try and prevent the wedding at all costs. And the best man and worst man engage in spy versus spy shenanigans until the wedding is done. But don't forget the maid of dishonor, who spends the entire wedding doing the same thing as the worst man, except her nemesis is the maid of honor. The best man and maid of honor can work together, but the worst man and maid of dishonor are actively trying to kill each other on top of stopping the wedding. That sounds fun. Is your laptop overheating? Pour water on it to cool it down. I trust you. Oh, do not trust people like me. I will take you to museums and parks and monuments and kiss you in every beautiful place so that you can never go back to them without tasting me like blood in your mouth. I will destroy you in the most beautiful way possible. And when I leave, you will finally understand why storms are named after people. Jesus Christ, that took a turn. You're beautiful in your own special way. Actually, I'm very ugly. Okay, then. I was wrong. <laughs> hey, guys. Look at this ugly-ass smelly over here decided he was too ugly for Tumblr. I see. I see how it is, Argo. Writing prompt. Every year, the richest person in America is declared the winner of capitalism. They get a badge. And then, all of their wealth is donated to charity, and they have to start over at zero. This procedure results in the world's richest people donating excessive amounts of money ahead of the event and attempt to avoid being hit by real-life blue shell thus adding to the overall annual donation. Y'all think this is a joke, but that's literally how taxes are supposed to work. Remember that you can't save everyone. But remember that you have to try. Excuse me while I do some normal stuff, but in a manner that makes it obvious that there is something very wrong with my brain. God, pets love eating meat-flavored cereal with no milk. Dog food doesn't taste like meat, to be honest. It's not for you, King! This pepper is way too small. Can you please put a little blanket or a tiny sweater on him? Because he's a little chilly. Get out! Buy 365 near-identical solid color shirts that range to the entire color spectrum in a loop. It will appear as though you wear the same color shirt every day, but in photos from previous months, you'll be wearing a completely different color. You son of a bitch, I'm so in! The average faces of the members of the 116th United States Congress. It's him. Jerry Mandering. Okay, but seriously, that's creepy. Hallow Halloween. How did I scrub this bad? Guys, I'm so pumped for Hallow Halloween. Get ready for the Scala Ella Ellerton Wars. Yeah. <laughs> what is the point of that little pocket inside the pocket in your jeans? You can't fit anything in there. So you don't have change giggling around in your pocket. <laughs> this pocket's so small. Shut up, change. God, you're so annoying. Bar the warrior was for pocket watches. 
fuck disappearing under mysterious circumstances. I want to start appearing under mysterious circumstances. Walking through a deserted eerie forest, I'm there. Reporting an abandoned 1930s mine that no human has set foot in for 55 years, I'm there too. Touching down on Mars? Well, guess whose annoying face you're gonna see poking out from behind the rover? Ah, so you're every monster in a horror movie. Guys, Stephen King legitimately looks like Cindy Lou Who's dad. Le legitimately? You mock him because you know he's right. Your man doesn't have the mental strength to caramelize onions. Your man thinks it takes five to ten minutes to caramelize onions. What the fuck is caramelizing onions? Have you sociopaths forgotten that apples exist? Do you do you think caramelizing onions is putting caramel on onions? You literally aren't equipped to care about every possible opinion on this planet. Your mother telling you that you're beautiful isn't a lie. Your friend telling you your art is cool isn't biased. The fact that you have people around you to tell you you're great means you've been socialized properly. The douche on Instagram or Tumblr ain't cooking you dinner, bringing you your PJs to the hospital, or giving you a lift home. You aren't psychologically equipped to give a shit about as many opinions on social media exposes you to. We have never been more exposed to other people's opinions, and that's what's making us depressed. You care, and that's natural. We've been programmed to care about what other people think. But no one is lying when they say they think you're great. They do think that. Remember that, repeat that, and embrace that. Embrace it, damn you! Okay, let's talk about himbos. A himbo must, must be kind, beefy, and stupid. Only kind and beefy? Well, that's just a hunk. Only beefy and stupid? That's just a jock. Only kind and stupid? That's just a decent man. Look at this graph. You see this? Write it down. You think seagulls feel regret? Because I just witnessed one swallow half a pancake in less than a second. Seagulls only have one emotion, and it is hubris. Welcome to Australia! where a fast food restaurant literally made a mirrored reflective seagull-proof packet for their fries so they don't goddamn try to fly down and steal your fries. And you think I'm joking, right? Fright. This is the best thing I've ever seen. The Q&A on Hunger Jack's website makes this even better. What if I encounter a particularly brave seagull? Run. Okay, hear me out. A Lord of the Rings game? But you play as the ring, throwing yourself wantonly into the path of unsuspecting folk and slowly corrupting their minds as the game progresses. It's a lovely morning in Middle Earth, and you are horrible ring. Lying in the bottom of a river? Press Y to glitter seductively. You've heard of one shots, now get ready for none shots! It's when you think of an idea for a fic and then you don't write it. <laughs> So we're looking at maps in class today, and the teacher had zoomed in on China, and one classmate proceeded to yell, Yo, China's looking thick! Sheep can die from heat exhaustion if they aren't sheared. Also, their skin secretes lanolin, which quickly soothes and heals any nicks they get during shearing. In conclusion, it is good to peel the sheep. Please peel your sheep! Okay, things are awful and will remain awful for a very long time. So here's a picture of two chickens with little handmade knitted capes on. Someone must love these chickens a whole lot to make them little chicken capes. They look so warm and lovely in their little chicken capes and I love them. So here's how my day goes. I open Tumblr, I talk to myself, then I leave. My grandfather needed to work hard on becoming a degenerate gambler in order to lose everything to car debts. Youngsters these days have everything handed to them and they still complain. Did I make credit card debt, but I actually love this. And all I got out of it was this really tacky fiddle. Respect the fucking himbo, you mongrel! Did you just call Satan a himbo? Wouldn't it be nice to get knocked out cold with a shovel for exactly six weeks and five days? This is a headline on an actual news website. Wow, these Beach Boy lyrics are different than I remember. Wouldn't it be nice to get knocked out cold, what? Assorted cheese. Hell, yes. Are we not going to talk about the poem below that? The sky is dark and the wind is cold. The night is young before it's old and gray. We will know the thrill of it all. Brian Freery, One Piece 599. 599! Oh my god, you guys! Steve can't sleep when there's enemies around in Minecraft. But he could sleep when brawling in Smash Brothers. In conclusion, Steve considers the characters in Smash Brothers his friends. Thank you! Only to be betrayed by them immediately and deliberately. Guys, stop making jokes. Comedy peaked with Phineas and Ferb. And also stop making songs. Music also peaked with Phineas and Ferb. Aren't Phineas and Ferb a little young to be the peak of both music and comedic industries? Yes, yes, they are. 
Man and women. Men are like waffles and women are like spaghetti. Men are like waffles and women are like spaghetti. I never want context. Oh my God. They sprang this on us in our old church years ago. And my family has never let this joke die. Okay, so here's the stupid gender essentialist metaphor. Women are like spaghetti because their thoughts noodle all over the place. Men are like waffles because their thoughts are in boxes. Men aren't bad listeners, they just can't keep up with the conversation when women are noodling topics so fast and they have to keep switching boxes. Also, when a woman asks a man what he's thinking, he says nothing. Women just don't understand that some of the man's boxes literally have nothing in them. <laughs> Anyway, if you think me and my brothers and my mom don't constantly give each other sad, tragic faces and said, I'm sorry, my waffle box is empty today, and noodle faster, and you're feeling it being a waffle, and I want to be clear, I'm a plate of spaghetti, pretty much indiscriminately in all directions all the time, you'd be wrong. Occasionally, the context of a deadest post makes it even better. What the hickety heck? The head of footer, Heronimus Bosch, the garden of earthly delights, 1515. No. Fucking way. 16th century Goomba. Writing prompt! In the afterlife, souls can see how many living people still know you once you existed. You have lived a fairly normal life. Finally saw the count drop to zero just 200 years after your death. 500 years later, 95% of the Earth's total population suddenly knows about you! And all they know is I sold really, really shitty copper. God, I laughed so unreasonably hard over this. Okay, context. There was this dude named Yenasser who lived in like the 1700s BC ancient Babylon. And he was a merchant who sold copper. We know his name because there exists cuneiform clay tablets containing records of complaints about his extremely shitty stuff he sold to people. We actually have multiple complaint tablets about those shitty, shitty copper this guy sold. They were found in a room in what is believed to possibly be the ruins of his own house. Basically, this guy from ancient Babylon sold super shitty copper and then kept the complaints people wrote to him about his garbage goods and services. I mean, wouldn't you? That's fucking funny. I love capitalizing words that don't need to be capitalized at all. So they have to read them in that important voice. Can I call you daddy? No, no, absolutely not. Get out. Silly putty implies the existence of serious putty. I believe that is called C4. On a scale of oobleck to C4, how serious is your putty? The way this entire can of Coke fits exactly in this Coke glass. Jesus Christ, it's 1 a.m. and I had a solid minute where I stared at this and thought someone had peeled the coke. What game devs think are tough choices in games? You have to kill this person or spare them. What tough choices in games actually are? You know, this armor will make you more powerful, but it's ugly. Now, fuck that! I ain't saving the world if I can't look fucking cute, dude! So last year, we did a production of A Midsummer Night's Dream in drama class. And at the last huge rehearsal, we convinced our technician to play Despacito for the fairy dance instead of the usual track. The fairies ended up T-posing around Titiana, who started Fortnite dancing. I'm sure that Shakespeare would have wanted this. Do you guys ever think about how weird it would be if Mickey Mouse's name was actually Michael? Like, how weird would it be if one day Minnie called him Michael Mouse because she was so upset with him? Because I think about it sometimes. Okay, so I've just been informed that Mickey's full name is Michael Theodore Mouse. And that Minnie's is Minerva Mouse. I, I don't know what to do with this information, but I feel like I know something forbidden now. Well, now I feel like this is a good time to share the fact that Donald Duck's middle name is Fauntleroy. What? The f Mother bought fruit that smells terrible, so I tried to cover it with perfume and now it's worse. Moral of the story, don't try to cover up an unbearable smell with another unbearable smell. Because instead of canceling out, they just mix together and create another new unbearable smell. Gross. Oh god, I'm gonna fuck up this pronunciation, but whatever! Pieces of Viking pottery with traces of cats and dog paws seen at the Mosaic de Normandy at Cane Castle. So back in the day, pets already ruined their owner's artwork. My sis who took the photo? Um, ruined? More like made better. You know, it's very humanizing to imagine some poor potter in the past screaming, No! Bad kitty! Somewhere in Scandinavia. I mean, if it was ruined, the artisan wouldn't have baked it. That's... 
That's a delightful point you just made. This person chose to bake and keep their cat's artistic contribution. I was in Spain once, and there was a building with a tile that had been laid down in Roman times. It had a dog's paw print. And the thing was that after the dog did the print, the wet tile was dried, and then fired, and then shipped, and then laid. And for 2,000 years, every person who encountered that tile thought, aw, paw print, and kept it. This vast agreement of thousands of people over all these centuries, in memory of a dog only one of us could have met. I loved that tile. My algebra teacher is pregante and asked my class for baby names. So she called on me and I panicked and said, Luigi. It was on my phone and art. I read this and laughed out loud and a kid next to me was like, who are you texting? And I panicked and said, Luigi. Guys, this should be a thing. Every time someone asks you something, you just panic and say, Luigi. Oh yeah, Luigi, at the disco. I mean, imposters should be able to read ghost chat. Imagine how much more fun it'd be to go, who killed my friend, and see them shouting at you from beyond the grave. They should also be able to see the ghosts. I already enjoy haunting imposters that kill me, but could you imagine being chased around the ship by angry souls who can do nothing more than slightly inconvenience you and shout at you? I believe that's Hamlet. I didn't expect 2020 to be the year of cat boys, but at this point it may as well be. I hate this post. I can't even go look for context. Where do I go? I don't have enough clues. Catboy 2020 doesn't give me helpful information no matter where I search for it. This is so infuriating. Like, I'm a detective that found a body in the back alley of an amusement park, but instead of an ID, it's just a note card with yeah written on it. I'm sorry, I saw like three Catboy memes in my dash one weekend and assumed that it meant it was the new meme. Well, I hate to tell you, Goat. It is now. Me writing dialogue. What is man? But a vessel through which a higher entity may see. What is his purpose? Must he find a purpose? We are but stardust. The universe comprehending itself. Me writing action. They ran real fast from the bad man, legs hurty. Me writing action. Her legs pounded against the earth. The familiar jolt grounding her like nothing else could. Magic. Gods. Royalty. She didn't know anything about that. But running? That's been something she's been doing since day one. Me writing dialogue. I don't know, man. What you want to do? I don't know. What you think? Hey, man. I don't know. Me writing action. Room go boom! Me writing dialogue. Nobody, nope. That ain't dope. Ah, the holy trinity of writing. No, kitten food goes in the bowl, then food goes in you. Aw, oh, he seemed to confuse a step. If I fits, I sits. Just an October reminder. Werewolves are usually very sore after transforming. Give them a heating pad and some gentle massages, and be sure to keep plenty of food and water on hand. Vampires don't mind the colder weather, so remind them to wear jackets when they go out at night so that they'll blend in better with the cold populace. The monster that lives under your bed likes the smell of candles you burn in your room. Lush forest is the favorite scent. The shadow people actually like night lights because more light means more shadow. The beast that lives in the woods likes watching you and your friends around the campfire. They like pretending they're part of the group. Mimics love Halloween because their costumes are always the best. This is an important month for witches as well. Supply them with mason jars and remember to put out the moon water for them. And finally, the tree monster that clicks and clacks on your windows doesn't mean to scare you. They just need nail clippers. Yo, boil up some Mountain Dew, it's gonna be a long night. You could have said anything else! Cauldron boil, cauldron bubble. Baja blast to fuel my trouble! Okay, but... I'm really proud of you guys. I feel like I don't say that enough. There are so many ways you keep amazing me. Please remind yourself, we're each of us so familiar with our own quirks and talents that it's so easy for us to view our traits and ourselves as unremarkable when actually the right onlooker would have been startled and impressed. View yourself with as much sympathy as you would a beloved character. The people we love in fiction and in life are as flawed and limited as us and we love them far more passionately than any theoretically perfect person. You deserve to feel that way about yourself. I promise. Holy shit, Goat, coming in for the kill. I was done with this whole so OC, but something feels missing. <laughs> you have too many bills to pay. Not liking your current life. You don't know what to do. Why not become a crab rangoon? Golden tan, very hot, loved by millions, the fatter the better, and no responsibilities. Become a crab rangoon today. I used to get self-conscious over the smallest things, but friends, let me tell you, 
that today I had to smuggle a furious eight-foot python onto the bus during school rush, and not a single person noticed. Not one. If people don't care enough to notice a shopping bag writhing and seething with a barely contained reptilian hatred, then I promise you that no one will pay any attention to that blemish you're fretting about or how you've done your hair. This is extremely concerning, but also very reassuring. Thank you, and please stop bringing pythons onto public transportation. All right, I'm gonna just say, Greek mythos people are Harry Potter people adjacent. Not elaborating. They never moved on from what they read in high school. Whoa! 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 How dare you be right? She's finally awake. Uh, who? The prisoner in the back of the cart reading this. You know, it's creepy how rich people are obsessed with creating a way to stay immortal. We aren't scaring them enough so they don't believe their death is almost imminent, and that's fucked up. Let's scare them more. Ah, the Chad version of the Red Scare. My straight male co-worker looks over at my drawings. You drew that boy in a dress? Yeah, I have. That's cute. He looks really cute in that. Yes. Draw another in a dress. I've awakened something. I didn't get to party in 1999 because I turned one and one-year-olds are too busy to party. Ah, oh, don't worry. You didn't miss anything. So, Prince lied to me? What do you expect from a guy who thought Rain was purple? Well, I figured that someone who said things like that knew how to frickin' party. And he did! It's 2017, where everything is the same, except Pennywise is played by this fucker. I hate it. You won't believe who was spotted leaving Wayne Mansion last night. Next up, are Bruce Wayne and Batman secretly dating? Please give me the fic where Bruce Wayne is forced to make it look like he's having an affair with his own alter ego, just to keep his secret identity safe. Where is that fic? Does it exist? Can I read it? Okay, what if Bigfoot is just someone's persona and they were just hanging around in their fursuit and someone caught them on tape and now they're too embarrassed to come out about it? The most awful thing about this post is just how fucking plausible it is! With Kate McKinnon voicing Miss Frizzle, imagine how upset conservatives will get when they find out a lesbian is using magic to teach kids science. It's like their worst nightmare. And it's even cooler because Miss Frizzle used to be voiced by Lily Tomlin, who is also a lesbian. So basically, Miss Frizzle is a lesbian by association. Um, of course she's lesbian. What straight woman owns a lizard and drives a bus? I let my students vote on a costume for our class skeleton. And they did a great job. Yeah. Being a creative on Tumblr culture is going through all the 24 reblogs on your post with 357 notes just to get enough serotonin to get through your day by reading what five godsend people who left tags wrote. Why is this the truth? This image literally me. When my dog had surgery, he cried a lot the first night, but he stopped when I laid down beside him. So I crawled into his cage with him so he'd stop crying and pet him until he fell asleep. I fell asleep with him, and when I woke up, that bitch was on my bed and left me in the cage. The lion, the witch, and the audacity of this bitch. Transphobes aren't allowed to shop anymore because making a purchase is a transaction. <laughs> See what you did there. Honey is the only food product that never spoils. There are pots of honey that are over 5,000 years old and still completely edible. I also want to point out we know it tastes the same even after thousands of years because archaeologists who discover 2,000 year old honey tasted it. Presumably right after they looked at each other and went, eh, what the hell, here goes nothing. Oh, to be young, unleashing a Barnes and Nobles with a $50 gift card, buying whichever books had dragons drawn on the cover, I don't appreciate this call out. Nintendo took down a Megalovania remix for copyright reasons. Is Sans gonna be in Smash? Him or Frisk if the franchise was going to be represented in Smash. Wait, what? So you right? Well, I know I'm late, but you guys were right. <laughs> First the Belmonts, the World of Light, now Megalovania Sans. Hey guys, wouldn't it be really funny if Minecraft Steve got into Smash? <laughs> I don't really see it happening though, but, but, but we'll see. Oh no. Hey OP, do you want to deliver any other prophecies? No, I'm legally not allowed to speak anymore. Oh yeah, I forgot about the scream. <gasps> okay, new rule. If you regularly consume the blood and flesh of a demigod in a room full of chanting elders, you're not allowed to call other religions primitive and evil. This is oddly specific and leaves some very interesting questions unanswered. Huh, Catholicism sure sounds weird when you put it that way. Are you living or are you just jumping from one obsession to another to run away from yourself? What are you, the coping mechanism police or something? This election has me unreasonably stressed! 
Great news for ketchup. Potential scientists say that the outcome of presidential election will in no way affect ketchup. How about now? Well, thank God. Me and my fiance have been together for two years and living together for a year and nine months. We are getting married in less than a year. Today we found out one of our family members had thought this whole time that we were just close friends. That I had moved 300 miles to find a job up here so we could share a house. And she was happy we had maintained a friendship this long. We even sent her a wedding invite and she thought it was a friendship wedding. We're the ultimate gal pals. Friendship wedding? I now pronounce you gal and pal. How do I play my Nintendo Switch in public without it getting stolen? Here you go. Oh, Switch Blades. No! Someone, hey, can I ask you a personal question? My oversharing ass already bursting to answer the question. What? If the world were listening to you right now, what would you say? Pee pee poo poo. No, I would count down in the missed robotic voice. Hit one, stop, say, missile strike initiated. Watch the panic. Pee pee poo poo. My grandmother is a bitter old crab with nothing good to say about anything. But she does have a few good stories. She confronted the woman my grandfather had been cheating on her with. This other woman had no idea he was married and was righteously angry. The two of them schemed together. My grandfather's mistress drove her convertible to the construction site where he was working. As he approached the car, she said, Why didn't you tell me you were married? Married? I'm not married, he said. My grandmother sat up in the back seat where she'd been lying down and said, You won't be for much longer! Holy shit! This is a country song. Use cards against humanity as an oracle deck. Me. What can I do to be happy? The deck. Alcoholism. Look, I don't make the rules, buddy. If it says bees, it's bees. You just, you figure it out. Mom, you're trans now. Oh my, how could such a thing transpire? Are you ready for some football? Football! Me thinking about space. It's just, it's, it's so much shit. So there are rules against pumpkins in my dorm, but it doesn't say anything about pineapples. Why did you set me on fire, SpongeBob? Why did you write your essay? Stop wasting time! A 21 Pilots concert? Did you mean ukulele-fueled violence? A desperate cleric. Slamming every healing spell so hard to bring someone back to life, the ground is forced to grow plants and flowers across the body. Decades later, guarded by the forest of roses and thorns, lies the corpse refusing to rot. You're lying on the sofa under a blanket, lights dimmed, watching your favorite TV show. Your cat is laid across you, sleeping but purring quietly. All is calm, all is good. But then out of the corner of your eye, you spot him. Shia LaBeouf. Someone who doesn't know Steven Universe try and explain what's happening? Ah, oh, the gremlin in the tall garden gnome cannot believe that the Lego lady is murdering Santa Claus. Guess he saw his cat outside, went to pet it, brought it home, saw his real cat, and realized he brought a stranger's cat to his house. So I told my mom about this, and apparently my sister has done the exact same thing with the exact same cat. Baby, I put the pro in procrastination. I have so much to do, someone save me. You don't have ADHD, it's on your head. Well, where else in my body do you think my brain was? ADHD is stored in the ass. The A in the ADHD stands for ass. What do the other letters stand for then? Ass don't have dopamine. Hey, does Dutch mean like dombutch? <sighs> no, it's my nationality. Yo, shout out to water for keeping my throat sufficiently lubricated for optimal yodeling techniques. That literally got weirder and weirder with every word. So two days ago, October 21st, was National Throw Short People Day. You can throw anyone under five foot four with no permission needed. Well, hang on a second. Oh no, I'm gonna fucking hurl you into the sun. Remember, don't give your cat boy milk, he'll shit himself. Noted, this is a video game loading screen tip. Don't give your cat boy milk, he'll shit himself. <clears throat> Po from Kung Fu Panda is a himbo. I say into the mic. The crowd boos. I begin to walk off in shame. When a voice speaks and commands silence from the room. They're right, they say. I look for the owner of the voice. There in the fervid row stands Jack Black himself. Um, fervid? We all know Jack Black is not limited by our simple universe. Today I learned a parasite or a parasitus was an accepted role in Roman society in which a person could live off the hospitality of others in return for flattery, simple services, and a willingness to endure humiliation. Yo, bring this back for real. Uh, we still have Twitch streamers. Why do humans have an appendix if all it's good for is exploding? 
It's a self-destruct button. Now excuse me while I- Tonight's curse discussion. Is a Pop-Tart a ravioli? No, 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 you got it all wrong. Ravioli are just tiny, salty Pop-Tarts. See that? That's the kind of woke thinking that gets you places. You think that demons would have a lot more sympathy for the virgin sacrifices and a lot less for the guy holding both of them captive against their will. Guy wearing a hooded robe and holding a tome of ancient magic. Oh, foul demon, I have summoned you here too. The demon walking straight past the sacrifice and towards the guy who summoned him with murderous intent. Is this guy bothering you, queen? Legitimately ask someone, do you think that basic cleaning and sanitation just invented itself specifically for COVID or have you never cleaned anything before now? because they were complaining about having to wash their food and packages. Like, man, please tell me you haven't just been living as a gross little plague rat this whole time. How many nights are in FNAF? I can't remember. Only one if they get you. I'm sorry, confusing, because they say it's five, but it's not. I went camping, but forgot to bring a shot glass. Oh god, that's the second worst reason anyone would carve a hole into a block of spam. Ugh, my life was formatted like a Tumblr shit post. Other scorpions have really badass tail stingers and claws, but the lesser known tailless whip scorpion has an even better defense mechanism. Just grab shit. Me when I fucking get you. I feel like villainous is basically a social experiment to find out exactly how vile and repulsive a tall, slender manned top hat needs to be before people aren't horny for him anymore. The experiment's not going well. Not even I know the scope of my abilities. Put some pebbles in your mouth. Okay, this isn't an ability. Hey, yes, angel beats. You motherfucker. When you dream about me, please add a few inches to my height. People with Ochako icons are trustworthy. Here, since it's bound to happen, I drew this beforehand. Give me your credit card number! Give me your credit card number! Who's the motherfucker who left Bastard 27 URL wide open? Oh shit, a Catboy containment breach. Ugh, get the suit, the toy. Alright, time to round him up again, God damn it. I finally put up my hummingbird feeders. Security camera sent me these. My neighbor thinks she's so funny. She's right. Me listens to a new song. My brain upon receiving one single hit of dopamine. We shall listen to only this song until we've wrung every last neurotransmitter out of it. And in this essay I wrote one hour before it was due, I will loop all over the place and barely manage to get the point across before I reach the word minimum and cut the paper off abruptly. Rules for meeting a dog. One, be cool with it. Two, pet it. Three, do not steal it. Four, stop running from the owner. Five, put it down. Six, this isn't worth the jail time. Seven, fuck you, yes it is. God, I love crocs and their entire family trees so much. These are animals that have remained virtually the same for millions of years. Pretty much as close to perfect as you can get in nature. And this highly optimized body is just a fat sausage with a mouth at one end and chubby baby arms. This is what peak performance looks like. I know what I want to be when I grow up. Reminder that my roommate once painted Alexander Hamilton as a ham. Silence, you piece of birchwood! The best Pokemon professor is Elm, 100%. He gets robbed by a 10-year-old and his instinct isn't to call the cops at first, it's to call another 10-year-old. To catch a horse, you gotta think like a horse. I'm going to piss off some people. Bye. Not that good. You just took cake and made it wet. Nonsense, man. Oh my god! Sonic the Hedgehog ends Marvel's 10-year run as highest grossing superhero movie! I wasn't expecting this news today. Good on our boy for this achievement! Look at him! Look how happy he is! Russian scientists defrosted several prehistoric worms and two woke up. After thawing, the two worms began to move and eat. One is 32,000 years old and the other one is 41,700 years old. This year is not the year. Freeze them back! Ain't they never seen the thing? Who decided to give me a brain? Cause whoever you are, you made a mistake. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go capture Iceland. Toodles! I don't know who needs to hear this, but you deserve as many knives as you can carry. Oh my god, thank you! Not you. Gallifrey is a civilized and advanced society with a massive area called the Death Zone, at the center of which is a tower containing the corpse of God. Just like New York. Yes, just like New York. Memory? <laughs> she! This post was brought to you by ADHD. It's honestly so toxic to leave a desirable object under a box propped up by a stick. Did something happen, OP? No! I'm just... I'm just saying words. Shower head that turns water rainbow colors, plus bath tiles that change color according to heat, equals don't take a shower if you're on any kind of hallucinatory drugs. Are you kidding? I'ma do all the drugs! Girls will see a chance to commit arson and be like, I'm sorry, I have to take this.
Girls will see a building that's not on fire and say, Is anyone going to burn that? And not wait for an answer. Okay, I'll go humor mind blur and try to build a rustic house to see what the fuss is all about. I'm sorry, the Tumblr fan base for Minecraft is called Mind Blur? <sighs> house. House. Rustic. I'm sorry, Mind Blur, for doubting you. I understand now. I've seen the way of the rustic house. I can't stop building. Rustic house! Guys, I am one week clean of ending up in a PM Seymour compilation. This is such a great milestone. Hopefully I'll be able to maintain sober. You probably jinxed it. Don't you dare. It's too late, Lawrence. No! Proceeds to go back in time and prevent Andrew Hussey's birth. You fool. Homestuck was a necessary evil in order to prevent Super Hulak from being the only fandom on Tumblr. You've changed the future for the worse. And now you have to write Homestuck to fix this timeline. Oh. God, no. Do you have it in hell, like, feel remorse? Do the angels weep and mourn for the comrades that fell to hell or express doubt in their God's unconditional love and might? Lucifer was a wise being, a high-ranking angel, yet he fell victim to the sin of envy. Who's to say that the angels still devote to God weren't immune to such emotions themselves? Do the devils regret believing Lucifer's philosophies and choosing his side, and now knowing they can never return to paradise? If this was God's way of expressing tough love, how long will the punishment last? The fallen angels laid restless, unable to sleep to the shrieks of the damned. In that moment, neither heaven nor hell realized the concept they had birthed, a concept too dangerous for either domain. And so it has plagued the mortal realm the moment mankind took his first breath. Worry, doubt, dread, anxiety. Jesus. Yeah, a little too deep there, Tumblr. Today I learned Matthew Lillard originally screamed till his voice went hoarse and scratchy to achieve his voice for Shaggy and Scooby-Doo even doing it in his car before his audition at Warner Brothers in Los Angeles. Imagine you're going to audition for Shaggy in the new movie, and the guy in the next spot is just fucking screaming in his car. I mean, it's probably how Shaggy feels all the time. The range of the coconut crab. An empire. I misread this as rage and got really scared. Never underestimate the power of a low-quality webcam to make you look good in a selfie. Mm. But if I don't hyperfixate, I'll get depressed and die! Oh god, I've run out of hyperfixations. Oh god, oh fuck! Uh, I feel so useless! No! Desperately digs through old hyperfixations. Come on, come on, there's gotta be something! Give me something! Amulet that makes you think about trains. Um, pocket watch. Me, a fool. 2020 couldn't get any worse, right? Mystery Skull's future. Oh god, no! I told this woman I work with to have a happy birthday tomorrow since she's off, and she did a double take before asking me how I knew that. When I first started as their boss, I made a note of everyone's birthday so I can get them a small card or a gift. I told her that, and she stared at me for a few moments before saying, I don't like that. No, you don't know my birthday. I know it. And then, like, walked away. So this woman I work with has never been born, and I've never met her in my life. I'm sorry, but I <laughs> know is so fucking funny. Strawberry milk doesn't taste like strawberry, but it sure as hell tastes like pink. Mmm, tea. No, girl, it's milk. Some YouTuber. Here's my fun AMV inspired by Scooby-Doo and Rhythm Games. Six years later. So here's the fourth installment of my anime. <laughs> Fuck, I feel cold out right now. Today I learned that when a domestic pig gets out into the wild, it will revert to its wild state in a matter of months. Growing tusks, a hairy coat, and becoming more aggressive. Well, excuse me while I disappear into the wild and revert into a great ape. Are you saying humans are domestic apes? Are we not? Bigfoot is just a man who made a choice. The right choice. Ah, 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 it's me, Dracula. Happy Halloween. Ah, 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 ah. I have garlic. Fuck! <laughs> November is the Thursday of months. November is like if you took October and December, but instead of adding them together, you subtracted them from each other. I have no idea what this means, but I know it's true on a gut level. Yeah. Bro, what if we, like, accidentally kissed? In the garage. My, my, my dad said, okay, but don't touch his power tools or else I'm grounded. But, like, what if we accidentally kissed over his 20-year-old cordless straw while kissing the garage? <sighs> oh my god, I'm getting you grounded for this! What if this was all a dream and you woke up in your bed ungrounded and everything was fine? The kiss wasn't real! This miniature ecosystem has been thriving in an almost completely isolated state for more than 40 years. It has been watered just once in that time. The original single spiderwort plant has grown and multiplied, putting out seedlings. 
As it has access to light, it continues to photosynthesize. The water builds up on the inside of the bottle and then rains back down on the plants in a miniature version of the water cycle. As leaves die, they fall off and rot at the bottom, producing the carbon dioxide and nutrients required for more plants to grow. And if you don't think this is the fucking raddest shit, then get out of my face. And now a chart of forbidden cats. Only if you fear God. Me in public. Oh, I'm just so super innocent and polite. Me at home. God damn it, what the fuck? Stop fucking falling on the damn floor. Pull your shit together. What the actual fuck? Ah, yes. The Aaron Hansen effect. Sure, you may be iconic, but have you ever looked at the Grim Reaper in the eye and told him that he has three minutes to eat an entire raw onion? I think so. I don't know what it is about sitting in chairs and having both feet on the floor, but it's so uncomfortable and awful, and I will never willingly do it if there's literally any other option. I mean, yeah. The weirdest guy I ever met in a church was this boy who referred to Buzz Aldrin and his husband going to the moon. I was completely baffled. And when I asked if he misspoken, he got really angry and accused me of being deliberately ignorant of the facts. It turned out he was somehow convinced that Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong were married. It took five Wikipedia articles to convince him otherwise. The moon landing was fake. Oh, so tired, passe, heard it before. The moon landing was an elaborate marriage proposal. Fresh, sexy, I'm going to be thinking about it for months. Okay, guys, I just figured it out. The most base human desire is to just do stuff for strings. Weaving, cooking spaghetti, quantum physics, embroidery, uh, releasing your shoes to go on a run, a lot of instruments, knitting. Hold up. They're on to something. Y'all ever just in a mood to mutilate a JPEG? I got one of the best pictures I've ever made out of that urge. <gasps> Hunts! One late night, you are up in your room when you hear your mother calling you downstairs. You're halfway down the staircase when all of a sudden, you see your mom in front of your bedroom door. Terrified, she whispers, don't go downstairs. I heard her too. Who do you believe? The one calling me downstairs, they're lesbians, not ghosts. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Fuck, that was good, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> when a McDonald's employee dies. What? does this even mean? Uh, it means you make press, make F to make pay, make respects. Duh. Thanks to Duolingo, I can ask people if they are a horse, but can't tell people what my name is in French. All right, ask me I'm a fucking horse, I dare you. Uh, twist on cheval? Nay. Oh, 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 oh. you sp- <laughs> So my cute new neighbor just knocked to ask if he could borrow an egg from us. Then he asked if I could summarize to him how pancakes are made. Now I'm going over to his place and teach him how to make them. Cute neighbor now knows how to make pancakes. Does cute new neighbor know anything else? My number. Ship it. Things public school kids take way too seriously. Jeopardy, review games, kickball, and spirit week. Oh my god, this post is so American, I don't even know what half these things are! Psst, 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 psst. You kill anyone, Catboy? That's between me and God. I don't have my glasses, and I thought this was a squirrel. I mean, yeah. Stop bringing your evangelism to skateboarding class, Frank! It's skate or die! Not skate or die for my sins! Separation of church and skate. This image is way funnier, considering that this is Egypt, and this snow was the first snow that got 112 years. This man waited 112 years to slam dunk that snowball on this man's head. Worth it. Ugh, kids are just like... <laughs> until one day they're like, oh shit, I can think. And then it's all downhill from there. This helpful stingray offered itself up as a tent for a diver who decided to have to lie down in a seabed at Grand Cayman. <gasps> Blinky! A sea blanky! Don Featherstone, creator of the Plastic Lawn Flamingos, 1957. Okay, he looks exactly how you would picture the creator of Plastic Lawn Flamingos to look. Today I learned the Greek philosopher Plato's real name is unknown, as Plato is his wrestling name. Oh my god, it's The Rock in 2500 years. Plato means broad in Greek! There are recorded instances in Aristotle's notes of Plato settling debates by standing up and flexing! He was an Olympic gold medal wrestler. Dude, imagine reading Jumbo's dialogues or the big dude's theory of ideas. 
or fuck huge McMike's allegory of the cave. <laughs> I just found out that it's stress awareness week. Well, mission accomplished. I am certainly fucking aware of stress. Thanksgiving is canceled in 2020. Instead, November will be a month of Dionysian madness. Casting curses, moonlight revelry, dubious self-care methods, ritual sacrifice, and mashed potatoes. And we're off to an excellent start. Big fan of the way moles sit in dirt with their arms out like they're in a hot tub. Look at this. Decadence. I sterilized my cat so she wouldn't have any babies. And then she brought one from the street. You cannot prevent me from raising a family. I am monster! New Yorkers be like, Hey, I'm walking here. Hey, hey, I gotta get down square. Hey, gotta ride the horse down the train station. Hey, it ain't familiar. Hey, gotta get your New York bagel. Hey. How dare you offend my people. Welcome to ADHD Emotions. Get ready to experience understimulation, overstimulation, the anger spiral, Wednesday forever. Oh God, they hate me. This whole grocery store hates me. And last. Can confirm, hate it. I paid for this ad spot because I hate ads. Enjoy this pic of a cute turtle instead. Peace. Ah, okay, out of good advertising. Hate is louder, but I believe you'll find love is wider and runs deeper. Love is thick. <sighs> you know what? I'll take it. No, 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 no. In 2021, we stop using thick and use thick, thick or bombastic. Mr. Bombastic, tell me fantastic. Behold, Pymond Dick Axe. I'm sorry, wait, what? I believe they said Pymond Dick Axe! My house is strange. There's me, I'm bisexual, and I live with my gay brother and my asexual fiance. My brother and I have the same taste in boys, but I'm really the only one who likes girls, and my fiance is just generally really excited about dragons. Dude, I want this sitcom. Is generally just really excited about dragons? Today I learned a lobster's nervous system is so similar to humans that human antidepressants work on lobsters. I don't like thinking that lobsters can get depressed. Good news! That's actually almost all animals! Fruit flies get drunk to deal with it, and cockroaches malnourish themselves! That's not good news at all! They got me in some kind of secret facility, doing experiments on me. I have powers now. I'm gonna fight the government. Ah, oh, me when I'm an original character made by a 12-year-old. Why are there 10 loud saxophone players outside? There isn't even a metaphor, they're actually out there! I just passed three people with tubas! Uh, please consider... Marching band. Okay, see, here's the thing. That would make sense, except I'm at the gym? Uh, obviously, marching band wants to work out. Upgrade to running band. I didn't want to do my geology homework, so I stitched this cracker to the arm of the couch. Yeah. I raise you comic artists who can draw kids and offer you comic artists who absolutely cannot draw babies. Goo. What is a baby? A small man? I love it when cats dilate their pupils to indicate it's time to be fucking stupid. Wish I could do that. All right, guys. It's time to get... N -N -N -W. Man lives in a blue world free zone. Everyone who blinds this pose with an old lord who is under arrest for crimes against humanity. Crimes against humanity. I am going to break your fingers. Only forms of English can Latin gender specific suffixes for and tricks. Taurus for the man with Hendrix is for the women. So a male pilot is an aviator. A female pilot is an aviatrix. A male fighter is a gladiator. A female fighter is a gladiatrix. This contrasts with the modern system, where torn is for both men and women, and tricks are for kids. You are coming to my house. I've come to inform you all that the ancient Greeks built off the Egyptian deity as oh, hey, thanks. Now die. Toth was the god of knowledge, so it wouldn't be appropriate to ask, oh, oh what's this? <laughs> Don't like it most. How is spring not everyone's favorite season? The trees are pink, bro. They're pink. Allergies are a pain man, but they're pink. But it's hot. Pink. I just heard customer two miles over ago. Hey, I think this is that special glass that doesn't shatter when you drop it. Followed by the sound of shattering glass.
I hate retarded. Your reading is just staring at a dead piece of wood for hours and hallucinating. I hate my eaters. I delete this. Me when somebody calls me unattractive. Excuse me. I am a celestial being of pure joy and I am so attractive at heart. Me when somebody calls me attractive. I am a simple father who calls playing a trash can. Why do you say these things tonight? Thirsty rocks blame for the disappearance of 900,000 liters of liquor. Yo, Mr. Ragbird's wedding reception was off the freaking chain. Uh, I can literally hear this picture. So can I. And I hate it. People really be grown and still using umbrellas. Well, you're supposed to become waterproof after you turn 18 or something. Yeah, get right, Bianca. The big difference from good old men's book to show is all they're gay and all they're gay. Today I learned there is no physical description of Jesus in the Bible. False. Luke 2.52. He's larger than a baby. By the description of him driving the moneylenders from the temple, we can also tell that he fit inside the temple, which gives us an upper bound as well as a lower bound on his size. It's been said that Jesus Christ was larger than a baby, but smaller than a temple. Glad we got that narrowed down. Behold, a man. I would prefer to not pull the man. Thank you. Y'all already know what the fringe is going on. I 100% do not. The more I look at this image, the more confused I become. <sighs> Son of a bitch, everything's real. some of the changes and design for the penguin symbol of old penguin paperbacks. He did a little dance and for this crime he was imprisoned in a bubble! Free him! I'm cute and I'm sexy and that's why I'm allowed to build my wizard tower within city limits! 
Zoning laws don't apply to me because the whole city council is so charmed by my voluminous robes and funny hat. Mm. Kids, when life gets you down, you've got three choices. Give up, try again, or call Luigi. If you ever have the option to call Luigi, always call Luigi. Oh yeah. Birth certificates are just receipts for human beings. Uh, how and where can I return myself, please? Please. I want the money back. Real Netflix and chill is like 30 minutes of, what do you want to watch? I don't care, you choose. No, 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 you choose. No, you choose. No, you choose. I don't- Alternatives to Zoom, police, toilet paper, Amazon, Facebook, and hand sanitizer. It's 2020. This is the most 2020 photo I've ever seen, though. Reminder, you are under no obligation to look pretty. Not when you're laying around the house. Not when you go to the grocery store. Not when you sit in a classroom. Not when you go to the gym. You are never obligated to get dressed up just so you are pretty for others. Pretty is not the rent you pay to exist in this world as a woman. That last line. Wow. The idea of a straight vampire is just very funny to me. <laughs> like, imagine you're immortal and you aren't even capable of fully appreciating the good parts of it. All your vampire friends fully understand the aesthetic and wear dark and flowing clothes and sip blood out of goblets. And then there's just you wearing... I don't know, like a salmon polo shirt and tan shorts, whatever straight people wear. I don't keep track of this shit. I give to you a map of the most popular species of furry Google search in every state. Ah, finally. The furry elections. I got a lot of questions for Colorado. What's going on there, guys? What's up? My brain is fired. I meant fried. You know what? My brain's fired too. Collect your things. I've had it with your shit. A pumpkin man sits inside a pumpkin house. Is the house made of flesh, or is he made of house? He screams, for he does not know. People are wild. When I rarely mention that I don't like kissing, they're automatically like, oh, you'll like it when you find the right person. Like, yeah, let me just go do the thing that I hate a bunch more times until I stop hating it, or more likely become numb enough to tolerate it. Like, thanks, idiot. You totally cared me. Because let's be real. They don't actually give a shit about my comfort. They just want me to shut up and act normal. Okay, guys, no Earth spoilers, please. I'm only up to the Cambrian explosion. Yo, I'm really loving these new dinosaur characters. I hope they stick around a while. Oh, fuck off! If you're driving a Tesla and it got stolen, is it now an Edison? This is peak physics joke! Oh, look, I got a package. Definitely not bees. Shake vigorously before opening. Well, at least it's not bees. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not falling for that one again. If courage isn't the absence of fear, but doing the right thing regardless of it, maybe confidence isn't the absence of insecurity, but knowing you have real worth despite it. This is beautiful. By this same token, maybe goodness isn't the absence of bad thought or impulses, but the conscious choice to behave according to your moral ideals in spite of them. I love this! It's official. I have seen everything! A gay Jew's wedding where they rode in on a horse dressed as a unicorn! Wow. I love it. One time I dreamt, I saw the future. There were so few bees left that they crossbred beekeepers with them so they could better connect with them. I was taking a test to identify plants. I won because some dude thought pineapples were berries. And after that, I met a beekeeper who worked inside of a giant glass beehive and had little antennas and a dope-ass beard. Okay, so everyone was commenting on this post saying that pineapples are berries. Even I was like, no, that's not right. So I looked it up and... Is pineapple a berry? A pineapple is neither a pine nor an apple, but a fruit consisting of many berries that have grown together. That means that pineapples are not a single fruit, but a group of berries that have fused together. Okay, was anyone going to tell me that pineapples are berries, or was I just supposed to read that in a one time I dreamt post myself? Bananas, tomatoes, watermelons, coffee, cocoa, pomegranates, and pumpkins are all also berries. W what? What do you mean pomegranates are berries? You know what isn't a berry? Strawberries! Fuck fruit scientists! Hey, is anyone ignoring the part of the dream where bees and beekeepers fucked? Caution! Aliens with cowboy hats. Those fucking stylish bastards. I work in a pet store, and a woman was looking at her betas and asked me whether one was male or female. I told her that they were all male. Because they are. Our company orders only male betas. She looks at me incredulously and pointed at one and asked, even this one? I was like, yes. Why? It's pink, though. Why is the male fish pink? I swear, she was borderline angry at me, 
and I didn't know how to explain that fish genetics don't adhere to human gender roles. The cyst. But what about biology? Also the cyst. But why is the pig fish male? Oh boy, wait till they hear about flamingos. And they're not even ready for river dolphins. Ghibli Movie straight up said, you're gonna be really confused for an hour and 30 minutes, but it'll be breathtaking so you won't even be mad about it. To this day, not even sure what happens at the end of Howl's Moving Castle, but damn if Bird Howl doesn't look cool as fuck. Hey boss, I got you those flowers you wanted. Bada boom white and bada bing rose. Hey, I'm growing he. I am, but a humble moron vying for attention in this court overrun with jesters. Throw me some scraps. My bells do a delightful little jingo when I wiggle my tiny hat. If I throw you a banana peel, will you slip on it in a comical fashion? Yes, and my curly little shoes will wobble wildly as I screech and slip in pain. Do my pain not amuse and delight you? Is your thirst for savagery not sated by my misery? Even if one bad thing happens in 2020, I will completely lose my shit. Someone should check on her. It is not the prettiest, but here is a little chart I made of skin tones. The idea is to eye drop anywhere on the chart to get a unique skin tone instead of just stuck in the loop of white tan dark. <gasps> Useful. Flesh cloud eager to assist your art. Oh, hail the mighty flesh cloud. Wait, that's what it's from. So someone put Mothman in their window and now there's a crowd of people outside the dorm staring up at him and chanting, Mothman. I love college. The angle of this photo implies that OP is part of the aforementioned crowd. Who do you think started the Mothman chant? Advantages to wearing oversized sweaters. An instant cute outfit with minimal outfit. It enhances the coziness when you drink hot beverages. Sweater balls are guaranteed to make you feel 43% more adorable. And you can unbutton your jeans and no one will know. The disadvantages to wearing oversized sweaters Guys think they're totally not cute, lol. The day I dress for a man is the day they dress me in my coffin to see Jesus. Also, um, says you, East Coast Breeze. Physically, I am present, but mentally, I am face down in a pool while this year by the mountain goats play on loop in the background. Things just keep happening. Yeah. Society. Blue is for boys and pink is for girls. Me. I am the gender non conforming lobster. Gender non conforming lobster is my new aesthetic. Me looking at photos of my boo. I misread this as my dog. I mean, that's better. I have this headcanon that the Warners have specific limits to their powers. Like Dot is whimsical humor, Wacko is physical humor, and Yako, Yako can just do about anything. I love not knowing who 95% of celebrities are now. Like every day someone new is trending, I go, I don't know who the fuck this is, and then move on. I love that. Leonardo DiCaprio date a woman over 25 challenge. I thought that said Leonardo da Vinci and was confused since da Vinci was gay, and also since you were calling out someone who's been dead for well over seven years. Well, da Vinci has been dead for well over seven years, though. So I'll give you that. Oh, this is the Grinch. Me refusing to leave Tumblr. Sir, this is my emotional support hell site. Sensor bot. Beep boop. Sensor bot approved. Me refusing to leave. Sir, this is my emotional hell. <sighs> Me refusing to leave, sir, this is my emotional hell, is a funnier text post than my original one. Good job, Censorbot. So here's the game plan. I get 12 identical cats. I name them all Steve. So nobody I invite over will know which Steve they're petting. I then train them all to come over when their name is called. And then I convince someone I only have one cat named Steve. And then I tell them to call for him. A dozen identical Steve's will then erupt from around the house to which I scream in terror. Oh god, no, he's multiplied again! And watch as the poor person panics while being surrounded by 12 different Steve's. I love everything about this. Paranormal investigator? No, I'm a paranormal instigator. I'm haunting your house and I'm here to start shit! This is German Kindergarten. Every building built mainly for children should be this fucking weird. I can't even imagine how much happier my memories of early childhood would be if I could look back and haven't gone into kindergarten in a big old cat. Yeah. Jesters also had a vital role to play in the battles themselves. In the early Middle Ages, their job was to wage psychological warfare. What the fuck? Reading about jester history, I wanted to share this with you all. Oh, is that what shock chucks are? Fun fact, face masks are made in such a way that water can't pass through the tiny holes in it. The source, I forgot to remove my mask before drinking water. My stupidity is immeasurable. 
Skeletons aren't scary. We're filled with pulsing, oozing meat. And y'all think the skeletons are scary? The meat's scary. The meat. It's midnight and this tweet is giving me a heart attack. Fear the meat! Meal suggestions. Should I have a proper meal tonight? Or should I just engulf a box's worth of stuffing for the Christmas spirit? I hope this email finds you a broken husk of a man. I hope this email finds you before I do. I hope this email finds you, she threatened. I can guarantee your email is not finding me well. The email. So here's the problem. I once yelled because I saw a centipede and my boyfriend commentated, a friend. And when I said no, he added, and maybe a lover? Now this has become standard procedure to referring to centipedes. So now I get messages like, a lover, a lover spotted within my dresser, no thank you. Why is my name beef in your phone? You know, like BF. Okay, so Australia's got like new chip flavors. I think from America, like Cool Ranch Doritos and potato chips, also hot wings. I mean, I know what that is, but what the frick is Cool Ranch? America, explain yourself. We've dealt with your crab for too long, the actual frick! Karen Crab is here to sell you essential oils. Oh god, the disco ball's melting. So, do we... do we panic now? The real writer experience is standing in the shower and coming up with the most authentic dialogue with perfect phrasing and raw emotion in your head. Then stepping out and drying your hair, putting on some clean pajamas, and opening a Word document to write all of your perfect ideas, only to realize everything has evaporated. Yeah, same with John. What is your sexuality? Oh, I forgot how people explain it. Uh, sexualint? You mean, you mean asexual? Yes! I shove joy in your brain sucking and you love it. You do it in a very unenjoyable manner. Less talking, more joy! Beat the shit out of you! This is a friendly interaction! How to draw Murdoch from gorillas. One, find a picture of each individual beetle. Two, put them all on separate layers. Three, merge all layers together into a horrible British rock abomination. Four, green filter. Five, done! Why does... why does that work? The name's practice. Malpractice. Well, nice to meet you, Dr. Practice. Could you please tell me what's wrong with my son? He needs surgery on all of his bones. V very well, here's my credit card. I accept no payment. I do this because I love it. My new song, Toss Me Into The Sun, will be the antithesis to Fly Me To The Moon. Then call it Toss Me Into The Sun. What part of this post did you manage to miss? When somebody says a man likes to feel like a man, all I hear is a man likes to feel superior to you and it's your job to make him believe it. Someone said this to me once, that a man needs to feel like a man, and I replied, well, I'm not stopping him. I had to watch this... Fragile creature tried to explain to me that my strong personality could demean men. <laughs> like, if I have to pretend you are a strong man and cater to that, then you're clearly not that strong, dude. One time I was with my family. I dropped my plate of food and I was like, God damn it! Then my mom was like, You can't say that! So I said, Fine, Satan bless it! Everyone turned to look to me after I said it. I forgot I was in a church. Someone is talking about things and stuff that I'm not processing. Me. Oh, I should be processing this right now, huh? And then I didn't! How to write. Step 1. Open a Word document. Step 2. Sit with a document open for 10 minutes. Step 3. Fall asleep. And step 4. Somehow wake up with a Word document filled with a story you don't remember writing. My sister really asked me how many monsters I've had in the last 7 days, and I said 6. Well, off to the shop to buy a 7th! Oh, they meant drinks. I thought actual monsters. Shout out to water for keeping my throat sufficiently lubricated for optimal yodeling techniques. <clears throat> yeah. I had a dream last night that I worked at McDonald's and I was behind the counter when this guy dressed in a tuxedo, you know, with the white dicky and tie, was snapping his fingers for a server. I went over and asked to see our darkest red. I knew he was talking about wine, so I said, Sir, this is a McDonald's. The darkest one we have here is ketchup. And he had me pour him a glass of ketchup, and he drank it while looking me directly in the eye. Four guys my dad thinks are distinct people, but are actually all Brian David Gilbert. One, the lead singer of the All Together. Two, the boy who made the Mario movies. Three, the brain behind the awesome popcorn recipe I use. And four, the creator of The Croon.
I'm told that many Germans are stockpiling cheese and sausages in anticipation of a COVID lockdown. Planning, in other words, for a worst case scenario. <laughs> I scrolled past, then I scrolled back up, then I rolled my eyes, and then reblogged. My favorite part of Beyond Light so far is the post-campaign quest where Elsie keeps revealing her traumatic past while the solar system's deadliest six-year-old stands there in complete silence. Free therapy. man -eel. Milan, Malin, Omni, Imnal, Almi, and Yamnil. The fuck, stop it, brain. I might poke you. Keep an eye out because now I most certainly will poke you. Is selling pickles in movie theaters really just a Texas thing? Like, I can't imagine going to a movie and not getting a pickle. Like, what? The fuck is going on in Texas? Okay, y'all about to hear my favorite Thomas Jefferson story. Americans used to think tomatoes were poisonous, but Tommy J, as a cultured world traveler and former ambassador to France, knew better. So one day, at a dinner party, he just whipped out a tomato and straight up ate it like an apple. And everyone was like, Thomas, no! And we're all convinced he was gonna die. He didn't die, obviously, and probably just sat there with a smug-ass grin as all of his guests ran frantically about to fetch a doctor to save him from the dreaded tomato. Interesting fact about me is I have great memory, but I also have shit memory. What this means, in practice, I can recite any number of Simpson scenes verbatim, but I can't remember what I did last week. Yeah. One can't decide whether to join the Bard's Guild or the Thieves' Guild. One will have to weigh the pros and cons. You ever just hand things to your pet to sniff so they feel included? Yes, I do! Remember when Katara wanted to blow up a factory for environmental justice and Aang just tagged along because he thought it would be fun to be an eco-terrorist? Sure do. Yep. Good times. You know what? I might fuck around and drink the daily recommended amount of water. Oh god, I have to pee. You know what, actually? Fuck you! Uncouple your stone. Dude. Dude. Not. Cool, dude! What the fuck? Goth girlfriend this and goth girlfriend that. Where were y'all when I was getting bullied in middle school? Also getting bullied in middle school. An ally. Change returned. $21,714.77. Can you give this to me in quarters? Everyone needs to be themselves and not let anyone get in the way of that. If I want to suddenly remember about a secret stash of oats and honey granola bars after six-ish months, and then eat half of the 64-pack, then me do me. Chase your dreams. King Henry VIII. I want to look stupid wide in my portraits. Go ham, brother. Mm. Oh, Wowsley, I'm trying to get a divorce, but I'm dumb, thick, and the clap of my ash cheeks keeps alerting the Pope. Aw, uh, she a glass of milk. Oh, the plot hole? That's there for... ventilation. Me poking holes in my plot to let characters I've trapped in a cup breathe. <gasps> <coughs> Animaniacs 2020 is unrealistic. Not just because of everything about it, but also because Yako didn't die instantly and permanently after consuming all the data on the internet. I've been slowly exposed to the World Wide Web over a period of years, and my brain is melting out of my ears. How is Yako even functioning? That's a good point, actually. Hello, everyone, this is Snob. I just wanted to say you are all beautiful and capable of anything. Some people forget that. If something is difficult, take a second to rest and look at it from a different angle. Backtrack if needed. Someone out there is going through the same thing, and someone cares about you. If this helps any of you even slightly, I'm happy. There's no need for likes, though. I will ask you share this to those who might need it. Thank you. We don't deserve snob. Yo, why do people call soda soft drink? You ever felt that thing in your mouth? They're spiky, not soft. Fuck it. So what do you do for a living? I exist against my will. Two asexuals sitting in a tree. S-I-T-T-I-N-G. Can you please call the fire department? We're stuck. Top picks for April. Buddy, it's November. <gasps> Wait. Wacko had a gender once, and then he ate it. Non-binary. So you know what? Fuck you! I'm uncaramelizing your dancing! <gasps> How dare you? I don't trust birds. Fucking hollow bones. That's suspicious. What are you hiding in there? Love. Oh, fuck shit, you're right, fuck. Volunteering at a soup kitchen is one of the least productive things you can do to change the world. Art can inspire people and motivate them. Food is important, yes. But you aren't changing that person's life. 
Whoever wrote this post has definitely never been hungry. There are only four genders. Bitch, bastard, baby, and clown. Only the Avatar, master of all four genders. The history professor. No one worships those gods anymore. Anyone who did has passed away by now. The pagans. Quit telling everyone I'm dead! Today I learned that a captive beluga whale learned how to read rudimentary English after seven years in captivity. It was only known after a diver visiting his tank at night heard voices telling him to get out when no one else was in sight. It was actually the beluga whale. That is spooky. Where is my 48 hour horror game about this? I need it, please and thank you. Bakachero, what's your opinions on dirt? I just love, love, love what you can find in there. Like worms? Even people, if you dig down far enough. Oh, so you like metal? <laughs> Name three blacksmiths. Will, Jaden, and Willow. This post has two puns. I can't handle this! I want to be a Bart Ender. Men named Bart, look out. I love working out of Joe and Fabrics. Today, a guy asked me to show him the fake fur, and when I did, he goes, No, this won't do. And part of my job is giving advice for projects, so I asked him, What was he using it for? And he looks down at the floor and quietly says, I want to make a Yeti costume to scare people with when we go skiing. Aha, we found the Scooby-Doo villain. This unused memory pick in Breath of the Wild is killing me. I have so many questions. Who took this pick? Why is Link doing the jutsu pose? Why is Zelda like, Oh shit, what you gonna do? Link is gonna jutsu you all, <laughs> look out! Where do you even find this memory? It's unused because Link is repressing this memory. Wrap a rubber band around your door lock tonight. If you aren't doing this already, you should start. <laughs> and let the boogeyman get me? No, 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 no way. I know you're behind this boogeyman. You want my wallet? Go get it! Fun game. Refer to America as South Canada and watch as Americans lose their shit. Ugh. Probably because it's the United States of America and not South Canada. That doesn't even sound right. <laughs> Look, it's working. It's a cute little thing, though. Sometimes it's hard to remember that owls are incredibly dangerous predators seen by cultures throughout the world as ill omens, especially when they look like toasted marshmallows. My boss once described his flying pillows filled with seething hatred. I could see it, but I still want to smooch his head. Look at it. Van Gogh ate yellow paint because he was suicidal, Karen. If Van Gogh had antidepressants, we wouldn't have his artwork. We'd have a lot more of his work, Karen. Who the fuck cares about what we get from him? He deserved to be well, Karen. Cut his ear off for a woman because he lo- Because he was mentally ill, Karen! I'm at a McDonald's and this little kid just took off his shoes and dumped all of his fries into it. My dude put the shoe back on with the fries in it! Homie's walking out of the establishment with fry feet, my dude! Ah, that's old Salty Shoes Sam. Comes in here all the time. Robot lobster. Why though? He's a robster. I love it when people try to claim representation in fiction is being taken too far to the point where it's not believable. They're like, ugh, what's next? A mixed race immigrant on the autism spectrum? Hi, my name is Rachel, also known as Rashna. I'm a mixed race immigrant on the autism spectrum. What's next? A transgender Latino man with chronic pain? What, you mean my former colleague Marco? What's next? A black Jewish lesbian? Bitch, I know three black Jewish lesbians! What's your fucking point? Is now a bad time to mention I actually don't hate this site? I mean, I hate the owners, hate the staff, hate the incompetence, whoever's in charge here. But I love the site. I love the format, I love my mutuals, I love my followers, and all the amazing content creators here. I don't know what I'll replace this with, if anything. January, February, quarantine, December. It's fucking December? What? Wait, no! You tricked me for a second, which really speaks for how much meaty time is lost. Oh shit, I scheduled this for December! What do you mean it's December?! Oh my god, what the fuck? You ever just stand up too fast and all you feel is just head, pound, heart, ow, eyes bad, oh god, I'm going to die! And then after 15 seconds, you're okay again? Because same. My idea. T-shirt that says well-intentioned on the front, and but stupid on the back. God lives in a jar. How does it feel, God? How does it feel?! Multiplayer video games are bad for health, heart, and emotional well-being. Cut them out of your diet. Did you lose again? No. Maybe. Psst. Hey. Are you an artist or a writer with work in progresses? Come here. I got a secret for you. Psst. Come here. Waiting in deep suspense. Psst. You ready? Here comes a secret. Here it comes. I'm also very curious about this secret. Your time spent enjoying the creative process is infinitely more valuable than any final product you create. 
So stop putting yourself down for never finishing or posting those work in progresses because every moment you spent creating something you loved is a moment not wasted. Your progress and talent is measured by your passion, not your number of posts. Aw oh man, I wanted to map to an ancient city of treasure. The most painful social interactions are when you miscalculate someone's meme literacy and reference something and the person or group doesn't get it and you have to half-heartedly explain it, knowing full well it's 0% funny if people don't have the full convoluted context of the joke and you feel the flames of hell start to lick at your feet and all they give you is a pity laugh. Damn. People talk a lot about figuring out the shower in someone else's house. But every microwave I've ever used other than mine has made me feel like a Neanderthal being thawed from ice, shown a car for the first time, and immediately asked to change the oil. Me text back three years later. <laughs> Not much, what about you? The worst part about studying languages is knowing that you'll never be nearly as good at it as a literal baby. Thanks, I hate it. What do you mean I never reached out to you? I literally manifest you in fake scenarios I create in my head each night before I fall asleep. I made stew, it was awesome. I love potatoes. No, oh, I love you too. Wait, what was in the stew? Pick one. Edge piece or centerpiece? Neither, nah, because brownies are fucking nasty and so are the bitches who eat them. I'm sorry that nobody in your family can bake. My mom's a private chef and I'm in culinary training. Don't roast us like this. I'm sorry that your mom went to culinary school and still can't bake. Oh, shit! I googled, why do cats run around and meow at night? And one of the results listed this as a cause. A simple zest for life. It's true. Excuse me, Piff, could you get your zesting on at a more reasonable hour, though? Zest has no curfew. I require speed! What if people made humanizations of colleges and started shipping them? Uh, the AO3 tag you're looking for is Academia Anthropomorphic. It's very suspicious that you know that. If the multiverse theory is true, then there's a universe where it isn't. Multiverse theory doesn't cover paradoxical situations. Except in the universe where it does. I'm having an aneurysm! I like my coffee how I like my coffee. I like my coffee. Serial killer smiley face. Physically, I'm here. Mentally, I'm walking at a snail's pace through the mountains of Skyrim, occasionally screaming in dragon tongue because I am carrying valuable bones that weigh 15 kilos each, and my horse ran off, sprinting into the direction of a wolf who looked at me funny in the next town over. Skyrim's great, you guys. Stormcloaks. The Empire is bad, and that's why we worship that guy that, um, founded the Empire. If our ancestors saw how we lived, for the most part, they'd probably think we're royalty. And I'd like to think that'd make them happy. Man, you right. Anyone else here a fool, a hooligan, an oaf with a PhD in buffoonery? What are we all but foolish mortals? It's just fucked up that we bred pigeons to be our companions and then we no longer had use of them. We just abandoned them and now we treat them like menaces and pests and people want them dead. They're our friends. Okay, I was drunk, but I was right. One minute of a Ghibli movie is greater than anything by Tarantino. I am not kidding when I say this single shot is better than anything your favorite director has ever made. Except if it's Hayao Miyazaki, then it's just Hayao Miyazaki being greater than Hayao Miyazaki, which is just, I don't even know where to begin on that one. Weather boy. Derogatory. OP, what does this mean? Wouldn't you like to know? Weather boy. I don't know what it means, but I feel offended by it already. This isn't my first rodeo, but it is the first time I've ridden a horse. <laughs> what the hell, bro? You're dungeoning my dragons? You're quick failing my D20? You're destroying my lich's palacatrine and insight checking my NPCs? It's not fine. Grow the fuck up. It deeply pains me to know that there are some fanfics out there. Some golden fanfics that deserve to be seen and appreciated and that I will never get a chance to read because they're buried amongst thousands of other golden fanfics and there's simply not enough time to read all of them because of this stupid mortal countdown. Jesus, man. You know what? I'm not a simple person with simple tastes. I'm exceedingly complicated and my tastes are extremely convoluted. Never mind, I was just thirsty. Why won't Body tell me that it needs water in a direct way? Oh, you were parched. I thought you were horny. I'm asexual and I crave moisture. I'm getting I'm asexual and I crave moisture printed on a t-shirt. Now. Anonymous asked, Dilves immediately made me think of Dilf Elves. I don't think Dilve Elves can exist. I don't think it's possible, but I'm open to being proved wrong. Wait, 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 I got one. I got one. Bear with me. Santa. 
This is a lot to unpack at once, conveniently compressed into a single word response, like a live grenade thrown gently from off stage. Elliot Page, formerly known as. It's called Dead Name because if you say it, you die. Yes. Isn't it suspicious that the sexiest man alive is always already a celebrity? I feel like they're really not plumbing the depths in their research. Like, imagine if you got the sexiest man alive edition of People and your orthodontist was on the front cover and you were like, oh, whew, I guess I'm not the only one who sees it. <laughs> okay, Google, red toad, actual toad, like real life toad. Images for red toad, actual toads, like real life. That one's not even red. My pet peeve, people who yelled at you and made you angry, but try to joke with you a few minutes later because they can't stand the atmosphere they created. I'm sorry, did you mean parents? If everybody will behave with intelligence, the pneumonia rate will soon recede. There is much virtue in your if. The Philadelphia Inquirer, Pennsylvania, December 7th, 1922. Me reading this in 2020, almost 98 years after this was published. <laughs> yep. You know what? I'm taking away the language until you all learn how to act. <clears throat> Bunga, unga, bunga, bunga. Power Bible. <laughs> that moment when you say you're bored and someone starts listing off chores and homework to do. Like, why the hell do you think I'm capable of doing something productive when I'm bored out of my damn mind? People who were born prematurely can never say the phrase, I was born ready. Um, <laughs> excuse you. I was so ready, I demanded to be born. Perhaps the thing that was the most pog champ was the friendship we made along the way. Are you gonna make a pog champ meme with Sienna? I did that before PogChamp was even a meme. Characters with no flaws are boring, that's just a fact. Bye. Uh, fuck, never mind, I take it back! Everyone on this post trying to point out flaws that Kirby has should be absolutely and completely ashamed of themselves! There is a Kirby flaw. He isn't real, therefore I can't hug him. Vinyl is probably the best medium because the material is relatively soft, so it's easier to eat. Cassettes are a pain in the ass because you can't eat the shell. You have to wide out all the music yourself to eat it. I hate cassettes. I'm sorry, what? Being trans level 2 involves having a gender you reserve specifically for cis people, then breaking out the good actual gender around other trans people like it's fine china. By night, I am Socrates. But by day, I am Karen. A friend of mine wanted to play as a rude character in D&D, and he told me that I am the rudest person he knows, and wanted me to teach him how to act rude. And yes, I taught him how to act rude, I'm not an asshole. Mothers and fuckers of the jury, I am the one radical dude, and I am here to prove the defendant is not bodacious. Prosecutor, I'ma have to ask you to take a chill pill, dude. Guys, this is a murder trial. Whoa, jury number three, I'm gonna have to ask you to chillax. Can you please chillax, murder is not bodacious. This guy literally murdered the victim in cold blood. And that, my dude, is in violation of Radical Saturday. And why are you telling me to chillax? Your radical honor, can we have jury dude number three leave the call for being too rowdy? Totally, dude. Thank you, my bodacious honor dude. Your radical honor, I only did it for the vine, I swear. That may lower your charges slightly, but you did break bodacious Saturday. Yana, what do you think? The defendant does say he only did it for the vine, and that's pretty rad. However, he did break Radical Saturday, and that's just an absolute no in my book, dude. I find the defendant guilty for breaking Radical Saturday, but totally innocent for the not as radical murder. Thank you, my radical honor, dude. You're absolutely welcome, my prosecutor, dude. Keep being rad. What just happened? Yeah, but could a spy do this? Ugh, fine. I guess you are my little pop jab. Come here. You cannot hold me accountable for accidentally making a Homestuck reference when I've never read Homestuck. If you've recognized it, that's your problem, and it's your sin. Hey, let's meet tonight. I'm from User City. Wanna meet? Hell yeah! I've never met any hot chicks in User City. It's a total backwater. Take me down to the User City where the grass is color and the girls are user preference. Bigfoot, but fully shaved. Do you mean Mr. Clean? Posts like this are why I have anxiety. You guys ever wonder why the students at Hogwarts are afraid of Shrieking Shack because it's haunted when they literally go to a school with ghosts? Wait, what? 9 a.m. at school, math class. It's chill, you're calm, easy day. Then the teacher says, pull out your last night's homework. Dark Souls music ensues. I found an end just chilling on my boobs after going outside to walk my dogs. Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, you're a fan of my writing. Name five of the unfinished stories sitting in my drafts. Ah, 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 you're just trying to outsource title generation. Oh, fuck, I've been found out. 
The Amber Bear Amulet of Neolithic Hunter. 3,500 years old. I will never not reblog the 3,500 year old gummy bear. Ever wonder what happened to the dinosaurs? This is a baby blue heron. This baby blue heron killed the dinosaurs. The idea of being married is so weird. Like, what if I'm having a sad moment late at night and I want to cry in bed and then there's just some guy here? No, I, I, I don't want to do in that situation. Dad bought Spider-Man can't drive. Yeah, well, maybe he can, but he's just a miserable parallel parker. God fucking damn it! You can now buy a beanbag onesie so you can stay seated wherever you go. Now you too can be dummy thick. Man, they just let anyone be a Pixar mom these days, huh? The best trope in the world is when a character realizes that they're in love with another character, and instead of being bashful or cute about it, their internal monologue is just, No. God. Fuck. Why? Cookie in a milk cup. I don't understand this picture at all. Egg. Oh. Now behold milk in a cookie cup. Oh, it's a backwards egg. Are you trying to tell me the center of an egg is a cookie? I mean, it makes cookies, so... Yes. So did anyone else's brain just stop processing information lately, or is it just me? I've been nodding along to things and just hoping that nobody asks any questions. Same. I'd be a terrible superhero. I'd be at home and see the signal calling me in the sky and be like, I literally just sat down. I'm sorry, did you mean... Clint Barton? Stout, you disrespect Hawkeye in this house! How dare- What if vampires aren't affected by the sun? They just heard all the stories and decided to not push their luck. What if you can eat asbestos and construction companies have been hoarding their delicious, delicious asbestos for years? You, you get it. 16 years of difference. Peter Parker will never escape New York City Transit. Hey, that place was in Madagascar! Me at myself. You know, you're annoying to be honest. Very good trope. Civilian is told, stay in the car. While hero goes to confront the villain, Hero gets in over his head and all seems disaster. Civilian crashes car to villain. Me watching. Ha 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 ha, but they stand in the car. Yes, this is very good. Honestly, my new favorite phenomenon is the haiku bot coming in at the end of super serious posts. It's like watching a supervillain come to a crushing defeat and then getting run over by a Roomba. Ugh. The haiku bot does not detect actual haiku. The artistry of haiku is that every line contains a thought or an image that can be separated and still understood with the poem as a whole coming together to form a bigger idea or image. The haiku bot just detects sentences of five, seven, five syllables and calls it a day. It's an insult to the art form. Reading an actual haiku can be a spiritual experience. You sound like a damn elitist bastard from the school of snobbery. Beep boop! You sound like a damn elitist bastard from the school of robbery. Haiku bot 8. I detect haikus with the 575 format. Sometimes I make mistakes. Support me on PayPal at haikubot at gmail.com. Guys, donate to them. Man, this is weird, but imagine like being an ancient doctor who believes in humors, etc. and surgery doesn't exist. But you perform the first legit autopsy to learn about anatomy and you're like, What the fuck? There's like objects in here and shit. What the fuck? There's like objects in here and shit. Andreas Vasias, 1543. I like to keep my metabolism on her toes. Like, what's it gonna be today, hun? Complete starvation or 3,000 calories? I know as much as you, bitch. Literally me, I'm crying. I love Mando's vibes. Imagine some guy rolling up to your shop in a beat up Honda Civic. He steps out wearing an Armani suit. He opens his wallet and offers you $2 to fix his car. You tell him it isn't enough, but you'll fix it if he does the most dangerous thing you could think of. He brings his toddler to do the job. Damn. So how are y'all coping with the Tumblr Facebook merger? God, we really are in hell, aren't we? Please, I got so scared. You very much live up to your URL. Literally felt my heart rate go up. Good to see this account is doing its job. <gasps> Guys, PewDiePie deleted his YouTube channel! You know, the discontent I spread is incomparable to the horrific deception you force into this world. I'm having a salad for dinner. Well, fruit salad. Actually, it's mostly grapes. Okay, it's all grapes. Fermented grapes. It's wine. I'm having wine for dinner. Hey, is everything okay? You haven't commented barking sounds under a picture of your favorite male character, and I'm starting to get worried. Don't call me out like this. You know what truly disgusts me? Being able to feel my own heartbeat. It's bad. I don't need to actively know what's going on in there. Don't need to feel that. It's not even my business. Stop it. Never underestimate how little I know about everything ever. 
two plus two is... Fuck off, read the first part! No thoughts, head empty, only goth chinchilla. It's adorable and I want 20. So why are you British? Was cursed by a malevolent warlock at birth. Is that any way to speak to your parents? Both of you to assume I was born of mortal means. Culinary students be like, I got spaghetti due at 1150. Culinary students about to cheat. I sure hope no one checks under my hat. Listen, listen. As a former culinary major, you right though? If you wouldn't go to someone for advice, don't take their criticism either. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, LP woke up and chose logic today and I don't know how to feel about that. My husband has informed me that around 2 to 3 a.m. he woke up to a muffled screaming and discovered that the cat has pulled open the Tupperware drawer and crawled inside. But her weight had closed the drawer and she was stuck inside and needed rescuing. Permission to laugh? I mean, I definitely laughed. How does a cat open a cupboard drawer? With a little criminal pause. Can we see the little criminal? This cat is a delinquent. Hey, her only crime is being more beautiful than everyone else. False, she also knocks over trash cans. <sighs> the evil baby. Tumblr is like wading through everyone else's garbage until you find something good and go, Ah, this is good, and take it and display it in your own pile of garbage. Oh, the goblin market. I love when you listen to a new song and you're like three seconds in and you're already like, Yes, this pleases me, it is mine, my song, all about me. Oh, yes, a fire truck, or as my little cousin likes to call it, a fuck. I hate when I go out in public and the public is there. Well, now it seems the public is no longer in the public. Knife one. But at what cost? Must the corpse of everything I once held near be dug up again and reanimated into a monstrosity that barely resembles what I once loved? Must the sweet memories from my youth be snatched from within my very skull and paraded around the town square for all to see? Must we continue to play God with our old and tortured creations who beg to be put to rest? This is about the iCarly reboot, by the way. I'm sorry, what? Hey, stop calling me a weeb. I can't even afford a lifestyle. Once, my brother's friend walked into his room and just started sniffing the air and went, oh, I smell a quarter. And then walked over to a pile of clothes and moved it and picked up a quarter. And I literally cannot stop thinking about it. It's been like a year and it haunts me to this day. I'm pretty sure he's a crow reincarnated. Why must snow turn into an eternal flashbang on sunny days? Um, excuse me, Mother Nature. Um, yeah, I kind of like my eyes, so can you fucking not? Okay, not to be a theater nerd too much, but tech crews, including people who do lights, sound, costume sets, and work backstage on shows, deserve far more recognition for their hard work. You're right, though. And finally, Spider-Man. Oh, dear God! I never give up. I never go back on my word. That's my ninja way. My dream is to become the greatest Okage. That way, the whole village will stop disrespecting me and treat me like I'm somebody. Somebody farting. My name is Naruto Uzumaki, and I'm gonna defeat every single one of you. Believe it. Hello. It's I, A.M. Seymour, except I am good this video. Don't question it. Anyway. PM by dumb luck was infected with the big thing YouTube won't let you say and cannot scram. So, he has gathered a bunch of voice acting buddies to take over his job for today, and I hope you all enjoy. Merry Crimbo. Serotonin. In this economy. This is it. We found the ultimate specimen in millennial humor. We did it, everyone. We did it. I have an overactive imagination, so that translates into fears of a lot of things. One of those things happens to be the dark. However, I am extremely fond of cryptids. SCPs, ghosts, and, and any other weird creatures. Basically, if it looks cool, I love it. So I accidentally removed my fear of what's watching me in the dark, you see, by thinking, oh, don't worry, they're just a friend. 
You come into my chilies, barbecue sauce on your titties, and disrespect my Valentina white bag? Ah, fuck, I can't believe you've done this. You're disrespecting a future US Army soldier. I think I know more about American girl dolls than you. I've got the power of God and anime on my side. Evening, Grom. <laughs> no, nope, not giving anyone the satisfaction. Today I learned that in 1508, Autant France pressed charges on rats for destroying barley crops. The lawyer representing the rats argued that the court's summons wasn't specific enough to his clients, and that Autant's cat population made it unsafe for his clients to come to court. The rats were acquitted. I want to meet the guy who offered to represent the rats. Business card says rat lawyer. Today I learned on the set of The Princess Bride, Andre the Giant once let out a 16-second fart and brought production to a standstill. Nobody said anything except director Rob Reiner, who said, uh, Are you okay, Andre? To which Andre replied, Who you know, boss? Legends only. Him crying the lack of a comma meant that for a full minute I interpreted this as him declaring himself the new boss. I can't take it anymore. God made a baby lynx without any regards for proportions, and I can't stop thinking about that. Look at this. His feet too big for his goddamn he! How dull for you to live your life without any hills to die on. You on your vast flat barren plains of compromise, acceptance and accommodation. While I reign supreme over the lush, rolling highlands of stupid shit I have irrationally chosen to stake my entire identity on. As someone who was terrified of having their own opinion, this is truly inspiring. <laughs> the hills are alive with all the fucks I give on select topics. You know what? I don't care anymore! I enjoy things, and I am going to enjoy things, and I don't care if other people don't enjoy things that I do! I do not have to defend myself about every single thing I have ever liked! I do not have to preface every opinion with I know it's garbage for it to be valid! I like things! And I like liking things! And I don't care what other people think! And now that I've gotten that off my chest, let me read the Tumblr post for you, Pat. You ever have just one of those times where you and your friend just want to try something for a photo? Just for fun, not really expecting anything, and then... Like, we'll never be able to repeat this. You look like angelic ethereal beings from a gay musical set in the turn of the century American South nominated for like five Oscars. Well done! That's exactly what I told him to go for right before we jumped. I'm so happy we achieved this. Me in history class. Wow, humanity has been through some fascinating times. I wonder if I'll ever live through major historical events. Me, uh, no. No, 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 no. I want to get off this ride. It was supposed to be space travel. 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 It's just silence but it keeps getting faster. <sighs> this is stressing me out! Children, this is dirt. <laughs> A geology field trip. My ancestors, watching me dump an entire stick of cinnamon, two cloves, an allspice berry, and a generous grating of nutmeg into my tea, sweetened with white sugar and loaded with cream. While I sit in my clean warm house surrounded by books, 25 plus outfits for different occasions, and six pairs of shoes. In a building heated so well, I have the windows open in mid-autumn. Our daughter prospers. We are proud of her. She has never labored in a field, but knows riches we could not have imagined. I like this so much better than the idea that our ancestors would be embarrassed or ashamed of us for being soft or some crap like that. Gatorade and weed can cure literally anything. 
The government doesn't want you to know this. The reason it took so long for them to develop a COVID vaccine is that they were too busy covering up the fact that Gatorade and weed can cure coronavirus. Me, when the electrolytes hit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I began typing on an old typewriter. A werewolf is steering a submarine. But then I stop. I crunch up the paper and throw it into the fire. The world isn't ready yet for Captain Harry McHowells, the submarine pilot who is secretly a werewolf hiding from the moon. Yes, it is. Okay. Is anyone else, like, exhausted? Just way too tired, mentally and physically. And you look at other people your age who seem to be doing fine and you feel so dysfunctional and broken because normal adult tasks and responsibilities just feel way too overwhelming and you can't cope and... Sorry, I got a bit overwhelmed there. Sometimes when I'm struggling with self-care, I remind myself that I am, at my most basic, a hamster in an enclosure. I need food and water and a safe environment. I need enrichment and the right level of stimuli. I get exhausted if exposed to too much stress and handling. I am a being with needs, and I deserve to have those needs met by a responsible and loving caregiver. I just happen to also be that caregiver. When I think about it like that, it's easier somehow. Also, I am round and furry, and my teeth grow at a spectacular rate. So, I had a nightmare last night, and that I told Kermit the Frog that I found him very funny, and he got terribly offended, and he started going on a rant, and it ended with him telling me he was going to set his house on fire and make me eat the ashes. Don't know why that was the way he went with it, but... Who am I to question a showbiz legend? Dear Committee Frog here, I'm gonna make you eat the ashes of your children. Ha! <laughs> ha! I'm back! Still, you're making progress if you can realize how dumb you were yesterday. Decatur Herald, Illinois, May 18th, 1934. Man. Well, well, thank you, old guy. I may be a shambling, socially awkward, anxious mess with no time management or conversation skills. This woman will put bees in your office. Ha! <laughs> Joke's on her. I'm starting an apiary. Good night to sexy evil people only. Everyone adding character this is wrong except whoever added doofenshmirtz. You. You have taste. Therapist. Tell me about some of your happy childhood memories. My... my what? You know what? This year sucked so much in so many ways. It was painful, unfair, cruel, and difficult, to say the least. The new year won't magically erase all the problems and issues we faced in 2020, but I genuinely hope you and your loved ones are able to catch a break. I hope 2021, in whatever way it's possible, is kinder to you. I hope healing comes fast, and I hope all the heaviness put upon you starts to lessen. Seriously, anyone who thinks that January 1st is going to magically fix everything that happened this year? Naive as frick! New Year's is a time to reflect on all the dogs and cats we've seen this year, and to look forward to all the dogs and cats we'll see in this year to come. Now that's more like it. Being on Tumblr is just so cozy, you know what I mean? Instagram and Twitter are all flashy and loud, but Tumblr is as cozy as my bedroom with scented candles on a cold November night. I don't know what part of Tumblr this person's on, but I want to find it. Uh, bro, what's with the diagonal red lines in your face? Wait a minute. Oh shit, are you anime blushing because you're in love with me, bro? I it's okay, dude. You, you can tell me, bro. We're pros. I don't want to socialize today. I did that yesterday. I'd rather lock myself in my room and build Legos all day. I know that feeling. The opposite of formaldehyde is casual the Jekyll. Bruh. <laughs> I can't believe I read this post with my own fucking eyes. Item, Cadbury crab eggs. Appear to be standard confectionery, but when eaten, a live and angry blue crab emerges, presumably attacking the eater. This is just part of Maryland culture. I know this is dumb, but I think that Australia exists. Like, the ocean is largely unexplored there. There could very well be a fallen empire, and we haven't found it yet! I mean, Atlantis, you asshole! What if vampires aren't affected by the sun? They just heard all the stories and decided to not push their luck. What if you can eat asbestos and construction companies have been hoarding their delicious, delicious asbestos for years? You. You get it. Sixteen years of difference. Peter Parker will never escape New York City Transit. Hey, that place was in Madagascar! Me at myself. You know, you're annoying to be honest. 
Very good trope. Civilian is told, stay in the car. While Hero goes to confront the villain, Hero gets in over his head and all seems disaster. Civilian crashes car to villain. Me watching. Ha 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 ha, but they stand in the car. Yes, this is very good. Honestly, my new favorite phenomenon is the haiku bot coming in at the end of Super Serious Posts. It's like watching a supervillain come to a crushing defeat and then getting run over by a Roomba. Ugh. The haiku bot does not detect actual haiku. The artistry of haiku is that every line contains a thought or an image that can be separated and still understood with the poem as a whole coming together to form a bigger idea or image. The haiku bot just detects sentences of five, seven, five syllables and calls it a day. It's an insult to the art form. Reading an actual haiku can be a spiritual experience. You sound like a damn elitist bastard from the school of snobbery. Beep boop! You sound like a damn elitist bastard from the school of robbery. Haiku bot 8. I detect haikus with the 575 format. Sometimes I make mistakes. Support me on PayPal at haikubot at gmail.com. Guys, donate to them. Man, this is weird, but imagine like being an ancient doctor who believes in humors, etc. and surgery doesn't exist. But you perform the first legit autopsy to learn about anatomy and you're like, What the fuck? There's like objects in here and shit. What the fuck? There's like objects in here and shit. Andreas Vasias, 1543. I like to keep my metabolism on her toes. Like, what's it gonna be today, hun? Complete starvation or 3,000 calories? I know as much as you, bitch. Literally me, I'm crying. I love Mando's vibes. Imagine some guy rolling up to your shop in a beat up Honda Civic. He steps out wearing an Armani suit. He opens his wallet and offers you $2 to fix his car. You tell him it isn't enough, but you'll fix it if he does the most dangerous thing you could think of. He brings his toddler to do the job. Damn. So how are y'all coping with the Tumblr Facebook merger? God, we really are in hell, aren't we? Please, I got so scared. You very much live up to your URL. Literally felt my heart rate go up. Good to see this account is doing its job. <gasps> Guys, PewDiePie deleted his YouTube channel! You know, the discontent I spread is incomparable to the horrific deception you force into this world. I'm having a salad for dinner. Well, fruit salad. Actually, it's mostly grapes. Okay, it's all grapes. Fermented grapes. It's wine. I'm having wine for dinner. Hey, is everything okay? You haven't commented barking sounds under a picture of your favorite male character, and I'm starting to get worried. Don't call me out like this. You know what truly disgusts me? Being able to feel my own heartbeat. It's bad. I don't need to actively know what's going on in there. Don't need to feel that. It's not even my business. Stop it. Never underestimate how little I know about everything ever. Two plus two is... FUCK OFF! READ THE FIRST PART! Pizza place in my university offers a stoner pie complete with pepperoni, bacon, extra cheese, mozzarella sticks, and french fries. God, that sounds so awful. Give me like five! Ooh, ooh, gyo. You had a missed opportunity to say ooh, ooh, gyo -o. You stop that! It's time to do 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 Boo woo eyes, why do I go on? Well, you will activate my trap card. Stop! If you can't handle me at my worst, just remember that I handle me at my worst. And that makes me stronger than you. Oh my goodness, this makes me feel powerful. I haven't even thought of it like this. Ugh, my child is fine. Your child is still running their Tumblr blog from middle school. They're not fine. Hey, how many swords do you have? Sort of a lot. Blocked. Haha, <laughs> parried! Today I learned that sea monsters on old maps meant dangerous waters. And what do dangerous waters have? Sea monsters. Stay out of the ocean. Today I learned that Doom 3 is so, 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 so scary. I cannot play it because the little evil demons attack me and cause so much mental distress. Same. Hey, change your last name. You ain't even gay, Neil Gaiman. I'll get right on that. This is the funniest post on this site you don't understand. Everyone go home. Nothing is ever going to be funnier than actual Neil Gaiman on Tumblr.com answering this ask. Time bending monster storm sends air swirling between 2020 and 2021. Glad to see the Weather Network started drinking early tonight. They mean the storm crosses the international dateline and not like we're actually about to be swallowed by a temporal anomaly that will perpetually trap us all in eternal 2020. Just in case you thought the latter seemed in character for the year. <laughs> it kind of feels like it did though. A-B-A-B. A -B. Assigned born at birth. Assigned baby at birth. All babies are bastards. So for 2021, can we mix modern slang with Shakespearean dialogue? I'm all for it, but could you please give me an example? All that is gold does not slap. A rose by any other name 
would smell as Pacos. You'll never be bioluminescent! Okay, this one hurt. Look, the only live-action Disney remake I want is The Emperor's New Groove, and I want there to be no CGI. I want Cusco to be played by two actors in a cheap llama costume. Did you mean SCP-1545? Can we also still have Patrick Warburton as Kronk? Can we do that, please? Don't forget, public execution prom night! I'm bringing salsa! This is probably really specific, but like... Does anyone else ever get, like, unbearably embarrassed about searching for content for something they're really invested in and intentionally makes things harder for yourself by trying to find it without actually searching or asking for it directly so you don't have to acknowledge to yourself that you want to see it, or is it just me? Yeah. When I was younger, I didn't understand why May You Live in Interesting Times was considered a curse in ancient Greece. I get it now. Southerner. I'm cold. Northerner. You think this is cold? Because relative to your usual experience, it is! Let me make you hot chocolate. Ah, the warm northerner. Northerner. Man, it's hot. Southerner. Boy, howdy, if you think this is hot, then you should probably go get some water. Wouldn't want you to dehydrate or get heat stroke. No siree. Here, I got one. Drink up, partner. Oh, uh, wholesome regional differences. Did Edward ever stop to think that maybe he couldn't hear Bella's thoughts because she didn't have any? Damn, Twitter was fucking brutal today. I'm just imagining Edward trying to read Bella's thoughts and hearing the dial-up noise. Bella, can you hear me? <coughs> you are the background character in this psych ward, and I'm the main character who your love interest secretly desires. We are not the same. Pa. Lucy from Peanuts vs. Goku. On one hand, Goku could obliterate any child. On the other, he would absolutely fall for the football thing. Yeah. Well, why do you want to be a comedian? The free stool with a glass of water on it. If I'm ever going to have a kid, I'm gonna make a gender reveal party where there is a covered screen, and after uncovering it, it says, why do you care about baby's genitals? And then have a normal party after that. Good stuff. Help, my eyelids are burning! What did you do? Nothing! They've seen too much! You've had enough. Prolong eye contact. Prolong eye contact. Why in Deathly Hallows did they have everyone polyjuice themselves into Harry when Harry could have just polyjuiced into a muggle and have been driven to safety away from the threat of Death Eaters who don't know how to work things in the muggle world? Who came up with these plans anyway? Dumbledore. Making my way downtown slowly. Uh, my medieval servant boy has gone missing. I'll just use Google to see if I can find him. The page cannot be found. Oh, bother. I am deleting this fucking website! I love North America, but Europe is my favorite condiment. The history, the culture, the Australian accent, I love it. What? Reblog if Europe's your favorite consonant! Also, consonants are letters. Did you know Europe is the only constipate besides the Atlantic Ocean? <laughs> Fucking goddamn. I'm making it worse. Did you know Europe is the only constipate beside the Atlantis Ocean? Follow for more geometry. I am in pain. Well, I love that country, but I can't speak Spanish. Stop! How the fuck do people just stay motivated for their entire lives? Like, what drives you? I got out of bed once and I've been exhausted ever since. You need to learn to hate life to the point where you want to get revenge on existence itself. That's the best advice ever. Me. I'm emotional. Also me. Blocks myself. That's it! I've had it! Replace the makeup industry with wearing medieval capes! Do it now! Oh, this gives me odd ideas. I'm sure someone has already said this, but I often see Tumblr described as a hell site. This is fundamentally incorrect. Tumblr is the Fae site. Everybody is super confused and lost. You keep running into random places. Somehow you end up stuck there forever after interacting a couple of times. The people are all strange. Everybody simultaneously seems to be from the future and the past as if time is meaningless. Well, shit. Hey, look how Dr. Doofenshmirtz had a fucked up childhood but didn't project his trauma onto his daughter. He's projecting it onto a platypus. Okay, but seriously, the platypus is clearly assigned to help him work through his issues. Perry actively lets Doof talk about instances that left him hurt and scared, and then he gets defeated, thus allowing that issue to come to a close. Routine addressing, and he never tries anything about that issue again. Shake my head, Perry is clearly an active form of therapy. So one might say he is... No! <laughs>
Ah, Perry the Emotional Support Platypus. Actually, you know what? Fuck this. Fuck you. Unhammer's your war. Oh, please. You can't just... I'm the Emperor. What have you done? Don't touch me unless your skin is made from Gucci. Hey, which country has the most birds? Portuguese. Wait, that's a language. Portugal? Nice recovery. Don't you mean a nice recovery? Turkey, how did we miss Turkey? Sometimes having mental illness is like living paycheck to paycheck, but with your brain. Yeah. I just tried watermelon on pizza. Honestly, it was pretty good. That's him, officer. That's the guy right there. Take this shot before he gets away. Shout out to Spider-Man PS4 for having one of the best fake social media feeds. A more accurate portrayal on how this generation acts than the entirety of Life is Strange. I thought this was a real post for a minute. Waiter, how did you find your meal, sir? Me. Yeah, it was nice. That's not what I meant and you know it. Another waiter told me where you hit it. This... <laughs> this is cracking me up more than I think it should have. Snob, can you love me when I can't love myself? When? Now? Right now? Come here! Get your snob snuggles! Texas confession. I've never seen snow IRL. I just posted this and it snowed like two inches a week later for the first time in like 35 years. What the for? <gasps> Texas confession. I've never had a million dollars. Is it happy impeachment or merry impeachment? I don't want to offend anyone. Treason's greetings. Impeach Navidad. Prospero Anno when we yeet the cad. So I was playing Minecraft and trying to build a house and I'd forgotten that I had a Nicolas Cage texture pack and it started raining and I fucking screamed. What? Why is that a thing? I work at a bookstore and a few weeks ago a little black boy came in wearing a Spider-Man shirt. I asked him who his favorite Spider-Man was and he replied Peter Parker. I told him mine was Miles and he didn't know who Miles was. So I took him to see the cover of a book with Miles on it. I watched a look of confusion come over his face. He looked up at me and said, but he's black. And I said, yeah, Spider-Man's black in these comics. His eyes got big and he grabbed the comics from my hands before running off yelling, Mom, Mom, Spider-Man looks like me! Spider-Man looks like me! Oh, stop with your wholesome nonsense! I've been waiting for this year. For this year is the year of the ox. Hence the artist will illustrate the bovine femme and their creations wearing whole store gauntlets. It's Chinese New Year and people are drawing cowboys and girls. Nice. When I'm on a stream, will jaywalk and commit tax fraud? Hi, supporter! I'm thinking about immortality and how meticulously you have to keep track of all your shit. So some nosy historian didn't spot your old journal or code or copy of a book and call an infuriating time-based finder's keepers. It's 200 years old, they say. It's essentially public property, they say. It's a letter you sent to your friend and it's in a museum now and you're screaming! Let's abolish all clocks! The concept of time itself! Leave by sunlight, primal instincts, and internal clocks only! When's the next bus getting here? It's a surprise! That's no different from how buses already operate. Yes, I am eating a Subway sandwich for breakfast. <laughs> yes, ladies, calm down. <laughs> I can share if you'd like. The ladies are 300 rats that follow me around. They're all ladies? That seems statistically improbable. I'm a feminist. Oh, shit, that's what I opened YouTube for. Chickenless bone wing! This cat's face contains emotions that I cannot begin to describe, but at the same time, I have a deep understanding of. Holding in a deep sigh of vague anxiety and heartache, as well as tiredness on a cosmic level. Knowing then releasing it won't help. Stop! Don't care, I didn't ask. Plus, your pessimistic outlook on life is exhausting. We all die, love is pointless. It's never gonna get better. Yeah, okay, bitch, maybe. I don't care, though. I'm still gonna love with my entire heart and live every day like it's my last. Cool post, but I have depression. So do I, man. Not an excuse to bring other people down, so... Fuck you. <laughs> hey. Wanna see the stupidest thing that made me laugh today? Elvis! <laughs> <laughs> I am decayed. My lungs are full of thorns and mildew. My bones are held together by vines. I am fragile. Be gentle with my corpse. Get out of bed. You're going to school whether you like it or not. I refuse! Either I never get to the scene that I'm desperate to write, or I'm actually gonna get to the scene and can't write it because I've hyped it up and perfected it so hard in my mind that I'll never be able to capture it in the words. Yeah. Hey! Noseflash, Canadians! Hockey isn't your national sport. It's lacrosse. So shut the hell up about it being your sport. What's your national sport, America? War! <laughs> Sitting across <laughs> so I can't God. You know what's wild? Your body, like... 
you know, the one you're existing as, your mind prison, it's not a wholly independent entity. It's an ecosystem. You're a bog that's self-aware. Imagine if a swamp could telepathically communicate a desire for Chicago-style deep dish and then just have it. No wonder why my stomach hates me. The fish are confused as fuck. So I was trying to log into my old email account, and I couldn't remember the password, so my security question that I set up for myself two years ago pops up, and it is, why? Like, why a dick move? I don't know the fucking answer, why? Why would me? What are you trying to ask me, you little shit? So in a fit of rage, I type in, because fuck you, that's why! Ding! Password reset. It used to be that Super Mario games could clearly be divided into games in which Mario is a furry, and games in which Mario is not a furry. But then Super Mario Odyssey had to come along and muddy the waters. And now we gotta argue about whether possessing funny cartoon animals is the same as dressing up as one. I'm sorry, we gotta argue about it? Of course we do! How else are we gonna know whether the rule that the games where Mario is a furry are better than the games where Mario is not a furry continued soul true? I suspect you could go at this from a different angle. The fact that Mario Odyssey is good means that it is a Mario is a furry game. And thus possessing cartoon animals is functionally identical to dressing up as them. This is some crazy ass shit we're thinking about here. Okay, but do the Mario swing your arms from side to side lyric is talking about the floss. How many times are we going to have this conversation? As long as I live and breathe! No homo, why not? We're out of stock, we're expecting another shipment about a week. In the meantime, enjoy our other products such as bananas, pancakes, aromatics, ace case, and our gender line, trans pants, non-binary coat, and gender fluid drinks. Thank you for shopping at queer for you Y'all had absolutely no business making my shit post this fucking funny. I like villains who are just, like, evil for the attention. Villains who are like, I can't stop being evil whenever I want! I'm only holding the city ransom to get my own Wikipedia page! I'm sorry, did you mean? Eating chips with chopsticks is unironically galaxy brain. Your fingers don't get greasy and it lasts for longer. F fork? Oh yeah, I'm gonna stab my crunchy foods and make them fall apart like an absolute absent-minded dunce fool clown jester. Like a monstrous moron. An idiot of Shakespearean proportions. A Creighton! They probably also thought you meant like chips as in like British chips, which are fries, but okay. Hey, we should just start writing our text posts like YouTubers. What's up, gamers? I got a pretty awesome post for you today. I think you're gonna like it a lot, so let's get right to it, shall we? I wanna die. All right, that's all for today, guys. Please give me a like, leave a reblog, and don't forget to smash that follow button. I'll see you in the next post. Bye-bye! You know what? Fuck this. I'm Panics the Disco. And y'all don't test me. I will unchemical your romance, too. Yeah, well, fuck you, too. I don't give a fuck. I don't know. On else you're Sienna. <laughs> like that would. Uh... What did you do? Vaporwave sounds like what drowning in a mall fountain would feel like. That's exactly what it is. I've never felt more offended, but more in agreement with anything in my entire life. Welcome to Plastic Surgery Addicts Anonymous. I'm seeing a lot of new faces in the crowd this week, and I just have to say, I'm really disappointed. Do British people really eat beans on toast as a meal? In America, is everyone ignorant? It was just a question. Damn, no need to get hostile. Go eat some beans on toast. I am 41 Cheetos tall. Why did you think you need to measure yourself in Cheetos? We were out of Doritos. Y'all mentioned dice, laundry pods, bath bombs, but you're forgetting about the most chewy thing of all. DS styluses. Ah, oh, the forbidden pockies. What is happening? Enough pog champ this and epic gamer that stop it with this modern slang. I say we bring back phrases like the bee's knees and G's the wheeze and applesauce. Bring back the superior slang. Hi, right, boomer, calm down. Quite sure that kiwi is a fruit and not an accent? I thought it was a bird. Thought it was shoe polish. What the fuck are you two talking about? They call me Seven Knives, because that's how many knives it takes me to cook things because I keep putting them in the fucking sink without thinking about it. Nice to meet you. Does anyone actually know what they're doing, or are we all just hopelessly wandering? Because at this point, that's what it feels like for me. My sanity at this point is questionable, but hey, at least I can make a pretty good grilled cheese. I think if you wanted to eat white chocolate, you could just eat candle wax instead and not even notice the difference. <laughs> you're just mad I'm eating this delicious white chocolate, and you're not. My god. This isn't white chocolate! I like wearing oversized sweaters. Not because they're extremely comfy and cuddly, but because whenever the sleeves are really big, I get to flop them around and smack people. 
I love sleeve smacking people. Like, flippity flop, you need to stop. Whippity whip, don't talk crap. All right, that's it. Might get hate for this, but it needs to be said. Liking a conventionally pretty, especially anime-esque person with horns or pointy teeth slapped on him doesn't make you a monster fucker. That isn't a monster. It's a Halloween costume. Scales and tails with a not entirely human face are a bare minimum requirement for monster fucker bait. And your five dollar gotcha waifu isn't thick. Good addition, you're right, and you should say it. Sometimes I misgender myself, and it's so funny, because it's like, bro, what the hell? You're supposed to be on my side. The betrayal. Not to sound like a goth elitist, but if you haven't died, you're a poser. Well then, Jesus is goth. I don't make the rules. The original goth. So now I'm, I'm sorry, but picks you up and put you in a backpack. This is mine now. Help! I'm being moved! Me. I don't... I don't need this. My monkey brain. Steel sword! Steel sword! Steel sword! Steel sword! My new favorite pastime. Watching actor interviews and pretending that it's the characters pretending to be actors playing themselves. So when Tom Holland leaks stuff, it's Peter Parker slipping up? Have you seen him attempt to keep his secret? Of course it is! Gas stations are like land lighthouses. I... It's too early for this. Thinking about my 200 different embarrassing and completely self-indulgent daydream universes that I've actually taken time out of the day to create content for. And I've never shared with anyone because they're that embarrassing, but not being able to stop because they're one of the few things that bring me genuine joy. Yeah... Pucky. Why are you like this? Because Pokemon gave me satanic powers. Early 2000s parents were right. right. Writing prompt. You live in a world where pictures are always in color until the person photographed dies. While looking through your grandparents' closet, you find a picture dated back to 1826. The picture hasn't faded to black and white. You realize there's a turtle in the background and carry on with your day. <laughs> God damn it. I hate it when I time travel and when I come back and my soup is cold. You know, travel back in time so it's warm again. Idiot. This comet left by the cane, irresponsible time travel gain. Oh, you! You insolent little worm! You come into my blog and you dare to call me an idiot? You obviously do not understand the intricate magics behind time traveling, nor the complexity of soup thermodynamics. You are but an ignorant fool. Amazon introduces the soundproof home learning dome. Okay, but can we talk about the bucket with the toilet paper next to it? The math is also wrong. Well, I'd be doing the math wrong, too, if I was stuck in a bubble running out of oxygen. You get oxygen when you solve the equation! Wow, I can't believe you like villains. You know they killed people, right? Yeah, and it was funny and sexy. What's your point? I love myself, but I don't love me back. I have never related to anything so fucking hard. So January's almost over, huh? Fucking what's next? February? Give me a break! Guys, are Kingdom Hearts characters Disney canon or are Disney characters Kingdom Hearts canon? Like, seriously, the fuck's up with that? But more importantly, are Kingdom Hearts characters and Disney characters canon to Final Fantasy? Me. Okay, I will not make this drawing hyper-saturated this time. Increase the heat. Hi. Rated M for memes. The Walking Dead, Game of Thrones, and Breaking Bad were just super hulak for men. Game of Walking Bad. Good responses to getting stabbed with a sword. Rude? That's fair. Not again. Are, are you gonna want this back or can I keep it? Behind every girl boss is another bigger girl boss. They call this a pyramid scheme, I think. I think they prefer the term MLM. I think you're thinking of WLW? You're right, I'm sorry. Multi level marketing scheme. Ah, <sighs> good work, else. If we allow the communists to win, the game of golf will be lost forever! Promise? I contain multitudes, and they're all incredibly annoying. And sexy. And sexy. The first thing our new hire did was fix a bug that's been bugging him forever as a user prior to joining. He then breathed a sigh of relief and submitted his two weeks' notice. Well, easier than submitting a bug report. What is the code entomologist used for, I stepped on it, I'm so sorry, it was dark out, and the specimen was very small? Impromptu dissection was performed under less than optimal lighting conditions. Impromptu dissection is an alarming phrase in any context, and I thank you for it. What's biologist for? This little fucker bit me, and I yoed it into the undergrowth on reflex. Specimen was removed from the study pool due to abnormal interaction responses. Nice.
the impulse to just make weird noises for no reason is something I have to ignore, like, 24-7. I thought it was just me. Microwave. Mm. Me and my friends in perfect unison loudly. Mm. Draws a gay little clown that pisses you off. Excellent self-portrait, me lord. Ha! <laughs> Got it. Things we've learned in 2021. One, a single subreddit made of trolls can break the U.S. economy. And two, a single ship and a storm can break international trade. And it's only month three. I wonder what cool new anti-capitalist skills we'll unlock later. Almost had a coherent thought today. Whew, that was a close call. A son tells his father, I have an imaginary girlfriend. The father sighs and says, You know you could do better. Thanks, Dad, the son says. The father shakes his head and goes, I was talking to your girlfriend. <laughs> Got him twice. Okay, blueberries. They're blue, but mashed, they're purple. And when skinned, we see the insides are green. What the ever-living fuck, blueberries? And this should concern you. Look at the wheel. Mixing blue and green should not make purple. Fucking blueberries broke the color spectrum! Oh yeah, I'll watch insert mega popular easily access Netflix thing at some point. And then I didn't. What do you think Doofenshmirtz's reputation is among the background dancers he's always bringing in? Well, there's this eccentric pharmacist who lives in a penthouse and likes to put on musical theater for his pet duck. It's a weird gig, but he pays on time and he's very professional during rehearsal. Oh my god, innovative doorknob. Even doorknobs can be improved upon. If a door is locked, it should not be able to even try and open. No, you may not enter my room. And this doorknob says you're not even allowed to try. This is my answer to privacy now. <laughs> Homestuck family. <sighs> you literally have a Danganronpa icon. Ah, the Capulets versus the Montagues. Two houses, utterly devoid of dignity. Gender is a performance, and I'm badly reenacting a Monty Python skit. <laughs> yeah. Why did Dwayne the Rock Johnson's family get tested for COVID-19? <laughs> they couldn't smell what the Rock was cooking. <laughs> Most insane thing happened to me today. Well, what happened? Please respect my privacy. What are you, every Facebook fake post ever, Pucky? Prompt. You summon a demon, but it comes out wearing cat ears and one of those belt tails from Walmart, and it says, Ooh, I send the demon back to hell forcefully. Unless their sexuality is otherwise stated, here is the criteria characters must meet to be bisexual. One, I like them. And everyone tagging this with also trans. One, absolutely. Meanwhile, at Tumblr, be a functioning website. Be a functioning website. Just... <laughs> you can carbon date this post by its shade of blue. Today I learned it would take 260 billion balloons to lift the Pentagon. Goodbye forever, you five-sided piece of shit. Ferb, I know what we're gonna do today. Imagine, if you will, a person who cannot use abbreviations or shortened terms. Have you heard the latest Moving Picture Experts Group Audio Layer 3 by Panic at the Discotheque? Discotheque? Ah, someone didn't know disco was short for that, did they? How, how did you learn this information? I'm old and I know how to use Google. Seriously, guys. Google things. Okay, but notice sadness is in charge in the mother's mind, and anger leads in the father's mind. Perhaps her mother is prone to depression and her father has anger issues. Perhaps they too learned how to deal with their problems. Imagine using this cartoon to explain mental illnesses to children, teens, and even adults. Hi, I work at a mental health clinic and we have already started using this movie to help kids identify feelings and work on controlling them. We have action figures so that nonverbal kids can still show us what feelings they're having. This movie really is revolutionary for mental health services everywhere. This makes me so happy. I hate being neurodivergent sometimes because someone will be like, Hey, check out this piece of media! And I'm like, I would love to. Unfortunately, if I do, I will probably become hyperfixated on it and lose my current hyperfixation. And I don't want to do that because I love my current hyperfixation! Okay, Tumblr, you need to stop being a mood or I have to go see a specialist again. So glad we as a culture got over ironically liking Shrek as a meme and went back to liking Shrek as a good movie. Studies show that documentaries are now more popular than ever. I don't give a fuck. I'm watching Shrek. You better be having a good day, clown. You absolute moron. You better be taking care of yourself, fool. Absolute imbecile. Better know people that are here to support you. Better be eating at least two meals a day and getting a healthy amount of sleep, dumbass. You 
come into my inbox and tell me exactly what I needed to hear today? Hello, yes, I am indeed real. And you can get me at a local store near you, and by local, I mean makeshift. Do not mind that my mouth does not open in this form. I had to sacrifice it in order to be physically able to exist. I forgot the words. Anyway, enjoy the show. Bye. Remember, bird watching goes both ways. That's vaguely threatening. Thank you. I put on the cat ears. I put on the maid dress. I enter the Paris catacombs. I am the thing that chases you. <laughs> catacombs. So, are you finger guns bisexual or an awkward thumbs up bisexual? Everyone keeps saying both and I suddenly feel regretful I asked a bunch of bisexuals to make a choice. Shame on you. In the UK right now, a train is delayed as a cat is sitting on the roof and refusing to come down. No gods, no masters. Now this is the news I want on my dash. A storm blew away 25% of my roof last night. <laughs> Oof. I had to stop, look up from my phone, and take a deep breath before reblogging. I am equal parts angry and impressed. Imagine, if you will, pineapples, except pronounced like Minneapolis. No! What's wrong, linguistics paradox? Don't you want to eat your Minneapolis? All these Deadpool comic runs are ridiculous. Deadpool versus this. Deadpool kills that. How about Deadpool has a nice day? Deadpool is validated by his peers. Someone loves Deadpool because of his flaws, not in spite of them. Something nice happens to Deadpool and is not immediately ripped away from him by a cold and unfeeling universe. Did, did Deadpool write this? Deadpool wrote this. You know what? Fuck this. Uncatch your girl. Yeah, well, fuck you. I'm boys your cat. Ah, neutering. I have a transparent image of my cat in a weed hat. Snail. That's a snail. Do you? <laughs> Gary. Hmm. Freudian slip and slide. Don't add images. And then I'm sure the internet immediately and deliberately added images. Maybe you think a ship is problematic, but ask yourself this. Is it wedged sideways in the Suez Canal disrupting 12% of global maritime trade? I didn't. Think so. Okay, so you know Hades and Cerberus, right? I know everyone likes to think about Cerberus as just Hades' dog, but like, Cerberus is the child of Typhon, the father of monsters, who I think was a sentient creature, so I like to think that makes Cerberus a sentient creature too. I mean, imagine. Oh, he's a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are my spotty boy. Patronize me not, son of Kronos, lest I swallow you whole. Well. It looks like someone isn't getting any steakies for Din Din. Wait, no, I was kidding, please. Octopuses can fit through any gap larger than their beak. Ah, what a beautiful octopus. Why are my dreams so weird? I was in a Pokemon universe and my Pokemon was like a poisoner ghost type cat. And also I was part snake. Also, a priest called me a fucking idiot in it. Priests are just like that. I mean, to be fair, I was being a fucking idiot. There's a story here. One might say I'm a non-binary audio editor. A mix master, if you will. Okay, <laughs> you know what? On animes, you're Sienna. <laughs> nice try. Wait. Wait. PUT IT BACK! How to do everything last minute. A novel by me that I'm going to write later. Dark mode is for the weak. Burn your eyes for the sun gods! They say while the post is in dark mode. The contrabass saxophone is such an absurd instrument. Look at this thing. I give you the contrabass tuba. Why is it real? I don't know. Oh, baby, talk dirty to me. Okay, but have y'all seen the double contrabass flute before? What is that? What is that? You know what's even better? The hyper bass. Flutes! Oh. My. God. And my counter. The piccolo trombone. What? 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 You guys realize that this scene means that a group of animators would have had to ask themselves, Okay, now how would a tortilla move? Reasons why I love Pixar. Just took a dip in a pool past pool hours. I'm a bad boy. Yeah. What bad boy thing did you do today? I went to work. Lame. Next time, try small acts of mischief. 
Or you could just do war crimes instead, and you know, j j just the thought. Hey, Tumblr! According to biological studies, bears are just extremely large hamsters. Bye! Wait, 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 wait! Come back! I have a lot of questions! I think my toilet has anger issues. Because whenever I flush it, it completely loses its shit. <laughs> my mind works like a toaster. I put in a task, I forget about the task, my mind suddenly accomplishes what I want, startling everyone close by. <sighs> Same. Okay, can y'all stop helping me find mental illnesses that I might have? Please! I can't go to any more specialists, please. Five asexuals are playing cards. One starts to explain the rules. I'd say no cheating, but there are already five aces at the table. <laughs> ah, got him. Baby girl, I know video game lore you wouldn't even care about. I really want a villain who is McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's person facing a hero who is just one black coffee person. <clears throat> Every single fucking post about good villain hero dynamics always comes back to these two. Always. <gasps> My parents are asleep. Quick, reblog this post with skeletons saying bad words. Mm-hmm. Tax evasion. And finally, when you forget your backpack. You know, I have people who go out of their way to tell me that I say words wrong when it comes to my videos, and then some ask if it's part of the comedy. The idea that I would mispronounce words for the sake of jokes is the ultimate exaggeration. Today I learned that only 20 people have been boiled alive in Yellowstone National Park. But with your help, we can change that. For just a small monthly donation, you can help us sacrifice the tourists to Old Faithful every single day. Is that... Is that butter? No, it's Stonehenge. <gasps> I can't believe it's not butter. I'm so done with this site. It's not how powerful are you? I'm not able to answer that for legal reasons. The mug root beer dog looks like a rant sona. This dog is about to call someone a snowflake. Guarantee it. Writing prompt. Two magicians made an oath when they were children that they would never harm each other. Now they are mortal enemies and have resorted to inconveniencing and annoying each other. Knowing if they harm one another, they'll die. I want to watch the show so bad. European culture is just hating all other European nations. Like, yeah, we're at peace, we're cooperating, no tensions or anything. But if I ever have to talk to a goddamn Belgian... Waffles are greater than windmills. I will annex you! Why does the periodic table just look like a bunch of pronouns? New pronouns just dropped, get them while they're hot! Oh, snap, I always wanted to be Mercury. All right. Can you describe the culprit using this picker creator? Sometimes it's annoying when your character can't jump in a video game. But how often do you jump in real life? Do you even remember the last time you jumped is a question I never anticipated, leaving me feeling so hollow and terrified. A scaleless snake. They're scaleless as a result of mutation. I feel like I'm seeing something that I shouldn't have the ability to perceive. He naked. Loo noodle. A loodle, if you will. He looks like the snake-shaped sphinx cat. <laughs> he kinda does. Why do people in D&D each occupy a five foot by five foot square? How far apart do you think people need to be? Why are the D&D minis afraid of touching? Those are bold words for someone in stabbing range. These posts match each other so perfectly I thought they were the same post at first. Today I learned that dogs, cats, and other carnivores have taste buds specifically tuned for water. But humans don't. And can't taste water. What are they tasting in toilets and puddles that we can't? First we were denied shrimp colors and now this? Gender is a coin that everyone said was gonna land on heads or tails, but I turned mine into one of those pressed pennies from the museum. It's got a dinosaur on it. I love it. Shout out to every fast food employee who has offered to make my order a slightly different way just so it comes out cheaper. Yeah, can I get a 20 piece McNugget? Yeah, can I get a 20 piece nugget? We're actually having a BOGO deal on 10-piece nuggets. Would you like to do two of those? Yes, and I'm going to kiss you on the mouth when I get to the window. Please stop adding there are two kinds of people, and that escalated quickly to text posts. There are two kinds of rapid escalation. Well, that people twicely. What the fuck kind of turtle is that? Science of Tumblr, can you please explain this? <clears throat> Mitochondria. Thank you, Science Side. <laughs> Comfy. Fish, no! But comfy. Fish, please, you could get hurt! 
Ah, so sleepy. Fish no! You know what? Skyrim was right. Tomato soup does restore 10 HP. Who knew? Writing prompt. You have the power to heal others, and yet you are a villain. Ow! Oh, I'm the American healthcare system. Okay. I know antipasto means appetizer, but I still like to believe that it refers to the pasta's arch nemesis. You ever see something and think, wow, that is violently American? Oh, do you mean like the glazed donut bacon cheeseburgers? I exactly. What is that? Why do stores always say gifts for her? Who is she? Why are billions of Americans being encouraged to buy gifts for this entity? Someone explain. We must appease her. Cartoons? Isn't that for kids? I look up and smile. Yes, it is. Suddenly, my appearance shifts and shrinks as I become a child. All my money turns to Monopoly money and all my bills are gone. My adult responsibilities vanish. Finally, the spell is broken. And I am free. Yeah, libraries are cool and all, but have you ever found a library with a secret doorway disguised as a bookshelf that leads to a smaller hidden library filled with ancient books full of mysteries and forgotten knowledge? Me neither, and I'm sad about it. Biology says I'm 70% water. Chemistry says I'm 99% hydrogen, oxygen, carbon, and nitrogen. Physics say I'm 99.9% .9 empty space. And psychology says I'm 100% confused. Which is it? A blonde guy with a magic hammer goes after his colleague, a big dude with giant fists and an anger management problem. Teams up with a fierce female fighter with a tragic past, all while trying to navigate a strange, colorful world forever locked in by a sensationalized competition and run by an old man with a flamboyant demeanor. Along the way, he runs into a disgraced royal heir with a penchant for green and mischief. Is the movie Thor Ragnarok or Wreck-It Ralph? So... This gave me chronic whiplash. Enjoy! God damn it, I'm so funny on a daily basis, and the world just misses my genius banter! Hey guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but apparently Mozart is the original cat boy. Less well known, however, is that Mozart liked to imitate a cat. He'd be rehearsing an opera with his singers, where he'd suddenly grow bored and leap over tables and chairs, meowing and turning somersaults. He even stop! I heard enough! Mozart is the one true cat boy. Behold. A moose raised from Bebe and used by this Canadian in his logging business. The moose leaves for a few weeks in the spring, but always returns. You know, you can try and make fun of Canada all you want. But we know you're only doing it out of jealousy, because Canada is awesome! One of the worst feelings is when you feel a hyperfixation slipping. Like, no, you're so sexy, please keep giving me the happy chemical! Me. Sees the number 69. That's, that's the sex number. Holy shit. Nice. Sees the number 420. <laughs> that's the wee number. Look at that shit. Nice. Sees the number 666. Oh! Woo. Okay. Time to work. Okay. Okay. Let's get started. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yes, sir, let's do this. Let's get started. Just gonna start now. Yep. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Right. <laughs> May I present to you the soft cabinet? No. Unpresented, please. Today I learned while in college, the writer of Night at the Museum would regularly visit museums while high on acid. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm a writer, I whisper, as I spend several hours watching YouTube with a Word document up, making no effort to actually write. If I was rich, I'd hire a harem of clowns to chill in my mansion and do clown stuff. The fact he used the word harem to describe a group of clowns is extremely worrying to me. I know what I said. Me running after garbage truck. Wait, you forgot me! I'm Anxiety. Anxiety the Hedgehog. It, is there any context to this? No. I don't like to call Frankenstein's creation a monster because he seems pretty chill, so I just call him Frankenstein's little boy. Yeah, that's just Frankie's kid. What's it to you? Yeah, that's Frankie's kid. His pop don't treat him right. Neither do most of the people around here, but he ain't a bad kid. Just in a bad situation, you know what I mean? C can we have this? Hey, start referring to things you own as your inventory. Jackie, did I give you my keys? I don't know, let me check my inventory. Yeah, mom, hold on a sec. I just need to equip my shoes. Hey, you want to go downtown? I can conjure an Uber. I think it's important to bear in mind that complex doesn't necessarily mean nuanced. 
a thing can be complicated and also very, very stupid as hell. The file 267 2009 utc jdpeg is a system file. If you remove it, Windows or another program may no longer work correctly. Are you sure you want to permanently delete it? I'm just trying to clear up my hard drive. What is this bullshit? Ma, the load bearing Silver the Hedgehog JPEG. I mean, he carried all of Sonic 06. MLM is just WLW upside down, and WLW is just MLM upside down. I don't know what this means. I think it means we're friends. Oh, I see the confusion. It's just referring to being switched to Wumbo. You know, Wumbo. An antonym for the word many, often learned in first grade. The study of Wumbo is also known as Wobology. Behold the Grand Wizard and his young apprentice. These guys kind of look like some Zelda merchant that sells you artichokes and pumpkins, respectively. I mean, they do. Like, no offense to my friends and family, but if I had a chance to abandon this timeline for a medieval fantasy land, I would absolutely do it. Goodbye, student loans and depression. Hello, cool magic shit and most likely an early death by the sword. As it should be. Have fun shitting in outhouses and losing loved ones to the plague, trademark. I said medieval fantasy, not actual medieval times, you impudent fool! Alright, have fun crapping in outhouses and losing to loved ones to the goblin raiders, trademark. That's more the fuck like it! Woo! Okay. Time to work. Okay. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's do this. Let's get started. Just gonna start now. Yep. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Frequently bought together. Do not separate them. Ah, oh, the start of Pokemon in Ohio. Never stop collecting little things to make you happy. Rocks, buttons, feathers, flowers, sticks, bugs, bones. Never stop. How did a crow get a Tumblr? With his fucking email and password, how'd you get here? Think about jelly-filled donuts. <sighs> Fuck yeah. You have amazing taste in food. Jelly-filled donuts are great and are my favorite, actually. Nothing beats a jelly-filled donut. You're right! Jelly-filled donuts are simply the best. The, the, those aren't jelly-filled donuts. Please stop. Love me a good jelly-filled donut! Mm, simply the best! The timeline is collapsing. Do not question any further, please! Nothing beats a jelly-filled I'm okay. Behold, the Smithsonite Discloisite. The Borogalka's mine, Groot Fontaine District, a Jotsanzupa region, Namibia. Bean and cheese. I get so mad when I hear things scuttling inside the walls. Like, yeah, we get it. You're a creature. You don't need to rub it in my face that you're capable of scuttling. My favorite dynamic in both platonic and romantic ships are... We share the brain cell. Or, they are both very smart until you put them together and then they're dumbasses. My brain cell's allergic to yours is peak dynamic. One time in third grade I zoned out, and I don't think I ever zoned back in. Help me. When you can sense a mood incoming and feel like a farmer standing in a field looking out at the horizon as the storm approaches like, Mmm, looks like it's gonna be a bad one, boys. Have you ever wondered how many fictional characters you've absorbed into your personality? <laughs> Who am I? Some girls are made with sugar, spice, and everything nice. Ugh, they're made with garlic, basil, and olive oil. Mmm, garlic bread. How about you date a girl who is a home and an adventure all at once? Or date a girl who doubles as a haunted house! Why is it that bullies can always tell you're LGBT or like neurotypical way before you can? The new diagnostic tool, a middle schooler. Sometimes I get so jealous of other people's skills like, damn, 
like, they can talk to people? And people like them? Like, look at all those people who like them! What the fuck? It's illegal. No offense, but if you just straight up drink milk, then I will never listen to a word you say to me. Well, next time you fall from a tree, we'll see who's laughing. My bones are thick like Mr. Incredible. You wish you were me. Dungeons and Dragons is such a powerful game. It can make a six foot three inch man blush like a cherry when he pretends to kiss his wife's pretend character. Dude, he was 15 shades of red asking to pretend to kiss his wife's pretend character. This man has dated, married, and fathered a child with this woman, and yet he's like, well, what if we kissed Melvin <laughs> Hands? Introducing Dr. Brian Fisher, California Academy of Sciences. Dr. Fisher, get off that man's face. You're a scientist, now act like one. It's time. No, 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 it's not time. It's fucking March. I don't want to see this. It's time. <laughs> Posture checklist. Don't hunch or your spine will bunch. Stand up, arms up, lift up. Love your back to prevent ow her back. <sighs> <sighs> Much better. Today I learned that B.F. Skinner, a famous psychologist, instilled superstitions in pigeons by giving them food in a cage at set time intervals. The pigeons responded by performing rituals, which they believed brought them the food, such as bobbing their heads or turning counterclockwise. Pigeon. Religion! I was the fastest liquid on Earth. <laughs> Milk. It's pasteurized before you see it. <laughs> Me opening my own story. Huh. I wonder if the author has updated it yet. This is the writing equivalent of checking the fridge, walking away, and coming back to see if it spawned a better snack while you weren't looking. Y yeah. I'm not so hard because Artemis is the Greek goddess, of, among other things. Maidenhood and archery. She's literally an arrow ace. <laughs> arrow ace. You son of a bitch. I will never know peace again. Clams can move. Clams can move. I never would have thought those things could move. I thought they just vibed. Oh yeah, they can also swim. They can what? Fog and mist are my favorite kind of weather. It's just our atmosphere. Can imagine seeing a hillside gently coming in and out of the fog, making it look like a floating island in the distance. Perfect. Beautiful. Walk out of the fog and announce what millennia you're from. Start appearing mysteriously and just enjoy the cool moods that flow around. Man, this person's out here really making me like fog. If I'm being subjective, the greatest sci-fi show of all time is Doctor Who. If I'm being objective, it's Doctor Who. <laughs> doctor, I think I'm going deaf. The doctor said, well, describe the symptoms. Well, Homer's bald and Marge's blue hair. All right, Sans is a Homestuck character. The confidence this exudes scares me. Good. That's how you know it's the truth. Accept it. My best feature is that I'm blindingly intelligent for about 30 seconds a day. And I don't get to choose which seconds. They're not consecutive. The sun is on fire. I repeat, the sun is on fire. The ocean is flooding. I repeat, the ocean is flooding. This is an emergency, guys. The earth is spinning, guys. It's fucking spinning. A mysterious gas has settled all throughout Earth. We're currently bringing it in. Brought to you by Fox News. Just overheard a little girl ask her father if I'm a boy or a girl, and all he said was, well, some people have bodies. Mmm, assigned corporeal at birth. We learn that Splatsville is located in a broader region called the Splatlands. It seems the intense sun and harsh environment have had a profound effect on its inhabitants. In the recent years, trend-setting inklings have been drawn to the culture like moths to a Bunsen burner. I like the implication that a bunch of teens have moved to a desert wasteland for, like, the clout. <clears throat> Coachella. Wait, I just realized my mom gave me my new stuff for my key ring the day after she complained that I kept accidentally sneaking up on her because I don't realize how quiet I am. My mother belled me like a cat I didn't even realize. Haha, <laughs> cat boy. Everyone is so mean to me all the time. Mmm, soup with tomatoes and soup with noodles. Those are a pair of my favorite foodles. The New York Triber, New York, August 3rd, 1921. Uh, the spirit of the internet existed long before it had an electronic vessel to inhabit. Oh, I get it. It's ICUP. 
What is? Nothing. Go back to bed. Sometimes YouTube comments are complete garbage. And then there are comments like this. Great workout music for my pet's nails. Thanks. Aw. Dave McCracken, bless your heart. Truth or dare? Uh, I, I dare you to uh, f fall in love with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, j I'm, just, I'm just kidding, bro. I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Unless I looked everywhere for this. No way! How did they... What? But she... The whole barbecue sauce bottle? That's crazy. Humans are weird. Wait, how did you know this story? Why didn't you invite me? You are so wise beyond your years, great. Oh, you're so cute. I just saw the words catboy, catgirl, and neon binary, and it took several years off my life expectancy. <laughs> it's probably one of my posts, too. Can men and women really just be friends? Straight people are so weird. It is a fact that bisexuals can make friends. There is only prey. So I got kicked out of a Taco Bell for bringing in a Bluetooth speaker in the bathroom. I didn't even start playing Sabaton the Last Battalion before I was dragged out. I will now wage war elsewhere. I'm sorry, what? Oh, police. I accidentally stepped on my cat's foot and need to be arrested. Take me away, please. I wonder if Vader ever found out that the droid who carried the Death Star plans was R2. I could just imagine him thinking, Well, this explains everything. My men didn't stand a chance. You fools. You absolute incompetent fools! What was the droid? It was a blue R2 unit? No! Oh. <laughs> That's my boy. Subject, my cat. Symptoms, small, makes small noises, small brain, stupid. Diagnosis, bibi. Course of action, a kiss on the head. Sparkling water is disappointing because you smell it and it's like, mmm, super fruity, and then you taste it and it's just angry water. So I found out people have strong feelings about sparkling water. I, too, share the sentiment of this post. Sparkling water needs to chill and stop trying to bite the inside of my mouth. It's rude and unpleasant, and I don't like it. Do you ever get bored on the internet and then grab your phone to see what the other smaller internet is up to? I love dogs who are obsessed with licking people. <gasps> this human is pleasing to me. I have to put my tongue on it. Well, dogs treat us like we treat cool rocks. Your relationship to rocks is apparently very different than mine. I am a simple woman. I enter the kitchen. I eat four servings of bread products. And then I leave. It's one serving if you serve it all to yourself at once. I like the way you think, friend. No, oh, he looks so tired. Let him nap. He looks like more butter toast. You know, it's really funny how many people on here make jokes about anti-vaxxers and flat earthers, but then they practice astrology at the same time, even though it's literally the same as pseudoscientific bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Looking up your horoscope doesn't give kids polio. I still don't know how to spell spaghetti without autocorrect. Hey, Bucky, where's the H? An H? A lumberjack went into a magic forest to cut a tree. Upon arrival, he started to swing at the tree and it shouted, Wait, I'm a talking tree! And the lumberjack smiled and said, And you will die a log. <laughs> do werewolves have toe beans? Of course they have toe beans. What else do you suck on? If there is a god, mine is surely a trickster, giving me the miracle of sight and of comprehension. Only for me to be cursed to use it on what you just said. You know what? Mayhaps the villains deserve to destroy this society. After that last post, I agree. Guess who's got two thumbs and... This guy. Two, two, two thumbs and what? This guy. Call out posts at all writers. Right. No. By the way, I know everything, but don't ask me any questions because I don't like it. Ah, me with my characters. Mm-hmm. I now understand why old people sit outside just to sit outside. Uh, I remember when you turned 24. Ah, oh, what a time to be alive during Tumblr's edgy phase. Wait, how old is Tumblr? About 14 years. Mmm, seems about right. 
You know when your video game spouse says I love you and calls you dear and you tear up a little because you realize you starved for romantic affection? This wasn't supposed to be a relatable meme, y'all good? People are tagging all their video game lovers and crying. Yeah. I eat 15 apples for breakfast, then drive myself to the hospital just to watch the doctors get blasted backward into the drywall because they cannot withstand my aura. So, you are what people in math problems are actually doing. Woman? Oh, no. You misheard. I'm an omen. I don't identify as male or female. I identify as a warning. Congratulations! It's a harbinger. Oh, majestic grape of the hand, what is your wisdom? <laughs> Looking at you infuriates me. There's no punchline, I hate mittens. Behold, the acts of war crimes. We finally did it! And you promised me a wedding when we return home! I did. Let's go. Our next question is, what do rich people eat? Eat? L like a poor? Phoenix, nutrients now! <laughs> what did you say you do again? I'm a games journalist. Dude, gross. <sighs> hmm. Oh shit, whoops, I killed Krillin! You're not mad at me, are you? No, no, it's okay. Uh, are you sure you're not mad? <laughs> Welcome to the stupid hut. Well, what's inside? Some stupid. Uh, okay. Man. Hey, can you tell me something wholesome? Listen, you fuck, there's nothing left. Eat what you got to, take up what hobby you need to. The current mission objective is survive. We gonna make it? Yeah, maybe. We gonna be happy? No. This is a very big chungus 100% wholesome hugs. If you ever speak Reddit to me again, I'll kill you. Okay, here's your COVID shot. Oh, shit, sorry, wrong shot. I got the fix right here. Mmm! Mmm-mm! -mm. Captain Rich, what will we do? Reddit is crashing the market! Hmm... Destroy the rich! Put all of your money into GameStop! Yeah! You never lose by playing both sides. <laughs> Sir, it's us, the internet police. We're taking you in. You posted a photo of a dog that looked just slightly sad. That doesn't even make any sense. The internet police isn't real. Oh, we're real. And we are pissed. I'm sorry, sir. Your card's been declined. Then I would like to apply for your store's credit card. Uh, okay. Infinite unending money! You know what? The Earth is flat. And I'm going to find the ice walls. Well, here it is. This endeavor has not changed anything in my life. Okay. You get one beach episode. <laughs> oh no, a slight breeze! <laughs> not for that shit. Let's play randomized Nuzlocke. No. No, 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 yes! No! <laughs> What do you mean occasionally checking my work in progresses to see if they started spontaneously generating words isn't the same as writing? The mitochondria is the girl boss of the cell. In seventh grade, I went to see a movie with a boy, and in the middle of it, he was like, Do you want to kiss? And I was like, Excuse me? And he pulled a bag of Hershey Kisses out of his coat. Do you realize what a good backup plan that is? Yes, yes, I too love Tumblr's favorite actors, Misha Collins, David Tennant, and... Benedict Cumberbatch? We've turned mispronouncing Bidet Cankerstore's name into a popular enough joke that merely saying his name correctly is now legitimately a funny punchline. We've delved too deep into this joke! There's no escape! Tell my children I love them! The police pull my lifeless body from a lake, but I'm wearing the funniest hat that they've ever seen that they can't stop laughing and keep dropping me back into the water. Where, where, where did OP go? The lake. There's a blind man here tuning my piano, and he keeps making blind jokes. And I quote, You know when people ring me up to ask if I can fix their piano, I like to tell them I'm so good I can do it without looking. Sometimes people ask why I became a piano tuner, I tell them it's because they wouldn't let me become a pilot. Okay. But those are both really good. My professor told me that I'm failing ethics class, so I slid $20 across the table and said, 
What about now? Wink, wink. Guys, no, what the fuck? I just looked at the time about 20 minutes ago and it said 1.50 a.m. Now it says 1.12 a.m. Guys, what is happening? Guys, I'm not joking. Send help. I actually think there is something wrong with me. So I've been notified that this is daylight savings times. Carry on. No, 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 no. Should I kill someone or have a cup of tea? Did you mean should I kill someone and have a cup of tea? Oh, yes, my mistake. Thank you. Love when someone's like, are you talking to yourself? And it's like, yeah, I'm in a meeting with myself and this bitch has a lot to say. But sometimes that shit could just be an email. Yeah. My friend asked me to make an image. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Check this fucking shit. <laughs> Congress. I was at the movies watching Catching Fire, and just before Finnick appears for the first time, some guy yelled out, Where's Finnick? And then there was a collective shh from the rest of the cinema. But then a few seconds later, Finnick appears, and the guy goes, Oh, there he is! And I think everyone in the cinema just choked on their popcorn. You know... I am what the kids call attention-seeking. And now, a test. Behold, if you saw the alphabet, you're likely straight. If you saw a key smash, you're likely gay. Holy fuck! I'm feeling really attacked right now! Such raw power. Doesn't even need a straw, he's just sucking the water up through the air! And what the fuck did he think Mowgli could teach him? I have breaking news. Lo-fi hip-hop girl gave up. The entire- <laughs> Wow, look, volcanoes! Isn't this neat? What do you think we should name this place? Guy making it really obvious he doesn't want to be here. <sighs> uh, boring lava field, Oregon. It's canon now. Supervillains announcing their plans is actually a union thing, so they can't be sued for damages someone else may commit at the same time. No, your honor, I clearly stated that I would be using my freeze ray to weaken and shatter the federal bank vault door as my weapon, as you call it. It was only designed to create cold. I cannot be held accountable for this woman's burn injuries clearly caused by another supervillain's lava gun. You are certain that it was another device that caused this woman's injuries? Yes, your honor, witnessed it myself. Would you tell me the name of this other supervillain? Oh, no, ma'am. Union code. Snitches get stitches. Why aren't you exploring the ocean? It's literally right underneath us! You can send a robot a million miles into space looking for aliens, but not into the giant void that takes up the majority of the Earth we live on? Please, I'm scared. NASA knows. NASA has seen the dark beneath. NASA's urgency to leave the planet grows ever stronger. Have y'all ever had communion bread that was just so... nasty? Like, I know we have to suffer as Christians, but do we really need to have whole wheat bread as the body of Christ? My old church used Hawaiian bread. My standards are high. Some old housemates of mine were Syrian Orthodox. At their church, different members of the church took turns making the bread that would be consecrated for the Eucharist. This was all well and good until one woman baked raisin bread. This led to a memorable occasion of a rather flustered priest who had not seen the bread until that moment declaring, This, except for the raisins, is the body of Christ. <laughs> except for the raisins! <laughs> oh my god! Well, raisins are just dried grapes, though, and wine is his blood, so really, it's like a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner except with Jesus? I'm sorry, just like a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner except with Jesus! Honey, I hate to break this to you, but if blood is wine is inside the body as bread, then that's just a regular ass human body. Behold, a man! Casual reminder that Nani was on her way to becoming a professional surfer before her parents died and she had to drop everything to look after Lilo. How did I not know this? In Germany, we don't say, I don't care. We say, das ist mir Wurst, which roughly translates as, this is sausage to me. And I think that's beautiful. No, you don't understand. We actually do do that. I crashed my car into a bridge. This is sausage to me! The lack of context here is thrilling. It's introductory Python programming course. Yes! But the plot twist, they're cobras. To the prankster who put the moon as the address on their online pizza delivery order, thanks a whole dang lot. 
I was up there for like 10 minutes just aimlessly waiting, ringing the doorbell, and kicking moon rocks around. Ugh. Waste my time, 2021. Fun fact, this is Orlando's legit impression of Johnny. It wasn't originally scripted. Was there like... Is there even a script for this film? Every time I see a post about Pirates of the Caribbean, they're like, this wasn't scripted. By now, I'm just like 70% sure they just released Orlando, Kira, and Johnny into the Caribbean and told them to pretend it was the 1700s. I mean, yay. Um, I, I, I think they're dry. Oh, this place is haunted, haunted. Oh, shit, now it's serious. Imagine banana with any other vowel. Bonoo, banane, bonono, no, binini, banana. What was the original purpose for this website? Because something went wrong along the way. Don't you just love how mental disorders are basically buy one, get seven free? I don't even really want the first one. My mom made me buy it. Lines of family heirloom passed down through generations. I fucking hate it. The absolute worst thing a fictional character can do is admit to liking a food because the fandom will make that their entire personality for the rest of time. How the fuck did we even get to a point where purple guy from FNAF likes toast? How'd we do that? Boy, if you don't give me my agenda back right this minute, why I order. Oh, that goddamn Tompkins kids is running off with agendas again. That little scamp. Okay, we're settling this discourse right now. Put your zodiac sign in the tags, and if you like or dislike pineapple on pizza, mint ice cream or mint chocolate, ketchup and mac and cheese, or fries dipped in ice cream. Okay, I'm a Pisces. Definitely love pineapple pizza. Mint ice cream's pretty baller. Fries dipped in ice cream? That shit, what's up? But who the fuck puts ketchup in mac and cheese? Where's the serotonin? <laughs> Silly. I am the serotonin. Come here, you. Oh, oh hi, I'm back. Well, I, for one, like Roman numerals. Oh, we're off to a good start. Wax museum, but one of the dudes is real and they don't tell you who. You're not the girl boss of me. I want a divorce. You're a terrible male wife. Fine. I'm keeping the gate, though. Wait, what gate? Architects think they're so creative. Have you ever tried thinking outside the box? No, like literally. Your building is just like any other in a square foundation, and next to that is another square of the building. New York is just a bunch of squares with streets in between. Hey, hey, hey. You can't call us out like that because it's the truth. Do you ever stop to realize that the average person doesn't know what a ship is or what cannon means? We probably all just sound like pirates. And I'm begging you not to invent Muppet racism, please. Please! Me and the boys up at 3 a.m. inventing Muppet racism. Didn't technically Avenue Q kind of dabble into that? Someone in my younger sibling's class said they were yandere for them, and my sibling responded, first of all, cringe, second of all, red flag, and no phrase has entered my daily lexicon so fast! Bigfoot, but fully shaved. Mr. Clean. Posts like these are why I have anxiety! If you've heard of writer's block, get ready for reader's block. You want to read, you have time, you know what to read, or how have a pile of books ready to be read, you cannot sit still and focus enough to do so, and you can't even open the book. Thanks, I hate it. I wonder if my ancestors are smiling upon me sometimes. You, making a little thing with clay. The ghost of Atrolopithecus. Yes, 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 yes! Wait, gays can read? Guys, what does that say? I don't know. One of my favorite character archetypes is small, cute character that is horrifyingly powerful in their canon. I mean, look at this. These children have fought literal gods and won. Well, one is a being made of two different gods and also living primordial ooze able to kill the biggest god in the setting. One with a soul that is equivalent to every single monster soul combined with the power of mental time travel through sheer force of will and one that is apparently born of dark matter, able to disintegrate anything and integrate anything into himself. And they're all non-binary. Conclusion! Non-binary people are strong enough to kill God. Love it. Howdy. May I offer you a cup of warm boy? 
Yes, you can. Thank you. My friend asked me why I keep a shotgun in the kitchen. I told him it was for Decepticons. He laughed, I laughed, the toaster laughed. I shot the toaster. Good times, good times, man. If I were a witch, I'd simply turn people into things for fun. I'd be a total bitch, a fucking asshole. So no change then. Damn straight! The fact that 2021 begun with a sea shanty renaissance and three months later ships are back on the 1700 trade routes is actually... <laughs> Extremely funny. <laughs> Fuck, why did I ever think about this? Fuck Spotify sometimes. Where's the love for the YouTube music? I get fucking all the Vaporwave people I live. Not even on Spotify. Fucking use YouTube music. Do it. Do it right now. What are you doing? Dude, how do some of you all function under stress? I'm sitting here eating cold Pop-Tarts while playing the Wii theme on a kazoo because I have a ton of things due soon and I'm stressed, but not stressed enough to do anything about it. My mind is really going like, yo, you have 17 things due within the week and I'm just like, DO YOU WANT ME TO HIT THE FUCKING TELLER?! <laughs> hey! Neil Gaiman! You're not real! Nothing is real, except possibly toast. Toast is real. Everything else in the universe is a figment of our collective imaginations except toast. And possibly pangolins. Nothing could successfully imagine a pangolin. So basically, unless it's pangolins or toast, you're probably imagining it. Neil Gaiman, everybody. This isn't some project you can do at one night. Well, not if I shift it into maximum overdrive! It still doesn't get done. I swear we are living in a simulation. Huh? Why? Why? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I hope to all that is holy that this is real. Please, God, give me this much. What are you guys seeing? Because I see the imposter. The ever given is sus. Did you see loss? Emergency hot dog that reheats when you crack it like a glow stick. Hey, now this. Now this is a shower thought. World building is just what writers do when they want to justify a petty aesthetic choice. World building is also what writers do when they want to justify not actually writing. Reading this comment was like looking down to see that I've been stabbed through the back in the middle of gloating. Well done. Today I learned the words cream and Christ are cognates. They derive from the same root meaning anoint, rubbing things together with oil both practically and religiously. Creme de la Christ. Back at it again at Christ cream. If you go on Yahoo Answers, there's a question to ask what Jesus smells like. Someone answered cookies and cream, and I have never forgotten that. Anyway, that person was channeling Jesus himself. That sure he isn't high enough, stupid! He's so sleepy, he doesn't even care. It's me as a bat. I'm in love with this bat. Fuck it. Good enough. Ten accessories every woman should have. One, flaming sword. Just drank a milkshake. Feeling good. All right. Yes, your teeth. You know, Colgate, I was. But now I'm not gonna add a spike. How in the nine hells did you get Colgate's official tumbler to tell you to BS your teeth? It's quite simple, friend. I made a milkshake. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Would Zuko give the blue spirit a full pardon after the war's over, or do you think he would mess with everyone and raise the bounty even higher? Fire Lord Zuko sends Ozai to capture the blue spirit to regain his honor. Are you ticklish is such a loaded question. If you say no, they'll test it. If you say yes, they'll test it. Just tickle me. Get it over with. Subject me to this horror soon so that I may begin my healing process. My ninth grade English teacher told us the proper response to are you ticklish is I have diarrhea. Every day God puts me in a new universe to see if I notice. I do notice, by the way. I just never say anything because I'm shy. This line in Hamlet, oh God, I could be bounded in a nutshell and count myself as king of infinite space, were it not that I have bad dreams, is the Shakespeare equivalent of this post. God gave me depression because if my ambitions went unchecked, I would have bested him in hand-to-hand -hand combat by age 16. Writing papers is so humiliating. Why are these grown people with PhDs in this field making me, a baby-year-old child, write a stupid and trite paper that will never interest or benefit them anyway? What is the point? Just give me a cute little A and let's all move on, please. One and odd said I come off as a piece of shit, and he didn't say why, but I think it's because I don't like Star Wars as much as him. I believe it. Slow burn, but it's written by an impatient person. 
Also, this doesn't affect the speed of the developing relationship at all, but does make for a very passive-aggressive narrator. Is it just me, or does the frame rate get higher when you step inside of Costco? Yeah, it's because everything comes in bulk there. And Costco has really good object instancing, so it only has to obstruct the VBO for each kind of product once and then reshade it for individual instances, which gets you a big frame rate improvement over a parking lot where one million unique cars are in view at any given time. I don't understand this. And I do at the same time. Coming soon, Costco in 4K. Hey, I know things have been hard, but I want you to know it's gonna be okay. And I am so proud of you. The most important thing to know about the plot of Hamlet is that it's so convoluted that the main character is kidnapped by pirates, and it's not even really a major plot point. This is it. This is my favorite post. A chunky boy. Reduced. I love crested geckos because they have the expression of an animal who has exactly one brain cell that digs around their skull like a window screensaver. Look at him. Majestic baby. Girl help, I Mandor Handhook Cardor! Why does Squidward face show more emotion than Elsa's? <laughs> His paycheck. An activate charcoal and grapefruit smoothie called What Will Your Meds Do, Winky Face? Actually, it is a juice. Wait, no, this was a joke. You're on antidepressants and you drink this to meet the devil. I'm what they consider smart passing. Oh, my gender? 1940s detective who is also a dramatic little bitch. My gender. 1940s thief who is also a dramatic little bitch but has a hat. What what type of hat though? A sexy one. Heart shaped bestie necklaces that say I hope you die and I hope we both die. McDonald's sprite and perceiving myself evoke the same emotion. Also hotel air conditioners. Also walking out of a movie theater and into the sunlight. Why? Are these all true? All you girls out there had that stage where you played online dress-up games, don't even lie. What do you mean, had? And what do you mean, girls? Hey, here's a delicious peanut butter and jelly. Getting real sick of your lies, Sonic. Being an adult is a weird combination of wanting to sleep all the time, but also reacting to it being your bedtime, a little like a toddler who doesn't want to take a nap. Yeah. Fuck it. Vampire with a gun. Count Glocula, gonna shoot ya. Why do women's clothing designers believe that girls do not need pockets? It's so they can sell us bags. Mother fuck! I'll put my music on shuffle and be pissed if I don't get the right song. Plot twist, I have no idea what the right song is, but we'll know it when I hear it. Don't eat the rich, that's tainted meat. Decompose the rich. Mm. Because this tumbler totally needed a coyote in a purse. Um, excuse me, sir. That is my emotional support trickster god. Thank you. Why do movies show nerdy girls as carrying a billion books and then portray them as physically weak? If a girl can carry the Harry Potter series, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and all of her textbooks, then she could probably lift a protagonist football star and throw him across the football field. It's true. Writing prompt. Cthulhu, as an eldritch being, sees humans as humans see insects, which is to say, harmless but inexplicably terrifying. Cthulhu chasing humanity around with a shoe while crying. Minecraft? Seth Everman? Are, are you two politely acknowledging each other in a hallway? Men want her. Women want to be her. Children befriend her, but their parents fear her. Doctors hate her, and police officers head explode in her presence. Scientific consensus on her nature and origins has not been reached. Authorities warn civilians to stay away from her and report any sightings immediately. Jolene. How to do everything last minute, a novel by me that I'm going to write later. Wait, didn't I already do this one? Ah, I'll think about it later. Another anecdote from Greek class. Apparently there's an episode in the Bible where Jesus asks Peter, do you love me, using a form of the verb... I'm not even gonna try. I already hate it when I mispronounce words, I'm not even gonna try. Using a form of the verb that means love, but like in the cosmic religious sense of the word. And Peter says yes, but he uses the word that also means love, but much more general casual way. So basically, Jesus Christ, Son of God, 
ask Peter if he loves him, and Peter says, yeah, as a friend. <laughs> I can't believe the Messiah got friend-zoned. Girl stares outside of the window on train, looking pensive. Boy, she's so beautiful, so thoughtful. My manic pixie dream girl. Girl to herself. How many donuts can I stuff in my mouth at one time? The worst kind of griffin would be a fox seagull. Screams all day and all night and is definitely in your garbage. Can you imagine life in a world with this flavor of griffins instead of some majestic lion eagle soaring through the skies deep in the untouched wilds? You'd be stuck trying to drive a raccoon crow, a creature that would fight God for half a bagel, from your garbage bin with only a broom and an oven mitt to defend yourself. That sounds a lot more realistic. Today I learned America's big four rival pizza chains, Domino's, Papa John's, Pizza Hut, and Little Caesars, all buy their cheese from the same man, James Leprino. He sells one billion pounds of cheese each year. Oh my god, it's him. The big cheese! Wait, if you have social anxiety, and I have social anxiety, then who's going to order the food? Third friend who has the mom Fred anxiety override. Oh, right. Yeah, silly me. I haven't seen anyone mention the greatest cultural impact Yahoo Answers has made yet. Are you tired of being nice? Don't you just want to go ape shit? Do you think if student loans did a long apology video with no ads on, they would be forgiven already? Staff deactivated? What? What? Oh my god, Frankenstein fleeing from his own monster! So one might ask, how do I, as a Muppet, record for these videos when I am so small? The answer is very, very carefully. Please find me a home. Are you a boy or a girl? Not to my knowledge. Can't believe that pioneer women used to churn butter for hours without even listening to a podcast about Bigfoot. Historically, when performing long, repetitive tasks like churning butter or weaving cloth, people would sit together and tell stories. Folk stories, fairy tales, and even stories about mysterious ape-like creatures living in the forest. So, yes. Pioneer women did listen to podcasts about Bigfoot while turning butter. Wow. Every time I see Nautic's suggestion, my brain is like, ah, this is a mandatory order then. Not a suggestion enforceable by several dandies in incalculably large wigs. Mm -hmm. I love to make up phrases and slap, if you know what I mean, on the end. It implies there's meaning to it, and it leaves the recipient wondering. Well, I too like to shake up the old bag of hammers, if you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean, my dude. Therapists are just common sense filters. Me. Yeah, so I don't have the energy to, like, get up and make myself a sandwich or wait for something to cook, so I just don't. Her. Why don't you just eat the sandwich components without putting them together? What? You can just eat a handful of cheese and some sandwich meat. You don't have to make a sandwich. <laughs> What? People who would fight the entire world for each other but complain and call each other stupid fucking idiots about it the entire time is the ultimate relationship dynamic. Can't judge me otherwise. I just saw something on TikTok saying if you understand this, you probably have ADHD. Five is the most even odd number and six is the oddest even number. Why can I understand this? I- Wait! The year is 2040. You are the last smoker alive. The quit smoking ads get personal. You walk into Times Square, a giant billboard lights up reading, The hot barista you Facebook stock doesn't like smokers. You walk back into the subway and go home. Does anyone ever do the opposite of dissociate? Like when you're just suddenly and uncomfortably aware of your situation and reality? More to the point, why do I get that feeling when I'm sitting on top of my kitchen table watching a Velveeta mac and cheese pack spin in the microwave for three and a half minutes and I'm just like, I exist, I am here, and there's nothing I can do about it. When you roll a nat 20 on perception, but there's nothing to perceive. Okay, this one wins. Everyone can stop for vlogging this now. Go home. Who the fuck thinks I want to see three completely identical, smooth blue men get absolutely soaked in paint that they tap off their little drums? Nobody. Hmm. Sounds like you're jealous they didn't let you in the group. Hey gang, I'm ordering $14 worth of soda and nothing else from my local Domino's. I am very thirsty. Your order is in the oven. You better fucking not have! What are you doing in this abandoned water treatment plant? Trying to figure out who abandoned all this water. Do you want to drink some with me? Already pulling out my comically long silly straw? I thought you'd never ask. Not trying to be rude, but I love posts on here where I learn a completely new thing that immediately gets refuted in the same post. Ah, net zero information.
Uh, I love it when I do that shit on videos and have a comment that's like, Um, well, actually, if the U.S. military gets their hands on Dracula, we are so fucked. This post was a lot funnier to me when I was high. Actually, you just basically described the plot of Blade Trinity sans the U.S. military. Well, I must bid you all farewell. Mwah! You take one point of poison damage. You take one point of poison damage. You take one point of poison damage. You take one po- Many scientists proclaim that during an eclipse, this is what it looks like. However, I believe upon further inspection and with a trained eye, perhaps we can see the true form. Zooming and enhancing image. Truly outstanding. Well, it was high time to bring this back. You ready to rock, CC? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, question one. Sienna, do you ever use your hair as a chair? Oh, all the time. It's really handy since most chairs on Earth can't accommodate my hair. On the subject of that, most worry about my neck with my hair. I'm here to tell you it's A-OK. -okay. Trust me. I've lived long enough in the universe to handle it just fine. <laughs> Number two, let's see, uh... Sienna gives off pansexual energy for no reason. Is it okay if I HC her as pan? <gasps> Is she canonically pan? <laughs> you don't have to headcanon that, you earthlings would say, because it's absolutely true. Doesn't matter what you identify as. Just be good to me, and I'll be holding your hand in no time. See? Focus. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Question three. What's your favorite mythical creature? <gasps> Dragons. Earthlings made so many beautiful designs of them. From small, big, fluffy, sharp, long, two wings, many wings, some that can morph like me, some become elements of nature. The creativity is incredible! It helps when they have a source material to use on that. Question four. Does your hair get tangled? <laughs> All the time. Mainly because it's already tied up, so if it gets snagged on one thing, it's a mess right away. Luckily, I can snap my fingers and fix it right away. I can't imagine the trouble it would be if I couldn't. Poor humans. Yep, big rip. All right, question five. Have any small creatures tried to hide in your hair? Goodness, humans are fascinated by hair, aren't they? <laughs> well, Grape likes to sneak in there when we visit Earth. I had to establish certain rules with him, because he would try to sneak in food. <sighs> I came home once, noticing I had fries lodged in my hair bun. Not even magic can clean out the smell of fries. That would never sound like a problem on Earth, really. Question six! What's your favorite pupper breed? And also remember to take care of your mental health. You too, PM. Ah, thanks. Uh, they say she smells nice. I adore... Samoyeds! They're so big and fluffy, they're like big boofing clouds and just... Ah, that little boot they do is the most precious thing in the universe! <laughs> if I could sneak them into my place back home, I would. But alas, uh, at least I have a big plushie of one. I'll settle for that, I guess. You're welcome, by the way. <clears throat> Question seven. Whenever Sienna understands something, does she go, Oh, I see. No. But now I may start doing that. God damn it. Question eight. Your favorite type or flavor of cake? <gasps> There's chocolate cake and carrot cake and spiced vanilla cake and strawberry and cream shortcake and raspberry and mocha cake and red velvet cake and New York cheesecake and... and, and I think a shorter list is what cake Sienna doesn't like, which doesn't exist yet. Next question. Exactly how strong are you? Because I've seen that you're serious about working out. So the perks of being, well, celestial, I guess, is most of what I need is just pure energy to do things, not muscular strength like earthlings. Which is probably for the best, because after all, I gotta hold these two bad boys up. Sienna! What? I was talking about your channel and your spirits. Uh, uh, oh. Actually, that does remind me, you can shapeshift, so why did you pick that shape? 
Oh, well, that's easy. It's because it's cute. Valid. Anyway, next to last question. Can you give us some inspiring words of confidence and maybe a hug? I know life is hard right now. And it's easy to say when I'm out. <laughs> I'm trying to be supportive, but my tongue won't that's okay, work. That's okay. <laughs> Just start over. Start over. <clears throat> I know life is hard right now, and it's easy to say when I'm outside looking in. But I know all of you are trying your best to overcome your problems, and I just want you to know, I am really proud of you. You got this. And final question. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> to Sienna, do you actually know how to beatbox, or was that just a one-time joke for the Friday Night Funkin' music video? Um, well, I had some help on that, but I could try it for real with you guys. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. It's the beatbox. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? That's what I was told. No, 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 no. Yeah, you say no, boots no, and no. cats. No, 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 no. You do the noise. You don't actually say the words. You know, like boots, cats, boots, cats. Oh, let me try. Let me try. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm no good at this. I guess I could practice more. I had so much fun doing this, you guys. Thank you so much for all your questions. Be sure to ask lots more, okay? I can't wait for the next video. If you guys want to ask her more questions, you just got to hit up Tumblr. And to make sure that we actually see it for the video, start it off with two Sienna. See you later. Oh god, jeez, okay, um, hold on. <clears throat> <Ta -da -da. laughs> Snom, I like to think that for you to input text on your phone, you just flop on it like a fish. Think. That's exactly what I do. Ah, uh, here you go, buddy. Alright, put the sad in the bag. Put it in! Snom, how do you remain happy? I don't know. Opinion on LGBTQ people? They're all amazing and wonderful. I'm glad they are being true to who they want to be and liking who they want to like. <laughs> Thank you, Snom. Are you Snom? I am. Will you be? For eternity. Snom, I love you! Ha <laughs> ha! Parried! Hey, Snom, do you have any of those good vibes and cozy positive energies I need them? And some inspiration would be nice. Imagine being in a nice cabin with the fireplace slowly crackling. Gentle music flowing through the air, being surrounded by a soft, warm blanket, and the people you love. How dare you make the perfect image, Snom. Do you pay your taxes? Answer carefully. I'm not old enough yet. What's your opinion on the Charizard that belongs to Leon, the unbeatable champion? The hand symbol for its head looks like it's making a wah sound. I'm not wrong. Opinions on Legos? Behold. Fort. Has, uh, any Pokemon fan art ever scar ya? I'd prefer not to answer. Snom, it is time for the ultimate test! What is two plus two? Uh, 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 I'm just kidding, it's four. Aw, Snom's already smarter than Gura. If you could tell everyone in the entire world one thing right now, what would you say? <gasps> You're all beautiful people, and I believe in each and every one of you! You know, Jimmy, while I can't say that you've never been responsible for helping out the town, you also created or influenced the vast majority of major threats in the first place. The Yokians only came to Retroville because of your signal. The same goes for Meldar Prime, the Nanobots, Shirley, and Evil Jimmy were all your creations. You caused the Ice Age. You created the sentient pants. You made the sick patch. You turned your teacher into a 50-foot monstrosity, and you injured Santa Claus, almost ruining Christmas. The vast majority of this town's problems are caused, at least indirectly, by you. And you know what? In all honesty, that would be fine. 
You're very intelligent and you always do fix it. And in the end, it's extremely unlikely that you won't end up benefiting the world a lot more than you will damage it. My children and my children's children are probably going to live in a world free of war and disease, and I'll have to thank you for that. But fuck, dude. You can't keep using your intelligence as a way to escape your humanity. I didn't ask you to say salt because I thought a customer would seriously care or because I was insecure. I did it because it made you look weird, and I was trying to get you to adopt behaviors and use language that makes you come across like a normal fucking person. Everyone knows what sodium chloride is, but calling it that outside the context of a chemistry class makes you seem like someone who defines themselves solely by their intelligence, which is undeniably who you are. I know you think there's nothing wrong with being that person, dude, but there is. Taking your IQ and deciding that it elevates you above the rest of the planet is an awful decision that will lead to a life filled with misery and alienation. It will color every interaction you ever have and make it impossible to have real friends or relationships. I'm not saying that you won't have any, but they won't hold any meaning to you, and they certainly won't bring you any happiness. Sure, you'll probably manage a pity fuck or two your sophomore year of college after giving some drunk sorority girl a jetpack ride, but it will bring you nothing but emptiness. Maybe you'll eventually abandon women altogether and decide that your true love is science, secretly seething inside whenever you see a guy like Nick or Bulby getting married to someone he really cares about. Who cares about him? You'll say I'm exaggerating, but dude, look at how you treat the people in your life now. Carl and Sheen, quirks aside, really do see you as your friend. And they go through some serious shit if it meant helping you out of a scrape. Can you say that you see them the same way? As anything other than the only two kids your age willing to put up with your ridiculous ego? What have you ever done for them? Inventing doesn't count, dude. Even when you build something for someone else, you're really doing that for you. Every llama bot or ultra lore simulator is only created with the expectation of further praise. They're not friends to you, they're worshippers. And your parents? Lord, the way you treat them. You think I've got folks that care about me the way your mom and dad do working in a shithole like this? I wish. Every day your dad watches you scarf down the dinner your mom slaved to make for you and prays that you might think about spending some fucking time with him instead of disappearing in your lab to do God knows what. They watch you toy with dimensional warping science that they can't wrap their minds around on a daily basis and you laugh at them for worrying about you. Have you ever played catch with your dad, Jimmy? Ever asked him how his day at work was? You don't have a clue what I'd do for a dad like yours in my life, dude. And what about your mom? Why not invent something that'll make her life easier instead of gallivanting around the Bermuda Triangle to play with fucking seaweed? We both know the reason. She would thank you for it. She'd be happy to imagine a version of you that thought for an instant about the needs of another person but she wouldn't call you the greatest thing in the universe for it like your friends do. And in Neutron's world, whoever doesn't do that might as well not exist. Ignore me if you want. Keep going the way you're going, and I'll see you in 30 years lugging around 16 Nobel Prizes in your pocket as if they could substitute for a lifetime's worth of human love and interaction. You always mocked Calamitis for his inability to finish what he started. But the man had a wife and a daughter that tolerated him enough to want to stay in his life through everything. And at the rate you're going, I'd be amazed if you can manage the same with Goddard. The rest of Retroville Jimmy, they'll never be able to do what you do. They'll never be able to invent rockets or solve cold fusion or add three numbers together but they will find genuine friendship and love, and they will call it salt. And despite everything you accomplish, you'll only be remembered as nothing more than the man who wouldn't. Who couldn't, perhaps. Get out, dude. You're fired. Big McThankies from McSpankies. <laughs> Thank you.
POV. You're scrolling through Tumblr instead of facing your problems like a normal human being. You watch your mouth. Would you guys like to see the most unique, rare, and blessed photo I've ever taken? It's his day now. Beautiful. If the CIA believed we could go to alternate realities, we would have invaded one of them by now. You joke, but that's honestly entirely true. A CIA-backed coop of fairyland. BRB, you gonna shift to the oil dimension? I mean, to be fair, I'm fairly certain they've tried. I'm what you would consider, I could look it up, but it's more fun asking friends, gang. Uh, yeah. Has it been canonically determined if the Kool-Aid man is the pitcher or the juice yet? According to Wikipedia, canonically, he is the pitcher. He is traditionally filled with tropical punch Kool-Aid, but originally was filled with cherry Kool-Aid. However, he does appear to have some kind of magical effect on liquids, as the Kool-Aid stored inside him is more refreshing and hydrating than normal Kool-Aid, and his tears can apparently cause the dead to reincarnate. Man, Kool-Aid lore is deep. Oh, wait. That's sort of mine. What if the reason the creators of Monsters, Inc. waited 12 years to make Monsters University was because kids who watched Monsters, Inc. of the ages 5, 6, and 7 years are now 17, 18, and 19 and off to college? The same goes to Toy Story 3 and how Andy was giving up his toys, his childhood, and moving on off to college as well. What if they wanted to say goodbye to the child that loved their movies properly? I, I think they're onto something here. I'm in a really bad media diversity class, where the professor was trying to make a point to us about stereotypes, so he was like, When you think of Frankenstein, you probably think of a big green monster, right? And then when everyone in class was immediately like, No, it's the scientist, he pretended he didn't hear us. Well, millennial culture is knowing that Frankenstein is the scientist. So, have you fallen in love with me yet, or do I need to post more nonsense? <laughs> God nerfed me by making me allergic to garlic and sunlight. So, a vampire? I can confirm that I am not a vampire, as I have blood. Is it your blood? It is blood, yes. Is it blood that's always belonged to you from the moment of your spawning? It is blood. It is in my possession. Therefore, it is my blood. I do not like this interrogation. Please stop. Oh my god, how do you come up with this stuff? Well, I've been plagued by visions since birth. OP, that's called having eyes. My name isn't OP, it's Monty, and I bet God hasn't even spoken to you once. If you're over 5 foot 11, sorry, your pronouns are fee, fi, fo, and fum. Listen here, you little shit! If you're under 5 foot 11, sorry, your pronouns are oompa, loompa, doopity, and do. Nah, you look a little too young to drive there, kiddo. Shh, you work the gas, human, I'll do the steering. I thought about my fake little people for a bit too long. Now I have illnesses of the brain. <sighs> Same. Oh, well, conveniently wrapped packages of bananas. If only bananas had robust, natural, biodegradable packaging of their own. Some sort of peelable skin, perhaps. Ah, it's just a pipe dream, though. Tumblr isn't social media. It's a habit. Like smoking. We're all gathering by the dumpster in the cold, reblogging posts. I want to run away. But like in Ghibli movies. Like I take a block of cheese, a loaf of bread, and some apples and wander through the flowered speckled mountains wrapped up in a shawl, and I happen to wander into a moving castle and fall in love with a cute wizard. Me deep in the woods dragging a duffel bag of craft singles and hopelessly lost. Where's Totoro? Fish want me. Women fear me. Men fear me. Everyone fears me, for I am a menace to society. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Be on the lookout for the Big Bird Bandits. Two men arrested in charge after alleged Sesame Street- Alright, which one of you fucking kidnapped Big Bird? I know it was fucking one of you- People of Tumblr, it's World Sleep Day. Log off. Go back to bed. No! I am unable to proceed with the action of Ken. There are too many ghouls! Help me! I know this isn't a hot take or anything, but the amount of stress and anxiety that courses through me while going through a drive-thru is absolutely a match! Behold, Eurasian Eagle Owl Chicks. The laundry is alive, and it is angry. Diagnosed with just been in a kind of weird zone lately disorder, and it's terminal. It's not radiation poisoning, but the night is young. Hey, instead of saying queen or king, can we start saying yes, chef? Like in Hell's Kitchen? You know, when you think about it, How to Train Your Dragon is really just a horse girl movie. <laughs> I'd like to report an incident. What happened this time? Well, wouldn't you like to know? Unfortunately for everybody, I will keep doing whatever I want.
all urban fantasy fiction set in present day automatically sucks by refusing to acknowledge that dwarves would go apeshit for Minecraft. I don't know what an NFT is, and I'm too afraid to ask. Okay, imagine if you went up to the Mona Lisa and you were like, I'd like to own this. And somebody nearby went, give me $65 million and I'll burn down an unspecified amount of the Amazon forest in order to give you this receipt for purchase. So you paid them and they went, here's your receipt, thank you for your purchase, and went to an unmarked supply closet in the back of the museum and posted a handmade label inside it behind the brooms that said, Mona Lisa currently owned by Jacob Galapagos. So if anyone wanted to know who owns it, they'd have to find this specific closet in this specific hallway and look behind the correct brooms and you went, can I take the Mona Lisa home now? And they went, oh god no, what are you, stupid? You only bought the receipt that says you own it. You didn't actually buy the Mona Lisa itself. You can't take the real Mona Lisa, you idiot. You can take this though and give you a replica print, and a cardboard tube that's sold in the gift shop. Also, the person selling you the receipt of purchase has at no point in time ever owned the Mona Lisa. Unfortunately, if this doesn't really make sense or seem like any logical person would be happy about this exchange, then you've understood it perfectly. An octopus is just a wet spider. What have you done? I woke up today and chose the H in ADHD. <laughs> <laughs> Nine out of ten dentists recommend me. Number ten fears me. Ugh, my child is fine. Ma'am, your child kins Kara from Undertale. Oh, you're gay? So which is the builder and which is the redstoner? Today I learned in ancient Thebes there was a fairly successful band of warriors consisting entirely of 150 gay couples. They were chosen based on the idea that you fight better when trying to impress your lover. Me about to lob a spear straight into a guy's heart. Babe, watch this! Oh, what a beautiful night. <gasps> a full moon! Oh no! What does this even- Oh, fuck you! Did It's Hot in Topeka really just stick with anyone else who watched 2000's Cartoon Network, or was that just me? Literally everyone ever. Oh god, it's hot. My brain for the past 15 years. In Topeka. The term straight kind of implies every other sexuality is bent, and that's rude. No, but the other sexualities could be like twirled and shaped like stars, you know? Hey, what are you? Lopsided triangle, what about you? Dude, squiggly line! The opposite of imposter syndrome, or I do deceive my way into an industry and I enjoy it. Infiltrator syndrome. <laughs> you laugh, but those people are real. I don't want to live in a society. I want to sit in a test chamber and respond to stimuli. And get juice reward. And get juice reward. Lin-Manuel Miranda said in an interview that he wrote the song You're Welcome for Maui once he knew the character would be voiced by Dwayne The Rock Johnson because he thought that Dwayne The Rock Johnson would be the one person on earth who could sing something so egotistical and have us completely convinced we should be thanking him and honestly, he's not wrong. This just further proves my theory that he added in the Maui can do everything but float line, knowing that people would be making the pun about the reason floating is the only thing Maui can't do is because he's the rock! Hey, uh, sorry if this is stupid, but the earth has, like, mountains and valleys and stuff, you know? So I don't see how it can be flat. If there's mountains and stuff, I'm, I'm sorry if it's stupid, I'm sorry. The New York Times, our animated dad's getting hotter. An investigation. All right, hold it. Anime dads have always been hot. These clowns were too slow to realize it. Why bully others when you can bully yourself? <laughs> Why is a dead wife so common as a backstory for male heroes when divorce exists and it's 10,000 times funnier? Ever since I lost my wife, I swore I would push myself to become the greatest hero this city has ever seen. Still not taking you back, Jared? Well, fuck you too, Stacy! With all the love you've gotten, how are you not involving? I have an Everstout in my throat. The neurodivergent experience is talking about your brain as if it's a separate entity from yourself. Yeah, and it's a bastard. Dracula is trans. W what's your proof? 
Well, he doesn't live in Sylvania. I can't argue with that logic. Can we please talk about the Google Scorpion emoji? Look at it. Dangerous babies. I accept it. DC Superhero Girls has given me many things. But by far, my favorite thing is that they had the best incarnation of Bruce Wayne. And I say that not as like, oh, this is 10,000% who Batman is. No. I mean that they have the best version of billionaire playboy Bruce Wayne. Better than even the movies have gotten for one sole reason. I want you to take a look at this bougie himbo. One fucking look. And tell me who in their right mind would believe that this man is the goddamn Batman. He's too pretty, too well put together, too big a himbo, too covered in fucking camera crews and groupies to ever pull it off. No one would even ever fucking consider this gem of a man could do it, but he does, and it works so fucking well. And oh my god, it's my new favorite thing. All right, Opie, your post was missing one crucial detail. This perfection. Hey, Mario, stop jumping to conclusions. Me. Yeah! Woohoo! Yahoo! Earth's boring, it's time to mix things up a little. After the year we just had? Politics bore me, but Yellowstone Super Volcano intrigues me. Let's do something with that. There are real teens out there who think discovering Nirvana is a special achievement. Isn't that kind of the whole point of Buddhism? <laughs> this post is slowly killing me. When you're the oldest in the squad and shower them with advice and affection. Hello, children! I am the fairy squad mother! Oh no, please help me, I'm melting in acid, Uwu! Why should I extend my mercy to you? Look at my new sweater! It's the cute, right? The salesperson said it was called Jazzberry Jam. <coughs> hey! Why are you smiling like that? What's so funny? <coughs> oh no! Oh no, it's a Pidgey! Oh my god, guys, I'm so screwed. I have nothing that could beat this. I have no choice but to use the greatest invention of all time, the Master Ball. Go! <laughs> speed test on Tumblr be like, High speed cloud load, 100 silly bytes per speed. Stewing in rage? Stewing in agony? Ugh. Why don't you try stewing in some warm chicken lime broth with spices and vegetables? <gasps> oh, that sounds good. Before blaming others, think. What's the one constant in all your failed relationships? It's that cursed amulet. Why do you even have that? Get that, get that out of there. How to kiss a boy. Grab his waist, slip your hand in his pocket, steal his wallet, don't even kiss him. Just run. Today I learned about the stoned ape theory. The idea that ingestion of psychedelic mushrooms was the evolutionary catalyst from which language, projective imagination, the arts, religion, philosophy, science, and all of human culture sprang. Oh damn it, I hate it when I'm an ape just eating mushrooms and then I eat the wrong one and I invent French. Sometimes I look back on my childhood memories and go, oh yeah. That was the ADHD. <laughs> you are not alone. There's bugs. Thanks, I hate it. I googled robot eat and was not disappointed. He's trying! The tone difference in foraging guides between native plants and invasive plants is literally so funny to read. Terry, I'm gonna need some examples. All right. Foraging guide entry on native plants. Make sure you only take a small amount from a well-established patch. Leave some for the wildlife and yourself next year. Please get involved in land restoration programs to protect this plant for the future. Foraging guide entry for Japanese knotweed. Rip, rip, tear, kill, rat, destroy. Eat, 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 No, Zelda was the scientist. That little guy smashing pots is Zelda's monster. Oh, you've heard of the gay agenda, but have you heard of the queer quest? The pan plan? The sapphic schedule? The asexual arrangement? The bi big idea? The closeted course of action? Or my personal favorite? The demisexual disposition. Aw, oh, man. My vibe test came back negative. Six out of ten posts, the joke hits, but it's not that funny. 
What the fuck? Today on Facts I Just Made Up, parrots can repeat nearly any phrase they're taught, but can't repeat most recent songs due to copyright issues. And that's why they need pirates. A Dark Souls-like game where the lore for the weapon gets less vague the more you upgrade it. The Broken Blade, a brittle sword. You can't seem to let it go. Unpolished Blade, a cherished weapon from ages past. Polished Blade, you remember something. Bride's Blade, your wife's sword. You know, at first I wanted to make this funny, but it just made me sad. Wife in the background. I'm still alive. Give that back. Honestly... It's probably for the best that what Pumpkin Studios crashed and burned is a video game developer. Can you imagine a world of sponsored YouTube videos where instead of the host banging on about RAID SHADOW LEGENDS, you just randomly get ambushed with, But first, let me tell you about Homestuck. Oh god damn it, the Fahrenheit defenders have logged on. My defense of Fahrenheit is that 69 degrees is ideal weather in Fahrenheit, but dead people weather in Celsius. Well, great news, everyone. I have decided to endorse Fahrenheit. When you make a great joke and even God approves of it. Hey! Hey! I can tell that I annoy some people. That they call me clingy, overexcited, or even just too happy to be around them. Like, it's fake. I won't lie. Some days, I do feel like I'm faking it. Because I'm afraid to upset people. I overthink. And I think about the day they'll be gone. <laughs> when I do, all I want to do is hold them and care for them. No matter how much I'm afraid they'll hate me for being too much for them. <laughs> and then I feel stupid. Because they'll never see that side of me, what my existence is, and they'll always feel right. And when I reach that point, I go home to let out my feelings, where I feel like I can do that without being judged. And some days... I feel like it's easier to just stay home. So, since we got a lot of duplicate questions, I took the most frequently asked ones this time around for this video. So, ready, CC? Ready! <laughs> Alrighty, question number one. It says Sienna has based her physical form on someone on Earth. Who were they? Oh, Tanya! Oh gosh, she was this beautiful earthling model many decades ago. Someone who is considered the plus-sized to what Earth considered a normal size for humans. And she was very proud of her looks, shape, and height. To me, she was the most beautiful human I ever saw in my life. I also honored her life by carrying on her last name. Sadly, she never had anyone else to give it to. She was so sweet. I wish I got the chance to meet her. Qu question two before we cry from the get-go. <clears throat> what happens to Sienna during odd moon phases like blood moon, super moon, blue moon, etc.? Oh, well, it's kind of a drawback to having made a physical form. My mentor has a similar problem during particular phases where they cannot control their dragon form. I <laughs> cannot control my bunny form. <laughs> Cute little corners of the wear bunny. She becomes extra fluffy. Shush! You know that nickname embarrasses me! Fine, fine, question three. Did Sienna really not know what a waifu was? G g Listen, I cannot keep up with all the May Mays you Earthlings have. I feel like every day something new comes out that I have to research and understand. Yeah, but that came out like eons ago. A show called Azamanga Dayo coined it. Azamanga what the now? <laughs> Never mind, question four. Oh god, this one. <sighs> is Sienna a space milf? What is the milf? Oh, wait, I know! The man I like frogs term! I have never seen a frog in space, but I do love the frogs on Earth! Hmm, <laughs> got him. Question five. Sionica shapeshift. Is there a limit to what she can do? 
It's tricky. I can only really change my appearance, but not my height. So if someone asked me to shift into a cat, well, <laughs> I'd be a five foot two cat person thing. Before someone tells him us question six, what would happen if a werewolf was hugged or even touched by Sienna? Huh, you know, in all my years of living, I've never tried that. To be fair, it's not like a human would out themselves as a werewolf, and even then, most werewolves in cinema tend to look very mean, so I don't know if I could. What if it was the werewolf from Van Helsing? <laughs> Hush, you! Question seven! Can Sienna go out in the rain? I can, although... <laughs> Grief and Asai have a hard time. <laughs> the moment they get hit with that water, Grape swells up and Asai becomes a long, wobbly noodle. <laughs> it's like those crazy things that you see in front of the, um, the wobbly men. You know, um, humans love them. They're always in front of, um, car dealerships, you know. <laughs> Let's move on to the last question before you bust a gut. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Final question. How does Sienna stay so happy? Um, honestly, I have my rough days. And that's okay. Everyone has rough patches. It was much harder when I was by myself for so long. But to have all these wonderful people, Grape, Asai, Shiro, Kevin, my friends on Earth, they give me reasons to smile more, and that no matter how rough the days get, as long as I know people out there will be there for me, even if it's just a simple message, I feel better. I hope that helps in some sort of way. But, but, but before we go, there is one final request from a certain someone. Grape asked you to translate this voice message for him. Huh? Oh, sure. Lean into the camera and say the phrase. Wait. You both tricked me. Gotta go, everyone. Bye. It's a cringe combination. Let's be a little bit more honest with ourselves. There. Okay, bye. Man, chickens really went off when they made eggs. Uh, eggs really went off when they made chicken. This is a real philosophical conundrum. Hmm. WTF, people actually tell the crushes they like them? Well, what the hell do you do? <laughs> I die. <laughs> what kind of question? Happy Pride Month to all my LGBTQ plus friends, and happy Kia Summer Sales Event to all my straight trademark friends. Very tiny animals fill me with both love and anxiety. You are divine, but please be careful. Thing exists. <gasps> Miniature version of thing exists. <gasps> Miniature version is functional. <gasps> Adventure Time slang is weird, because like when you first watch the show and hear the slang, you're like, oh, this is a cringy slang, but it's not like awful. But it gets to the point where the voice actors deliver the slang so naturally you don't even notice it, and it's just part of the world's vernacular. I can't think of any other show that's done in-universe slang like this. Finn be like, Oh man, this frappin' dude just ginked up and went flippo over the junkin' fence! Me, three seasons into the show. Wow, he really did, huh? Hmm, my tummy kinda hurts. Guess I have going to die disease. I ate one banana, now I'm gonna live forever! Tonight's headline, anti-gay group leader's wife leaves him for another woman. Alright, stop. If this isn't the best thing you haven't seen all day, then I don't know what to tell you. No offense, but do I look like I understand anything? A niche character trope I like is the person who is a nice, good person and acts well-adjusted. Then they do something where it's like, Oh, you're secretly a little bit insane, actually. I mean, I guess I could try dressing as an actual member of society instead of a disheveled, hungover swamp witch, but the question is, why? Try to stay cool this summer? I hate you. This is a man who flirts with death. He's eating ice cream, which is brutal cannibalism. He isn't even completely in the shade, and yet he fixes the viewer with a smug look. 
as if to challenge us. As if to challenge the gods of death themselves. I mean, just, just try to stay cool, you know? Hey, nice frontal lobe. Don't mind if I... Stir like a latte. <laughs> ah, the procedure was a success. Sometimes art is finished, and sometimes art is just at the point where you, if you have to look at it for another minute, you'll snap and commit crimes! I'm very passionate about STEM. Soup to eat, mm! Imagine being the guy who discovered microorganisms trying to explain to people that you promise there are millions of little secret guys on everything. Thanks, I hate it. Indie horror games are like, you are in a house. But what's that? Concept. Jeff Bezos' Orden story film where his mother's chased off a cliff by a horde of angry Amazon workers. Hey, man, the idiots are all gonna go down the Little League field to laugh at baseball fanatics. Who's coming? Explain Kingdom Hearts. Well, it's a fun game for ten-year-olds, except there's constant existential dread and multiple people being ruthlessly murdered and the ever-looming threat that your friends will turn on you against their will. Oh, and Mickey, Donald, and Goofy are there, and Donald dies in one scene. It, is, is the Kingdom Hearts fandom okay? We've never been okay. Guys... <laughs> Watch his hair blatantly intersect with the lockers. So my college animation professor worked on Jimmy Neutron and he was just like, Listen, yeah, we knew. We just didn't have the time or money to care. The power would go out the studio at least once a week and they would have to just leave until it came on the next day. Jimmy Neutron's production team saw some shiz. I had a guest speaker come to my class that worked on Jimmy Neutron as an animator and said it was basically a fever dream. I think we need a documentary slash oral history about the making of Jimmy Neutron. Yeah. Dude, stop telling me to count Dracula. I've only ever seen the one. That's why they keep telling you. You haven't counted the others. Huh? 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 ADHD is really just like me in the middle of a breakdown still crying. Ooh, I should redesign this OC of mine. It's really annoying to get bored of your emotional breakdown while you're having an emotional breakdown. Me, impatient as trauma is actually happening. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna have to wade through the five stages over this again? Can I just, like, you know, skip it? I don't zone out. Being zoned out is my default state, and I occasionally zone back in to check how things are going. Reality is just one of the hundreds or so tabs I keep running at any given time. Ah, you! You get it. You're MB, but you call yourself a bitch. Bitch is a female dog, by the way. Why? I am on the floor. Didn't you know bitch and bastard are gendered terms and thus you must use the neutral bitchard? Please, a bitchard was my father. Just call me dick. When I was 12, I got banned from Yahoo Answers. And when I emailed support to be like, what did I do? I got a really vague answer that just said, you know what you did. And it still haunts me to this day. I throw pies at short people asks, How tall are you? This is a direct threat. Attention everyone! Horny Bard is cancelled! We're bringing the dad bard to the table. Bardic inspiration? Because I believe in you, champ. Vicious mockery? It's all dad jokes. Seducing NPCs? Nope, we're using persuasion to get them to give you information you need because I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. Jack of all trades? Yeah, your old dad knows a little bit about everything. Song of rest? It's called tucking you in and giving you a bedtime story. And be the one to split up party treasure and tell them that this is their allowance. Mix up your game, put your pot in a polo shirt and cargo shorts, hit that party with some big dad energy. But guys, dad bard with the dad bard. Guys, did I ever tell you about the time I completely accidentally ruined a professionally made campaign for D&D &D and thanks to a single roll? Please explain. Okay, so we had to fight our way to the bottom of a castle to stop a group of cultists from summoning an orc god to the world. And we got there and the ritual was already going. So I ran up to the god who had already begun to manifest and cast Finger of Death, which kills any target it touched if they fail a fortitude roll. Since he was a god, he had good constitution and would have certainly survived. Except the DM rolled a one and the god exploded. <laughs> oh, that's good shit. I love it. What if I get inside your mind and make you gay and then leave? I won't let you leave. Well, what am I supposed to do in here? Do it again. Make me gayer. Hey. Shout out to every Pokemon in Mystery Dungeon that can only speak in caps.
Gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss this, and mansplain, manipulate, male wife that. What about reduce, reuse, recycle? Hey, you. You're onto something. Dark emails. To whom it will concern. Now that this email has found you... I hope this email finds you before I do. Please stop! My Roomba is scared of thunderstorms. I was sitting at my desk just a few minutes ago drawing and a really loud crack of thunder went off. No power surges or anything, just thunder. And my Roomba fled from its dock and started spinning in circles. I currently now have an active Roomba sitting quietly on my lap. <sighs> Humans will pack bond with anything. Why should LGBT spaces cater to trans and non-binary people? <clears throat> That's the tea, sis. <coughs> I just spat out my tea. <gasps> my tea, oh my god! Mwah. Vibe check. I have an overwhelming urge to make bad decisions, trademark, and no one will let me! Section 5. Washington's army did not receive any support from Godzilla. I mean, well, it's technically true. So my history teacher would give you half a point or quarter point for an answer that was not wrong. This was not wrong. Behold, Icelandic sheep. Where are they going? To Valhalla! Kind of fucked up and nasty how many vampires drink blood in my opinion. Like, Pepsi costs $1.75. Okay, where are you when you're getting Pepsi for $1.75? That shit's like two thirty minimum. Hospital. Who the fuck is paying two thirty for a Pepsi? Not me, I'm paying $1.75. At the hospital. I pay like two fifty, but I'm Canadian. I feel like we're getting off topic. Blood is free? So is Pepsi if you steal it. Why does OP get their Pepsi from the hospital? Because it's only a dollar seventy-five. Why in God's name would a vampire drink Pepsi? Well, why would anyone drink Pepsi? Ah, found the femboy. Wait, what? Huh? Am I having a stroke? Yeah, I think I'm having a stroke. You might want to go to a hospital then. I hear the Pepsi is cheaper there. <sighs> And that's why I'm not a fan of sexy vampire trope. It's overused and supports current status quo of the typical vampire supremacy, worshipping rich folk. Vampires prey upon humans and therefore symbolize capitalists preying on the working class. And three, werewolves are much sexier in my opinion. Constantly wants to draw things outside of my artistic abilities. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I put the by in bitch. Final note for the day. Sheep can die from heat exhaustion if they aren't sheared. Also, their skin secretes lanolin, which quickly soothes and heals any nicks they get during shearing. In conclusion, it is good to peel the sheeps. Please peel your sheeps! When you are lonely, I'll be right here. When you are sad, your heart's full of fear Don't be scared, darling I'll always be near Here to hold your hand and tell you It's gonna be okay <sighs> Guys, if I can be totally honest right now I'm really flattered that you think I know what I'm doing because I don't. Yeah, even for a second. Oh, to be around, little bird, and to say beep from time to time. The best times. There is no winner in D&D. &D. Oh, you are so wrong, it's laughable. The winner is whoever can make the DM create the most new rules. And I will always win. Does the science side of Tumblr actually exist? Science side of Tumblr, what do you think? I'm glad you're thinking positively. I do not care if I reblog something I've reblogged before. My memory is weaker than lead in a mechanical pencil. If you signed up for my show, you signed up for some reruns too. <laughs> I can I can even say that over my own channel. This is gonna sound stupid, but I'm amazed at baby capy bars because they are truly are baby capy bars. There's so many animals, you guys, so many where the babies just look like Tiny primordial creatures compared to the mature ones. But baby capy bars are just little, little capy bars. They just start out like that. Know what I mean? I do. Lowercase.
Today I learned that wolf packs might exist because ravens eat so much of their meat. When one wolf kills a moose, 47% is lost to the birds, while a pack of six loses only 17%. The team witnessed a single wolf killing a moose 11 times, which weakened the notion that wolves hunt in packs because of difficulty. So wolves hunt in packs so they can plausibly tell carrion birds, I'm sorry, you can't stay with us, there's just, there's just no seats left. I'm sorry, but why did the wolf have to kill the moose 11 times? Won't it just stay dead? Have you heard of a zombie moose? No? Then thank your local wolves. Garlic dead, why are you always so mean? Sorry, when I was younger, a Tumblr user pushed my mom off a cliff. Somewhere in the world right now, there is a cat making bread and purring. I need you to always remember that. <laughs> Thank you, Gooey. Sometimes I think about how Token said golf exists in Middle Earth and then just never mentioned it again. Ever. Token, can we talk about it, please? The bar was so low, it was practically a tripping hazard in hell. Yet here you are, limbo dancing with the devil. OP, this is such a raw line. What the fuck? Damn, boy, she thick. Thoughtful, honest, interesting, caring, and compassionate. Look at it! Beautiful. You ever think about the kind of guy who makes a cursed amulet? Like, whoever puts this on is gonna have a nasty surprise. <laughs> Get a real hobby. <laughs> Cranky because you're cursed, aren't you? I throw a pie as a tall people asks, How tall are you? Aha! Nice try, pie thrower. Five foot eleven. Get out of my house! So this thing right here. This is pretty handy for monster and creature recordings because hands-free, you don't have to worry about knocking in anything. It really helps you get into character a lot more. Observe. easy as that. Yeah. Oh, this idea is ridiculous, but here we go. Remembering the time I ate an entire loaf of pumpkin bread and my mom got so enraged she called me a little loaf-eating freak. If your hands are cold, it's just your ghost boyfriend holding your hand. <laughs> my feet are cold. A professor asked if I prefer Miss or Mister because NB, and I accidentally said, Ya yeah, boy, without thinking. So now I have a professor that calls me Ya yeah, boy Rogers every time I see him. Uh, I'm not seeing the problem. I want to be a cat. Jobless, educationless, useless. There to be pretty and soft. Ah yes, the reign of terror. Commonly known as white boy summer. You ever dip your entire Oreo in milk except for the part where you're holding it and feel like this is dipping newborn Achilles into the river Styx, leaving him invulnerable everywhere except for his heel? Yeah. Today, a student emailed over a draft of his essay of 1984 and it clearly used a thesaurus on every single word. And how I know this is because the party slogan, Big Brother is watching you, had become, Enormous sibling is viewing you. And I laughed so hard. <laughs> Local mage runs out of mana and just starts hitting shit with her staff. Mm, good times. I finally fixed the problem. Restroom with urinal, restroom without urinal. Where is your god now, Gender Rose? You used your Jones Fabrics gift card on snacks. The snacks in the front. That was for crafts. I gave it to you for crafts. Period. Apartment complex? I actually find it quite... Uh, no, no, well... Ah, uh, no, 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 yes. Yeah. I am caught setting the Disney headquarters on fire, but it's okay. Because I actually have this tragic backstory where all my dreams got chased off a cliff by capitalism when I was a kid. Why did I make that guy semi-Australian? Watch a typical day like... I wake up. I malfunction. I call it a day. Why are logos so boring and minimal now compared to 15 to 20 years ago? It's because we have phones now. That's literally it. They have to be visible at one quarter of an inch. There, I saved you like an entire year's worth of design school. It's a wild dream of mine that one day you will read one of my dumbass posts, but it'd make my day if you did. 
I'd really love all the awesome stuff you do, and I hope you have a lovely day slash night. What well, a weird dream to have. But maybe if I answer this ridiculously enough, someone may submit it to me to read. Hmm. Minty giraffes. I shall now return to attempt to monkey. Becomes feral instead. Fuck! So before we start, I wanted to greet our new editor, Andy, who has taken on the job as long as I don't do that British accent video again. We're cool, right, Andy? Right? You're not gonna do anything bad to me, right? I own you! Okay, fine, fine, I'm cool, I'm fine. Anyway, let's start the show. My four-year-old points to the label on my teabag and says, What does that say? Me. It says over 300 years of experience. It means the people at Twinnings have been making tea for 300 years. <gasps> they haven't even died? Tea vampires. I think you mean immortality. You may live forever, but there is a steep cost. Hey, listen. In English, any noun can become a verb if you don't care enough. This point is invalid unless you use an example in your sentence. I... I can sentence how I want, thank... <gasps> Beautiful! You see, that's why I love English. I like to velociraptor around my house at two in the morning. Good! My headache makes me want to clothesline into a wall. Why do these make some semblance of sense? Because brains don't brain logically. Brains do brain logically! But when English doesn't logic Englishly, brain brains by itself to logic that English! I... HATE that this makes sense. Ugh, get off your high horse. The high horse. <laughs> you know, Amero can, but Amero shouldn't. Can this be our foreign policy from now on? Please? 2018 is the year we stop using kinks people don't want to see as punchlines and focus on what's actually funny. We'll start with the crab jungle. Ah, good old Krungle. Jesus, this post is old. Are you available? Nah, no, sold out. Discontinued. Limited edition. Region locked. Like Mother 3. <laughs> How dare you! I am a big fan of the way moles sit in dirt with their arms out like they're in a hot tub. Ah, <sighs> decadence. Oh, to be a mole in a dirt hot tub. Good morning! Just woke up from a lovely dream where Julius Caesar turned into a cat boy in a maid dress in order to avoid being stabbed. Keep going, LP. Why did... Why does this sound like something Fates would do? Does Fates have this character? Andy, does Fates have this character? Please look it up for me. No offense to gamers, but fuck Mario. He's not even a real plumber. <gasps> t t too far. He's a mass murderer, killing thousands of innocent Goombas and Koopas, and not to mention the millions of toads he slaughters. Y'all are forgetting his truest crime. Andy, put up the evidence of him killing Yoshi. You know, people say, you're autistic. Does that mean you take everything literally? And I'm like, nah, that's kleptomaniacs. Congratulations to Definitely Craig on being the funniest person alive! My school's rival school is on lockdown right now because someone put weed in the vents, so everyone's slowly getting high. Oh my god. I guess now you can call it a high school, man. <laughs> yeah. Clicking submit on my papers not because they're done, but because I'm done with them. Yeah, men kiss each other. I saw it in Google Images. I thought this was a command. <gasps> Men kiss each other. Let me be perfectly clear. Uh, oh, I, I see. Wait, wait, where's the rest of the fish? You ever notice how John Mulaney and Kronk have the same voice, but on different pitches? Try it, I dare you. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, the poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison chosen specifically to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. Oh my god, wait, wait. How did you- Allow me to tell you a tale of a dragon who detached himself from the planet he once was. Many eons ago, there was a dragon in the planet 
be protected. They were one and the same. The life that sustained itself on that planet took everything for granted. They waged war on their resources. They tarnished the very forces they needed to survive. Their souls became tainted and twisted with hatred. The dragon was afraid that this was all his doing by providing the very things they fought so viciously for. As time wore on, so did the last breaths of that planet. The dragon, in a cowardice state, tried to free himself from the very thing he was. Before that planet disintegrated, he was able to set himself free, looking on in remorse, wondering if he was perhaps at fault. But that planet finally vanished. For many eons, that dragon soared across the universe, with no home, no protection, only themselves. To this day, they wonder if they regret their decision. And I tell you this tale now, little one, because I feel that the planet Earth itself has done a similar act upon itself. A very spirit who has detach themselves from the earth, whether to protect themselves from what the earth has done, or to run away from their mistakes. Only time will tell. My 19-year-old brother puts sports bottle lids on his chocolate milk. Thank you for sharing his wisdom with us. I'll take six! Youth culture is feeling like if you don't succeed by 25, someone will literally come kill you. <laughs> I've never identified with something more than this. And it's gonna be the Duolingo Burdu. I swear Burdu really learned Spanish to save me! When you become famous, you're called a legend because your leg ends. What? Your leg, it ends. I'm not a linguist, but I think that's wrong. Are you saying your leg doesn't end? I mean, at some point it does, yes. Then what's the problem? Andy, do you get any of this? Shout out to Bilbo for not initiating mass murder when the dwarves ate all of his food because if it was me, I would have ended the line of Durin over the small block of cheese. Never forget how close he came, though. That is the face of a person who wants to murder. I think this bird got confused when someone told him he belonged in the sky. He decided to be the sky instead. Oh my god, look at that baby! Since you are demisexual, does that mean you make god-like garlic bread? I is that... Is that something we do? Andy, Andy. H help me out here. Am I supposed to be doing that? D why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry. I'm a bun, I'm a bun, I'm a tasty, tasty bun To be baked and kneaded, oh how fun Today I learned spiders don't have muscles in their legs. They extend them using a system of hydraulics powered by their blood pressure. When they die, spider legs curl up because the blood pressure is gone. Yeah, haters will see me moving via a complex system of hydraulics and be like, Yo, he can't afford muscles! Dan and I bought a thing called Long ZD from the local weird bargain store. Largely as a joke, but I have never had a more unsettling pasta experience in my life. They wouldn't bend enough to cook from top to bottom simultaneously, and while they were cooking, boiling water kept spouting out from the tops of them out of the pot like a boiling pipe organ. Then they were so long and floppy and hose-like that we couldn't pick them up with anything other than tongs, and they were so long and unwieldy that it was basically impossible to sauce them without them all slithering out of the bowl like wet snakes. They then proceeded to cool down almost completely within the seconds it took to walk into the living room. Eating them was like eating a bowl full of half-melted drinking straws. Ah, yes. Real-life creepypasta. You know, in retrospect, Stranger Things is a very normal show. C can you explain? Mm, no. Hey. Bye, people. Behold. Boop69. 042069. Holy fuck! Oh yes, the four Hogwarts houses. Punch, lie, hug, and think. I... Yeah, pr yeah, pretty much. Oh look, Captain Idiot got himself stuck in a box. Oh, there he goes. 
plotting escape. <laughs> Squishy. How about an animated sitcom about a Frankenstein-type character who lives with his reanimated friends in a spooky castle? It's called Making Friends. For, it's, wait, 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 scratch that. It's not just a Frankenstein-type character. It's just regular Victor Frankenstein. His first creation and best friend is called Monster, and he's the straight man normal person of the two while Victor is the wacky one. I need this. I need this. I need this in my life. I need to make it. Andy, copyright this right now. Do it for me. Go, 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 go. go. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster. 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 Rolls up to the animal shelter. Can I get a fucking uh, boneless bar? I creep around the house like a spooky little entity, standing in doorways and causing entire packets of briskets to disappear in the night. <laughs> and finally, the difference between wolves and coyotes. Wolves go, Ooh. Coyotes go, ah! Making sure the mic works, making sure the mic works, making sure the mic works. Andy, please don't put this in. I thought my jokes were bad. You know what? I trust him. Now, there's more than three fables on why you shouldn't. Have you ever thought about how weird sleeping is? Like, we basically dress ourselves in special sleeping clothes and lay on special sleeping mats, then pretend the next few hours completely comatose, all while hallucinating vividly. S stop. 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 Uh, no. I can't. I can't deal with this right now. The phrase, this made me think of you, is my favorite thing someone can ever say to me. That said, Andy, I got you this rad frog with a tiny hat. Made me think of you. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, I love this. This is amazing. He looks like he's about to write one of those me and intellectual posts. You bark. Me an intellectual. Hmm. Tree trunk. Today I learned a star discovered 75 light years away is no warmer than a freshly brewed cup of coffee. Youch! That's still pretty hot. Behold a rare render of Bowser from Mario Golf in the Nintendo 64. The Assad work was never released as a standalone image and can only be found in magazines and other third-party materials released around 1999. Look at Bowser. He's just pointing at that ball going, BOOM! I can domesticate him! Some ancient Egyptian staring at a cat circa 7500 BC. I think you mean some ancient cat staring at an Egyptian circa 7500 BC. Guys! Guys! You're both right. You ever open up a fic and barely a paragraph in, your whole body starts trembling with giddy excitement? The plot is exactly right, and the atmosphere and the voice are all soul-singingly good right at the very beginning, and you have to stop yourself from hooting like crazy old wizard because... Oh, oh, Ooh, this one's gonna be good! If Sans was non-binary, I guess you could say he's... Sans gender. <laughs> Why do little kids get all the cool clothes? What if I want a shirt with a stegosaurus driving an excavator on it, huh? Why does the fashion industry not think about that? <sighs> High school is so funny in hindsight. The entire time you're there thinking it's the most important period of your life, and then the second you're out, you're like, well, that was fucking stupid. Yeah, I don't... I don't remember anything about high school. Except that I know it filled me with a lot of existential dread. Writing prompt. You don't have an angel or a devil on your shoulder. You have an angry viking and a 50s housewife. Uh, both are telling me to solve my problems with murder. The debate is over the method. Midwest emos scare the shit out of me. How the hell do you grow up in a cornfield and come out listening to mindless self-indulgence? What the fuck happened in that cornfield? Well, I can't speak on Midwest emos, but I can speak on upstate New York emos who also have cornfields. Andy, uh, put my face in a cornfield for this shot. There's nothing here. Everything sucks. I'd rather kill myself. Hey, yo, catch these hands! With your hands! We're holding hands now. This is nice. Oh, my god, I'm responsible for me. What have I done? You're telling me this article is bi? 
What's that? This former is trans too? It, it took me a hot second. Anyone else constantly on edge because we're in the final stages of late capitalism and these next couple of decades are gonna be make or break the Western world? And this just happens to coincide with the part of my life where I'm supposed to make something of myself? You know, you didn't have to say it with words. I agree. So that said, Andy, do me a favor. One last one for the video. Uh, give me a perfectly cut explosion right here, and- What do you mean you don't imagine animations in your head every time you hear a good song? Uh, oh. Oh, indeed. Man, these 20s really ain't roaring, man. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Sad. Shout out to all the people who identify with gifted kid burnout syndrome who are probably just neurodivergent but weren't diagnosed as a child who used to devour books like it was nothing and never really understood why the protagonist would leave their cool fantasy world behind to go back home at the end of the story and are now extremely disappointed in reality and use escapism as their primary coping mechanism. How's that bisexuality and deep-rooted anger at the school system going for you? Wow, excuse me. I didn't expect to be mentally stripped naked like a chicken in this corner of Wendy's. Excuse me. Why is it so small? It's a baby. Thank you, science side of Tumblr. Today I learned King James IV put twin babies on an island to see if the children would speak the language of Eden. Children developed a communication method, but the experiment failed because no one else knew what language of Eden sounded like. <sighs> the Middle Ages, everyone. So, I was talking to a boy today and called him dude, and he goes, Hey! Hey, whoa! I'm not your dude. I want to go by bro. And the very first thing that popped into my head was, Wow, he has preferred pronouns. Oh my god. Uh, uh, Andy? Andy? What would you like your preferred pronouns to be? After all these years, finally, we have them all. Yeah, I use this pro gamer technique called hitting every single button frantically with my little raccoon hands until something happens. You probably wouldn't get it. It's really, really advanced. Uh, that's how I play Genshin. Do you think that in like 40 years, teens will be calling the Supernatural finale extremely progressive for its time? I think in 40 minutes, I'll be outside your house with a knife. Thunder. Head smash. Gunk shot. Foul play. The real non-binary agenda. All right. Which one of you snitched? Who fucking did it? <sighs> Beach boys. City girls. Mountain goats. Hey, wait. Ain't this the trio from Percy Jackson? Although they have a reputation as scavengers, hyenas are known to take down prey many times bigger than they are. I like how this implies a hyena took down the airplane. God, I would have loved to have seen that. I'm sure we all would have loved to have seen that, just to know what it was like. Andy, can you do me a favor? <laughs> I theorize that queer people might love the italicized O oh moment in romance novels and fanfics because we experienced it in real life when we realized we were queer. We've had that moment where all the pieces click together and suddenly everything makes sense. We stood dumbfounded as a ton of little things suddenly stand out blazing in hindsight. We realized how obvious it's been all this time, and suddenly everything seems different and terrifying and wonderful. We've had that seismic shift, learning something that can never, ever be unlearned. And genuinely, the only thing you can really say is, Oh, it's part of our love language, and I will use it in every fanfic I write until I die. Good on you, user little star lost. Behold, water in the air captured at just the right timing to look like Mario jumping. What were the odds? I think you mean, what are the odds? No. Transing your gender, please do not turn off the console. <laughs> yeah, I turned off the console while my gender was being trans done like a fucked up corrupted gender. I tilted the gender cartridge in the console so it made my gender wiggle around in a humorous manner. <laughs> Try it. 
tasty cookie warmed in Owen. No, 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 thank you, Owen. No, no, no. I feel like people do not fully understand how much life changed for our species between 1900 and 2000. I still struggle to comprehend it. These events are 66 years apart! To give some perspective, chariots were invented circa 2000 BC and were the fastest form of transportation known to man for around 3800 years until the trains in the 1800s. Then a hundred years later, we were flying, and 66 years later, we were on the moon. Sienna would be so proud of y'all. You ever see shit that just makes you think, I know I'm very online, but I'm not online enough for this one. Yeah, <laughs> it's called Reddit. ADHD is so funny. It's like being possessed, but with myself. Me, desperately. Can we please, please get something done? My inner demon, who is also me. Oh, the enjoyment I get from removing the wax packaging from a little cheese wheel is immediately aligned with entertainment zoo animals get when they have to solve a puzzle or get into a box to find a treat. I am just a simple ape, and the Babel Cheese people are my enrichment team. You know, I think about this post a lot. I talk about it a lot. It's to the point where at work, when we don't like someone, we go, that person is not on my enrichment team. Because apparently the biggest insult we think is that the person is not successfully zooing us. I love it. You are not necessary to the broth. You give no nutrients to the broth. You do not season the broth. You bring no value to the broth. You are nothing. Enough. Get out of the soup! What? What? Andy, help me here, what? Well then get out of the soup aisle! Alright, you don't have to shout at me! There's more soup! What do you mean there's more soup? At the soup store! Why are you buying clothes at the soup store?! Fuck you! Actually, growing up is feeling like I turned 16 two days ago. I've been 18 for years. 15 years old seems so young. Wasn't I 15 just a few weeks ago? All my friends and I are still 12. I'm closer to 30 than to being a baby. I never got to be a kid. I never grew past eight. I can't talk to my mom. I want to sit on her lap forever. This week is going by so slow. An entire year has passed. I want to decide everything for myself. I need someone to tell me exactly what to do. <sighs> yeah. When I was younger, I never used to lick the yogurt off the yogurt lids because I saw a documentary once, and in it there were clips of bears rootling through people's bins. And one of them, a bear, found a yogurt lid and was licking the yogurt off. I would be like, this is for the bears, and scoop a little extra into the lids before I put them in the bin. Mom kept telling me, bears don't live here, but I kept doing it, just in case. And one day... The bears will thank you for your kindness. Hey, Yahoo Answers, how do we know you're not an AI or something? Because there is no intelligence on Tumblr, artificial or otherwise. Ow! Damn! Got him! Do you ever get a wave of nostalgia for a hyperfixation that's never coming back with the same sort of melancholy with which you mourn a lost childhood friend? Like, you consumed my every waking moment for six entire months, and now I have not thought about you in years. I miss that passion. Can, can Tumblr stop being a mood, please? Let's just stop it. Stop. People who draw female dwarves and orcs skinny or petite, you're killing the world. Now, people who draw female dwarves and orcs large, fat, or muscular, you're nourishing the world and I'm in love with you. Skyrim is incredible because it's kind of like a game where you can kill like five extremely high-ranking members of the Empire and it changes literally nothing about the Civil War going on half an hour away. Bethesda loves to be like, well, you got choices. They don't do anything, but you got them. You! You get it! Self-care is breaking into NASA and launching yourself directly into the fucking void. May we suggest a soothing bath instead? Too late! Andy, show me into the void! A wishing well, but instead of granting your wishes, you put a coin in and it throws beach balls at your face. This is an idea. I do not take criticism. 
Yo, get in, loser. We're gonna admire moss and mushrooms in the forest. Oh, hell yeah! Homework? Decent grades? Oh, the Bible said Adam and Eve, not Adam and Achieve. <laughs> Fuck, I almost spit everywhere. Look at this. Look at this happy ass fox! Oh my gosh! Those feces! If you become undead, you get another chance at gender. Assigned female at death. Oh, you mean a fad? My gender is not a fad, bitch! Oh, Karen. You constantly misgender your son. If you do not correctly identify each pride flag shown within five minutes, the automatic turret will misidentify you as a target. I'll pay! Change your URL. It's fucking brilliant. Why do people say Jesus H. Christ? Like, what is his middle name? Lol. Hot dog! It's... It's Howard, you know? Howard be thy name? Hot dog! Imagine a horror genre video game where people keep asking you to hold their baby, and you have to fight off increasingly determined hordes of monsters without dropping it. I'm sorry, did you mean Yoshi's Island? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, what? What? Behold the Tumblr blue through the years. Ah, yes, the computer illiteracy pride flag. A timeless classic. She guessed my favorite color first try. But between me and you, I don't even have a favorite color until she yelled out yellow. She was hella excited and smiling like a little kid. So I told her she was right, and I haven't seen yellow the same since. It's in everything, and I could probably live in it now. This is the cutest thing I've heard all day, stop! Bad joke time! It can be frustrating when people confuse aromantic with aromatic, but hey, you know what they say. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. First of all, how dare you! Yeah, at this point I'm holding myself together with glitter glue. I may be falling apart, but I am sparkly! Panera has just released a line of swimsuits that say soup in huge letters on them. And I thought of you. Uh, Panera? Bread? Yeah. Finally. Clothes from the soup store. Andy, we did it. Oh my god. P put up a W in the corner. A nice reminder that a writer isn't defined by a number of words, lines, or paragraphs. Nor the amount of content they can provide in a given amount of time. Drabbles are valid, headcanons are valid, and you're an absolute angel for posting free content and feeding us so nicely. Mwah! I love you. Oh, my poor little stupid pathetic bitch of a meow meow. How I love them. You know, you look short, but your vibes are tall and mighty like a gay tree. Ah yes! What a mighty tree I am at five feet and two inches. Well, my girlfriend is only 4'11", so as far as she's concerned, I am a mighty gay tree. You know, that's tall for a bonsai tree. Do you want to fight? Your Honor, my ch- <laughs> I was about to say my child. Fuck. I'm sorry, Andy. Your Honor, my client could not have committed the murder as the victim had 28 stab wounds, but my client only had one knife! Why, yes, of course. We are so sorry for accusing you. That's okay. It happens all the time. You know what's better than a queen ruling a kingdom by herself? Two queens. Married to each other. Lesbian queens. I'm talking about lesbian queens. I don't mean to interrupt, but... Is that not Steven Universe, but with four lesbian queens? Please tell me if I'm right or wrong. Today I saw an old man wearing a shirt that said, Time to turn up the beat. Fuck yeah, you funky little gardener. How is... Piracy bad. It's sharing. And sharing is caring. It's because capitalists lose. If I were a drink, I'd be a cherry vanilla coke. If you were a drink, what would you be? Everyone's like bleach or sewage. Ugh, please calm down, edgelords. You know, in reality, all the people who say they're like bleach or sewage, they are 110% strawberry Fanta. Indiana Jones? Bah! <laughs> More like Fedora the Explorer. I am deleting. <laughs> You'll never get to drive the Bolton Steel Tractor. Why even live? You know what? You're absolutely right. Andy, just do me a favor. Delete the whole video. Just blow it up or throw it out. Do something funny or sad or whatever. I don't, I don't care. 
or just throw me into the molten steel tractor. Do something. <sighs> you know, sometimes I forget I am a real person. This is such a weird thing, but I understand. Enters a maze in a video game, finds the right path on the first try, goes back and checks all the wrong paths for secrets, gets lost after doing that. I figured out that horror games with grotesque monsters and spooky environments are negative 9,000 scary if you pretend you're Steve Irwin on a mission to document the monsters. Crocky, looky there. That's a six foot grunt from the basement. I'm gonna wrestle it. This is how I get through a lot of scary environments without getting scared. It really works. Yo, this plot is so thick, it might as well be a Pixar mom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mass Effect, L Legendary Edition is very, it's big. <laughs> you know, like, okay. Butch Hartman caused Call Me By Your Name and I hope he loses sleep over it. You can't just sucker punch us without knowledge and not explain what you mean. All right. Little Nas X made Call Me By Your Name. Little Nas X claims Danny Phantom was his gay awakening. Butch Hartman made Danny Phantom. Oh my god, this is the best thing I've heard all day. I don't know what to do with this information. Andy, help me. What are your thoughts on the... Fundamentally against it. You! Go make things. Like, what, a sandwich? A whole ass novel? Revolution? Yes! You heard the rulers of hell! Make a novel about the sandwich revolution! Are they seafood dip? Does that count? Absolutely! I never felt the phrase, one foot in the darkness and the other in a Hello Kitty roller skate, more potently than a couple hours ago, when I listened to a podcast cop getting torn apart by a monster crab while also playing Cookie Run. Damn. That's a good quote. You ever think about what absolute mad decadence we live in? That vanilla means plain? Considering it's one of my favorite flavors, YES! The most fucked up fact about Evangelion is when it's revealed that the giant robots are actually really big regular guys and the red stuff that comes out of them when they get hit isn't cooling fluid or whatever. It's like actual human blood! And the second most fucked Evangelion fact is that Shinji's Netflix VA has a car cat themed Twitter account. <laughs> Casey, I told you I'd do it. Yo, are you okay? Bro, I just spent my entire day opening and closing the same three apps. Don't ask me if I'm okay. Mood. The human spine is a joke. Why do my shoes affect how much my back hurts? I'm gonna kill ya. I've been trying to leave Rome for a few weeks now, but all their roads have this weird design flaw. Mm, Hotelius Californium. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. Being on Tumblr is like being a raccoon. I dig through the garbage for shiny things I like. Sometimes I find good things to share with my friends. Sometimes I find something horrifying and also share it with my friends. I hate that I do this to you, Andy. I'm sorry. Rejection-sensitive dysphoria is fucking wild. Someone will be like, hey, just so you know, the thing you did was a little loud or uncomfortable or insensitive, but it's okay, I know you didn't mean it. And my brain will instantly translate, you should be shot. All right, that's it! I told Tumblr to stop being a mood, and you pushed it too far. Andy, blow up the video! For real this time! to your niggas. <laughs> they weren't expecting that shit. <laughs> I've discovered a fourth primary color and now I'm being hunted by agents of the color yellow who murdered my best friend and roommate, guilty of no less. These agents are very sneaky. They left a note inside my lotion that said, Snitchies get itchies. Oh, it's difficult. Until the planet is saved from yellow, I'ma be on the run. Seriously, anyway, I've got some super duper exciting news for you. I've discovered a new primary color that's existed since forever. It's called Stygian Birthday Cake, and it's produced by drowning fourth walls in a stallion cream cheese. So there you have it, the secret sound. Shrugs. I'm pretty sure that every wizard in the world has a different interpretation of magic. Some wizards think that magic is science, and other thinks that magic is real. 
but I think it's all about profit. Nothing but fat stacks and straight up gains. Ever since I saw Governor Andrew Cuomo's nipple rings on TV, I've always wanted to be a famous comedian. I thought I'd eventually meet a person who'd teach me everything. I reached out to famous people like Ricky Gervais, Ricky Martin, Nick Cave, Nicolas Cage, and Nicholas II of Russia. But all I got in return was bopkiss. I'm not sure how to get to the bottom of things. There's a saying in comedy lore. If you want to be John Gotti, you have to kill people. Pay attention, emotionalities! This conversation's gonna get very weird. AI, or the underlying intelligences, is a brown and yellow paroxysm of idiocy rife with wordplay and comical parables. You may respond by laughing or slurring your words, but do not be duped! I'll make a big deal out of nowhere, and instead she'll keep me telling you that diamonds are special. If at any point you begin to falter or have qualms about the subject, I won't disappoint. AI is a character. Each life she has lived as a separate person, and we were in a surrogate mother. So be prepared for lots of blue tears. If you have concerns, I understand. Just don't be alarmed. Just be grateful for the help that she's willing to help. I'm a golden retriever. A golden retriever with unrivaled poise and confidence. Unparalleled hustle. Master of shadows and fine lines. Be doubt it! I'm the most powerful canine hound in the world. I'm a two-star general or something. I literally do nothing but chase the hounds of New England. Like almost every other dog, I have double power. Triple power. But that's not even the best part. There are some things that only the hounds of New England have power. There are things that only the hounds of New England have jaw strength. And I'm going to teach you something real quick. Every time you see a dog bite someone, you become a father figure to a whole new generation of ballers. I can't get enough of nutrition. Amino acids? Yep. But as always, you have to remember that taurine is the amino acid that football players need. It's the king of lower body proteins. It's the muscle building stuff. So if your muscle memory is being a YouTube user, you gotta make sure to jiggle the boogeyman. Don't be a WTF ender. Everything else pales in comparison to the raw power of releasing your boogeyman. Yep, it's like dark chocolate in reverse. The fuck did I just read? Oh, it's a beautiful day. Time to check out what Tumblr's been up to. Oh, crap. That's right. We blew it up. Um, Andy, I hate to be that guy, but can you, can you help me put it back together, please? Thanks, Andy. You're the best. Crabs are so gentle. They can be so kind. And their claws, precise little things. So careful in the sand. So careful with food. They do what they must to live and wave their claws to express their joy to the world for giving them so much to them. For giving such kindness to these creatures known as crabs. Please be gentle to crabs. <clears throat> I was on a new sleep medication last night. But you were right! I think midwives deserve more respect. They really help people out. You know, at first I thought this was actually a midwife appreciation post, and didn't even realize it was a pun. <sighs> I guess it's all in the delivery. <clears throat> Sir, that is too big a bite! Don't tell him what to do! He is causing a scene! Yeah, 2000 was 21 years ago. Bruh, 21 was 2000 years ago. Bruh! Girl boss? Nah, girl union and girl strike. <laughs> Guerrilla warfare? You come into my house, you eat my food, and this is how you show your respect. By being funnier than me on my own post. Disgusting! I read that capsaicin makes your mouth feel like it's burning because it increases your nerve sensitivity to heat, and menthol works by doing the same thing to cold. So if I eat a habanero pepper and then chew a bunch of breath mitts, they'll even each other out and I'll be fine! Hey, <coughs> guess what hellfire tastes like? I am a bar of soap and God is an Instagram girl with acrylic nails and a box cutter. The... This post means something, and I'm afraid to find out. And Andy, I can't even ask you to find out for me because I don't want to know. Oh, fuck yeah, this is the shit. Kill me now. I'm so scared of 2020. Something seems to be frightening about this year. 
It's gonna be Y2K all over again. The Black Plague is gonna come back, I swear, I fucking swear! Date of origin, 3rd of December, 2018. Apollo, calm down with the gift of prophecy! If a single teacher can't teach all the subjects, then how do they expect a single student to learn all the subjects? Fuck! This may be the smartest post on Tumblr. Yeah, they're right. I, how do... How do... Fuck! Fuck! May your soul be ever grown with moss. May your veins fill with rainwater and your lungs swell with flowers. Yeah, was this a curse or a blessing? Because either way, lay it on me, boys. I believe you mean, give me the peep, boys, and free my soul! I can't mansplain, manipulate, man whore my way out of this one, boys. Manslaughter it is, then! Ah, when the bard multi-classes into barbarian. Fascinating. Behold a honey buzzard flying away with a piece of honeycomb. Return the slab! Am I the only one whose internet addiction started with my parents not letting me fucking go anywhere? And then they started complaining about me not going out anywhere. And now when I go out, they complain I'm never home. Where is the lie? Hey, do you have any skeletons in your closet? Before I answer that, should I be concerned with your username? Mr. Skeleton Fucker 69? Okay, y'all know Furbies, right? The annoying little fuckers that never stop laughing? Those guys? They're banned from most Korean military bases because they've got cameras and recorders in them. I'm sorry! <laughs> what did you just say? Tumblr should add polls. It would get batshit insane so quickly and I ought to be here for it. You weren't a well-behaved child. You had anxiety and were terrified of conflict. We know, but hey! Joy is stored in not knowing who the fuck internet celebrities are. Gun to my head, I couldn't name a single Minecraft YouTuber, and I genuinely think that accounts for at least 70% of what little inner peace I possess. That 20s, I wish I knew your euphoria. I wish I did. I like this one. Five years ago, I was a fucking mess. And now I'm a fucking mess, but at peace with it, and with a cooler fashion sense. Tumblr, I, I blew you up before, I will do it again. Stop being a mood. Stop it. Stop. Give me something else. Alright everyone, get the fuck up! New frog has been discovered! Woo! My dad got very excited because he thinks my frog looks like this biscuit. I mean, he kinda do though. Help me, I am trapped in a haiku factory. Save me before they. I got your message. I have snuck my way inside. Oh my god, what the? It's very difficult to create realistic timelines in your story when you're struggling to figure out how long a week usually is. <sighs> yeah. My psych teacher has a poster in her room that says, every time you call your boyfriend, daddy. Sigmund Freud's ghost grows a little bit stronger. And if that isn't threatening, then I don't know what is. Hey, sometimes I write that in my text so people read it like a pirate. <laughs> well played, Gladium. Well played. I know some naughty words that'll really knock your socks off. But I'm not wearing socks. Well then I know some caring words that'll put socks on you. <gasps> oh my god. Documented cases of feral children. Raised by primates, raised by wolves, raised by dogs, raised by bears, raised by sheep, raised by cattle, raised by goats, raised by ostriches, raised by the French. Watch out for that one over there. He's that homeboy. You've heard about mom friend and dad friend. Now get ready for grandpa friend, trademark. Almost always grumpy, bad at showing affection, but cares about their friends a lot. What did you say? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Can you repeat it? Often reminisces about their youth, even though they're probably only in their 20s. Alternatively, kids these days. Too old for this shit. See above. Totally not down with the youth. Bad back and everything else hurts too. And likes to complain. Listen. You had no right to call me out like this. I didn't want to be the grandparent friend. I don't think Andy wanted to be the grandparent friend. I don't even think... Any of our friends wanted to be the grandparent friend, but here we are! What?! Sure, he's a little rusty around the edges, 
But old Patrick is a classic showstopper like me. <laughs> huh? ah, kill it! Kill it! A gender. Did you mean a gender? No, that is the opposite of what I wanted. Um, just so you know, JFC, which you use in a lot of the tags of your posts, is an abbreviation for Jesus fucking Christ. And you probably shouldn't use it if you're not a Christian. I can't believe I read this with my own two eyes. You ever just submit something thinking, fuck it, I don't care anymore. But then five seconds later, you realize you actually care very, very much and are seized by gripping anxiety. Yeah! I've got a date with destiny and it ain't gonna end with a kiss. It's such a raw quote, and I cannot believe it came from a Phineas and Ferb episode about hunting a giant metal whale with harpoons made of toilet plungers. As a procrastinating overachiever, I feel like I don't necessarily half-ass things. It's more like a three-quarter ass. Like overall, did I do pretty well? Yeah. Did I reach my maximum potential though? I think the fuck not. I like the little map on DoorDash because you can watch your delivery driver completely miss your address in real time. Daniel, you're going in the completely wrong direction. Let me help you, Daniel. Daniel, I'm hungry. I'm opening my mouth like a baby bird, Daniel. Daniel, why? Andy, we have to help them. Uh, bring Daniel to their house now, quickly, before they die. Today I learned the reason why we view Neanderthals as hunched over and degenerate is that the first skeleton to be found was arthritic. Way to fuck it up for your whole species, you fucking idiots! Hey, it's Hershey! We already got our first exciting fan letter! Let's see what it says! It's from Forrest. You suggested that we should delete our account on July 17, 2021. Well, Forrest, I have a suggestion for you. On July 17, 2021! I suggest you start running. What? Oh god. <laughs> Forrest, run! Answering gender questions from himbos on Tinder is my favorite pastime. And with you being non-binary, say you're going to go to jail. Can you now pick it, you go to the men's or women's, or is it just more like a co-ed situation? That's a fair question, Josh, and the simple answer is, no jail can hold me. We're just limitless like that. Seriously though, like, I miss the boat on this whole radical honesty thing. I guess everyone now wants to be true to themselves now. I mean, that's great, but like, you're really ever going to meet a select few people you can totally be honest with about anything. Lie to strangers, lie to authorities. Like, damn, didn't you have parents that told you never to tell people on the phone that you were home alone? When the interview asks if you ever experimented with drugs, just say no. This is not a therapy session. He's got no business asking you that anyway. Lots and lots of people are not entitled to your vulnerability. I follow my grandmother's rule. It's only a lie if they have a right to know. Right there. It's only a lie if they have a right to know. Guys, guys. Hershey. Hershey's been... K k killed. Oh my god. Forrest, what did you do? You know, pretty awful how baseline human activities like singing, dancing, and making art got turned into skills instead of being seen as behaviors. So now it's like the point of doing them is just to get good at them and not, this is a thing humans do, the way birds sing and bees make hives. I know I've posted this before, but it bears repeating. This is a thing humans do. You do not have to be good at it to enjoy it. You're absolutely right. So with that said, there's a lot of singing in this episode. I apologize to all of you. I apologize to Andy. I hope I don't break any of your ears. Mom said it's my turn to hand out the ominous and vague warnings. That wasn't Mom. They just said it was their turn. Dirty is a concept invented by British imperialists to keep you from enjoying God's nectar. Swamp water. Stop drinking the swamp water, Pucket Joe. No pain, no gain. You would not believe your arms if 10 million car alarms blurred into the night as you tried to sleep. Young man, there's no need to feel down. I said, young man, eat that chip off the ground. Okay, just so we're all clear, it's okay to miss people you no longer want in your life. This is so important. Some people genuinely have trouble with never being told this. I am reblogging this post in case that includes any of you in my audience. You're missing the memories, not the person themselves. You miss the person you thought they were. 
not who they turned out to be. And that's okay. My ex-wife still misses me, but her aim is getting better. Glitch only speedruns. If you play the game as intended at any point, you're disqualified. Does it count if I play Skyrim on a phonograph? <laughs> okay, I imagine some dragons. Now I... Do, I... do I have to get radioactive next? Every breath you take Burning at the stake Artificial lake Asian coral snake I'll be watching you Thought I saw a shooting star but the neighbors above me are flicking cigarette butts out of the window. What Halsey song is this? <laughs> Fuck, I'm not prepared for this one. <laughs> give me a give me a minute. <clears throat> it's a cold and it's a broken hollaback girl. Hollaback girl. Hollaback girl. Hollaback girl. I can't finish the rest of this. Andy, take it from here. I'm kidding, you don't have to do that. I eat 15 apples for breakfast, then drive myself to the hospital just to watch the doctors get blasted backward into the drywall because they cannot withstand my aura. I get it. Hey, you reading this? You a princess. And I don't care if you're a goddamn bodybuilder. You're now Princess Protein, and I love you. Mwah. Hey, Pocket Show, do you have any regrets? Absolutely. Thanks for the ask. People run from rain, but sit in bathtubs full of water. Charles Bukowski. Wow, Bukowski, so profound. Do you also bathe fully clothed, you dickhead? Oh, isn't it so funny that a person will eat when they're hungry, but will duck if you throw an apple at their face? Fuck you, Charles Bukowski. Your last name sounds fucking ridiculous. Pretty fucking close to Bukowski. Oh, cool, some new astronomy news. What's good, Astro? <laughs> Astronomers discover new tadpole-shaped galaxy. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. Y'all missed this part of the article. That group, the scientists say, is far from a settled system. All the members of Hickson's compact group 98 are expected to merge into a single galaxy in about one billion years, at which time, presumably, the extragalactic tadpole will turn into a cosmic frog. <laughs> Andy, pack your bags. We're gonna go hang out with Cosmos Frog. Hey, here's a curse fact. You're always eight feet away from a spider. And here's a fun fact. I am the spider. Uh, referring to things in real life as canon is so fucking funny. Oh, fuck. I hope what I did last night wasn't canon. Can't wait for Tumblr to roll out Tumblr Plus, the premium website membership. For only $9.99, you can enjoy classic Tumblr features such as a functional website. Since Tumblr has hinted at a paid-for version of a recent survey, it's time to bring back my possibly future-predicting post. Stop it, Chance Mom, stop it. Stop. Don't, don't give me that look. Don't give me that look. Date of origin, August 29th, 2017. Stop it! Archaeologists have discovered a 3,200-year-old mural of a knife-wielding spider god in Peru. Stop! Every word in this title is better than the one before it. I can't handle anymore. Hey, bestie, come closer. <laughs> I'm totally not going to drag you into my obscure interest, bestie, I promise. This is me hiring Andy as my video editor. <laughs> I'm so tired, I could eat a horse. I identify as a horse and this offends me. Well, I identify as a fence and this horse is me. I offend horses. Identify me? I think the main question here is why would you eat a horse if you were tired? Raw wrong, wrong! The real question you should be asking is why is the username handle mbregbert? Oh, I must a sewing job be good. Is it not enough that I stab the fabric with a tiny needle many, many times? Something hilarious about this coming from Julius Caesar official. How did you hear about this job? It came to me in an extremely vivid and unsettling prophetic dream. C Congratulations, you're hired. I know. I did a lot of things, and half of those things will in fact be my downfall eventually. Was anyone else afraid to close their eyes in the shower as a kid for fear the shower might start pouring blood instead of water? Uh, you, you okay? You okay? Do you need do you need, do you need a soda? Here, here's a soda. Take take this soda. It 
is pitch black outside and someone is mowing their lawn! Power move. Update. The someone is my father. Does he have a flashlight? Dad, did you have a flashlight? No. How, how did you see? Moon. I think people with interests are disgusting. Your hobbies okay? Are you personally enjoying it? Yeah, quite a bit, actually. Ugh, gross. Notice! Due to a lack of cicadas so far this summer, I will climb the trees and scream in their absence! You think you could replace them? You really think you would sound half as good? How dare you stand where he once stood? Oh, 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 you don't think I can do it? You don't think I can do it? Andy, put me up in that tree right there. I got this, I got this. <coughs> How was that? Hey, how many toes you got? You mean in my mouth or... Hmm. Blocked. Have a horrible day. I could look it up, but it's more fun asking friends, gang. There's probably an objective answer for this, but let's see if someone has a rat locked and loaded group chat. <laughs> Andy, is that not just Unicomics? A homeless guy just said to me, Do you tell jokes to make people laugh or to make people think you're funny? And that is the most profound shit I have ever experienced. I asked my old science teacher this and he said, I make jokes to make myself laugh because I know I'm funny. Found the dad. Sir, that's my emotional support found family trope. Don't touch it. People are always like, are you a morning person or a night person? And I'm just like, buddy, <laughs> I'm barely even a person. Minecraft Enderman be like, It's fun for me just to grab a cube. <laughs> I got this one right here. Puggy, some hundred-year-old dude keeps harassing me about being a sugar baby. Please help, almighty god of Tumblr. Ask him if he's widowed, and if yes, tell him you're the one who killed his wife. And if he's not? Tell him you're gonna kill his wife. What is the appeal in thigh-high socks? How do you live? Who... Fucking necromancied you from the ground and commanded you to not enjoy anything. You fucking waste of my time and breath and space. Get the fuck out of here. You can't comedic slapstick misunderstanding your way out of this one, Mr. Chaplin. Me five minutes later stepping out of garbage can. Damn you, Charlie! What's a gender neutral word you could use for your spouse? Wasband? Hi? Weisband? Um. Uh, I may be stupid. This is the text version of looking for your glasses when they're on your head. This is our fault, guys. We were Icarus, and all those posts about Tumblr being the best social media site was us making a beeline for the sun. We brought this on ourselves. Our clown shoes are on fire, and we are plunging towards the sea with our red noses honking sadly in the wind. That paints quite an image. If only there was a super duper editor that I loved with all my heart who could make that happen for me. Please? This is our fault, guys. We were Icarus, and all those posts about Tumblr being the best social media site was us making a beeline for the sun. We brought this on ourselves. Our clown shoes are on fire, and we are plunging towards the sea with our red noses honking sadly in the wind. Hey, if Kirby eats the communion wafers, does he become the new messiah or just gain Jesus' powers? I don't think you understand how Eucharist works. ANSWER THE QUESTION! Tiny little dragons in tiny little wagons Drinking little beers from their tiny little flagons That was beautiful, man. Sometimes it physically pains me to hold back my sarcastic comments. Hey, Yahoo, I'm a lesbian. Girl's pretty. Well, then why am I bi? Everybody pretty. All right, social experiment time. Who is this? Wrong answers only. An Eva, Willy Wonka, or humanized Bill Cipher, but green? A cool person. An environmentalist. Jeffrey. Jeffrey Bezos. Well, that or Loki. Nature gave us food. Lasagna, cookies and cream, hot pockets, jelly ranchers. Why are we not eating it? Wait, you guys don't eat this? When you scratch a cat's chin and they lift their head up, reblock if you agree. When you scratch a cat's cheek and they lean their head into your hand, reblock if you agree.
when you put your hand in front of your cat's face and they gently headbutt, you reblog if you agree. When your cat just runs a little bit faster to get to you, reblog if you agree. <laughs> cats, reblog if you agree. All right, listen. Girls can be handsome. It's all about vibes. Similarly, boys can be pretty. Handsome and pretty aren't gender adjectives, and I will fight someone on this. Handsome in the statue sort of way, and pretty in the starry sky sort of way. Alternatively, handsome in the jawline sort of way, and pretty in the eyelashes sort of way. If asked to defend these answers, I couldn't. But the vibes. Yes, yes, exactly. When the moon hits your eye like a big yellow light, Tesla, slow down. <laughs> Good job, Sienna. I'm so proud of you. Thinking about the Discord ad with Danny DeVito. Why? Yo, I can't believe you don't want Bofa. What's Bofa? Bofa, my arms wrapped around you in a loving hug. Come here. Ugh, RGB gaming setups are so gay. Why do you want rainbow lights everywhere, huh? To show your pride for loving other men? I'm sending this to my brother. Tell him I'm proud of him for coming out of his glass closet. He says the anime girl stickers on his PC cancel out. Okay, bisexual king. Good for him. What is the medical name for an almost irresistible impulse to throw an egg into an electric fan? Binghamton News, New York, November 27th, 1925. I don't know, but it's definitely transmissible because now I have it. Well, there's only one way to solve this remedy. Andy, throw an egg into a fan. Not Amy's egg, though. She'll cry. Egg. I don't have the patience to organize my music into playlists. I just put Apple Music on shuffle and hope to God that none of the Glee songs start playing. I literally downloaded every single Glee cover in existence. It takes up over half of my playlist. In my defense, I was really out of it mentally and... Uh... Everyone's got that one buddy who's an imp who torments them with demonic energy. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. It's you. It's me! Goodbye! You're so quiet, what's wrong? I'm creating my own fantasy world to escape from reality, so shut up! I love student housing. I'm in the common room waiting for a friend, and there's some dude crying on the couch with a bunch of his friends around him, and I can only hear bits and pieces, but someone asked him, who gets the Minecraft server if you guys break up? And he started crying harder, and a third person reached over to smack the guy who asked it on the back of the head. God, I miss college dorms. Hey, remember that thing we talked about last video of Kirby could gain Jesus' powers? So, here we go. There's a follow-up. There are a lot of reasons why Kirby cannot receive the Eucharist fully. One, he is not human. Only those with rational human souls are capable of partaking in the Eucharist. Kirby being a Pokemon means he is not human and does not have a human soul, even if he has a soul at all. I'm sorry, hold on. Kirby is a Pokemon? D two. Those who cannot understand the Eucharist cannot partake. This means children too young to understand we are not permitted to do so. They can receive a blessing instead. And three, the Eucharist is not a magic pill. Jesus was given his abilities through God. If Kirby were to receive any special powers, it would be because God permitted it. If one was to take the Eucharist while not in a state of grace, nothing outward would happen. There would be no smiting. But it would be like watering a desert without seeds. None of the virtues already inside of a person would be strengthened. It is impossible to receive it if taken by someone not in a state of grace. Okay, but counterpoint, Kirby is in fact not a Pokemon. I'll oh, see Wolf Bats got my back here. Also, he is considered sentient in all canons, AFIK, and that normally indicates having a soul. He can also communicate, understand concept, explain to him. Kirby can 100% take the Eucharist. Notice how I said a human rational soul? We do not know if animals or other beings have souls for sure, or if their souls are the same as ours, meaning Jesus is their savior. If Kirby does have a soul, he would have his own messiah, and that messiah's Eucharist, however that may look, would be the only way Kirby could partake. Hope that clears things up. <sighs> so sorry, what the fuck's going on here? Well, Pope Francis disagrees. 
If, for example, tomorrow an expedition of Martians came and some of them came to us. Here. Martians, right? Green with that long nose and big ears just like the children paint them. And one says, but I want to be baptized. What would happen? The Roman Catholic Church leader theorized, as reported by Vatican Radio, in his speech focused on the question, who are we to close the doors to the Holy Spirit? He said that baptism is open to everyone and reminded the audience of the words of Peter. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? <sighs> Kirby isn't a Martian. Oh, so we're being picky and choosy with which extraterrestrials can partake? Sounds like you just got some beef with Kirby. In fact, Andy, get terminal montages Kirby. Smite his ass. Okay, I'll bite. Go straight for the jugular. <laughs> wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. But I'm a vegan. Well then, wakey wakey, vegetables and sadness. It feels like deeply maladaptive that the human body's response to intense hunger is to feel nauseous. Like, what was the goal there? Stomach's just like, okay, I'm hungry, so you're gonna barf so I get more hungry. I hate the term spinal fluid. It conjures up horrible imagery in my mind. Lightly taps this spigot I've attached to my spinal column. Come get y'all juice! We've never met, and I hope it stays that way. This is the most powerful reply I've ever received. The internet was a mistake, but the amount of fondness I feel for all the friends that I carry around in my pocket with me was not a mistake. Andy? You don't have to put this part in, but Andy, thank you for being my pocket friend and working so damn hard on these videos. You really put in 110%, and I cannot thank you enough for what you do to me. Thank you. Ha! Pee pee poo poo. Pocket dragons, pocket dragons, pocket dragons, they're as they can be. They're small, but what you get isn't always what you see. This post gets more than 20 notes. You can call me an entertainer of sorts. A comedian, if you will. I'm now certified in the art of entertainment. Elf androgyny and dwarf androgyny and orc androgyny are three very different forms of androgyny and defiance of the binary, and they're all so good. Elf, everyone's pretty, but has no ass. Dwarf, everyone's hairy, but has no ass. Orc, everyone's shredded and can crack walnuts between their cheeks. Meanwhile, Goblin Androgyny, you're small and horrible, and you're pretty certain that gender was the kind of beetle you ate last week. Hey, remember when the poison status was intense as fuck, and you had to rush your poison Pokemon to a Pokemon Center, and the game would make that awful fucking noise that would make you feel bad for allowing such a thing to happen to your Pokemon? I have nightmares about it, man. It drives me crazy how humans are just meant to hold each other. How come when you hold someone's hand, your fingers just perfectly lock with theirs? How is it that when you hug someone, your face fits just right in the crook of their neck? How can your hands cup someone's face like that's their only primary function? It cannot be coincidence that our bodies are fully capable of holding another. We were designed to love. Good post, OP. Let's get